Look at the detail. You see the, the front of that stamp and you think, there's no way, but it does. Um, and what I tell you what surprises me, that you don't see more of yeah. these wonderful silicone stamps because the quality is absolutely exquisite. I love that they are lightweight, they're super lightweight, yeah. but because of that form, it means even one of your bigger images, it's really easy to actually yeah. stamp out that bigger image. Whereas, you know, when it were wood mounted, it'd be really heavy. Sometimes with your polymer, with your um, acrylic, it can be a little bit trickier to get a bigger image. Um, it's a, but with these, it, it's just beautiful. It is, and it? I, the designs are, I love this because it's really quiet, it's very quirky. It is quirky, but also it has got that almost relation to vintage, a steampunk, mm. almost. I mean, it's not a steampunk, but you can bring it up if you want it. And also, it's a perfect bundle. If you are always one of these people that those crafters that struggle with cards for male, mm. uh, for men, in the men in our lives, if there you have got some. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> this would be absolutely perfect. Four, seven, eight, okay. three, four, nine is your item number. 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. You have got, as I say, of 15 pounds and then we have got rice papers a steampunk talking about those steampunk theme uh, beautiful projects we have them here uh, now this is a 12 you are getting a four sheets uh, four designs so you're getting three of each I love when you're getting three of each because it means that you can use generously without having to worry about running out of your favorite design also what I love is that how uh, you, oh, this one especially I kind of love that kind of you have got that detail in here and then you have got those details as well so you can use it as one piece or you can tear pieces if you wanted to and this one I mean literally it just it's just magical those designs are just there's something so resting about this image kind of magic kind of or oh, is she um, an automaton or is she actually a real human being and then this one as well I mean look at this design isn't that just glorious it has got like a little bit of romance a little bit of steampunk a little bit of surrealism as well all together so remember you have got four different designs four one four seven uh, five seven eight is your item number uh, 14 pounds and 19 pence now rice paper goes really well on MDF so we have that as well for you so we have the MDF nine two six eight zero two is your item number 999 is your price you are saving five pounds nine to six eight zero two is your item number you make three of the windows and three of the clocks so you have got their material enough to make six different projects now you can mix them and match them of course you can but we have got more you know uh, the luxus are uh, beautiful paste with the rose the turquoise the verge and the lilac with two foam brushes and this is a glorious paste that has got that pearlescent and texture to it but also if you apply to glass it has a little bit of translucentness so you could put a candle behind it 17 pounds and 99 pence is your price 88 Five 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 four is your item number. We have also card lungs for you. Uh, they are 24 of the 15 by 15, so just under six inches a square. 300 GSM, and it comes with uh, the 24 cards. Come with 24 envelopes as well. And I love these envelopes because they have got the slimline top, which I kind of think they look very posh. 11.99 is your item number. You are saving 16 pounds, which makes it way better than the half price. 180107 and remember savings across the board make sure that you grab yours way by checking out those baskets right we are ready for the demo All ready right. let's take it away ready um, okay so what I want to do first of all I've got one of the card blanks um, that we've got on the show of course and I'm just going to add a little bit of um, color to it because I want to knock this back because I want it more um, distressed so obviously it's um, it's uh, not obviously it's an uncoated card oh. Oh, let's move that out of the way, um, which means I can do loads of different inking, you know, you can do loads of different blends on it. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of my, my brown, so it's my walnut stain on this, and I'm also going to bring in a little bit of faded jeans. I don't want it really heavy because I want to come in with my, my stamps over the top of this but just to um just to knock it back a bit and that's why i mean it's always lovely to have blank white cards 
pre-scored as well, so it means, you know, you, you've got a quick make here. And I do like the um, the size of these as well, because it's a, it's not... It, I'm extra northern today, am I? <laughs> who's, who's emailed him? Same. Sarah says. <laughs> she loves it. Yeah, no, that's well funny. No. Extra northern. It's I because, think it's my influence. I was go, yeah. I, literally, I was just going to say that. It's because <laughs> I'm with uh, Paul, I'm, because she's so northern. <laughs> We just bounce off each yeah, other. Absolutely. I'm from the Leeds, <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Someone said that in there. Yeah, somebody emailed Anne once and they said that they joke with her, her husband. Or her husband actually says that I come off a screen with a, and I sound like I'm from Leeds. <laughs> she's just putting it on the Spanish thing, she puts it on. And it. then really she's from Leeds. <laughs> but it was a joke. I mean, she ain't from Leeds, it's Bradford. Oh. Um, so, <laughs> no, it's other side at Thills with me. Yeah. Anyway, um, oh, now then. Uh, the cheapboard elements, three quarters of the stock has gone. If you want yours, please make sure that you check out your baskets. They had sold that once. We managed to get some on extended uh, just the 29th of April. But if you want them yours, you know what to do. Check out those baskets. I knew they'd fly. Yeah. I really like those. Really? They're fabulous. Needless to say, I haven't added them in, I haven't added them in my demo because, um, well, yeah. you know, what's the point? Yeah. What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a little bit of blue, a little bit of brown, just to um, just to give it that lovely sort of distress look, which we all rather like. Indeed. I'll do a tiny spritz, just as ever. Oh, come on! I said tiny, but that's taking the mickey. And yep. um, just to break it up, break up that background, because let's face it, we always like that. So just allow the um, the, the water to settle a little bit. It is um, a porous card, so I'll be able to lift up the ink beautifully like so okay now let's get stamping because my mat is permanently dirty i'm going to bring in literally i'm going to bring in a bit of paper so i've got oh, a smooth surface because yeah. otherwise i've got a not a smooth surface so um so that's why i'm doing that now these stamps are delicious so i'm just going to start with any any of the stamps but what I want to do with this is just find where I've gone and put my brown ink pad bear with because I did have mm. it organized mm. there I put all my flourishes on top of it and um, so I want to just build up a background now the lovely thing is with these stamps I, I can be really quite uh, just random because I'm going background it doesn't need to be precise mm -hmm. and uh, the quality of the print is just exquisite you literally just pop on and then just literally, sorry I said that twice in one sentence, just press gently on the, the stamp and that is it. You've got a print. I mean they are such good quality. This flourish is amazing. I mean that is such a pretty stamp. The designs are fantastic and I love the variation. I mean you've got such a an eclectic mix and they are so different you know they're very very um unusual now you can have these so they they go over the top so you can start layering you can do so much with these now i'm hardly putting on any pressure it's just a little bit of pressure on there and look at that print oh. isn't that stunning it's so so beautiful I, I just you never ever ever get bored of seeing these you know it's one of those designs and one of those collections that you'll dig out again and again even if it is just to create a background you can make some exceptional backgrounds using these beautiful stamps so bringing that one in there and again oh. Just now, gentle. Well, we have got some news. So they to interrupt, Leone. Uh, those chipboards elements, and there is a technical sellout, which means if you have it in your baskets and you check out right now, you will get them. However, remember that the baskets auto refresh every 10 minutes. So if you have them in your baskets and you check out now, you will get them. Otherwise, you will miss out because somebody will snatch them under your own nose, and you don't want that to happen, does it, do you? So, you know, anyway. <laughs> I don't okay. know, that sounded a little bit funny. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sinister, apparently I was sinister. sinister. Now, look at the detail of that. When you stamp that up, that is ridiculous. It's so, so detailed. That writing, I mean, I can't read it, but you would be able to. Oh. It is that incredibly yeah. um, fine. But the, the, the actual silicone, it gives you that detail. I think that's why these stamps 
are just so interesting. And this is why it surprises me that, that more companies mm. didn't do it, because look at that. Yeah. You can see the, yes, every exactly. single word. I mean, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. When you come down to that size, and I love this at the side. I love that. Thing. Isn't it a good stamp? It is. And with fabulous. this stamp, you see, now I'm going to bring it in at the top. Because this is a background, I don't want it perfect, so I can start overlapping. I can start layering. I can even, so say I just want part of that stamp, so I'm just going to put part of it on like that. Yeah. And just allow that top part to print, which is, isn't it fantastic? It is, it it's is. just, oh, it's one of those that, you know, unless you've actually used them, then you'll, you'll never quite understand why we get this animated about them. Because they are just sure. wonderful. So getting that one now, because I like that, that bit of clock that's just there. Where did I stamp up to? I stamped up to there, like that. Love that. Now, love and it. again, yeah. where I've missed, doesn't matter, because I know I can go in, because I know I've got stamps with lots of detail. I mean, even this one, when you look at that, I've got a really good postmark down there. So if I just wanted to pick that postmark out and bring that in, oh, how perfect. perfect is that? Perfect. You know, and that's the thing. We well, look at this, all this texture. Again, if I want, I can just bring, so I'm not inking up the, the rest of the body of the stamp, I can just bring in that beautiful bit of texture, which is exquisite. There's so much going on. And you know what I'm like, I love picking bits out of stamps. But on this, that is so, so important. Now, I am going to do that again, actually, because that stamp there is so fabulous. So I'm just going to put, look at oh, that. that, that works. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know when you do something and go, boom, yeah, that I did works. it. Yeah. <laughs> and and it, it surprises you <laughs> even more than it does the people at home. <laughs> <laughs> but the other thing I love as well, that you are using Versafine Claire, so that kind of gives it that we could go in and color in if you mm -hmm. wanted to as well with watercolor markers or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the detail on these, you can absolutely color in yeah. if you want. You know, you can... And the Versafine Claire is a really good ink pad to use because it's dead juicy. Yeah. You know, so you're going to get that beautiful print. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm done, I'm done. I, I could carry on because you just get carried away. See, with something like this, you're creating your own background papers. You could just stamp A4 pieces of paper and then just use those as background yeah. papers. You know when you've, your mojo's gone to town yes. and you can't think of what to create? Yeah. Just create backgrounds because A, it's ridiculously satisfying. B, you will always use them. You'll always come back and, you know, find a use. But it's really, really... When you, you actually create them and you look at them and it's like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. And that in itself inspires you. Now, I'm just darkening the edges now because that will give it even more, um, it will just look even more interesting. I would have, you know the gold rub -ons, which sadly sold out? Yeah. A bit of those would look amazing on this, Beautiful. actually, because the, that pop of gold would look absolutely phenomenal on here. However, we have, of course, got a pop of gold in our one day special we so do. what i've already done here is um i've done a bit of a, a matte and layer and i'm using a pop of the one day special because i just thought that color works so well with the brand it, does. it really complements that that beautiful vintage tone and that's what i love about that one day special you can create really vintage looks with it but because it's got the sort of modern coffees in there you can obviously you can bring it bang up to date if you want as well so it just gives you loads and loads of options so create our matte and layer put that on there like that as ever it's like you've literally just covered up all your stamping i know but it's okay once you get into backgrounds yeah. you kind of get over covering stuff up because you do that many it's like just just get over it love leave it at the door and um, got another matte and layer <laughs> and if you if you were really precious you can always gut it exactly you? yes absolutely yeah. or just never use it and keep yeah. it in your little stash of lovely backgrounds but then it's just a little bit well but th this is one them. of the things isn't it that if you this is what you enjoy doing 
then do backgrounds. Mm -hmm. You don't have exactly. to finish anything. Pick make a little book, just exactly. a background. And let's see, because I love my sentiments, don't I? A little book with just, with your dice, look, yeah. oh, and okay. making your book, and then you just have loads yeah. of backgrounds with just one sentiment on. That's all you That, know. for me, that's just that's joyous. Absolutely. And it's joyous creating it. Yeah. Now, this stamp, I've already stamped him and cut him out, is this guy. Oh, oh yeah, look at this guy. I'm going to show you how it stands him. because just, just so you can see the quality. I mean, I know I've got him there, but um, let's just stamp him out. It's Ollie again. Um, Ollie does appear in quite it, a lot of does. our stamps, doesn't he? Does. he? If you don't know Ollie, folks, you missed out. Yeah. He, he's, he, well, he still is great, but he just doesn't work here anymore. Yeah. How rude. Yeah, um, we but, very much missed. But yeah, he's very much missed, especially because we see him on a lot yeah. of fantasy images. No, you know who Dan, who has got a good beer where he grows it? Um, Adam Poppin. Has got boy band. Uh, yeah, boy band. Yeah, he has got a good beard. He has got a good beard. Yeah, yeah. so yes. you know, yeah, he could be our next, our next uh, uh, beard man, the man, our next vintage man. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's weird. That's, yeah, weird conversation. Sorry, <laughs> folks. Um, so that's who I've got here, my vintage gentleman. So what I'm just going to do is, because you were talking about colouring in it, and I got yeah. my pencil crayons ready. Ooh. So pencil crayons that were on the other day on my like, Stadler show, which was ridiculously busy. And I was so pleased because I love these. Um, so I wanted to just add a tiny bit of colour into yeah. this because again with something like this you know you've got that ability haven't you you've got that ability to to make yeah. it your own so bring in a little bit of colour my water brush like so which is beautiful I always forget their ears yeah Always. It's true, actually. It's it's true. Literally. I, I mean, I have forgotten that I've forgotten about the ears. <laughs> you know. I forgot, I forgot. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's like, oh, it's pretty, you've got an ear. And there we go. So just a little bit of colour. And then let's give him a nice little blue eye. <laughs> there we go. And then let's give him just a touch of blue here. I'm only giving him a real touch of colour. I'm not going to go in heavy with it because I think this will look really interesting. You know, sometimes, you know, like in the old photographs where they just literally add a bit of colour to a photograph and it'd look really interesting. That's kind of what I'm doing here. Okay. So now this has been stamped on the Le Blanche card blanks actually. And cut out. I'll give him a nice little rosy cheek. Oh yeah, a yeah. little bit blushed. Yes, just okay. a tiny rosy cheek. Yeah, not too extreme. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh darling. <laughs> there we go. You the should have just been but... running a marathon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh sir, what have we said to embarrass you? Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's give him on the top hat. Just bring in a bit of black because I want a little bit of black on that top hat. Just to emphasise the top hat. And I'm going in gently with it because I don't want any um, extreme colour. Extreme colours. So just a little bit of the black there. Like that. Beautiful. Right, I'm happy with that. You could go in as well. I mean, if you wanted more detail, you could go in with your drawing pen and pull out more detail. But I quite like that. I quite like it subtle. You know, I might go in. Oh, here she goes. <laughs> just a bit of yellow. Just a bit. Where just, are you going to then? What I'm just this? doing this. And then, <laughs> and then, here she goes, faffing. That's where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Faff. Because uh, I it's want a good a destination bit. faffing around. It is, isn't it? Faffing around. Mm. Depends, really. <laughs> there we go. That's enough. That's I just, enough. I, I, it's enough. <laughs> mm. Yes, Leonie, it is enough. You've been three hours on this one card. Mm. So, what I want to do now, I've taken that out because I wanted to put a little bit of paper in yeah. because I wanted that to, to lift yeah. the, um, the card. Of course, I am going to take my ink, just go around the edge of this because I've cut it out. You need to edge it. It'll make all okay. the difference. Okay. But edge the inside as well because that'll help um, frame it and it'll also help um, create a bit of a shadow. 
Okay. See, it looks so much better. It's really, really important, especially on something like that. So that's that bit. I'm then going to take a little bit of 3D foam off my whopper of a roll. Whopper. whopper. <laughs> I always wanted to say guapa because I like to use that word because in Spanish means uh, it's guapa, which means uh, beautiful, fe female, fem uh, beautiful. I, I said like. it because of you. No, it's because of you, darling. It's because, because of, of you, darling. darling. <laughs> Let's say it's because of Maddie or Holly and Charlotte who are our uh, people. All, in all the ladies. Ears. All the girls. All very the ladies beautiful in the room. and very talented and very hardworking and very inspiring youngsters as well. Yeah. yeah. Those yeah. youngsters. Yeah. Most fabulous youngsters. They give us the you know the youthful energy that we need. <laughs> Look, are you saying we're a bit like vampires and we <laughs> we we yeah, I know. So it's, the youthful it's energy? Maybe I'm not saying. You know. <laughs> now I'm taking the the chocolate the chocolate express. Oh, so yeah. my guy. Yeah. He's in charge of the Chocolate Express. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. Well, yes. Oh. <laughs> and also because because oh, I, I just think it looks quite. Mm -hmm. I like this cupcake. because mm -hmm. it's kind of random. So it's gonna have it's gonna have a cupcake. I really liked it yeah. because I think it actually works. Well, because he's, not, it, he's knocking in the, your, your door with chocolate and cupcakes yeah. with a cherry on the but top. But also. It's got a cherry inside. <gasps> now that, me that I absolutely adore. That's that now fabulous. makes it. Absolutely. So you are the cherry in my eye. Oh. Be careful of this man. <laughs> Do, not <laughs> Do not trust this man. He's got oh. a cherry in his eye, that one. Oh, he's got a cherry in his eye, is that no, one? No. But no, I'm quite sure with that. That's and it's funny, funny, actually, because I think of random all the time, but I don't normally use random. With this one, I thought, I'm going to use random because I quite like it. And I, I think the cupcakes so work with vintage with images. I, I they do. absolutely work. I think it's the softness and the kind of vintage element. And now, of course, uh, thank you, Leone. Thank you. Uh, well, you get reset for your demo. We are very busy for the one day special. Over 70% of the stock has gone. Now, that means that, you know, if you want it, please make sure to check out your baskets. Look at what you are getting. You are getting 12 by 12, so you are getting 12. You are getting four designs, three of each, double-sided, so you have got plenty to look around. I love that. I love that you have more of that chocolate, kind of hot chocolate element, but also those amazing backgrounds that you can use for your decorations. You have the, play, you know, the kind of, I say plain, but look even the layers in those corners, those distress elements. We know about those memory albums. If you are like our Charlotte, that her family loves an afternoon tea when it's allowed. And she has got beautiful memories when her Nana uh, was, uh, I think, her birthday. And they went to a very rich, very expensive uh, hotel in London to have an afternoon tea. Those memories print those pictures and make a memory album about those afternoon teas. Those beautiful chocolate cakes that maybe you are a baker like our Holly and you have made an amazing uh, chocolate cake. Then bring it to life, it those pictures. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, bring it to war. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the truth. Uh, now I do like a little bit of a hot chocolate as well myself, and then of course this of course reflects that not just the coffees, not just the teas, but also that. Then you are getting those glorious foil papers. Now the pastel theme comes through it, and very little goes a long way, like Leone has just shown us. We don't have to use everything. We can just imagine that you have got your foil card, mirror cards, and then you just add elements. You can cut tiny squares if you want it and then bring them to your creations. You can then bring, I mean, this one, I mean, look at that. How gorgeous that they look as, a, you know, looks so expensive. I was saying in the 8 a.m. show, buy cheap chocolates. Not for me. For me, I need expensive ones. But, you know, for, you know, for somebody else. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Cheap chocolates for other people. <laughs> I'm just joking. But what I was meaning is, like, buy cheap chocolates, then you put them in a box like this, and then they will look amazing. You can, you know, if you buy me chocolate, it doesn't matter if they're cheap or expensive. I will love you forever. Anyway, that she's is lying. the. If you buy cheap, she'll, she's lying. If you buy cheap chocolate, she'll judge. 
<laughs> but I will not know if it's cheap chocolate if it comes in a box like this, will I? Uh, unless, you know, you said that you watch me on Hot Channel and then I will know it. Um, anyway, moving on from that. Uh, now, we have all those amazing sentiments as well. Look, there is no metaphysics on Earth like chocolate. Biochemical love is just like eating large amounts of chocolate. Money talks, chocolate sings. I have measured out my life with coffee spoons and I never drink coffee at lunch. I find it keeps me awake for the afternoon. And I love this one. And of course, there is other ones in here. It's like, anything is good if it's made of chocolate. Those sentiments is absolutely how, why you want this collection, because they kind of add that quirkiness, they add that humor into your cards. But you also are getting those die cuts, 174 individual die cuts. So you're not gonna be like, oh, I cannot use that one because they only have got six. No, 174, but that's not all. You are also getting those paper flowers as well. So projects like this as well, imagine, think about your paper flowers to bring them into life. But these are the foil papers that you are getting. Memory albums, beautiful displays for home, that prettiness of the palette, that all is incorporated in the fabulous one day special. And even better, you have a 25 pound saving. So you're just paying 15 pounds and 99 pence, which is way better than half price, which makes it even more a reason to get, to check out those baskets, 207. 433 is your item number. Now remember the craftstore.com, that's the easiest and fastest way to order here at the craft store. Right, but you if you want to give us a call, you can by all means. We have got a call center upstairs and you have got a telephone on the screen there. Now we have also the Love Lounge Lilac Decoupage, 12 sheets of 35 by 49 centimeters. Now this fabulous collection gives you uh, three uh, of each four, of four designs. You have the gorgeous lady into the smaller size and you have got the same patterns into two larger designs. So imagine that you are kind of going to do uh, an upcycle of project. You have the option to go for the smaller print or design or the larger one. You have got both. Then you have, of course, the glorious backgrounds in here with this gorgeous lilac soft um, tones. And to have that means that you have the background sorted. Then you can cut elements into it and place them in the center. So the background and the foreground is taken care of. Three quarters of the stock of the this lilac decoupage kit has gone and of course it allows you to create bigger pieces for home decor. £17.99 is your price, 992-391 is your item number. Now, the flexi stencils, always popular because of their versatility, their ease of use. Now, if you have used the stencils in the past, maybe you have used them with texture paste or glitter paste, and you have a struggle to get a fine impression, why not give these ones a try? One of the reasons is because they do have that flexibility. It's not mylar, but also the other reason what I would go for them is because, let me see if I can, they are self adhesive So you do not need to kind of get a product to kind of attach it with low-tech tape. So that means that if we put them around, say if around a bottle, you will get a much better connection. And then of course you can dab it around it. Now you kind of hold it there and then you can repeat the panel should you wish to. So this means that if you are upcycling your bigger pieces of furniture with this bundle, you can do that. You are getting six A5 flexi stencils for just 15 pounds and 99 pence with five pounds saving, but over 60% of the stock has gone. So grab yours by checking out those baskets. 722-379 is the item number. Now those beautiful detail stamps, they have been very busy this hour and I'm not surprised. I was like looking through them with Charlotte before the show and I was like, I really love them because they're a little bit different, but still they have that vintage theme that Love Lounge are so well known for. Over half the stock has gone, and if you want to be like Leone and kind of bring them in that quirkiness, you can. He's fabulous, he's absolutely fabulous, but so is he. And of course, Leonie was using those ones for the backgrounds, and even that corner here can be to fill on this, the, the elements. The one thing that I love as well, if you are struggling with stamping because of the, you know, like for instance, you, you have to always use a stamping platform. With this, you don't have, and you, you cannot use a stamping platform, but you have the ability to press down. And it's just 
It's quite satisfying, I have to say. It's soft and gentle, but obviously it gives you a little bit of a grip at the same time. So fabulous to use. 19 pounds and 99 pence with that fine print as well. 15 pounds saving, which is almost half price. So it's a fabulous reason to check out those baskets. 478-349 is your item number. And then we have the steampunk pa rice papers in here. So there is four different designs. So we're going to put it. And uh, we have got those four different designs. And you have them, of course, three of each. I love this image. I think this image is absolutely stunning because it gives you that romanticism here, but also the quirkiness, the kind of surrealism of the uh, steampunk uh, kind of image. Um, visuals in there now these i love because again i'm thinking you know alice in wonderland that would be a really fabulous so if you have got that theme but then again that window and um, reminds me of that fabulous um silent movie metropolis you know the kind of the automatons and the kind of mechanical elements and then again you have that in there with all those layers Again, Alice in Wonderland, maybe you can do a kind of an element of Alice in Wonderland has grown up and that mechanical eye. So many details in here. Remember, four different designs, you are getting three of each. Uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price. 414-578 is your item number. We also have a Luxus uh, paste as well. Now we have had a question about this uh, from uh, Theo. Uh, now she is asking uh, if they are washable, the Luxus paste. Uh, now, oh, Theo, sorry, I, 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 I called you a girl, but whichever is your gender, uh, we welcome mm -hmm. your questions. Uh, Rose, I do apologize if I got it wrong. Uh, Rose, a turquoise, beige and lilac with two foam brushes. Are they washable or do, should we put a varnish, Leona? A varnish, definitely, varnish. definitely. I mean, we've put them on um, onto uh, glass, uh, but yeah, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be submerging that in water. I mean, they are a permanent paint. Okay. They're a permanent. So when, like, when I look at that now, you know, when it dries, I mean, I would have to scrub it. I'm trying to look for something, bear oh. with. In fact, look, I've got loads of water in front of me. So when you look at that, I mean, it isn't coming off easily. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it is a permanent paint, but but I wouldn't be sticking it in the dishwasher oh. and fabric. I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was permanent on fabric, but mm. I haven't tried. Truth yeah. be known. But I mean, when you look at that. Yeah, it, it takes it's, it takes a it good, takes a fair good, bit. Yeah, so, but yeah, so they do dry permanent. But yeah, don't if you're putting it on glassware, don't stick it through your dishwasher. Just dry it, and actually that hasn't budged. Yeah. So there you go. There so you it'll go. take a little bit of water. Well, that awesome. one. But I'd, if it's anything um, like you know your your uh, furniture and stuff, yeah. I'd absolutely put a coating on uh, varnish just to protect it, just to be on the safe yeah. side. That um, makes sense. Okay, right. shall I crack on? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Oh, I want to put that away because I'm not doing that. I've Ooh. got 10 minutes, so she says. So, um, woo. so what I'm going to do is I'm using the um, decoupage. So I've got all my elements. I was just checking that. I couldn't remember where I put everything. Um, so what I've got, first of all, I've cut some of the decoupage out. So it's that beautiful lilac decoupage. Now, this is the big sheet. So that was cut from the big sheet with the actual lilac in the centre. OK, so I've cut the lilac out because I want that to be 3D'd on this. And I've cut these out because I want these to be um, on a canvas, a smaller canvas. This is a tub of water. So you literally submerge it into water. When I um, watched Blanche do this the first time, it was, you know, when it's like, what? Why do you need to do that? That's, but it absolutely works. So just let that sit in there and that's absolutely fine it doesn't make the um the paper disintegrate it's it's just um incredible how it works quite frankly so leaving that to one side now i've cut out my lilac okay now what i've done with this i've actually glued some of it onto my leftover stone paper that i had on the oh, other day yeah. um i think blanche on hers because i've copied this idea off blanche i think blanche used to 3d 
LED hose, I think she used to do a glue gun. You know me, I'm lethal with a glue gun. So the stone paper is fabulous because it'll give me that dimension. Yeah. Um, you might want to use your, your stone paper, but you could use anything. It's just to give you a bit of dimension. I've only used it on the, the lilac the flowers and then one of the leaves uh, because I wanted some of it to lay flat and some of it to actually be dimensional. Uh, obviously, there's a little bit of fussy cutting out there, but it's really nice to cut is this decoupage paper. You know when some papers, your scissors just yeah. glide? Absolutely, it's one of them. Yeah. It's very satisfying. It just glides. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is get some adhesive onto my canvas. Now, you're using basically any of your, uh, your decoupage adhesives. So, you know, whatever it is that works for you. So I'm just going to give it a quick layer of adhesive. Um, this is just a plain canvas. Um, I obviously haven't coated it or gessoed it or anything. So just getting that adhesive, I don't need too much, but I do want a, a decent covering so I know it's going to stick. Okay. Um, the col col gel that I use, collar gel that I use is a Stamperia um, product and I know a lot of people have purchased this in the past, but any of your decoupage adhesives will be marvellous. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's my coverage now. This is the, the fabulous bit. So you bring it out of the water and you can literally just move it into oh. place mad in it it's just mad it's mad but it's fabulous yes. so now i know that i want that bit to actually overlap my other bit so i'm actually going to peel that down i'm then going to bring this into place like so so i'm happy with that there i'm just going to pull this down so that's like so I love this because yeah. it, it it shouldn't work, you know. The, in your head, you're going, "No, nah, that don't make sense. Why does that work?" And yet, it jolly well does. This is where Leone goes. Oh yeah, I forgot to get a clean cloth. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, Blanche always has a lovely clean cloth. Leone has dodgy cloth, so <laughs> I, you'd use a really nice clean cloth for this bit. Um, not this. This is no good. Sorry, mm. folks. Let me just rummage. Yeah, well, you rummage. I'll give the details for the decoupage kit. Uh, the lilac one, uh, £17.99 is your prize, and you are getting 12 beautiful large size. So you think about it. An A3 is 30 uh, centimetres, or just under 30 centimetres by 42. So you are getting even larger than that. £17.99 is your prize for all 12 of them. 992 391. Very busy for those ones as well so make sure to check out your baskets so right. well you you what you do with your cloth you literally just getting out any air bubbles so you just drag your cross uh, your cloth over your your decoupage paper and again this bit in itself look at it it's not ripping the paper it's not stretching the paper the ink isn't coming off i mean it is amazing it's mm. really really good quality stuff um which i i adore yeah. you then so that's stuck on beautifully i'm then going to give it another coating very quickly will that be act as, like a savarnish then yeah yeah and also because i'm putting another layer on oh, because i'm going over the top with my next layer ah. so that's particularly in this one on why I need another layer of adhesive on so that's that now with this one I need to cheat a bit because with this one I've got some that's still um, it's still just decoupage but some's on the um, the the actual uh, oh, stone paper so some of it I want to get submerged in the water the other bit not so so this one takes a little bit of faffing oh, so I'm holding yeah. the florals up like so and then just bringing that over like this just move my glue because i know i don't need that get that out the way get my cloth dry my hands i like it because you've got a bit of time as well mm -hmm. do you know what i mean you don't need to to panic um i'm then gonna get my gel medium oh no i don't want to do this yet sorry thinking thinking i don't want to do this yet because i want to knock this back mm -hmm. okay let me just give it a quick blast dry oh. absolutely well, oh i unplugged my gun because oh, i was being safety somebody conscious somebody turn on the oh, power 
Leona, well, Leona yeah. uh, <laughs> oh, well, does that. Uh, you know, the, the one day is special, very busy. Remember that the one day is special uh, should you know should last until 6 p.m. But that's uh, if, if the stock lasts. But three quarters of the stock has gone. You have got this amazing, amazing bundle that is a little bit different. It has the cupcakes. It has got the chocolate. It has got the die cut elements. It has got the paper flowers. Those background papers. They all work together and they all are a standalone stunners. Uh, you have a saving of 25 pounds, which makes it that you only pay 15 pounds and 99 pence. An amazing, amazing saving. A reason more to get uh, to check out those baskets. 207433 is your item number. That background paper with that full uh, kind of embossing detail is absolutely glorious. Then you can bring all of it if you want to the background or maybe just parts of it now these cards are 15 by 15 which we do have the blank cards on the show as well should you wish to make them but you think that you can bring all different sizes if you want it you don't have to go a square you can go a little bit rectangle but if you wanted the cards at the bottom you have a set of 24 with this envelopes as well Five by sevens as well, they work beautifully with this. And of course, you have those die cuts, 174 uh, of them. And you have got the paper flowers, they are coming kind of a cream color. So you can color them any color you want. You can see them at the bottom there. 207433 is your item number for the one day special. Right. Okay, okay. Right, I only want to knock this back slightly. You know, I don't want to um, to ruin it. I don't want to, you know, um, hide the, the detail too much. Um, and I know I've only got a couple of minutes, but we'll do what we can. So getting my um, white gesso, taking the excess off, I know it's a bit gluey, so it's not... Um, I was getting ahead of myself yeah. with the glue. But you can see straight away, just a little bit of that gesso, it starts knocking this back. The reason being, when I go over with the, the other layer, with the beautiful big lilac, I want the big lilac to stand out, which means this needs to be in the background. You know, so I really, really want this not to be the focal image. So just a bit gluey there, I told you, lots of glue. So just knocking this back gently and it works you know keep those layers just making sure you go on gently with that gesso don't get heavy-handed and I say this because that is what I do you know and the the excess paper I take the excess paper and you can see the excess around the edges when it's dry then I take that off I'm not bothering messing with that now and I'll tell you what I wanted to do as well, bring in the stencil Ooh, with this. Because the stencils. I will, I am mm. going to show you because the stencils look absolutely gorgeous with this. I know I won't have time to finish, but all the same. If you bring one of your beautiful stencils in, now you have to be dead, Kurt. I'm really pushing my luck here, folks. And this is just because I'm rushing. But Ooh. I know I'm pushing my luck because this is still wet and gluey. You don't want, don't do this. Don't put oh. your stencil on a wet and gluey surface. That's really stupid. But I'm rushing, so I want to show you. Mm. So this hour has gone flying. Oh, it's gone so quick. It's like really, we have got seconds to go. Check out your baskets. Make sure that you get your love lunch goodies. Look All right, and then look at this gorgeous stencil. Look oh, at that beautiful stencil. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, it's it's such so... a nice stencil. Oh, and gorgeous. imagine, I mean, you'll have to imagine. No, I will finish. I'll probably finish it next hour. Okay. So I don't mm. rush. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish it next hour. So I will take it out of the water. Otherwise, it's going to be in there for hours. Oh. Um, and then I can whew, show you how to finish that one. That's well, a better idea, that, isn't thank it? Thank you so much, Leone. Of course, the next hour with Leone will be at 4 p.m. So stay tuned for that with Derek. But stay tuned because we have but lots more here after the break, so stay tuned at the craft store. Well, we have got pink in designs after the break with Yanis and Kathy. Then Karen Kitts is back with Oakwood, Daisy and Critters. And then we are making it Joe. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. 
The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps, and we've got a great range of inks, which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. I am Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint but with me and the SAA I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Branche is a crafting company located in Germany. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us and crafting with La Branche. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board will share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows. Well, hello everyone. I've got a big smile on my face because I get to spend another fantastic hour with the incredibly talented Kathy in Pink Ink Designs. Kathy, hello. Hello, everybody. Hi, Yanis. Uh, do you know what? I love working with you because you are such a talented artist, and it's your story as well. Because we've been fortunate enough to have worked with each other a lot over the years. I remember when you at school, you really found a lot of sanctuary in your art. Oh, you've got good memory. Yeah. 
we've had I that conversation a long time yeah. ago. Oh yes, I, I, well, um, I'm dyslexic, so I used to spend all my time drawing, and I was very fortunate that my teachers let me do it as well. Yeah. I, I must be the only person in, in history who's never sat a maths exam. But look, you don't Seriously, need to. Seriously, I haven't. You don't need to, because you've got Mel to do all that. <laughs> Right. Mel, Mel's right. at home with the calculator. <laughs> yeah, she's there. Um, look, genuinely, and I, I know I say this a lot, but what makes the craft store such a special place are the fantastic companies and artists we have uh, who are part of our family. And Kathy is incredible, and she works so closely with Mel, who's the other half of Pink Ink Designs. And what you get here, there are no stock images. Everything has been created from your imagination, translated onto paper. Uh, I know in this one we're actually talking about you've started using digital. Uh, yes. How, now, how does that work? Um, well, historically, I've always used pencil and paper and, and tracing paper to, to layer up my work, which I, I still do, actually. Yeah. Like the initial stuff I still do, and I'll show you that in my sketchbook. Um, but uh, I work with a graphic um, designer, and for years he's been saying, you really ought to try a, ta a, a, a digital tablet, Cathy. Yeah. I oh, no, no, I can do it as quick on pencil and paper. Anyway, to cut a long story short, I invested in one, yeah. and I have not looked back. It is amazing. What? And you're still drawing. Of course you it's, are. It's, it's, just, just digital. it's just a digital line yeah. as opposed to a, a, a lead pencil line. Well, I want to put this into context because one of the fantastic stamps, it was the Oriental Princess? Is that the one that uh, you... Yeah, Oriental yeah? is the one that took the longest. So yeah. Oriental Princess, Kathy started on paper, and when she did go digital with it, she counted 20 thousand strokes yeah i personally didn't count, count well, no, the, 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 yeah. i mean twenty thousand <laughs> strokes it took nine and a half hours to get this right uh and that's not factoring in obviously the development before uh getting a, so you'd obviously get an idea of where you're yeah. going to go and then putting it on yeah. let me show you something if you're looking for any reason why pink ink is so special it's because you can do stuff like this this is just absolutely exquisite. The detail, look at the dragon draped around her neck. And that's just the hero image. You're getting so much more in one stamp set. I want to pick up that stamp set, and then I think we should talk about how this all originated, because there's a really nice story behind this release. So look at this. And this is what you do so well, Kathy, because you give us our hero image, but then all these other little elements. So you've got the koi fish, the dragon, another koi fish beautiful sentiments going through. You give us the scene builders to give context. Yes, and, and actually they work really well on their own as well. Yeah. And some of the samples um, below you, the girls have used just the, the uh, not the hero, the other ones to make their cards. And they're, they're just beautiful. They and just we'll stand, stand really well alone. Yeah, those. Just show you. Oh, now come on. Done. That's just one of the smallest. That is Isn't beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? You see this one? This was Karen. Karen. That is and she's actually beautiful. got a, a YouTube video on how she did that as well. That, and I want, I'll watch that. And I love the, how she achieved the ripples in there. Can you just tell us? So these are women around the world. Can you just tell us how did this all come about? Because there's a um, nice story behind this. Yeah, so it's a lovely story. We have, um, we've got a, a group Facebook page um, called Pink Inkers, and one of our members is called Tracy, Tracy Faulkner. And she's a woman of colour, and she. Um, contacted us as well as other companies to say that she felt that she wasn't represented within the, with imagery in the craft yeah. industry and you know would we consider doing something about something it something we hear a lot actually you know especially when we're talking about skin tones i've heard that before people sort of saying that especially uh, viewers and crafters of color saying that skin tones yeah. aren't reflected but i think it's more than just skin tones mm. you know and an, 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 an image isn't necessarily people don't necessarily identify with that just because you're putting a different skin color oh, no no yeah you that's know just some something i've heard like we've been shown techniques yes. how to do skin tones yes. and yeah seeing that but no this is so much more than just yeah, that. yeah you're so right. um so she asked us to do it and we we mm. were just going to do three and then we've added a fourth and then we probably will add some more as well because Good. people seem to like them well um, yeah. what's not to like i'm going to go through i'll, I'll be be quick because I know we want to get to demonstration and we're seeing some beautiful examples there. I'll show you each of the stamps. You can buy them individually or you can obviously go for the complete bundle which has been popular and you're saving £11. So we've got Oriental Princess at the bottom of your screen at the moment. I'm going to pick up the beautiful Spirit Warrior now. Look at this. You, might, you can see you've had some fun developing this, Kat. I love doing her. I absolutely loved it. Wow. Such a powerful image. Really nice sentiment with this as well. It reads, uh, she needed a hero, so that's what she became. Not waiting for someone to save her. She became the hero herself. I will show you some images. <laughs> Look at that. That is just immense. Uh, this is Susan. 
she's used Mustang Harry in there as well. I nearly said it. You nearly did. Uh, it says Mustang Harry, who you can find on our website. But I love the eagle swooping in, beautiful background. You've got the sentiment and the figure. Or how about this? Because it does scream for color. This one is Sheila. I mean, that's stunning. Yeah, Sheila's just, she's really, really colourful in her work. Beautiful. Just the most amazing pieces. And there you see, she chopped all the feathers off the top of her head. So instead of sort of being uh, the queen, she's just sort of a bit more, you know, perhaps not so. She's changed her up a yeah. bit. Well, I love that. Like really, Indian really nice. Score. That's our spirit queen, uh, spirit warrior, sorry. Uh, so spirit warrior details at the bottom of your screen for spirit warrior. Actually, no, it's Mustang Harry. We will put spirit warrior at the bottom of your screen in just a moment. I'm going to go through to the next one. Uh, let's have a look now at our African Queen. Beautiful image here. So this is your African Queen now. Tell us a little bit about oh, African she, Queen. She's just so lovely to work with because you've got all the open spaces of her of her face and we've left the lines of her arms open so yeah. if you want to continue on drawing down you can add uh, more more of her costume and add colour to her costume and extend her. She's so so lovely to work with. She Beautiful, and I will show you some examples. I mean, there's so many elements going on there. So my question to you is, could you imagine doing something like this? Look at that, it's immense. Uh, we have got the stencil back in stock. I'm going to get to that because they sold out earlier on. Half the stock has gone here. Oh, by the way, stencils, you found them already. They're about to go for a second time, and I don't think we're bringing those back on extended delivery. So uh, stencils are already uh, sold out. They're on extended delivery. They look like they're going to be going again. So that is your, I want to show another one with the um, African Queen because she is stunning. Let's have a look at this one. Look at that. This is, oh, I'm not, I didn't read names out in the last one. Sorry, this is Gail. Uh, the design team, by the way, all the design team, their names are running at the bottom of your screen. Such a beautiful, strong image isn't with it? this. Isn't it? And, and look at her background. Isn't it just lovely? It really places her so well. I like And the ring going round is one tiny element on the, on the stand clever. set. It's, it is small, and all she's done is repeat. And, and yeah. I, you know, I really like that with all our little uh, additional stamps, is there's so much you can do with them. So nice. Okay, so that is your African Queen. And the final element in our uh, accompaniment of women, this is your Maharani uh, Siren. Let me just show you here. So I have got... Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at... My goodness, that is good. This one's from Karen. She, now, Karen has gone all out. There's a bit of, um, I'm getting sort of uh, a bit of an Aladdin kind of feel. It's a little bit. I mean, what you could do is you could almost chop a tail off and put her coming out of a lamp, couldn't you? You could. You really could. Slip Love that. Her. Oh, but then, equally, and this is a sign of a really well-designed stamp, just monogram chromatic. Yeah, that's Claire Burkett. She is our, um, our guest, de uh, guest designer for this launch, um, but she's also a competition winner. Um, on the Pink Inkers, we do competitions yeah. like every other month, and she's one of the winners. What? And that's why it's you beautiful. should join the Pink Inkers. So yeah. that's it. You have seen all the fantastic women from around the world. Over half the stock has gone. There are two flexi payments of £30. We are very, very busy for these, and we always are. I mean, Cathy is exceptional and I don't say that word lightly she is absolutely exceptional in her designs works so closely with Mel and it is that symbiotic relationship and what they produce here uh, you can see all four of those two uh, flexi payments of 30 pounds and 40 pence 075334 your item number now Mustang Harry you feel like you want to sing it uh, very busy for our Mustang Harry he is a very handsome boy majestic 1795 your price and uh, the design team have really enjoyed incorporating him into the designs over half the stock has gone for Mustang Harry 156 606 your item number if you were to add him in with the larger bundle then the good news is that you will get that flexi payment as well Stencils have technically sold out, so I am sorry if you missed out there. If you have got them in your basket, please make sure to check out. So we were able to get a little amount of uh, stock back on extended delivery, but that has gone. I know when we've got something good, because it attracts... Uh, I think it was that Alex that I saw. I think it was. It attracts Alex. I mean, she's not even meant to be in today. <laughs> like a moth to the flame. She obviously, her crafty senses, she knew that you were in today. Is it her day off? I think it is. Hello, Alex. There you go. <laughs> uh, she just came to see you. There's Alex. All right, now let's have a little look here. 
uh, we've got our fa uh, frames. Now, the boudoir frame, very popular. I think when the frames were brought to you uh, previously, boudoir was one of the most popular options. And I say, oh, when you see this, this is why the boudoir was so popular. And with the frame, so you are getting the sentiment in the center, but uh, you're getting so much more. It's, they'll go with anything, Kathy. They will go, and that's why Mel's put them on with, um, with the women of the world, because all you need to do is a little bit of masking off, and you can have things coming out of the frames. That's nice. Um, and I'll be using one of the frames for the demo, but Lovely. that's such a beautiful uh, well, design. That's Gail. Uh, this one is Louise. I'll show you that. Beautiful. So you have got that lovely verse in the centre. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> There's no name, so I'm guessing that might be yourself. No, I don't. I can't. I'm not sure who that one is. Okay. That might be Annette, possibly. Got to show this one, and then we'll move on. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, isn't it? I think come that's on. Gail again. Done. I mean, the characters love the pig. Uh, Fourteen ninety-five your price. Saving three pounds if you want to go for the frame there. Two, uh, three, eight, two, four, four your item number. And I will just turn that around so you can see. That is what you're getting, your large sort of central frame, sentiment, and then you're getting your smaller elements in there too. Okay. That, was, that was a Dame Edna pig, wasn't it? <laughs> it's a proper Dame Edna pig. <laughs> uh, now, we've got more for you. And this is a nice one. So this is your decadence frame. I will whip it around so you can just see what you are getting. There's an awful lot on this one. There is. Two, two different sizes uh, of frame. And again, brilliant for being like the secondary stamp, so you can have all sorts of things coming out of it. Well, just showing you here, I mean, that is, it is a decadent frame. So use your imagination how you're going to use this. This is Lou. This one, or how about this? No name on here. Oh, no, there is. Sorry, That's Sue. Sue Dix. Yeah. Beautiful. Isn't That's it? lovely. Brilliant. So there we go. That is your decadence uh, frame there. 352476, your item number there. And last but certainly not least, we have our elegance. Let's have a little look at our elegance. I will just turn that um, around for can you. Can I just say about the elegance yeah. stamp, Yanis? Of all our designs, and we've got a lot, that stamp there is the one that people use the most. As, as like an edge or a corner yeah. or a frame with all, all sorts of other of our designs that I see that so many times posted on um, our Facebook page. It is so versatile. <laughs> I just that sentiment made me giggle. I was born to be wild, but only until nine, yeah, nine o'clock. Exactly. That's yeah, that's that 9 p.m. That made me laugh. And that's a massive statement, Kathy. Uh, all, and you have brought us so many stamps. You're saying this one is one of yeah, the I most... I see it all large. over and yeah. over and over again. It's so well, good. We're just going to show you here, because you only have to use a little of your elegance. It's thinking your imagination. So there are so many elements to this. Love the zebra. Just peeping back. There you go, like, hey. Uh, that's my look when I think someone's brought in something. Uh, we, we've, we've got cookies. Ooh. <laughs> uh, 267736, your item number there. Saving three pounds. 14.95 is your price. Now, we're going to talk about Bockingford because there is something special about working with the Bockingford. We love it. Uh, I love how Leonie pronounces it because when she talks about Bockingford, she goes very posh. Bockingford. Uh, she does it very well. So Bockingford, look, it is a genuinely good cardstock, watercolour cardstock. I'm um, right saying hot press. It's hot press, yeah. yeah. It's made in the UK um, and it's very ethically made. So yeah. they take water from the River Axe and they recycle it in oh, the process good. of. So they're very conscious of that and actually we're conscious of that as well. Yeah, we love that. Uh, 14 99 your price there. 631-185 your item number. Now, we do have the microfiber uh, cloth for you <laughs> with two embroidery hoops that are on the floor. I'm just going to pick those up. Uh, we are approaching two thirds of the stock here. Microfiber cloth, uh, what I would thoroughly advise, if you've got access to our website, have a look at our earlier hour. It was at, eight, uh, was at nine, no, when was it? At nine o'clock. It was nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, it was at nine o'clock and go on to rewind because Kathy really did explain the virtues of the microfiber there and all the different uses. 1749 your price, 094 918 your item number. Uh, we also have the multi surface pick and mix paints. Perfect. As the name suggests, multi surface, but for the microfiber class, it was a match made in heaven. 1699 your price, you are picking four. They are such good paints. And we also have some new colors in the mix there as well. So uh, if you're looking to add to your color range, check it out or just starting your collection. 216999, your item number there. Uh, and finally, we have 
Now, this is your Versacraft. Uh, oh, now this is your small ink pad collection set of eight. Love the fact that you are getting eight colors. $15.99 your price. And again, Versacraft, very good to use on the fabrics. 066-750, your item number there. Now, we have had an email in from Pat. Uh, she watched this morning's show, oh, cool. and she decided to have a go at the resist technique. Look at that. Has she, she done that this morning, do you she's think? She's done that this morning, yeah. Isn't that fantastic? She's, and so she's obviously put little pots on, yeah. but, you know, you could change the shapes, and that's amazing, so the you, colours. I love the fact. So we were having a bit of a chat. And because we spent a bit of time on going through all the different ways we can use the microfiber cloth, and we, we did devote quite a lot of time to that, but Cathy was saying, look, she was so keen on making sure that everyone at home gets the most out of their purchases, and it's so nice to see that it really it's paid really off. It's yeah. really lovely. I love to see that. Yeah. yeah, because we do spend time, but it's because we want, yeah, we want people to use their products in, in all the ways that they can be used, not just sort of just you one. Want to inspire. Pardon? You want to inspire? Yeah, certainly yeah. we do. Definitely, uh, for sure. With that in mind, and thank you, by the way, for that picture. That was from, I want to say, that was from Pat. Pat, thank you so much. We're going to get to uh, our demonstration. Before we do that, we're going to have a look at the process. And you know how I was saying, with Kathy and Mel, there's no stock images here. Everything is truly unique, bespoke images, and we're going to see how they originated. So what have we got here? Uh, well, we've just got the sketchbook, although, as we said, I do work on a tablet now. Mm -hmm. Um, for some reason, I can't do my initial sketches on a tablet. It, mm. just, there's something about pen, pen and paper. Yeah. Um, so this is um, the beginnings of Maharani. So it literally are just some very, very quick pencil sketches, really just to get posture and position and, yeah. and how, so how we sit. just getting a feel for the character. Yeah, really. Um, so that would be how we start. Now, the reason yeah. I go on to tracing paper with, with ink mm -hmm. is that if... Just say that we particularly like this one, we want to work with it, but we feel the eye is incorrect. I will get a scalpel, I would cut the eye away, instead of having to redraw the whole thing, I'd then slip another piece of tracing paper underneath, uh, and then I can see all the levels and layers good. together. Yeah, yeah. So that's why we do that. Okay. Um, and so just more development, and I think we got round to here, and this was the beginning, and I did actually originally draw her with legs. She wasn't a mermaid, oh, okay. and I think it was Mel's idea to change her into a mermaid. Just good, thought it would be. Good. And this yeah. is why I say you both work so well yes. together. Mel's yeah. input really does make a difference. Um, and then I did, I did, I remember doing the tail. I thought I'd finished, and then she said. Mm, I think the position's not quite right with the tail, so... Yeah. Uh, but she's always right, she's got a really good eye, and so then we change it again. Yeah. And again, that's another good reason for doing the, the tablet, because it's so so easy to alter things. And then we've seen now the African yeah, Queen. Yeah, African Queen, very quickly, just, just some um, pencils. And I think at this stage, this is the stage where I import it into my pad, right. and then I work on it again. And you can see um, both this one and this one, our lovely Lulu Purple, who does all our video um, editing and stuff, she's prepared them and put them all on YouTube so you can actually see um, line for line from beginning to end. It, you don't see nine and a half hours, she's reduced it to four minutes for oh, one and I think two but minutes for another. Privileged to see that time lapse. So, yeah. So, do you want to put this into context and you see the amount of effort just to design one stamp and with the uh, Oriental Princess, so you saw the design, but even before it goes onto the tablet, how much development into the actual design. When um, Kathy did actually upload this into the tablet and start working with it, she then went on to do 20,000 strokes to achieve the finished uh, design. It took about nine and a half hours. So that goes to show how much effort in just one stamp. And they are absolute works of art, Kathy. We are approaching 60% of our stock for our complete bundle. Brand, brand new stamps from Pink Ink. And they are, oh, whenever we get a new release from Pink Ink, it's exciting. And you can see here though, it's something different, Cathy, and that's what you do so well. Well, I try to, uh, I try to do, because, you know, it's nice to learn new things. And this, I did this this week uh, in preparation for today, because this is really where I want to head with this piece of work here, okay. which is going to be stamping and pencil work. Perfect. Really, really simple. Um, and I'm going to be working on Bockingford, mm -hmm. but it's um, A2 in size. The A4 is perfectly adequate, it's just that I want to put Biggest as scale. much on as possible. Yeah. So but you we get can to still do the same techniques you're showing, yeah, just absolutely. on the A4 back in front. Um, and of course you can do it um, with the um, uh, Versacraft yeah. and do it in colour, oh, but for nice. speed uh, I'm using a big pad and okay. I'm using Versafine. So what are we starting with here? Pardon? What's this from? Uh, well this one is, I'm starting with a corner from 
um, elegance, yeah. which is the one I said that we see over and over again. Yeah. Um, the team use it every, you know, we, we get the samples through every launch, yes. and the times I see this stamp, well, it's, it's just actually, used oh, over that's and over. Beautiful. It I is have to beautiful. Say, elegance is very, very busy. We've got the details on the screen if you do want to go for your elegance. 70% of the stock, though, has gone there. Busy. Uh, 267 three, uh, 736, item number. Right, and I know you wouldn't see um, a spirit warrior with. Um, our oriental princess but I want to know. match them up together as Mel would say the continents are joining together yeah. and I want to get Mustang Harry in here as well and that is the beauty of art there are no rules you can do what you like and they're so detailed so if you're really into your coloring yeah um, you can really go to town and on Bockingford, of course, you can use all your different types of mediums. Mm. It's, it's got an open, um, it's quite open, so you can do your watercolour work. If you're using um, water-soluble pens, nice. um, you've got ages to carry on drawing out your colour. Cathy, that is so impressive. I've just got to tell you, Elegance has technically sold out, so the Elegance stamp set, I'm afraid, has sold out. If any do bounce back, I'll let you know. But as it stands, all our stock is either sold or in your basket, so do make sure to check out if you really want it. Now, we want Mustang Harry. Okay. What I want to do, I want him to look like he's in the background. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people are going for Mustang Harry. I kind of tell that Mustang Harry has got a special place in your heart. I love him. He, he's, he's so good to put with other things. I'm going to stamp him once on copy paper, okay. just to get some of the ink off. Mm -hmm. And then okay. I'm going to do a sec like that's first impression, isn't he beautiful? Well, just just hold it there for a sec so we have a little look. There we go. I mean that is a stunning image. And he then, looks a bit cheeky. Then I want him sort of close. I mean you can if you want to, you can always mask off, but I yeah. want to spread across and then I'm going to right. hopefully get more of a grey impression. So you're building up a whole scene. And actually your stamps they do tell the story of you as a crafter. Yeah, that's beautiful. really nice. Lovely. That's because you've you've Second generation has pulled him back, so now he looks in the distance, yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to have over this side... Mm -hmm. uh, Mustang okay. Harry, we're approaching 70% of the stock. Now, I was going to say, um, Cathy, that Mustang Harry, all, all your stamps kind of draw from your original life as an illustrator. Yes. Because they, these are images that you would expect to have in a book. Yeah, I've, I've spent all my life illustrating, um, greeting cards, um, children's predominantly children's books. I, I did that for a very long time. It's, it's exactly the same illustration for stamp as it is for a book. It's just going on a different, you know, yeah. end product. Um, and so we're going to have... I want, I want it sort of going up in line. I'm going to have some of the smaller elements down okay. bottom. Strong images. Look at this. And do you, when you're designing, say, our Oriental Princess, do you start to get a feel for their personality? Yes, as you're, I as do. You're drawing. How, yeah. would you, how would you describe your Enter Princess? How does um, she strike you when you're drawing her? Well, she's very clean and crisp, and and she's very she's quite symmetrical as well. And I yeah. I quite like symmetry. I think yeah. also when you're when you're creating um, pieces with with lovely colour, symmetry can be so nice. Mm. Look at that! Go. Isn't she beautiful? You know, with your with your stamps, and I can talk from experience because I have uh, I've used your stamps. I've crafted with them. Even someone just starting out, stamping down, using some watercolour pencils or pencils or alcohol markers, introducing a bit of colour, you are done. They tell the story. Uh, obviously, you're a more experienced crafter. The, you can see from the design team, you can go on and take it to that next level. But with your stamps, I think they appeal to every ability of crafter. Well, I think with good design as well, Yanis, that if you're just doing um, a bit like Claire's, um, a single tone, one tone, say black and white, or or, or you know just one colour. Mm -hmm. um, if you've got good design, they they stand alone. You don't yeah. always need a lot of colour, and that is quite telling in a in an image, I think. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. Actually, I like that. Now frame. this is a really useful little stamp. What's this, this one from? This comes from African Queen, and I use this on all sorts because it's That's great for edging. Beautiful. And I've drawn it that if you're if you do it, obviously take a bit more time than me. Um, it so it will extend. Yeah. It's nice. And I'm doing this edge by eye. If you're unsure, you could put a really light pencil line across. Mm. 
Um, but let's hope for the best. Yeah, that's oh, not that's too bad. Oh, that's lovely. Um, I'm tempted to put another one, but don't get carried away, Cathy. <laughs> And then what I want to do is I want to make it look like there's a top and a base okay. and I want to have some things hanging. So on, um, where is she, Spirit Warrior, we've got some feathers, mm -hmm. um, some quite small feathers. But then on African Queen, we've got a bigger feather. Mm -hmm. So with those three, I'm going to um, have them just coming down from the top. Now, what I want to do before I do that, I'm just going to dry this off because I don't want to put okay. my feet on and then move some black across yeah. here. So I'm just going to dry this bit off because that's my usual trick. I'll do a lovely stamping impression and then I'll move the ink all over the place. So there we go. And then what I'm going to do with this is going to show the pencil work. Okay. Um, now pencils, you can use any pencil. You, mm -hmm. can, you can buy expensive ones. Um, mm -hmm. And you can get cheap ones, like supermarket ones, and yeah. it really doesn't matter what you get. Just use, if anything, use what you have mm -hmm. um, to start with. Um, and if you look at the shaft of your pencil, you'll be able to see um, uh, letters, numbers and letters. Mm. Now, if you start with something like an HB, yeah. an HB is a middle-of-the-road pencil. Yeah. And... The numbers and the, and the letters indicate the hardness and mm -hmm. softness of your pencil. Yeah. So, if you've got, um, so we, we start in the middle with HB, and H being hard, and B is the, is the blackness. Mm. And the blackness, let's do another one of those, uh, the blackness is um, to do with the amount of graphite that's in your pencil. Um, as far as I'm aware, I don't actually think there's any lead in a lead pencil. I think it, in olden days there used yeah. to be, but now it's, it, I don't think no. so. Uh -huh. Anyway, so if you're, if you're a, a 10B, mm. you've got a really, really black, soft pencil. And I would have said it's probably almost all graphite. But if you go to a 10H, it's the hardest pencil you can get. So you need to select your pencils for what you're going to be using them for. Yeah, it's... Good advice. So if you want to do loads of shading, for mm -hmm. example, yeah. um, you would be better off with a B, a B pencil. Um, and if you want to do plotting and just sort of sketching out, um, then you'll be doing an H. So, I hope that will make God, sense. It does. I'm just li listening. And, uh, that's what I love about working with you, because you give us information that we, I find really handy. Now, I'm going to give you some information that I'm hoping you will find handy. You've already found them. I want to say thank you to Mel. Uh, the stencils sold out even before we got to them, really. So uh, in the interest of fairness, because I think some viewers would have missed out, Mel very kindly has given us some more. They are on extended delivery. It's the 20... 21st is going to be dispatched. You're getting both. I will hold both up. So you're getting your zebra and your giraffe for $12.99. They've sold out twice already. This is the third time, and I would imagine the last time we're going to be able to bring them back on extended delivery. I mean, never say never. Uh, I haven't been told that. I'm just guessing. $12.99 is your price. If you want to get hold of those, they are back on extended delivery. And a big thank you to Mel, who she did notice that a few viewers missed out because it's sold out even before we got to them. So thank you, Mel. We do appreciate that. Okay. How are we getting on? Now, I, this little fish... Um, there's oh, the two of them on fish. there, yeah. and they point in different directions, which is great if you're wanting, to, again, to do a line and do repetitive well, work. Or do a frame would be lovely, linking them up to do a frame or a border. Yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know, koi fish are very expensive. They are. They could be like hundreds of pounds. And herons love them. Mm, they do. Don't yeah. they? Uh, right, let's see. I might just put on... I don't know, i put one of these to get the Orient in oh, at the yeah. top. And then I think we're going to be ready for drying it off and doing cool. the lead pencils. So thinking about our warrior princess, if you had to have a spirit animal, what do you reckon would be your spirit animal? I tell you what it wouldn't be. Go on. Well, Mel's not going to know exactly what I'm going to say now. A mouse or a rat. <laughs> okay. I, I tell you what, I'm, like Janice is with spiders, I'm like that with those. I, like I would them. be, if I saw one over there, the TV door. or not, I'd be, I'd be <laughs> in the car park. I, oh, dear. Don't worry, we, we are, we are mouse-free mouse free. Yeah, I'm mouse glad free. to hear it. What's yours? 
As a guy, my ego is kind of driven towards like a lion or something or an eagle, but that's a bit boring. Um, what's yours? Email in. What would be your spirit animal? Right, I think that's for now. Mm -hmm. I could, see, we can always go back and add some more yeah. um, once we've got the lead working, but I'm just going to do a little bit of a dry off uh -huh. so I don't smudge it. Okay. Brilliant. As we do this, as we're drying, I'm just going to give you a, a recap of our bundle, our brand new bundle from Pink Ink Designs. We are very busy for this. It's going to be the last live hour with Kathy today, so do take advantage. Any questions, please get in touch. Studio at thecraftstore.com. Two thirds of the stock has gone here for our fantastic collection. Nice story behind this because Tracy, a fan of uh, Pink Ink, Kathy and Mel, she got in touch and she said, and this is a good point, and it is something I have heard in the past said, she felt, as a woman of colour, she felt that she was underrepresented within uh, the crafting community kind of designs. I've heard, I've had a similar discussion with a few viewers actually, and it was more when we do, when we um, did demonstrations with skin tones, uh, they felt that it was slightly underrepresented, which is actually a, a fair comment. So here, what Cathy did is she embraced the uh, the email from Tracy and she said fine and actually I've got to give compliment to Kathy and Mel because Tracy she said in a when she initially got to touch with them said she approached a lot of companies about this and I think only two people got back to her uh, and Kathy and Mel being one of those so here you're getting a set of four fantastic ladies from around the world and they really do take you on a journey around the world so we've gone from the uh, the east let's just have a look here Eastern Promise with the beautiful Asian pr uh, princess. Look at this. Isn't that Oriental princess? Sorry, I said Asian. Oriental princess. That is a stunning, stunning piece by Sheila. Love the cherry blossoms in there, the hair. Absolutely incredible. And it's interesting by changing the color of the dragon as well. You can soften the dragon, you can make it more prominent. That is really nice. So there is your Oriental princess. But we can go from our Oriental princess to our African Queen. Look at this, another incredible piece here. Now the African Queen was very popular uh, individually and you can get all the stamps individually. So there is your African Queen. Brave, is that say brave? Yeah, there we go. And then open this up, you've got the notelets in there as well. Look at the border going through. Be brave. Be brave, so yeah, yeah, yeah. there we go. Lovely. And then, so that is your African Queen. Then we have our beautiful siren. I'm going to try and show you our Maharani, Maharani siren. Let's have a look at this one here going under the sea from Sharon. Look at that. Stunning. And then finally, last but certainly not least, we have our oh, spirit warrior. Look at this. That is incredible from Karen. I mean, they're all, they all have their own personalities. They are so ridiculously detailed, wonderfully original. This is a work of art. It really is, and that's what you get with Pink Ink, such beautiful uh, designs. And you take it to the next level. Here, you've got an incredibly talented artist who's sharing her art with you and allowing you to go on and express your own visions with it. All four of these, I will hold up just one stamp set because we won't go through more, we want to get back to Kathy. But I just want to give you an idea of what you're getting in one of the sets. So there is your Spirit Warrior, the last one we saw. But not only do you get your hero stamp, you also get your sentiment in there, you get your worker stamps, that beautiful eagle, you get the uh, feathers in there. The sentiment reads, um, she needed a hero, so that's what she became. Strong, really. Leonie will be proud of you for that one. Do you think? Yeah, I do. hope so. Hmm? All right, so how are we getting on? Right, so what I've done is um, I dr I've dried off, but then I couldn't contain myself, and I've added an extra bit here okay. and here and here, just to sort of oh, frame nice. it. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, and again, like I say, if, you, if you're not sure, I've done it by eye. I think it slopes a little bit, but if you just plot okay. it first with a, a pencil just to get the... Um, um, get it square, then you can do that before you start. Okay, right, that so looks beautiful. Lead pencils, let's make sure I've got clean hands. Um, and then what you can also do is get a piece of um, copy paper mm -hmm. um, and wherever you're going to be leaning, 
make sure your hand or your arm is on the copy paper rather than advice. on your piece of work because then you can um, avoid smudging it. So mm -hmm. I've said about the lead pencils. Now, when you're using pencils, what you'll need to try and avoid is actually holding them as though you're going to write a, a letter. Yeah. You want to hold them slightly differently. And you can either do that by holding them up the shaft right. or actually change the position in your hand uh, and what it means is you you've got better flow with um sketching and drawing so by holding further up the shaft is it slightly lighter um, touch yes you, you 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 can you just get more flow and more mm. movement see if i was trying to if i was going to do that i'd be very considered and precise and in actual fact with sketching yeah. you know you don't so say we're going to put a horse's head in uh -huh. you know you 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 sort of plot it first do you see what i mean and then you would go in after and then do your one line. Kathy, how have you just let the team, and I'm joining them, amazing, how, literally in a few strokes, how are you able to achieve the horse's head there? But, but do you see what I mean? Oh, good, yeah, so, I do. So, so experiment, you can experiment actually just with mark making to start uh -huh. with and shading and sort yeah. of finding out what, what you can produce with your pencils. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, let's start on the piece. So what I want to do is I want, obviously want to get some shading in. So for my shading, I'm going to work with a, a 3B, which is sort of in the middle of the black. The black. Okay. And I want to bring uh, my spirit warrior forward. So I'm just going to put some shade behind. So 3B, if it was, say, a 10B, would the, the, the higher the number, the, the blacker the shade? Yes. So yeah. 10B, uh, which is the, the highest B you can get, which right. is pretty well pure graphite. Yeah. Um, will be the blackest. Right. Now, I, I, what I could do is I could go straight in with, a, say, a 10B, but what I tend to do is start in the middle and gradually build. So I'll probably go over this mm -hmm. several times over right. um, and build and build. So it's more of a gradual process. Because by doing this as well, and I, I totally understand the principle you're saying, like building up, and it's better to, to sort of build, it's easier to build up than to take back. But you're giving the feel like you've, the illusion really that it's it's been sketched exactly so you know with with this one there is stamping there but it just looks like a pencil drawing it really it? does yeah it really it really really does um and and that's really what we're trying to achieve nice. um so i've just swapped to a 4b um so i'm just getting the lead down uh -huh. to start with and then building the blackness now you can see all the pencil strokes oh, here yeah, yeah. Um, because it's it's B, so it's, it's soft and it's black. Um, because it's soft, we can use our finger to smudge it. Um, so make sure you've got a, a dry, clean finger, and nice. then you can start blending. Yeah. And this is another reason why you really need this, because if, you, if I was working here, my hand would be smudging Brilliant. that and going where I didn't want it to go. Mm -hmm. um, and I always say to people, try and avoid using a rubber. Oh, okay. um, I, I only really use a rubber at yeah. the very end, which I'll make sure I've got plenty That's of great. notice so I don't miss doing it. Um, just, just a little technique. Yeah. But, um, try just for the benefit of our American viewers, uh, silly thing, but it's a racer. In the UK, we use different, different terms. That might be a confusing if you have our American viewers. Yeah. Okay. Um, Sorry. Yeah, to try, try and avoid a rubber. It's, it's so easy to, especially when we were kids, we were brought up, that, oh, oh, I've made a mistake. Yeah. You know, try not to look at things as mistakes. Um, for example, that, that quick outline of a horse that I, I did, yeah. that doesn't get rubbed out. No. You, you keep that. Yeah. It, you just draw on top and on top. And, and as you draw, you get heavier oh, yeah. and heavier and deeper and deeper. Nice. And I've got to give a quick update. I'm so sorry. Yeah, go, Can go I, do you mind if I do? Because I know yeah. we're, work, we're about to start working on Mustang Harry. And Mustang Harry, he's technically sold out. He's been a very, very popular boy. We're going to show you the picture. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Majestic Beast. Seventeen ninety-five. your price. If you've got them in your basket, please check out. Now, Elaine sent a photo, and I think you're going to want to see this, Cathy. Yeah. I think that it's is beautiful. beautiful. Elaine, she wasn't sure whether it was good enough to show on TV. It's Would very you believe good that? Enough. Oh, yes. Of course it's it is. It's very good enough to show on te telly. Oh. It's beautiful, the background. And, and this, this is what I'm saying about the design, is they are so standalone 
that yeah. you don't need to throw everything no. at it. You know, it, it works just with a beautiful, beautiful background. I think that is stunning. Elaine, it is absolutely good enough to show on TV. I know that your sons give you uh, lots of compliments as well, but you're very, very good. Oh, is it friends? Sorry, I thought it was sons. Friends give you lots of compliments. And uh, she says that she's a big fan of uh, Pink Ink as Aww. well. So uh, well, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. And thank you for taking the time to send in the picture as well. Look, there is no judgment here. We are a community and we're all fans and we know that we've got crafts all abilities. I thought that was a beautiful piece, but please don't feel intimidated about sending in uh, don't feel intimidated about sending in your pictures. Now, Sarah, this is lovely too, has just emailed in to say, your explanation of pencil holding was excellent, thank Aww, you. Because well, it's important, it's something that... It is. You know, we, we shouldn't take for granted, because those new would really appreciate that. Well, you know, unless you're told, you, you, you don't know any different, do you? I mean, mm. I, was, I was taught, and so I'm just passing the information yeah. on. But it, it, do it really it does well. help. Um, in the long run if you know these little tips and techniques because otherwise you can just spend for ages holding it like you're writing and you don't yeah. get very far very quickly no but just changing your position as you're saying really just w holding it a little bit lighter a little bit further down the shaft does make a difference now we had another email in from Carolyn who said what a wonderful day uh, we got Kathy and Ali and I oh know so good and Leone and we had Karen you know it's been a fantastic day here at the craft store and I'm really glad you're enjoying it because I'm enjoying it as well I feel today's been fantastic okay well thank so you so we've been building up yeah so now what I'm gonna do I mean I obviously would carry on I'd link these two together mm. um, but I want to at some point I want to show about the um, rubber so I'm gonna start nice. putting some shading on her neck neck and her body um, now if you're not sure where to go I, I mean I sometimes do put shading in so it's easier to tell but the best thing to do is look in the mirror if you look in the mirror and see where the ins and outs of your body or your hand goes or what we were taught when we were at um, college is that you imagine that the Sun is in your top left hand corner of your piece of work and if the Sun was shining down over spirit warrior yeah. where would the shade be so if we imagine that the bridge of her nose is here, it's going to be casting shade on this side. Oh, uh, okay. So that's why I've put the shade there. We might get a little bit this side, but the sun will be hitting the bridge. Oh, yeah. So that's how we've got it there. And we'll just smooth it off a little bit. Nice. And also, we'd get a little bit of shading under the nose. And if you look in, the, in a mirror, you can see where the shade goes. So um. that's the easiest way. And quite often what I do is I take a photograph yeah. of, say I've got a hat, my hand, I put my hand in the position that I want. Oh, that's a good idea. And then idea. I look at it. That's a great tip. Yeah. Great tip. Uh, we had an email in. Apparently your, who's this from? Chrissy. Thank you, Chrissy. Saying your power animal will appear in your dreams. Oh, that's really? interesting. Well, I hope your, your <laughs> lion's a friendly one when it visits you. Well, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, eagles are the highest because uh, they fly close to a great spirit. So that, that's oh, good knowledge. Okay. So uh, apparently Chris, our director's uh, spirit animal, is Pamela Anderson. Okay, <laughs> you I don't think that counts, Chris. I no, no, counts. I don't think it counts either. But made us laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. But thank you, Chrissy. Joke aside, no, I do think I right. do appreciate that. Um, I think four A, four B is the is my, the deepest one I've got. Yeah, same. Um, so what I'm going to show now is is how much black. Oh, blacker wow. Wow. it can go yeah so that's intense uh, yeah you can ri and, and the blacker it goes the further forward our spirit warrior is going to come that okay now that makes a big difference because suddenly it's lifting her off the page yeah I, she's I, beautiful I wouldn't really ordinarily nice go in um, so quickly with the black it would be a, a gradual build yeah. but it's just to really illustrate that this is where we're headed nice Okay, so we'll just put some more shade in. Um, and then what we can do is with our harder pencil, oh, now it's a 4B, so I want a 3H, three, three that's hard. I'm going to suspend my feathers from a pretend top. So we'll draw them up. Again, I don't want to um, smudge what's below, so we'll just cover it up. Nice. Um, and then what I would like people, if they want to try this, um, at home, yeah. get creative with, with pencils. Mm -hmm. 
is to look at the imagery on um, the packaging yeah. and copy it. You are very good with the packaging because you do give us those examples. We, we do try. With, yeah. So, for example, if I want to mimic this um, lantern here, mm -hmm. and we'll put it, we're going to put it behind um, Mustang Harry. Harry. Yeah. So, so like I said, you're going to just sort of sketch in roughly. Now, you'd look at that and you think, oh golly, that's that's rubbish. All I'm doing is just getting the rough mm -hmm. shape of it. Okay, and okay. we are approaching 80% of the stock of our big bundle. We are busy and I'm just looking at what Kathy has achieved in such a short space of time and the potential with this set. I am not surprised. Uh, and don't forget, we have got the stencils back on extended delivery. They're going to be dispatched on the 21st, uh, which is a Wednesday, but they are very, very popular as well. They sold out twice. They are back. I will just lift those up to show you. So the two stencils and here they are. I'm going to get both of those for $12.99. They've sold out twice. They're back for a third, and I would imagine final times so if you want to get hold of those. Okay. So I'm just plotting in my imaginary top as well. To look, so everything looks like it's hanging. Now, yeah. I did this one small right. there, and then I increased it because it looked like it was balancing on the tip of his ears. Okay. So again, you know, you, your eye isn't drawn to the one that isn't there. It's yeah. going to be drawn to the one that is there. Nice. So you don't need to be rubbing out uh -huh. um, things that you believe are mistakes. Leave That's them nice. in and it, it just enhances that hand-drawn look. Oh, do you know what? Debbie has emailed in saying that she's learned so much today from your generous demonstrations. Aww. And she said she's always loved your designs. Oh, and uh, she you. said this release is stunning. I have to echo your opinions there, Debbie. I think these releases are absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad you've enjoyed the shows. So with my pencil, I am beginning to connect the whole piece. Kathy, this is an absolute masterpiece. It really is. A, a well, it, it's not yet, but it's you know it's. It's on its way. Well, I think I, lo I love your use of the border. So we use the elegance at the very bottom. That straight one's actually from the African Queen. Building up, we've got Mustang Harry, uh, who's nestled in behind our spirit warrior. And then you've got the beautiful Oriental princess. I mean, just stunning. And that's just two of our female characters within the mix. It's, it's showing, uh, I think, strength of diversity in so many ways so uh, with the images of the women in there and also them taking charge I mean the sentiment says it all in the spirit warrior and I think this is a great sentiment she needed a hero so that's what she became I mean none of this back in the day you'd see a movie and just waiting to be saved no she's gonna be her own hero she is and then you can see I'm again mimicking and copying um, some of the shapes so this is a really simple shape actually to to copy it's just a swirl and yeah. that just extends the image that you've got in your stamp you can extend it to be um, what you want it to be nice. to fill the space oh that's pretty um, and then here what well, I would darken that quite considerably so she really popped mm -hmm. forward and then what I might do is you see this circle yeah. I would probably repeat that okay. circle sort of behind yeah so again copying copying the um, image imagery that you've used Oh, that's pretty. To link it all up. So well, you draw go. a good freehand circle, Kathy. It has to be said. Well, with, with this technique of, of doing this, you see, you can then go on top. Once you've got it, you can then define it. Uh, you know, it's a bit bottom heavy. I want to here, give this so. a go. How are you holding the? Um, I would imagine it takes a little bit of practice, but you can see how the difference it makes holding the pencil in that way as opposed to the traditional way we're brought up, obviously writing with a pencil. Yeah, just hold, just hold it. Uh, even if you. Uh, even if you hold it that far up the, sh the shaft and doing mm. it that way, it's it's much easier to, to Is the difference, sketch. the key is where we're holding it on the shaft with the pressure that we're applying? Yeah. So, you see, I would then go really, really dark with this. Uh -huh. Right, now just, uh, how, how much time have I got, Yanis? Uh, you've got about six minutes. Oh, great, that's fine, I'm all right then. Yeah. So you put that in, make this darker. And then when you've grown in confidence, uh -huh. you could then start adding a bit of colour. Yeah. 
and that colour could just be a bit like the, the one in the journal, just a little touch of red or, or a touch of just something. It doesn't nice. have to be full on. Or you could just get a coloured crayon, a coloured pencil, and with your shading, just put a little bit on the top. Mm. Um, and remember with lead, if you're using anything water on top, it doesn't move. It's not water soluble, so yeah. it stays exactly where you've placed it. Nice. Um, and your designs, they look fantastic just monochromatic as we're seeing right here uh, and sketching out a bit more detail and really giving it that hand hand sketch feel but equally they scream for color as well you can uh, just see with the oriental princess the dragon draped around her neck so are you going to go for an intense red or a green what color eyes is she going to have i mean or oriental colors i'm thinking reds i'm thinking golds uh, you can have a lot of fun with it that's nice. Right, now with your um, rubber, the only time I would use a rubber, oh, also, rubbers on the end of pencils, mm. don't use them because mm. when they're brand new, they work a treat. When they have been sitting in your pot for a while, they've become a little bit hard. You go like that on your piece of work and you end up putting dark marks. Don't um, ever, I, I never ever use it, it's just not worth the risk, unless you're going to, on a scrap piece, sort of rub it first, get, yeah. get it nice and soft and clean before yeah. you go on. Okay, good always, always use a, yeah. um, you know, a proper rubber. Okay. Um, but what you can do, when you've been doing smudging like this, mm. sometimes the smudges go where you don't want them to go. The only time I use the rubber is, so say it's gone a bit dark over this feather and I want to bring the lightness up, is I literally rub with a point See, that's not a very clean. There we go. I've done exactly what I said don't do. It's made okay. a black mark. But you get the idea. Yeah. You then do that wherever you've got dark and then wipe it away to make right. it light. Brilliant. And obviously, because we stamped down, the rubber's not going to be affecting the actual stamp image. It's just where we've been using our pencil. Yeah. Oh, wrong pencil. I need a 4B. We are approaching limited stock for this collection. It is the final live hour with Kathy. But what you are getting is such a special release from Pink Ink Designs. You're getting 34 stamps in total, 11 pounds saving. Um, I will go through all the options. It's been immensely busy. I'm gonna be really quick here. This is your Orient, uh, sorry, the Spirit Warrior. There you go, so that's your Spirit Warrior. Then if I just show, I'll pick this down for a second. And then we have our African Queen, which you can see there. Then we have our Maharani uh, Siren. And then finally, we have our Oriental Princess. But I mean, fantastic works of art. They come from, I mean, this is Kathy at her absolute best, showing her illustration background and giving you characters that instantly scream. You get a sense of their personality. Can I very quickly cool. just, uh, yeah. how, how long have I got? You've got about uh, a minute and a half. Right, so what I've done here, um, I obviously have done the, the pencil shading on here just to show you, but I would have done it on here. And then with craft um, gel, I would have done that. So her face yeah. came forward, and I've done the same with her, her hand, with her elbow coming up. So it would have given her dimension. So if okay. you were doing something that was in like a, a box frame or mm -hmm. something, you can create that dimension, but it still looks like yeah. um, a sketch. It's um, but been I, I, I hope people pleasure. just give it a go. Yeah. Can we see the picture? Should we see the piece as a whole? Yeah. Let me just show you. So this is what we've been working on this hour. And look, come on, that is special. You're getting, this is achievable because you've got the images, the initial images from uh, Kathy and Pink Ink Designs. Do have a little play in what Kathy was really expressing this hour. And I'm definitely going to give this a go. Getting your pencils out and trying to give that, ha uh, that hand sketch feel to uh, your inspirations. I just want to say a huge thank you to Kathy. Well, thank you for having me. No, I've thoroughly pleasure. enjoyed it. Always is. And uh, I really felt I've learned a lot in the two hours. Good. Together, so thank I hope you. So. If you have missed these hours, please have a look uh, on our website, the Rewind option, and you'll be able to revisit any hours here uh, at the craft store. I want to say a big thank you to the design team and also Mel, who couldn't unfortunately join us today, but we're hoping to see you back in the studio soon. And thank you to everyone for joining us too. 
Pink Inkers on Facebook? Yes, group, Pink Inkers group Facebook page. Is the place to be. It is. And I know you want to see inspirations from people Oh, definitely. Yeah, we'd love to see. Send, send, us, yeah. send them in. Let us know how you're going to be using these fantastic stamps. Thank you so much, Cathy. Thank it's you, Cathy. It's pleasure. And thank you as well. We've got plenty more coming up. Oh, we got a good hour. Oakwood, Daisy and Critters coming up next. Then he's here, everybody. It's Make It Joe. And after that, La Blanche, the one day special. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. Our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. My products will complement everything that you have already, but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me for my shows with Craftscope. I'm Carol and I'm Hayley and together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies, we've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. On the Dreamy Shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Flexi order. When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, of colors, textures, and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dies, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products.
make sure you don't miss the Orange Parade shows. Welcome back, everyone. Lovely to have your company on this Friday afternoon. The weekend is there. Look, reach out. You can touch it. Oh, look, there it is. The weekend it is with us. It's brilliant. Thanks for your company this afternoon. Uh, not quite nice enough to be out in the garden at the moment, is it, in a lot of places, Karen? I think it's beautiful here. This it, is the first it, time I've come to... Uh, uh, Oundle. Oundle, that's it, yeah. yeah. For the, this year, and it's not rained. Oh, that's true, actually, because it does rain a lot it here. It does snow a lot here, here as well, I actually. Come here, yeah. I get to a certain part on the 81, and, and then it, it rains, snows. And it didn't rain today. Well, that's good, isn't it? Uh, welcome back, by the way. I know you've had one show already today. You've got another 95 to go to during I've the day. I've got a lovely busy day today. You have got a busy yes, day today, haven't yes, you? Yes, yeah. You've got a nice clear couple of weeks, haven't you? And to, then I've uh, got a nice clear couple of weeks to sort of clear up all the mess. <laughs> to, and, and to prepare for the next onslaught. That's um, the one. So today we've got something inspired by your. Yourself. It is, yes. Yes, Stuart's obviously, uh, Stuart's going into his own branding now, so, yeah. and he has been doing for the last 12 months. Yeah, um, this is Oakwood, of course. Oakwood, Stuart's the, um, Stuart is the, the managing director, yeah. the owner of Oakwood. Yeah. Uh, I can't draw for toffee, I can doodle, and yeah. I can do wiggly lines, but I cannot draw, I can't realistically draw. And so Rosie is a graphic designer. We've been talking and she asked me what I'd like to see. And I said, well, I think we ought to do some, some flowers, but not just a stamp. Let's yeah. have a dye. Let's make it more so you can decoupage it. You can mask it. You can do more with it. There's a bit of everything going on in this collection, isn't there it? Is. It's called Daisy and Critters. It's, this is the complete collection. There are smaller bundles as well, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, but let's talk about the um, full collection. So... Uh, oh, actually, let's talk about the fact, first of all, <laughs> that 60% of the stock wow. has sold out and gone already. That's probably quite a good point to raise at this point in time, uh, because that means there's only 40% or less remaining. This is exclusive to us here at the craft store, uh, which is brilliant, which is a lovely, lovely bundle. And I do like this as a mix. If you are, a, even if you are an advanced crafter, to have the stencil, to have the stamps, to have the dies all in one, it just saves. It just saves you everything, doesn't it? Yes. Gives you everything and saves you everything, yes. doesn't it? But they will also go into into other collections that you Course. have as well. The the critters are, I would say, going to be a staple on your uh, on your craft craft uh, table all the time. Should we have a little look at how everything stamps out and cuts out? Um, this is lovely. Uh, we'll start with the stamps. Then we'll start with the flowers. There they are. Now. Um, Specifically, are we talking specific flowers here? Just a daisy. Lovely. But to me... Oh, it's like you, those big, big daisies, isn't it? Big, of course, the, na daisies. the clue's in the name, isn't it, Karen, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, daisy and critters. Yeah, that looks, that's the daisy to me. Mm. However, if you build up the petals a little bit more, do a little bit of fussy cutting, or use the dye and then fussy cut to add some more petals, you could easily make it into some flowers if you do the colouring right. But Oh, and me, these are more of the... Um, the the is, is it the in the sta middle. It's the stamen, isn't it? it even is the though it is a, a round one, it's still in the clusters, the stamen. Oh, is it? Yeah, even all... if it hasn't got legs. I do think so. <laughs> oh. Anyway, the bit in the middle, which means that you can decoupage it up as well, which is really, really nice. So that's the daisies. And then, here are the critters. Aren't they gorgeous? I love these. Absolutely love them. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, really, really lovely. Of course, the bee is such a symbol of peace and hope and love and unity uh, these days. So nice to include that as well. But look, you've got the little ladybird there, but from two different, two different vantage points. Yes. So they'll go with anything. You don't. You don't. Uh, you're not doing a piece where it's a ladybird just one way. You can uh, fit it in. So to me, that they're, they're for scene building as your Absolutely. as your collection. And we're hoping to keep these as a core as we build up the collection of flowers that we are going to be doing. So. Um, Do you know what, Karen? As well, everyone knows how to colour a, um, a ladybird, don't they? Black Whether and they've... red, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. That's it. Oh, sometimes there's a green one, isn't there? Who's there? What ladybird? Yeah. Queen ladybird? A cre it's like a dark Ooh. green one. Oh, all right. With Emily's straight spots. on the search engine for that. Uh, let's look at the die cuts now. So we've got the... Am I right in saying the matting die? 
You, so on the, yes, you, you have And the then we've matte, got the embossed. You have the matte one and then the one that cuts it out. So the one that cuts it out yeah. fits exactly onto the stamp and it embosses at the same time. Awesome. You've then got a, a small oh, board yeah. around it to mat it. So if you're wanting to make a feature of it, you can put a black mat behind it. If the choice is yours. It's not just giving you um, one that cuts out exactly. Yeah. It's how you want to use it you can even stamp onto the mat and have the white board around so love it there is such thing as a green ladybird mm. emily was just looking on the search engines so we, we can't show you on the telly um, but she showed me on my little preview telly in here and we're like, oh, green ladybird yeah. there you go uh, do we get those in this country though i wouldn't have well, thought I've, so I've, I've seen a green have ladybird you? yeah i, I oh. always thought it was a an, an uh is it not, it's not hybrid is it it, it was an, an anomaly. Well, it could have been a hybrid, couldn't yeah, it? Yeah, but uh, I have seen green <laughs> green ladybirds because as a kid, I remember being about four or five and some said, oh, don't touch it, it's poisonous, it's green. And I also remember that. Green ladybird. Mm. Wow. You got any pictures from your garden of green ladybirds that you've seen that you thought, well, that's weird, that's bizarre, it's not something you see every day, that's like fairies at the bottom, bottom of the garden, isn't it? If you've ever taken a picture of, of a green ladybird, don't send me one from the internet, uh, but if you've got a picture of one in your garden that you've taken, then email it to me, studio at thecraftstore.com. I would be ever so fascinated, as would Karen as well. So here's the flowers one. So again, with this one, you get the matte dye for the big... I wouldn't say big sprig. It's not really. It's not. You don't have a sprig of daisies, do you? You have a clump. It's bunch. Bunch. It's bunch. bunch of daisies. Bunch of bouquet. Flowers. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you I, like. I would think a bouquet is a mix of flowers, but a, that's when true. they're the same ones, it's a bunch. That that's Sorry very for being very pedantic. true. Are you a former florist, Karen? <laughs> no, I'm just being pedantic. Oh no, that's Sorry. all right. <laughs> we love pedantry here, um, and we love Coventry as well. Let's show you some finished samples because you've got many and plenty, um, Karen, here as well. Absolutely beautiful. Here's one from Cheryl, which has been given that lovely kind of almost sort of rainbow ombre vibe to it, which I really really love. Then we've got one here. That's this one is, that I demoed earlier. I was going to say this is unnamed, so I'm guessing it's yours, Karen. Uh, here is one from Sam. Uh, she's done some butterflies on the tag there as well, which is very, very nice indeed. This is lovely, Karen. How would I... Um, this is by Sam again. How, how has Sam achieved this? So, yeah, your heads are separate. So she's cut oh. it all out in green. Yes. And then she's done the flower heads, uh, the flowers... The daisy flowers in blue, and then the but the what we call the stamen. She's done that in black, and it's just simple layering on top of each other. But you can add more dimension by putting uh, sticky buds or or the uh, the foam tape. Foam yes, we've got we've those thought. coming up in a bit. Yeah. Now Emily's uh, Emily's um, this this pedantry is uh, catching because Emily's now debating whether daisies do have stamens or not. So she's checking. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put a call into Monty Don. Um, and see. Now, of course, we've not looked at the stencils yet, have we? Um, because stencils are part of this big bundle as well, which is beautiful. So you get a great big flower stencil there, which, oh, look at that with the ladybirds. And they're all red. Sam's decided she has red ladybirds they, in her are world. Are they glossed as well? Because the, the ladybirds I, are I brilliant. think they are. Oh, hang on. No, I don't think nope, they are, I know actually. that Carolyn's no. been putting uh, glossy accents on the ladybirds and they come up absolutely beautiful. Here we've beautiful. got some glossy heads again. Yes. <laughs> are they heads or are they stamens? <laughs> Who knows yet? Emily's... Oh, OK, Emily's... There are multiple names, apparently. Stamens is one of them. Oh, yes. So you get a, <laughs> at least a third of a point. She's not totally convinced, I don't think, yet. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. The research will carry on through the hour while you're demoing, I'm sure. So do you want to have a quick look at the stencils as well? Because the stencils do come, actually, individually if you want to, as a set of two. That doesn't make sense, Derek. That's an oxymoron. Individually as a set of two. If you want to buy them individually, you'll get both. The flower stencil, uh, they do come as a pair. That's the word, a pair. Oh, I found some glossy ladybird. I found a glossy ladybird uh, by Carolyn here. So there are the two stencils. You've got the flower one, and you've got... I missed the other one, to be honest with you. It's the... Of course it's the critters. Daisy and critters. Deary me. Anybody think this was just my first hour? There you go, look. There's... Yeah, ever. 
Are There's... you just practising on me, Derek? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, trainee idiot. Doing well so far. Uh, right, so the whole bundle, the two stencils, the two sets of dies, the two sets of stamps there, Daisy and Critters, the lot, 264721, brand new today, exclusive to us here at the craft store, £44.96. Right, now we are going... We are going to wings and things, which may be familiar territory for you, but not for me, uh, and maybe not for you either. Uh, this is wings and things. Now, I remember hearing about wings and things, but I think this is the first time that I've seen it. But I have to say, mightily impressed, because, again, this is the same kind of bundle. So we've got stamps, we've got dies, and we've got stencils. And I have to say, when it comes to dies... My word, talk about the coach and horses here. Definitely. I mean, a massive, massive, massive amount. Massive dies, really good dies, a, a fantastic frame that's also got the inner edge of it. But they've not wasted any space. They've gone all the way through to the inside and completely filled an A5, just, an A5 dice. Can I just drop into your view there? The size of that butterfly. I don't know who did this, but this is just really, really genius. I love it. I love the That's dimension me. of it. That's me. Of oh, course. Thank you, thank you. I should always say that. I should always check in first, shouldn't I, Karen? Um, I, I love that the, the dimension... And with butterflies, it's really, really important when you're in, when you're wanting to incorporate butterflies into your projects. You never really know what size of project you're going to head out on because it can go off in any direction, can't yeah. it? So it's good to have different sizes of yeah. butterflies because sometimes you think, oh, butterfly, lovely, and then. The flower that you want to put it with is too big or too small, or you think, no, can't use that now, it's ridiculous. Yeah. So then you go and buy another die and another die and another die and another die. And you won't stop buying the other dies, don't get me wrong. But it's really, really nice to have in one set lots and lots of different sizes. Lots and different sizes, yes. So you've got enough there for small cards, oh. medium cards, even down to home decor as well. Love that. And, uh, that's done on, on vellum by our Cheryl. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's, it's so, so deli cute. Delicate, but yet so big. That's very, very yeah. cute. And, and look at this. Down now, here's the way of glamming up an old paintbrush, isn't it? <laughs> I love it. I think it's brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> it makes me smile. You know what? That's that's what art is meant to do, isn't it? It's meant to provoke a reaction, and I think that's great. It's been given some rhinestones and some butterflies. It's an old paintbrush, and why not, Sam King? That's it. Love it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Love it. But that's that butterfly there yeah. is from uh, the one on that paintbrush is fr from the frame set. Yes. So he goes, you've got a butterfly on the frame set as well. Oh, OK, cool. Well, let's have another closer look then, shall we? Uh, so we've got, we've got everything going on here. Uh, we've got the stencils and we've got the, the dies and we've got the stamps as well. Oh, yes, there it is right in the middle there. Because you think that die set's all about frames and, and beautiful sort of doily yes, lace yeah. going but on. But even down to the little border at the bottom, yeah, I know that it's a, a, a strip of, of butterflies, but even down that even makes a smaller butterfly oh, yeah. for you. You yes. only have to snip into it. Don't rem remember yeah. that a die, uh, when you've got a die cut, you can snip into them as well. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, yeah, the stamp actually uh, matches the, the dies. So you stamp <laughs> and you will be able to cut out and it'll match exactly, and then you get the board around it. We've just had a, a communication from, who was it, Liz? Viv, uh, sorry, Viv, I misheard that. Uh, and Viv says, uh, "Green ladybirds, it's just not right. It's just <laughs> it's not right." Not, is it? It's it's a thing, though. If you want to go and have a look on the search engines yourself on the web, uh, on the web, you'll find green ladybirds. Bizarrely, uh, right? So eight eight seven one five three for wings and things. It's the whole collection. You can buy individuals as well. Again, with those, the stencils come as a pair. Thirty seven pounds and ninety six pence is your item number. Off to the website we go because there's lots more there as well. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, there are all the individuals of the stencils, which come as pairs, of course, as I mentioned before. You can buy the stamp sets on their own. Lots of five star reviews as well. There are the die sets. What, is there anything else there that we've not seen? Of course there is. There's red liner tape bundles. There's foam tape bundles. There are uh, embossing powder bumble, bum, bumbles, bundles, bundles. Um, and there's removable adhesive glue dots there as well. And there's the little foam squares. And so much. Oh, yeah, that fabulous glue, the craft glue, which is lovely. Dries clear. Beautiful. Lovely. All of that on the website at thecraftstore.com. Good, he didn't say it again. Marvellous. Right, Karen, so... So what we're going to do is we'll do a little bit of uh, masking and showing now that the one, one flower can go into a nice little big bouquet, just like that one. 
Sorry, bunch. Oh, bunch. oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was you who raised this pedantry. <laughs> It's a bunch, I think you'll find. If I put a rose in there, it'll be a bouquet. Absolutely, it would. <laughs> Absolutely, it would. But you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think that the 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 one stamp would would come out as like that, and that is a really, really pretty. It's gorgeous, bunch, isn't it? Bunch. Yeah. So to start off with, what I thought I'd do is I'd show you that um, I've got two layers of masking paper there, and mm -hmm. I'm going to cut them out together. Oh, okay. So I'll show you how the dies, uh, the die, the dies work. And cut cut them out out together. So you could go through a, a couple of couple of layers. Fine. Oh, it's I was cutting 300 GSM um, card. the per lesson card this morning. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah. So it cuts through, and it does emboss the per lesson card absolutely beautifully. I bet that's Please. really yes. lovely. Yeah, I've got a. You can see here now that they've come away, and the, the there is a delicacy on the inside here because the stem is less than a millimeter in in width so what i've done is i will tear these uh, not tear them back fold them back to make sure that i am not damaging anything uh, okay to make sure you're I not missing take, anything take yeah. them out mm -hmm. yeah fold that back and what i have got even down to the little tiny hole there and the bit out of that oh yeah 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 and i've now got two masks that just need the back taking off awesome. but that is so delicate down there mm -hmm. you don't normally get uh, a one millimeter within a die this usually has to be quite a a, a distance for yeah it yeah to yeah of course properly. yeah yeah so the more stable the card you're cutting that out of as well i would suggest that um i've done it on 300 yeah. and i think i've done it on 350 but it did have to go through twice this part here is is really really delicate the heavier the card it may not go through it'll act like material where it'll yeah. not yeah, yeah it'll not not push yeah, up course, but it's yeah. not the die it's the card that's too thick yeah. for that small area there yeah um i have done a, a 300 and it works perfectly with with 300 from for myself oh, that'd be lovely to cut out in foam actually as well wouldn't it do it in foam and make your own block stamp mm. You'd, yeah, of course you could, yeah. You could start in foam. Yeah, but also you, you could cut it out twice and you could make your bottoms and your stems and leaves green, couldn't you, by a bit of snippability. Yeah. I mean, then make your flowers beautifully white or whatever, other colours. But you wouldn't need colours. to do that, would you? Because you'd just cut one out Well, you'd like have that, them already, wouldn't you? And yeah. then you use the flower heads. Yeah, of course. That completely match. Yeah, of course. These flower heads. That's right, yeah. Match so you completely. So, so you could make you, two lots, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course you could, could, yeah. You don't need to, to yeah. slip into it to decoupage it up and put Do you know what? I need you by in. my side every time I'm crafting, Karen. Say, come on, stop wasting it all. How do you pay? <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to say, I've done the mats and the layers and we're going and I'm going to show you how to do a bit of a background um, without worrying about it. Because I know sometimes we don't stamp properly and we all worry. I'm making sure that this goes in the corner. It's the stamping platform and I'm using the foam into it for the same, for the reason that I'm using a polymer stamp uh, and it's not a, a, a wood mounted one. Okay. That one's going straight into the centre straight away and then I am going to stamp. Sorry, Karen, I'm just going to very, very quickly tell everyone it's very, very busy on the website right now. If you do have something in your basket, bear in mind that although we're saying new today and everything else, this has had a show already today. So 60% uh, of the stock has sold out and gone. So if you do have something in your basket right now, snap it up as quick as you possibly can because you're making that £10 saving. Remember, this bundle is exclusive to us here at the craft store as well. Oh, look at that with a freedom saving as well, if you don't mind. £44.96. Thank you very much. Saving £14.99. That's a bit of a... A bit of a why not, isn't it? It certainly is, definitely. I've got my, I've had my uh, freedom for oh, four years now. It's so fantastic, and isn't it? It's, it, it does save me a Just fortune. makes it so, so yeah. easy, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Because even when you're buying from, um, you know, those websites that everybody goes to and buys, you, you do have to always think to yourself, don't you? Oh, yeah, and how much postage is going on I every have... single time I order something? Sometimes the postage is more than the item you're buying. Never have to worry. Never have to worry about the, the, the freedom. I'm just making sure that it's... Um, totally dry, yeah. It's properly dry. I'm going to use one, rather than struggling about getting the back off that, uh -huh. I'm going to use one that I've already got 
in use and what you can see it completely fits exactly I'm just bobbing that onto there and I'm going to be using uh, two two masks uh -huh. uh, because I want to be on the safe side and not over stamp anything as such this is a great demo to see though as well actually because it reminds you how to construct a scene like this yes yeah yeah it's uh, it's not something that goes together really quick. It's a it's not a a, a, a particularly quick card because no, but the, but if you the do te it, technique is why we're here as well, isn't it? Yes. Um, yeah. Because actually, yeah. you can you can use this technique with other. And I do know that my stamp is dirty, so once I, once I decide to commit, I need to. Commit. That's where I'm going to pop it. So I want this bottom part to to crossover so I'm going to pop that there and it's going over the top and again just go down I love the word commit in crafting because it's such a serious word isn't it for such <laughs> a like it's not we're not talking life or death here is it it's not no. it's not like real life operation it's not like oh millimeter to the left and that's it you've lost him um it's, it's yeah, stamping we, a flower we, we, onto a piece of paper, isn't it? Us crafters <laughs> take it as seriously. You commit to a marriage, we commit to go putting that there. It's just such a dramatic word, yeah, isn't it? You've heard saying, measure twice, cut once, haven't yes. you? Yeah. So we all, we all, we are all our own critics and too much of our own critics, me yeah. included. And yeah. if we get things a millimetre out, then we yeah. start worrying about it. And we, we criticise ourselves yeah. far, far too much. So I'm quite happy with that one. There may be just a little bit in between the She's recommitting everyone. There. <laughs> ah, that's why you want a, um, a stamping platform. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to do yeah. this. Got to have, yeah. yeah, if you want even, to commit twice. Even with masking tape, even with masking, you can end up uh, missing little bits. So. Is there a word for double committing in crafting? <laughs> 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 you put a wedding ring on your on your on your poly stamper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you have a certificate on all these new boxes that come and say I commit to use you properly? <laughs> Definitely. Oh dear. So I've got a little bit over here as well and I'm going to pop my masking over there. And the beauty is I have not had to sit and fussy cut these to mass them. Oh, because could, you, I could would... you imagine that? One millimetre stem fussy cutting it. Oh, it would fall you off would all be, the time, wouldn't you it? You would be using some choice language, I know that. Oh, I don't. <laughs> that you that would... would be overcommitment, I think. I don't. Overcommitting. <laughs> <laughs> have one committing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that. you want locking up yeah, after that, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah, oh, I'm not me. so worried about getting it straight up up the top here because I know that my stamp's not going to go on there. Yeah. The only thing that I would do is make sure that your your ink is dry before you start putting some masking tape on because if you're anything like me, I am such a messy, dirty crafter. I forget to dry to wipe my hand. Look, I've got it's it there. It's really annoying, isn't it? And it's just that and thumbprint just... that you know that you can't do anything about well, once it's the there. Well, though. Oh, that's oh, true. Oh, we've yeah. got the critters. Yeah, that's, that's true, what I wanted the critters for to cover, so I don't have to do a demo yes. six times to cover it up. Yeah, you notice how that they are very, very similar to the size of Karen's thumb tip. <laughs> <laughs> a lady, <laughs> where normally heroes, I want something to cover yeah, that. Yeah, don't, don't they normally say <laughs> use a butterfly because that's the obvious thing for covering up a, a multitude of crafting sins, isn't it? A butterfly yes. is always good for that. Yes. But now you've got other choices. I've got a bee <laughs> and, a, and I've got a ladybird and it's and it cuts out exactly how I stamp it. So yeah. even if I have to cover it up, you don't you know that you can get away with saying yeah. I've put that on to cover it up because you can glue it on flat. And That's nobody's true. gonna know. That's nobody's very true, nobody's yeah. gonna know because it cuts out the exact time. That's the joy of artistic license, isn't artistic it? Artistic license. Or making too many mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's half the fun though, isn't it? <laughs> Half the fun. Definitely. So here we go now. This is where we start. This is the last one that I put on. Oh, they're coming off. In... And then you would normally spend the time to stick that back down, which I'll do it after we've finished. Oh, um, OK, so you'd reuse and reuse Oh, definitely, and reuse. Yeah. yes, yeah. So you, what, you just put that onto, like, a backing sheet or something um, like that? You can pop it onto acetate. Oh, right, OK. Or yeah, yeah. you can put it onto some, some plastic. Yeah. Or um, anything that that's uh, it will come off paper, but the longer it sticks on, the harder it'll 
tape to come off, you yeah. know, like glue, it can stick there. But you can see everything's in. You just a little touch that I missed there. That's you, Derek, that chatting to me that made me That's, miss. that's what it is, yeah. <laughs> see, when you're on telly, you've got other things to blame, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, It's because yeah. he was talking to me, that's what it was. Yeah, that's it, that's <laughs> it, definitely. So then what we've got is we've got, uh, we've got a bunch of daisies. However, did I? No, I didn't do one. I've left it somewhere. I did one in advance. And then that one will go onto there. And we'll do a little bit of outer colouring. But what? let's get on with the, uh, the border. And as you can see, um, it looks really, really pretty border. It's gorgeous. And I actually made a mistake when I was doing it. Did you? Um, yeah, yeah, I made a mistake. I've got a distress outside. Yeah. And you're supposed to stamp your, your stamps up like this. Yeah. And then you're supposed to press in and nicely. And I thought, if I keep doing that and that and that, it's going to take me absolutely ages. So all I did was press onto it. And that, well, that's, that's calling me a fibber, that one. It's worked. <laughs> and there, I missed. Oh, OK. Yeah. And, so and you've I've, given that slightly sketchy feel about and I, it. And I thought, oh, I've got to start again. And then I thought, and I'm not worried, my fingerprints are going into the middle, but I'm yeah. covering that up. Yeah. And I thought, oh, crikey. Here we go again, Karen. Start them, start, start off again. And then I didn't. I just carried on with yeah. it. But and it, it works because it's, it's, it's given that it, it's given that it's not taking the focus it's not taking the eye away from the main image is it no nope. and th so no and i thought well that's not very good it doesn't look very professional it doesn't look like the stamp stamps up even though it's just me going bum 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 playing post office yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> what i did is, <laughs> you're a frustrated post mistress i Karen. used to love post office in the morning uh, when i was younger with the stamps with the stamps and all i'm doing now is really oh. going over that table doesn't make the right noise I'll it try does this one. look can you hear it yeah it used to be great didn't it oh sorry we just wreck the set while I'll I'm here. I'll get you as well. later. I'm playing post office with you, Derek. Here. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be my head later. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll probably run out at door quicker than I can catch you. <laughs> but all I'm doing is, and I'm not worried that it's not stamping up because I just want the colour to match. I've tied it up, Miss. Oh, that's great. <laughs> there we go. And, yeah, I did make a mistake, but I'm quite happy with that. Once I start putting my black uh, matte and layer into it, I think that goes quite well into the, it's gorgeous, the yeah. focus of it. Yeah, yeah. So if you make mistakes like that, don't ever worry about it. And then what we're going to do, we're going to wipe this up because this will end up everywhere. Same ink, we're just going to... Pop some onto your... What's, what's the name of that one? It's Broken China. Broken China. Broken China. Love the names of those oxides. Oh, they're amazing, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And then I've got a water ink, a water, and some more water, which I did put somewhere. Where have I put it? There we go. I put things away, Derek, and lose them, you know. It's funny, isn't it? Things do, do just magically go missing, don't they? Yeah. And then all I want to do with this is I'm just... I've got my bit there, and I've just going around with a bringing the blue in and it's a little bit deep a little bit see if I can water it down a little bit more and just going round to bring in the blue so just a hint just a hint yeah I've got another just another quick one that a quick bit of a demo on top of this one that I can mm. just add in for you know for a technique mm. of how to to go to go around your outsides and you don't have to i can't i can't i'm not an artist i'm not i'm a crafter start to finish a crafter well shall i let you carry on going yeah, around i'll go Karen, around and finish this off and it, i'll take a little trip down the counter while you go around the outside around the outside around the outside you know on telly you can only you can't just say it once if you say around the outside you have to say it three times anyway uh let me talk to you about this bundle because it is very very busy indeed two-thirds of the stock are sold out and gone now so if you do have that in your basket it's time to let's use that word again commit 
time to commit <laughs> and time to check out that basket, particularly if you're a Freedom member as well, because you've got Flexi on that. You've got a, a better price, of course, if you're a Freedom member, plus the Flexi Freedom as well, which is awesome. Uh, so that takes your 49.95 down to 44.96, was it? I think it was. It was 95. Let's have a look. 95. 96. 96. Wow, I don't know how I remember that, Emily. I know, I forget everything. So that's £11.25 each for the dies and the stamps, and then you get the uh, stencils thrown in. There you go. And how much do you normally pay for stencils? Spencils? <laughs> oh, there's, I've invented something. A stencil. Stencils. I, I don't know what that would be. It would be a... A pencil and a stencil rolled into one. We'll work on that later. Uh, right, in the meantime, remember this complete collection, exclusive to us here at the craft store. You get both of the stencils, so you've got the... Uh, the daisies, of course, the, you've got the flowers, and then you've got the bunch of daisies. Um, plus you've got, of course, the stamp sets of the butterflies and the critters, um, and the uh, dies as well. Stamps by themselves are very, very popular as well. You can buy the um, stamps by themselves or you can buy the stencils as a pair if you like as well. So lots of you are dipping into those as well, which is brilliant. 264721 is your item number if you would like the complete collection. We now have less than a quarter of the stock remaining on this. Let's have a look at some more samples then, shall we? Um, here's a little bee, which is all being glossed up by Carolyn, uh, which is very, very nice. And you've got the single stem... Beautiful flower, which I love. Love is the honey, is it now? Um, that's quite cute, isn't it? Very, very beautiful. Again, by Carolyn. Here's the bees, and I love seeing them like that. Again, very, very similar to the technique that um, Carolyn was just doing on the, um, on the background there. Just sort of hazing the bees in that golden, lovely yellow. Here's another one from Sam. Very, very simple, very, very sophisticated. Now, she's printed this. Now, this is this is stamped, isn't it, from like a chalky kind of... Mm, mm, chalky loveliness. It's uh, stamp and embossed with the stamp and... Oh, um, she's embossed it. She's embossed it. Of course she yes. has. Stamp and embossed with the, the stamp and uh, embossing powders that we do have on the show. It's fabulous. Do you want to see some glossy ladybirds? Look. Oh, hello. Oh, hang on a second. Spread your wings, fly high, but don't bug me. Oh, I like that. That's cool for a big tag by um, Carolyn. Uh, here's another one quickly. Ah, oh, that's lovely, isn't it? What's, what's the famous artist that that reminds you of straight away? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yes. Just with the coloration, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. Right, 264. 721 is your item number. Right, OK, let's show you some individuals on the website as well. So here are the individuals of the daisies stamps, uh, which are there. So if you want to buy the stamp set on its own, you absolutely can. 11 99 I'm just shouting numbers out at the moment, aren't I? The wrong numbers. Um, <laughs> here's the die set for the daisies. Uh, 397361, the item number there, 7 dies, 1299. Just keep showing you the great value of the bundle, doesn't it? Uh, 397361, and I'll also show you the stencils. Now, the stencils come as a pair. Um, so you get the lovely bunch of daisies, and then you get the... It's more like a background, really, isn't it, the other one, which is lovely. 348914 is the item number. Right, let's show you some cardstock, because this is absolutely yummy scrummy, really, really lovely. When you get a pearly cardstock, oh my word, your world changes, look at that. That is absolute pearl luster. Three different colours here, you get the pink, you get the sky. Um, this is a, a slightly, yes, we're going to call the two skies slightly different, because this is more of an autumn sky, because in the next bundle there's a, there's a skyer sky, which is a higher sky. Um, Look at that. So you've got the sky. It's that beautiful, isn't it? Great for die cutting, these flowers. And these are perfect colours for this as well, aren't they? And then you get this lovely sort of... What do you call it? Yeah, it's called cream, but uh, I don't know. I want to say sort of custardy. It's a bit... Yeah. It's a little bit more custardy, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. You know, like country, good old Devon custard. I want to put my Devon accent on for that custard colour. I, uh, I, I don't think... No offence, anyone. I, I think Devon custard is more yellow, isn't it? Oh, is it? But that is a nice... 
Milky custard. Yeah, milky custard. Milky custard. Yes, all right, I'll yes. give you that, Karen. Uh, 717, yes, lower fat. Uh, 717654 <laughs> is your item. Now, you get 36 uh, sheets in total, so 12 of each, and it's brand new today at 9 99 717654 is your item number. Right, then we will go to... Oh, now, this is a bit more custardy, Karen, do you think? Uh, that's very custardy. That's very Definitely, custard, right. Yes. Okay. Um, do you know, I must think, pre-think pre my custard analogies. Yes, the other one is a bit more rice pudding, isn't it? Either that or change your cook. It could, <laughs> it could, but that could be rice pudding made with, with Devon cream though, couldn't it? <gasps> couldn't it? Anyway, let's stick with this. Uh, 15 sheets of each in this time, isn't it? Uh, so you've got the uh, yellow, you've got the sky and you've got the, um, the white there as well. Now, this is more of a, a sort of a plainer cardstock. Pretty hefty, Karen, though. It's 270 gram, he always does a 270, does Stuart, yeah. Fantastic. It's very love that. It, it, it die cuts lovely. It, really so nice. It can be used as a card base, matting and layering with all the colours that match together. And it's colour through to the core. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> just suggested you might want to make a yellow ladybird. Why not? Yeah. They don't exist, do they? Do they? But who knows? Or probably do. Who knows? Uh, so 079462 is your item number at £9.99. And, and last one, we're not going to leave them on their own because you're getting oodles and oodles of little foam squares here. And they are so, so u u useful, um, particularly if you're um, decoupaging. Um, because actually sometimes it's good to have the, 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 the smaller. You get 440 squares per sheet. Wowzers. And you get 20 sheets, so 20... 8,800 foam squares. And they must be... I'm guessing that they're 2 millimetre squares? I'm There's, guessing. I'm uh, not a ruler here. 5 millimetre squares. Is that how many? 5 millimetres. 5 millimetre squares. They could be 2 millimetre thick, but they're, they're, they're uh, normally 5 okay, by so, 5 mil. OK. Karen, you're brilliant. How do you have this encyclopedic knowledge on everything? I mean, like, you can't even see them. I just know what they are. I bet it's on the packaging as well, isn't it? Is it? Five pack, 400, no, it just says 440 squares per the, sheet. The, 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 the five mil, be five, five mil, usually. So you're amazing, yeah. Karen. I wish well, I hadn't touched that now. I've seen as I've walked past. The, normally, when you go anywhere, the, cheap, uh, the, the, the lower price one, the yeah. lowest price that you can get are usually about a pound a sheet, but if you work out with them, you've got... Uh, 20 sheets, haven't 50, you? 50p 50 a sheet. Pence a sheet. That's amazing. That's like, that's like high, half price without they're asking for a discount, they're, isn't they're it? They're retail show prices, easily. Yeah. Definitely. You can't get... I, 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 you'd be struggling to get them at that price anywhere. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Karen. 842. 450 is your item number there. Um, let's have a look at the website, shall we? Uh, and show you some craft glue. This is good, isn't it? This is lovely. Um, because, again, this has got a nice sort of manageable nozzle as well. There's real business about this. Tell me about this glue, Karen. It's absolutely excellent. Uh, it's acid, lignum-free. You can use it for uh, scrapbooking. OK, good. Um, I put mine in uh, John's Next Door. Um, <laughs> bottle, Which sounded, bottle, all bottle, bottle. sounded all kinds of wrong it there. It did sound It's always good to finish I the put sentence, it in the Karen. Next door, um, <laughs> bottle, but I do have to water it down because it's a little thick to get through the through the nozzle. But I use it for absolutely all my paper crafting. It goes a long, <laughs> long way. It's and, all right. It's all right. The cream's working. And I, I did I did a technique where I made crackle paint with it. I could crack, you know, like you buy a crackle, yes. you can do that with glue. It's a very old technique, and obviously they've, they've invented, they brought stuff out that uh, make it a lot <laughs> easier, but you can do it the old-fashioned old way. Absolutely. You're Always, laughing at me, are I'm you? Not, I'm not, I'm, I, it's, you can only imagine what's going on in there. I can, um, I'm just wondering, you know, I'm getting paranoid No, here. don't worry, Karen, no, it's not you at all. Uh, it's just, just like, yeah, not much anyway. Uh, <laughs> just always finish the sentence, Karen. I will try, but poor, when you're laughing, job. it makes no, me want to no, laugh. No, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, and I can't even explain it. Anyway, 788279. So, right, now you've led us down that cul-de-sac, I'm going to hand the, hand the whole show back to you now. <laughs> so this this one, I've got, um, it's exactly the same, uh, not exactly the same, obviously, I've done it in, in a, a different configuration, but the, the similar, they will not be, I've not stamped them both out duplicates, so they will be 
different. If I put one on top of each other, it'll not fit. But what right. I have done is got a very, very pale grey. And if you want to and um, enlighten or put shading in to bring a black and white image, a black and white image out to the front, I'm just going in with grey. And it's just mm, bringing yeah. it out nicely. Is that a watercolour or an alcohol? It's, um, it's a, a clean colour one. It's okay. the ones that Jenny Mays uses for watercolouring. You can watercolour with it, but yeah. you have the clean colour brush pens. But it brings it out. And I'm doing a second coat. You can see the difference between the first coat and the second coat there. But bringing it out. And it just brings it to the forefront. Yeah. And this is when you can add, uh, add your pencils on or whatever you want to do there. Or your embossing, or oh, yes. it might be. Yeah, yeah. You can. Uh, don't forget, there are pens out there that you can pop in, and uh, the Versamark pens where you can pop in the Versamark, which is your sticky ink. You know, yes. like your, yeah. your, your embossing. Yeah, ink, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can just highlight little bits and put gold embossing powder on there mm -hmm. and bring it out, out as well. Yeah. So that is that one. That is the one that we. I did originally, and this is the one that I've just done where the colour matches. As I said, please don't worry about that. that it all adds to the texture of it. Of course it. it does. just makes it a texture. Yeah. However, the next one, and I'm sorry I haven't unwrapped this one. Do excuse the crinkle of paper. That's all right. That's a classic mistake, isn't it? No, that's fine. That's allowed. I was concentrating too Satisfying, much on Satisfying, isn't it? Colouring. But then you've allowed me to do You've allowed it. Of course. Oh, you... I don't mind a bit of crinkle. I like it because it's, it's not like a crisp packet crinkle, is it? <laughs> One of those really annoying ones where you sat in the cinema. Oh, I remember the cinema, everyone. Although oh, we'll I've, be able to go back I've again looked... soon, won't we? We'll, we will, won't we? We will. So what I've done here is I've got um, card, mass and lead. So that's... And I'm going to stamp onto that with... Um, Bossing ink. Oh, well, we were just talking the, about that. That we were just talking about. Oh, it's funny, isn't what it? we'll like do I've... is we'll put three flowers together to save it. Uh, put them in different ways. I've got one somewhere here. And Webster I... quite rightly points out that there is a version of cinema going on at the moment, isn't there, where you sit in your car outside? Is there? The, yeah, that there's has various been done places. For years, hasn't it? That sounds a bit like uh, American, like happy days, like drive-in movies, doesn't it? It yeah. feels like you need a big cag a Cadillac, really, doesn't it? Yeah. With the yeah. top that comes off. Yes, and then they call of the car. Oh rope. no! 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 <laughs> no! Anyway. You are lowering the show. Honestly, you, I, don't, I don't know what, honestly, I, I, I had no idea it was going to be that kind of a day today. <laughs> anyway, Karen, get us back on the get subject. Get us back on track. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, we, what we are you... We have to put you in the cinema. <laughs> I think so, in the sin bin, I think. I'm just embossing with, um, embossing ink. Uh-huh. Not embossing, I'm stamping with embossing ink, and I'm just using the, the heads to make a background. Ah, OK, right. Just using uh, the stamp heads, uh, the flower heads, to make the background. And we've got embossing powder on the show today, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, would just you like see me what to... We've got would you like me bundle. to use the embossing powder rather than... Well, yeah, why not, as it's on why the show, not, because there's, the a, show. there's a nice gold in there. Don't yeah. use the black, Karen, because I don't think that will show up very well. <laughs> um, there's a bit of a pick and mix going on on those. You choose any two um, for $9.99. I've got some of them here. Um, so I, I seem to have the white, the black, and uh, is that gold there? Yes, I think yes, it's Yes, it's black, white, clear, and gold. Oh, clear. Right, so one's white and one's clear. One's white, one's clear. They look white when they're in the packaging, but they don't. What we'll do is we'll do a little bit of gold with this one, seeing as we're going to use some gilding wax onto here as well. And again, please don't worry if you've not... If you want perfect stamping, then do it onto a mat underneath and you will get the perfect stamping there. But okay. I did use, uh, I didn't use embossing, pow um, embossing powders at first. What I did use was a, um, oh, a mica powder. Oh, yeah, yeah. But an embossing powder, you'll get, oh, this will go nice. Oh, she spills it. And I've done quite well to say that I didn't use her uh, antistatic bag, neither. Oh, yeah. You do, should always use an antistatic bag. Now, I will be noisy for a few a minute or so, or do you want to see it turn? 
Yeah, no, we, we've got to see that, haven't we? Do you want to see it? That's, turn? The, that's the best bit of embossing, isn't it? Ace, as long as you uh, can talk over the noise. I, you, I'm happy with that. You want to talk while well, I'm. I might uh, just hum a tune. Yeah, hum a tune. <laughs> and it's just going to be noisy. Warm up your gun beforehand, your heat gun. And then. It, it takes a little while, but look how it turns. And all you need to do is just put over the top of it. There are different ways of embossing. I find this the easiest for me because I tend to get my fingers in way and burn my fingers. So you you chasing it, are you? I'm chasing it. Yep. And as soon as your uh, emboss uh, your heat gun gets hot enough, you can see it starts going a lot lot faster. It's like when you're stripping wallpaper when you gun when you heat gun gets hot. Yeah. Your, the, your paper strips off much, much easier. And don't waft it because you're not going to do anything about cool it down when you're wafting. Yeah. You'll just need to, uh, just need to follow. Charmaine gave me a tip from Dolly Dimple. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't put it onto your glass mat to do that because what you will do is you'll sweat it from underneath. You'll cause a steam uh... or a... A moisture underneath which can uh, you're giving the heat time to go through and do its job properly yeah by lifting it up but it's absolutely gorgeous. oh you mean don't have it flat on the mat if you have it flat on the mat you can cause the moisture underneath because right. it'll sweat the the heat will uh, it's like with plastic it, the, the heat can what am I doing <laughs> you're, you're, you're putting the, the lid of an embossing powder on the end of your heat gun, Karen. But you know what? It's, the, it's Friday, there. so I think anything goes today, it seems. Two hours, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, she's got another two shows yet. Got another two shows yet. So that's going to go on to there. But that is just as nice as the one where we've done the uh, mica powders on. Stunning. Missed a little bit there. Oh, that'll bug me, that one will. That'll bug me. Well, we didn't like to say, but yeah. you know, when you're doing it on telly, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, we don't normally they don't normally allow us to do it all on TV because it's uh, it's so noisy. Do they not? Well, it's noisy. You you can't. Oh, uh, I don't you mind. You can't hear me. Are you? You just telling me I can talk loud enough over the top of it now, aren't you? No, apparently, apparently we couldn't hear anything you were saying you all the way through. You couldn't hear that, a word no. I was saying. That's good. <clears throat> it I've was all very good though. I've you missed a top tip tip from uh, Charmaine from Donny Dimple. <laughs> 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 no, I think they heard so that. So well. I've done some colouring of the paper that we've got on the show, and. Um, cut a mat out. I've already cut one of those out earlier, but... Uh, Hang on, can I, be, can I be nosy? How did you colour the card? Which colour did you start with? The yellow? Uh, do you know this is neon paints? It's a very, very cheap acrylic neon paint. So did you just start with the white then? And I started with a white so card. So that's a white plane. Oh, OK, right. A white right. card. Sorry. This is a not, not a cheap... This is not a cheap one, but the way that I like to colour my white card is I will normally get a baby wipe. I'm not an artist and I'll get... No, but I love the texture on that and I'm sure other people would be like, oh, you're glad he asked that, hopefully. Um, just get a bit of pink. And this is the way I like to do my back, my back, my backgrounds. It's normally a baby wipe and I've put them somewhere where I've been using them and just... No. Really? Yeah. And then once you've got to, to that, you'll get your baby wipe and then rub it in. So it's acrylic paint. Acrylic and, paint. And you've just done a little bit of... Smotion. Wa wax on, wax, wax off. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> I don't normally do it with a wet cloth. No. I normally do it with a dry, yeah. dry baby wipe. Yeah. And then rub it and then that's... Uh, that's lighter because it was a yeah, of course. it was a you know a very very cheap one that I was right. doing but yeah. I'd got the orange the yellow and the Gorgeous. pink into it but just uh, it's another idea of creating backgrounds isn't it yeah this one when that dries you can start making more backgrounds stamping mm. on top of it mm. I'm going to be using that with the flowers and stamp out the flowers I can stamp I can cut out the flowers and then I've got flowers 
coordinating with different things but this is how i do a background ah. it makes me happy that's all that I, that's all that matters with absolutely and why, and why not it's 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 lovely yep. it's very effective so and make sure before you start cutting that your cardstock will be dry so this is from the um the wings, wings and, and things. things and i just want you to show how to show how it actually cuts we're just going to put that die set detail on the screen for you as well because yep. it's mega and it's got a nice butterfly in the middle it's got go and don't and it has also got the mat for the center so this part here ah. is the mat from the center yeah i yeah, cut yeah. the edge off that one to make yeah. sure that I use the right piece that I want when I wanted to cut my, my daisy out. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just in if case. If you get what I mean, yeah. yeah. I have a tendency to prep up and I have that bit for that, that bit for that. Yeah. And then I go to put it together and I've used the bit that should have gone on top to do the die cutting. Yeah. And what I should do really is write on the back of it, but then I forget to look. How are we doing for time? Fun. I have no idea, Karen. Um, it's nearly ten to. It's nearly ten to. Got about. To. How long do we have now? Are we uh, uh, five minutes? Five minutes. Oh yeah, that's from Monday, isn't it? And then you start. Obviously, you'd need uh, to push these out, and most of them come out. They are very nice. They are all cut, but we haven't got time for me to push them all out. But you can see that they. I bring it into view like an. What a rookie mistake. Bring it all into view and see how they all cut out. They all come out. But that's uh, a really thick, thick card, that yeah. one. Sometimes you can pop it through twice to do it. So that one's going <clears> to <throat> go on to... I think it's satisfying there. when that happens, Karen, because I can just... Uh, I don't mind sitting there with my pokey tool and, uh, and doing it all one by one. Do you not? I love doing that. Right, you can come on design team. You'll soon get fed up of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, careful what you wish for, Derek. <laughs> careful what you wish for, definitely. <laughs> Bob that there like that. Yeah. I've cut a mat out in the same same bits, but we're going to cut another one, and then we're going to cut a black flower out. I'm going to pop the black flower onto there, which I've just left myself in a room. We'll get the mat <laughs> out, and I'll just tear that. So cool that the colour of that background that you've made there is really, really lovely because it, it kind of, you know, even though it's flowers, I like the angle I'm looking at it from the, the, the finished one from here, the daisies don't look like daisies almost because they're all in, in black, aren't they? It gets yes. that lovely coloured background. So from my vantage point here, they almost look like palm trees. Yeah, so I'm looking from that kind of angle but from the other way around. Um, and they kind of look a bit like palm trees. It, yeah, it's really lovely. Sorry, I keep moving things, don't I? I'm making right rookie mistakes. <laughs> that one goes on there. I'm thinking about the time, that's what it is. Ah, uh, don't worry. Yeah, little legs are going. I need to stop worrying about the time. No, don't I've got worry. another demo, you see, so I'm thinking I'll get that oh. in, but I don't think I will. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that's happening. So that one <laughs> is, that's that coloured paper, as you saw me colour. Yeah. Pop that there. This one is the flower, and that's that will end up staying in however as I've, as I've mentioned earlier if you pull that part up pull that part yeah because you've got to watch the stem part, on this haven't the you? the stem is really delicate one millimeter thick and it's thin. one million we uh paula and i measured it and it was uh, she, paula says that's less than one millimeter <laughs> and i've given it a one millimeter just you two need to get out of the house more often <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think they let me come here? That's the only time I get out. Yeah, come on, we'll, we'll hey, let you in. That's not far from the truth. She that's needs to get out. I need to get out more. I don't get out very much. <laughs> and then we've got gilding white. So you can see on here, I'm not sure if you can see, it's done all the... In the embossing. In the embossing. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Have we got no, it? We're coming from another angle. There we go. Oh, can you see it? Yeah. I can't see it because there's no, there's no lift, screen Lift it up just me. a little bit. A little uh, bit. No, no, just angle it up, there. sorry. Yeah. There we go. That's oh, it. Oh, there we go. It's a bit sparkly as well, Karen. Yeah, because there's been... There's some, somebody's had glitter on this table and I've been... I've got glitter all over. <laughs> I don't know who's had it on, but I couldn't get rid of the glitter. So you've got a bit of gilding wax I've there. I've got a bit of gilding wax. And I've popped it on so that there isn't too much. Pop it on your third finger. 
Paula told me how to how to use it for third your finger. third finger because this one you have a lot of pressure when with it being your index one. Ah, okay. And your third finger is the least pressure that you're going to use. Is it? Yeah. Well, who knew? And then over the top and build it nicely. <laughs> she said. How she found that out? <laughs> I think it's a well-known fact. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I find these out. I watch. Uh, um, I do watch. Uh, a lot of craft stuff, <laughs> and uh, that's where I pick it all up. You've from. got less than a minute, Karen. Less Sorry. than a minute. Oh, I've got plenty of time, <laughs> plenty of time for this because I'll not stick it. I'll just give you the 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 other one, the ones that I've done earlier. But there you go. See how that's. Can I lift that one up as well? Am Love I it. Right yes. Give it. Give it. A, give it a waggle. Give it a wiggle. Waggle it. Waggle it to oh, Webster. Oh, look at that. Look there at the embossing go. on that. That is absolutely <laughs> amazing. Love that. So that one is going to go onto there. That is going to go into there. Then we would get a pen and we would draw around it and you would end up with that. Lovely. There. Do you know, you did that all in perfect timing. Now, you are back in when? Ten minutes or <laughs> I'm half hour? back at five. Back at five? Back at five, What are yes. you doing at five? I'm doing jelly bean at five. Are you? Yes. I card. can see lots of goodies over there lots as well. Lots of goodies. He's got some nice goodies. He has got some nice I'm goodies. I'm hoping to pinch them off the counter to be able to demonstrate with them. I'm sure you will, Karen. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Um, yes. Thank you ever so much. Thank you it's very been a much. Ball. Hasn't it? Yes. Hasn't it? Ball. Shouldn't be that much fun, should it really? Of course it but should. Of course it should. Thank you, darling. Uh, check your baskets out. Stay right where you are. Don't move a muscle. Who knows what's happening next? Please make sure that you check out. What a brilliant hour. Right before your next episode with Karen, uh, it's Make It Joe next, which is really, really good. Some fab fabrics over there. And then the one day special with La Blanche. So I'll see you back here with Leone in an hour's time. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. So I hope you won't miss the shows with Stamps Away. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us.
Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel, and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Cathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Cathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs. All of our products are manufactured in the UK and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you, to be educational, and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Hello everybody, good afternoon. Uh, nice to be with you this Friday afternoon, actually. Absolutely lovely to have your company. Uh, thank you to Karen for the last hour. I've got two hours lined up with Karen later on, and um, I'll tell you what, if it's anything like the last hour, it could be fun. It could be a lot of fun, or it could be the end of my career. Career. Um, speaking of which, the saviour, though, for the next hour, everybody, it's not Weatherman Joe. Don't get excited. He couldn't be here because of lockdown restrictions. He couldn't be here. But we have got his other family member. It's Joe here. Hi, Scott. Hi, yeah, I, I know. It isn't Weatherman Joe, but it is me. Oh. So it's a pleasure. This is weird being here at three o'clock in the afternoon. I, it's yes. so unusual for me. This, so is, this is, is surreal. This is a strange one for you, know, but you're yeah. up. You're OK. I'm up. I'm awake. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Usually I'm on early mornings, so yeah. this is good. Is no, Weatherman Joe, unfortunately, now things are open. Yeah. Beauty salons, hairdressers. Oh, of course. He's, you know, he's doing his thing. So, no, of course. You know, he couldn't be with here, but hopefully he'll be with us soon. Well, listen, you're, you're a good stand-in. Oh, no, thank uh, you. For, for it. You're Looked very, very similar again to Weatherman Joe, so we'll just pretend. We'll just pretend. Uh, now, which is which is great. We've only got the one hour with Joe uh, for the, today. Uh, and as you said, just before we came live, as we said, we've got lots of lovely fabric. Yes. Uh, we've, we've got all the essentials that people yep. are going to need as well. It, it's beautiful. Uh, this is a real big variety of fabric that I went to my friends at Material Magic and we had a little play with fabrics and we wanted to bring something quite special and different. Right. And obviously, being a Friday, what more could you want on a Friday yeah. ready for the weekend? Some fabric. Yeah, exactly. Some lovely fabric. Great, great prices. We've also got a cheeky little surprise bundle in there, which I think is always good. And I think a lot of people like those kind of things. Who knows what's in the bag kind of thing. Uh, so let's talk to start with about the trios that we have available for you. Uh, and again, these are all we've got are your fat quarters to go through. And as you can see, they're, well, they're lined up in, in order as we go down here. But a really lovely collection. And to be honest, Joe, you've got something here... For, for everybody, really. Yeah, no, definitely, Scott. And I love the fact as well that the reason why I've chosen those varieties at Material Magic was that you've got all the little components, little designs that we can use for lots of mini makes. And me, I like a mini make. Yes, that's I true. do like a mini make. So I always look at a fabric and what can I get out of that fabric? How many projects can I make? Right. And there's some beautiful designs there. There really are. Shall we go through uh, then in order? To yeah, start definitely. Off with, because uh, we'll start off with the travel that we've got for you here. Uh, and again, really lovely. So we've got all sorts on here to, uh, that working together. Shall I just take one out just to open up it. anyway? Is that Have okay? A play. Uh, one, it'll give us a size as well that we are looking for the fat quarter for those that are just with us for the first. Oh, it's got a sticker on there. Is that all right? Yeah, that's okay. Do, do, I, do, do I just do the we'll, casual? We'll let you off. Or shall I just rip it off? Hey, rip it off. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> that sounds quite butch. So I could just up to it. 
Oh, seamless. Like a session back in the beauty salon having a wax, I'd imagine. Uh, <laughs> been a while for that. Right. Uh, but these are, these are absolutely beautiful. This they're is stunning, the whole, aren't they? Yeah. They're, they're all great weight as well, Scott. So they're a little bit heavier than your usual cotton. It's true, actually. It's that linen print. Yes. So whether we're in bag making, cushions, mixed media, journal covers, all sorts of things that we can do with them. They're a really nice, me I would say a medium weight fabric. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so really nice for those types of makes. But it's the designs here. Yeah. I mean, the designs that we've brought on are just phenomenal. You know, there's smiles in there. There's different memories that we can think of when we're looking at the fabrics. I love the travel one. Yeah, like travel one's re really lovely. We've got the Eiffel Tower in there. We've got the bridges. We've got all of those. And actually, on this one as well, that's, that's, I want to show you that one because you can really sort of see sort of lovely brightness here with the travel. But this is sort of seaside feel. We've it got is, the bike, isn't it? We've got yeah. flip-flops in there Hopefully as well. Hopefully one day bottles. soon that'll be us. That is absolutely beautiful. And then we have actually got, I'll just show you that one in there as well, which has got some of more, more your famous landmarks as well. So we've got London, we've got Paris, uh, we've got the big wheel on there as well. We've got I Love New York. So basically, you, we've got all, all the big, big ones covered. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I love that. So that's your travel option that you're looking at there. So moving down. Uh, we've got our beautiful herb garden. This is beautiful. I've got to show this one because this is absolutely beautiful. See, uh, I'm torn. That. This was my favourite. There is one coming up shortly that might have taken over, but I love the colours in this. The actual trio there, the colours are yeah. so lovely with the little polka dot with it, the floral, that vintage floral, and then all your herb gardens running through. Absolutely I love that. Stunning. That is really lovely, actually, and a very nice, actually, with those, with the, in the little pots, for example, yes, to, to work with. Lovely sort of country feel on that. There we go. This is where you've got the actual polka dot that will work with this really, really nicely. And again, you've got more of the florals underneath that will work with that. That's a really beautiful print. It's beautiful, isn't, isn't it? Got that real classic design, that yes. vintage look, but with that real striking lilac colour running through there as well. Love that. That's your herb garden collection, if you'd like to go for those. If you're liking your brights and your yellows, I think this would be the one I'd recommend, although we have got a polka dot colour up in another one of those but this is beautiful with the what, what's this one called the ah the fruits and flowers isn't fruits it? And this, flowers. this is this has got that quintessential really sort of countryside it, you know fit. it reminds me of a village fate yes you've got that's your exactly jams it. on the little stall there you've got your sunflowers great poppy fabric in that little trio as well so there's a really good mix again for me you're looking at that fabric and how many makes i can get out of that of course of quarter. course and it being that weight it is whether we're doing bunting well, like I say, if we're doing oh, a little a nice... journal cover, just really, really nice, strong designs. They are, they are lovely, actually. The two flowers here, we've got the sunflowers and the poppies that go with it. That is gorgeous. It is, you'd imagine this, uh, some, a little summer fate and then some, you know, a, a midsummer murder kind of opening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully um, not. A, a quintessential. <laughs> so hopefully all the prettiness, all the lovely quaint uh, feel about that without the murders, which is lovely. But I really love that. I yeah, think that is nice, gorgeous. That uh, now then, have a look at the next section we've got there. Yeah, this is your beautiful vintage labels that we have here. Yeah, and it's it going to exactly be my number what one. It says this on the I love this. You know, I'm a sucker for the vintage um, styles. There's vintage labels there. You've got the complementary fabrics with it, with the polka dot, but all those little labels on there. So many makes that we can do and yeah. cut those out. And the value, I mean, it's the value of the trio, really, Scott. At ten ninety nine yeah. for those, it's phenomenal. Value. That is really good, and they work so well. The actually the bundles that you put together here, if you put that next to the polka dot, for example, it really does bring out all those lovely sort of yeah, coffees great, and browns, isn't it? doesn't it? Uh, and again, and actually on the bottom one we got here, let's just show this one here, and this has got again, you're staying with the classics uh, that we look at, all those sort of brands and those looks of this sort of the old tins that was yeah, in there, the is, names. Yeah. And it, it, it just brings all those colours together as well, the three fabrics, and it really complements each other on our makes. Yeah, really, really like that. Really, really lovely set, actually, if you'd like to go for this one. I love a fabric that tells a story and gives a memory. Ah, uh, yes, I see, yeah. And actually, something like that, when you look at it, will bring back some memories in there, will take you back definitely. to a little place as well, yeah, like you no, say, definitely. the storytelling. That's really lovely with your labels. Uh, now then, we've actually got the lavender. Now, this is a really lovely, bright collection. It's obviously, you've got that gorgeous polka dot that's in there, but actually, even more than that as well, to go with it, you've got some beautiful, gorgeous yellows as well. That yeah, so that this. real nice mosaic fabric there mm. and then you've got the complementary lavender at the bottom 
with the little lavender bikes and baskets and, and just really brings in those colours really nicely together. So you've got such a strong design running through that one. That is really beautiful. Uh, I have to say, you know, for that price, like you say, Joe, £10.99, because you've actually got a £4 saving on whichever bundle on those you're going to go for. Uh, it's all on the same item, Kofi, to look through. 189363. Uh, so with that price reduction of £4, you're only looking at £10.99. Which one's your favourite? Which one are you going to go for? I actually going to go for a couple of bundles because actually there's a couple of those you could marry up even mm. the polka dot to go through with some of the yellows and definitely. the sunflowers yeah no, uh, definitely. there's maybe want to go for a couple with that four pound saving make the most if you can one eight nine uh that we're looking at uh, three six three uh, right now we've also got another option for you but again on the same item co but we've got two different options uh, that you can look at here which is a beautiful material magic you're going to get two uh, half meter linen fabric bundles here these are 54 inch wide and actually on this deal again really good good offer six pounds saving yeah it's amazing saving. Bundle, you've got to think it's a 54 inch width so it's a full width for fabric the two complementary fabrics there so you have the house designs the little village designs with the floral to complement it mm. and you've got the citrus olive and you've got the mauve rose but if you That's i mean nice. you can see the size there scott and there's yes. so much fabric for your money again a really good weight so if we were going to do it on a bag or a cushion oh, okay. really nice weight but also if we wanted to do a multiple order it will be cut in a continuous length so if you're oh, thinking great. of a blind maybe, oh that's a great idea and then we could do matching cushions to go with it that's you know nice. the really really strong design on that yeah that's a lovely idea so that's a really important point there from joe again if you are looking for that you want a continual cut then you can have that done as well if you're going to be uh, uh, adding multiples of those for you but that that size is really good and that size complemented again by that six pound saving on those uh the, both in the same same patterns but you've got your two color uh, options again that you looked at uh, we had uh, what was the citrus wasn't it yeah the citrus olive citrus olive we're looking at here of course which is absolutely beautiful with a much brighter and then down the bottom you've got the mauve rose beautiful mauve rose at work with it lovely design on either of those which ones you're working for uh, 712317 for that again 54 inch wide uh, really really great project great stuff uh, this is nice it's uh, and I think quite beautifully timed actually with, <laughs> with beer gardens well, you know what? We, had, we had to bring this one back because it was so popular and people asked for more of it I'm it's not a surprised. really great little trio a last orders trio um, there was a lovely viewer last time we brought it back that showed her little garden a pub that she'd made ah. and it was a great little picture and it was very apt that we can make some bits and pieces for our gardens for you know having a bit of a social time and inviting friends around the garden which would be great and this is lovely for that we'll try and do some makes with this one as well oh great I love that. So you got yeah, I love that because that's got your your little buckets in there with your beer bottles in there. You got your frothy beers, which is lovely. Those big pints of those for your stout. But if you're looking for something a little bit sort of more summery and brighter uh, than those, uh, then uh, yeah, we go. These are the ones that I think those kind of drinks that you can drink it counts as one of your five a day. Oh, definitely. Get enough fruit 100%. in that. Yeah, there's fruit in that one, isn't there? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you got your fruit. Uh, which is that really lovely and bright and then which is great you've got all your famous bottles uh, that go with it so I'm sort of certainly in there again that is a I mean nice you bring this on a Friday yes you know well I had to I thought I had to you know yeah. <laughs> last <laughs> Re orders <laughs> really lovely um, and again if you know if we are doing a few more things outside you know like you say some cushions might yeah. be put together no, it's usually, and I, I think we've spent more time in our gardens as well yeah um, which is lovely so a lot of people have done it they've made their own little beer gardens and and this is great because we can do those final little details whether we just use it as a as a picture or a little mini make for it or we might have a little go at some bunting maybe with oh it brilliant well. ah that'd be very nice maybe a few people have created their very own outdoor bars yes a bit of bunting on that to, uh, to open it up with six one nine zero four zero and if you have got one of those joe and i will accept your invitations we don't mind traveling <laughs> anytime we're happy to travel yeah. uh, four pounds saving on those also 10.99 only for that i really like that bundle i think it's great uh, now i mentioned at the top of the show we had a little bit of a sort of surprise if you like those bundles where you go do you know what for the right price, I'm happy to take a little bit of a punt. Yeah, no, and this... This is one, but this with is one of those. guarantees as well as a little bit of yeah, a... Yeah, so you get a bit of a guarantee of fabric. So the ditzy floral fabrics will They're be pretty. in your little parcel. But what we do, these lovely little striped candy bags of goodness, I would call them. Yeah. Because we've, we've had them before. They're getting really popular. And they're just a little bit of fun. That I can't take full credit for these. 
because this is a family effort, this one. Oh, so, OK. Uh, obviously, Lily helps me out, but my mum, bless her, she's been busy with me as well. And we've really enjoyed making them. So you've got one that's open. Yes. But shall yep. I chuck one over to you, Yeah, Scott, go on. Because you never know what colour theme you're going to get. I don't know what colour okay, theme you're going to get. I've taped it up and it's ready to go. It, so it's a bit like past the parcel that I'm guaranteed to win. Yeah, so every time you get it, you, you have that little surprise in the bag and it's something special. That's nice as well. Rip and away, Scott. Go I on. I like that. Rip no, away. no plastic in there either as well. There so is a little bit to keep it all together. Oh, is there? Just a little bit. But it bit. is reusable. So that, oh, that's great. That, I'm liking that. Um, so, oh, now. So this colour, right, OK, I'm liking this. So there now, is a theme with the bags. So right. Each bag, although you don't know the colour you're going to get, it will be themed. So everything oh, in that bag can make some mini makes. And I had a lovely comment from the lovely Rosemary on Facebook Ooh. yesterday to say that she's already had one and she's going through hers and deciding that I think she's up to about ten little projects out of one bag, which is wow. phenomenal. There's a bit of tweed in here, is this? Got this bit... You never know what you're gonna get. I Scott. love this. Now, and I think that's what so and, and uh, this is what so I thought. You're gonna guarantee you've got your three fabrics already. They're gonna come. They are what you see. We've got leather. As well, that's been some some shaping this and cut out. We've got beautiful uh, ribbons as well. Um, but the each bag will be colour colour themed uh, uh, as best as uh, Joe can actually put together for you as well. So you're getting. I mean, this is absolutely fantastic. It's a real little treasure. Yeah, I'm going to open one as well. You've Let's have a little look. Well. You just couldn't bear me got. to win past the parcel, could you? There we go. I've got a blue one. So we've got blues in there. Let's open that up. So this is great. I mean, it is one of those. We just wanted that little bit of inspiration. Ah, oh, this is great. And that Box little bit of make. So in mine, I've got blues. Oh, yeah, I've got some great little things in here. So, That's lovely. And it's really packed full with loads of little bits and pieces that we can do. Great if we're doing our journaling. Great if we're doing our little sort of mixed media projects. Really, really fun to use. And the inspiration of opening it up getting it home, laying it all out and go, there's a project, there's a project, I can mix it in as well. And, uh, and what is lovely, because you've got uh, all sorts in here with felt, actually you've got some, again, that already works out and cut, so uh, this one you've got uh, cowboy that's already there to go, you've got your captain for you, you've got your little baubles, you've got lots of ribbons and silks, uh, some really beautiful fabrics. But what I love about this, I think this is the, I think the winning point that I like, is you know you're getting these materials, that's guaranteed. You're going to be getting the three of these Ditsy Floral, that's it, but on top of that, you're going to be getting you're going to be getting that bag and who knows what color theme you're going to be getting in there plus it's also got four pounds off so it's just 11.99 with that surprise uh what percentage was that Oh, approaching 20% already. You literally have only spent two minutes <laughs> and opened the bag. Approaching 20% of the stock there already. 412 double seven zero I mean, I don't know. Is it that once it's gone, it's gone? Because that's quite it a sort is, of bespoke Yeah, once it's bag. gone, it's gone, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. So. so please, 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 if you do want that, there's no more of that coming back on Extended because, as you've heard, all the family have been involved in filling those bags for you. Uh, so get it while it's in stock. Uh, 412 I think I said get it while it's in stock. In sock. Yeah, it I could don't know be in why. your sock if you want it in, in sock. <laughs> it's one of those. Like I said, we absolutely love making them. That's brilliant. We can only do them every now and again because yes. it takes time. Yeah, it does take time, but we do enjoy it. And as much as we can bring to uh, the craft store, we will do. I think that's absolutely brilliant. Really, really good bundle for that one, which is gorgeous. Right now, we also mentioned that we got we got some of your staple pieces that you're going to need from the, those projects, and it's always great when you can get them at the low, low prices that you was going to get uh, when Joe's on the show. So we'll start off with, of course. Now, this is the extra wide of the calico, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So you got two meters of cut. This is probably the most, the greatest value I've seen in calico. It's so good. I Such a great to try quality. And open all this? Yeah, I'll go for it. Let's go for it. Stretch, stretch those arms out, Scott. Oh, so, right, OK, here we go. You, we'll you said you are a little bit chilly. You, well, Just wrap yeah. yourself around yeah, in yeah. that. Oh, you can see straight away the there. amount of fabric you're getting. That's huge! For 9 .99. As uh. you can feel, it's got super, super soft. It's it really got Really, really soft. Great weight, whether we're stitching, whether we're painting, whether we're embroidering, whether we are uh, literally anything you want to do, printing that I do on it as well. Yeah, okay. It's a really great fabric to use Ooh. and the value is phenomenal. Ooh, I've got a feeling of a panto ghost coming up there for a second. Uh, I'm loving that. That is absolutely brilliant and brilliant price again. Nine ninety nine. You want to be now try and fold it back up. It won't look the same like the jeans in a store. Zero nine five eight seven six nine ninety nine only that you're looking for that. And it is the extra wide. So absolutely uh, perfect for you to go for on that one. Get that one into your. Uh, 
for, that's not badly folded for a, for a beginner. That's pretty good. That's all right, isn't pretty it? Pretty good, yeah. It's okay, don't look at the creases. <laughs> uh, right, uh, stay in with, uh, with those that brilliant deals and prices, of course. This is your Hessian. This is a natural Hessian that you've got here with a £5 discount as well. I know, yeah. So we've bought this Hessian again. It's that quality of real soft Hessian. So the guys at Material Magic really work on their Hessian. They, they do use it a lot in def oh, lots oh, of projects. See. Wow, it's huge But it now. is a soft Hessian. So a lot of hessians can be quite That's coarse. That's true, actually, yes. It can be quite stiff and coarse, where this is an open weave, really soft. Again, you're getting two metres of it, Scott. Yeah, that is huge. I know what you mean, because sometimes you feel it, it it's almost like a... It, it's quite scratchy. Scratchy, yeah, yes, well, this it one is. But actually, yeah, this, great. as you can see, it's scrunching up really easily as well. So a very different feel about that, honestly. That's really good, that. £5 off, so normal price of £14.99. So right now, under £10 for two metres by your 54 inches. So that is a huge, huge bundle to go for regarding that price point on there. Go for that one. Uh, 596904 is your item code for that one as well, which is absolutely fabulous. Uh, then, last but not least on there, we've actually got our canvas to work with now again this you're saying this is a, a this a is nice one. yeah it's a 12 ounce canvas so it's a really heavy weight you can feel the weight as you fold it out it's a meter piece it's extra wide but it's i think for me if you were doing those robust projects or if we're we're trying to cover things or right. we're making bags that we want to last for a lifetime this stuff is great stretching around canvases as well oh, so okay. i've used it a lot where i've stretched it around a board or a canvas and we can paint on it, and oh, it's wow. all good to go. So because it it does feel very almost tough. Actually, yeah, it is it, tough. Is I mean. Yeah, yes. yeah. But I can understand if you're going to be using it for art as well for that, you'd need that to be exactly that. So that's a really good deal, actually. Twelve ninety nine again. Another one with five pounds off reduced on that one. Two double seven five three four is your item code for that one, and that is your twelve ounce on that one. One meter uh, by sixty inch wide. Really, really good deal. Twelve ninety nine. Two double seven. Five, three, four. Right. Uh, oh, the oh yeah, the pick and mix behind me. Yes, so do apologise, everybody. I was just there looking at the uh, <laughs> look at the counter. Uh, well, so what's the what's the deal on this so one? So this is everything. your drill fabric. So these are your drill cotton fabrics. This pick and mix. What we've done, we've brought a great saving today for it. It is one of those essentials. It's a lot, really, really wide width for fabric. It's very unusual. But it's the weight of fabric, Scott, that it is so strong. A bit right. like the canvas, where you know you've got that durability, yeah. whether we're back in a cushion, whether we're back in our bags, uh, or we're okay. lining our bag. Such a great weight, such a great price as well. I tell you what, when you see them like that, you've got beautiful it. colours. It's to nice, isn't from. it? Which one can you choose? That's the thing. Well, Always remember as well, because it is a pick and mix any two, if you need a larger piece, it will be cut in a continuous length. Oh, again, and that's really useful, isn't it, for hugely, people with those projects hugely. to go with that. Um, really good deal, £5 on this one again. So pick any two that you want to go for, £12.99. Uh, we're going to show you the options. I think all available on the website. It's easy to go through because they've actually got the names at attached to them there. Black, slate, grey, canary, yellow. Pillar box red it is exactly that. The royal blue, the Californian orange, navy blue, peacock blue, I think one of my favourite, snow white and we've also got silver grey, racing green, uh, we've got emerald jade, emerald green, military green, camel, I tell you, you've got so much to choose from here, rouge, chocolate, flow yellow, then you've got the um, camo blue, camo grey, and then you've got the camo green. Hopefully you can still see those ones on the screen, those three. Um, really, really fantastic offer. Pick any two and you pick a mix on that one with that £5 off, so it's actually only £12.99. 414158 is your item, item code to look at for those as well. Uh, right, last we got here, we got the Fuser Web and the Calico as a bundle for you. Um, this is, again, people are just going to have this in their store. Yeah, I mean, I, I use it all the time. It's one of those that we've always said we need that utility yeah. belt to put on <laughs> exactly. so I can bring them out. Bring them it out. is that Calico and Fuser, uh, Fuser Web that I use for printing. Um, people have seen me do the printing with it, but it's nice because it's on that roll. So if yeah. we run out and we need to uh, get some more stock in, it's great to go. So it's a metre and a half on each roll. On each roll. Oh, OK, that's, that's brilliant, that. Again, it's another item on the counter with another saving for you, actually. Another £3 off this one. 11 99 only is what you're looking at, and you are getting both rolls for that. 812-514 is your item code down. So absolutely brilliant offer to go for. Again, if you've used it in the past, get it now whilst we have it and it is in stock. Uh, also, if you are working on you need your, your cutters, your scissors, then you want to go for these ones. Now... I was upset because I said to Joe, these are the first time they've been on air. <laughs> they are for you, he says, Scott. Yeah, for you, yeah. We've had them a couple of shows now. 
it's a great pleasure to bring them back. And it's one of those that I say, using scissors all day, every day, I know what their capabilities are, so what they can cut. And I've now twisted material magic arms and they're using them every day. And oh. these guys, 60 years of fabric cutting, to change their scissors for these is phenomenal. So, yes, they have been for the last couple of shows, but they are exclusive to you, Scott. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Uh, do you know what? I've, I've just got them out of the box and, uh, and felt the weight of them. And you just know that that's the, the quality they are, pair yeah. of scissors because actually the action on them. I really love the grip on these, by the way, because they've got like a... Um, it's a sort of a, a, that plastic on there, but would you hold it? Yeah, so it's it, like a wax moulded wax, grip. Wax, that's the yeah. feel of it. So, and what you'll find with the scissors as well, because obviously, I, I've said this before, I've, I've had carpal tunnel on both my wrists, so my dexterity sometimes, my hands do okay. hurt, and the weight is really nicely balanced. Yes. So they're not too heavy, no. they're 10 inches, no. so they've got enough weight there for do, if we're dressmaking as well, if we're doing soft furnishings, they're just a really nice weight to them. Uh, I, honestly, I really like the feel of that in the, in, on the grip, and that's really important, isn't it? But, yeah, but, no. You really too. love, and I, I do love the, uh, the, the uh, you've got your little uh, markings on, they'll make it Joe on the actual blade on that. That's do you nice know what's really sad, but I love the box. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, to be honest, it's all in the, it's all in the presentation, isn't I it? I love it's the, all the box, in the presentation. it's really sad, but, um, and the value of them as well. These are scissors, so you've got to imagine, these are lifetime scissors. Yeah. I've never yeah. sharpened my scissors. And I've been cutting all day, every day for the last few years. Really? Me. So, yeah. So, it's a pleasure to bring them back to the craft store. Go, honestly, really highly recommend those ones. 792753, especially with a £10 saving on those as well. So, it's just 19 .99, a really, really good offer for you. Right. That's everything we've got on the counter. Obviously, fill your baskets with everything, of course, there on the web for you. Uh, go from your picker mixes to bundles. Don't forget that bundle, that surprise bundle that's in there. When it's gone, it's gone. So, make sure you do get that one and I can tell you it is very busy for that also. Uh, Joe, what are we going to be looking at? I love you. I know you love your, your makes. What yes. are we looking at? Yeah, so uh, it's funny because everybody always says, what are you going to make today? I don't know. Let's have a little look. <laughs> exactly so I love play. I love just picking up the fabric and have a little play. I'm going to have a little play with the herb garden because I absolutely love the colours. Really, oh, yeah, really beautiful. Nice. So you've got the polka dots, you've got the herb garden, you've got that vintage floral there. So I've stole from my house i have to say but i stole a couple of jars this morning so if my family are thinking where are all the sweetie jars gone oh i didn't eat all the sweets but i've got a little empty jar that is a lovely jar but it's pretty boring so we're going to decorate that okay. using the fabrics using some of the essentials there as well so what i'm going to do first is the herb garden for me because we've got all the little components mm. in the fabric and i'm yep. going to cut one of these out I'm going to cut the chives out, I think it is here. So using but my that's, lovely... that's the lovely thing about the bundle, because you have got your polka dot, you've actually got the floor in there, but you've got these, uh, again, if, you, if you're thinking about projects, if just in that one you're going to get with your fat corn, so the one you're working with right now, there are loads of mini projects that you can Hugely, create from that. Yeah, massively. You think that's a small component there. Um, we've got so much fabric that we can use forever make. So I've got my little piece of fabric there, the chives. Obviously, I've always got my fuser web with me, so we're uh -huh. going to cut a little piece of that off. So we've got some fuser web to use. Just for those that are watching, Joe, because we get a lot of people watching every day that, you know, are starting for the first time, the fuser web. But what, what, what is important about that and so why the, would we need it? The fuser it? web, for me, it's, be, it's one of those products that a lot of crafters are very scared about using fabrics. You know, whether you're a card crafter, whether you're a mixed media, yeah. this really introduces you into fabric and you can use it on both elements, so oh, okay. card, fabrics. I'm going to have a little play with different materials today right. as well right. to show you the capabilities of it. So we can really use it without having to sew. We can make lots of makes with it without sewing at all. Because the sewing machine is not my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, it breaks here. So every time I come to the craft store, it's like, mm, it might work, it might not. Yeah. So we'll have a little play. Right. So what I've done first, I've got my little chives there. I'm going to cut a little bit of fuser web as well. Okay, and I think I'm going to go for a little bit of backing of this lovely floral as well. So we're going to cut a small piece off there. This is the first thing. I'm That's going to jazz right. up my little jar, put that to one side, and we're going to get some of the spotty. So with the spotty, what I'm going to do is the jam jar lid I've got there. I'm going to get some more fuser web. I'm going to draw around my jam jar lid to the top on the paper side. So we're always using the paper side. Okay. There's a glue side and paper side. Little instructions that come with it, obviously, explain a little bit about it. Okay, really simple. So I've got my circle there I'm going to cut out. A lot of people say to me, because you've got fabric scissors, you're using it on the fuser web. 
it's okay, honestly. Uh, even Lily at home moans at me, said, Dad, it's paper. Yeah, but it, it's a glue substance, so it's OK. okay. Don't worry. OK, well, that. Because <laughs> uh, um, no one's let me forget the time that uh, I used um, Fiona's uh, fabric scissors to cut the rind off the bacon once. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's generally what my son does uh, in my I've house. Never, I've never been out. I mean, even when I made her the actual bacon sandwich, it's when she saw the, the, the tools of what I used to make them, where I still got... Oh. I got, I, I got told off. Naughty. Naughty. You have to have your fabric scissors separate. <laughs> the other question is, of course, with those scissors, is from our director, and it's a very, a very important question. Could he cut his pizza with them? Yeah, if he wants to, yeah, but okay. I wouldn't recommend it. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I think that's fair enough. So what I'm going to do with my little circle <laughs> there, I'm literally just going to very roughly sketch round. I want probably about three inches around my circle. OK, so I'm literally just going to dot it round. We're going to cut that out, OK, for our jam jar lid. All right, so we're going to snip that out. It is one of those that when you start using these fabrics, you'll see the quality of them. Yeah. They really are absolutely lovely. You know, they've got that sort of medium weight to them with the print on there. But I just enjoy going, going with Material Magic, having a little play with fabrics and picking fabrics out that we can bring something different to everybody. But you've you done know? a lovely job with everything. I mean, I would say there's something for everybody on here. You yeah, know, no, that's hugely, that variety from... is the key. Yeah. So we've got a rough circle. It doesn't have to be neat. That's one component there. We've got our two other fabrics that we're going to come back to. I've okay. got some card down here. Some little squares of card, okay? Obviously, in our little stashes at home, we've always got bits of card and things there. So what we're going to do, we're going to make sure that our fuse web is the same size as our chives. So I've got to cut that a little bit. And we've got our little iron, our trusty iron that is heated up. Do you have and a name for this little iron? Sorry? Do you have a little name for your little iron? I haven't. Oh. Maybe that's what we should name the iron. Jeremy Iron, we just... <laughs> 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 I like it. Uh, listen, I'd love it's to play that, but it came from our director, Antonio, who's, who's, uh, who cuts pizza. I mean, he gives with one hand and he takes that with the other. He cuts the pizza with scissors, but his, his quality timing on that was good. Yeah, that's good. I like Jeremy that. Iron. Jeremy Iron. Hi, oh. Jeremy. Yeah. Well, Jeremy's doing a really good job. So, <laughs> what you'll find with the fuser web, you can see on the overhead that you will start to see the Gore-Tex of the glue coming through, so you know that it's stuck. Right. But before we peel it, we just check a corner and you will see then if it's stuck. So what I'm going to do is going to peel that off and we should have a crispy ah, piece of paper. Perfect. So that's, we know that it's stuck. So we've got a glue base now on that fabric there. That's so the easy pop. as well, isn't it? Which is for speed for oh, work, hugely. working on projects, that's great. I'm going to pop a little bit of card in the middle. I want to give a little bit of stiffness to this little make. OK? Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is get another little bit of fuse web. Thank you. Off my roll. Do you know, a metre and a half we get on each one of those uh, rolls, isn't it? Is that right? Yes, a yeah. metre and a half. So it's good. I've always got rolls probably round my house. Every room's got a bit of fuse web in, I think. <laughs> it's quite sad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you say sad. I mean, I, I go cluttered, but I mean, you know, it's. Fine. There's been a lot of time spent at home, Scott, in the last. Well, two that's years. true. <laughs> that's true. To be honest, that's fair. So enough. what we're going to do? Turn our floor of fabric over. We're going to literally put our fuse web on the top. I love this vintage floor. It's so nice. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. very beautiful. That it's really I mean, nice. Exactly the same. Obviously, all irons are different. So just make sure that your weights, your iron is nice and hot, ready to go. If it hasn't quite stuck, don't worry. We can put the iron back down and go again. Okay, and we're going to put that down. We're going to turn this over. Really simple. Just pop that in the middle, and then we can iron it all together. So even oh, with okay. the cardboard in there, what it's doing is giving a little bit of stiffness on there. Okay, so really simple. Really like that. I okay, like so this. it's all together. I'm then going to trim the sides. Could I just ask, on a practical note, with regards to that, depending on what you might use this project for, obviously. Not with the cardboard in there necessarily. Yeah, but sure. If you were to make a project, a project here that was purely on materials, but you've used the fuse web in the middle of that. Yeah. Can you put that on a on a low temperature wash if it had to be used? Yeah, on, on a low temperature. I've tried it. I experiment with them all. So if we're putting it on the thirty degrees, again, it all depends on your machine because okay. machines are so different. Yeah, of course. You know, my machine would be different to yours. Yeah. So yours is gold plated, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so. with a, it is with a, <laughs> with a, on a silver plinth. <laughs> so I've made my little tag. So this is going to decorate my little. Uh, judge here so I'm going to pop that to one side we then earlier cut out our circle of fuser web so this is showing you the capabilities of fuser web okay we're literally just going to pop that on top of the jam jar 
It's a little bit bobbly, the top of my jam jar, but it will still take to oh, it. Oh, OK, straight on to okay. it, yeah. So it's going on to that metal there. All right. I'm going to get my polka dots there, and let's just have a little look. Needs a little bit more heat on there. Oh, Jeremy's okay. let us down there. Sorry. You can start this where you can really see the actual Gore-Tex of the glue. So I'm using the edge of my actual iron to stick it on there. OK, and I'm going to peel that off. There we go. Crispy paper. And it's just to hold this in place. So I'm going to centralise my lovely little polka dot. And then again, that's holding that on there. So we're good to go. So it has stuck. If Great. I hot turn it over, you can see straight away. Uh -huh. Pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. again, that fuse web has fused our fabric to the jam jar, the metal jam jar. Perfect. I've got some Perfect. twine here that I'm going to use. That really going for that herb garden look. So I want to cut a little bit of twine off there. I'm just going to get my lovely little chives there and put a little snip near the top in the centre. There we go, like so. Get my twine. Okay, we're going to feed that through there. This is the little fiddly bit where we can get it through the hole. Okay, there we go. This one's concentration. The tongue comes out. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So we're going to pull that through. No, oh. no, I wasn't happy with that one. So, so close. Let's make the hole a little bit bigger. Okay. You just like, you just like working on your scissors. I you do, just, yeah. I'm getting is, carried away now with the yeah. scissors. There we go. <laughs> so we're going to pop that in there. Okay, this is... Just one of those that shows you that capability is what we can do with the fabrics. You've got so much choice in there. There yeah. we go. Yeah. I'm going to pop that through there. Okay, like so. I'm going to grab my little jam jar. And we're going to tie that around there. Oh, I love this idea. So it gives it a little bit of decoration. Where we're going to put our dried herbs in there or, or anything yeah. we want to pop in there. So we're going to tie that off. And then we've got our lovely complementary polka dot lid that we're going to do very similar so we're going to get a little bit of twine on that oh. and we're going to fold over the fabric hence why we made it a little bit bigger has he cut enough there and we're literally going to tie that oh, around see, see i'm thinking about this is a great idea for people to make their own jams and yeah things, no so definitely i just like that little look against that fabric okay this is the fiddly bit. This is where my fingers fail. There we go. We'll tuck that under. Tie that nice and tight. Okay, do a double knot on that one. Always tricky. Always oh, tricky. Oh, this is the suspense. TV. He's gone for the <coughs> double knot, everyone. There he we succeeded. go. I'm going to trim that off. Okay, I'm going to have a little look. Pop that little jar on there. Oh, that I could do with that Then I'm going to get my scissors. And I'm just going to, a little bit of snip. Artistic license and pruning. We could use our pinking shears as well, if we had some pinking shears. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go, just to give that little look. Oh, I and then love we've got this. a really nice little decorative jar. Something a little bit different, not yes. plain and boring. They're probably still looking at home for the sweets, but I've got the jar here, <laughs> so I'll have to buy some on the way well, home. Well, listen, if you can fill it up on the way home, then I think they'll, they'll forgive I'll you. I will try. <laughs> they'll forgive you. Uh, Joe, I'm loving that idea. Thank you very much indeed. I'll tell you what, we'll just do a quick recap and then we'll come straight back to you, if that's OK, yeah, Joe. No, that's brilliant. Thank you. Do you know what I love about this is, and, and, and whichever one of these you're going to go for, you've got, you've got so many ideas and ways of working with these with each one of the trios that you're going to get. So the one that you've just been seeing that's been worked with, as I said, you're going to get one one of those fabrics, for example, uh, this is the, the, the exact one, uh, the herb garden that, uh, that Joe was working with. But if you break this down, I mean, how many projects on here that you could work through individually, just using it in the way that you've just seen already that Joe was uh, actually going with that. And of course, you have got the other materials that add into it. Again, you've got your polka dot on your florals with all of those. But when you think about those three fabrics, and they are, they are a lovely heavy duty feel about them as well. So they are going to take, you know, a good bit of sort of... Um, a weathering, etc., etc., wear and tear. Uh, but for that, with a four pound saving right now, so it's only ten ninety nine, and you get all three of those ones. So this one, the herb garden that you've been looking at, that's one we've been seeing, which is lovely. Uh, we've also got the first set that was on here is uh, the whole idea of travel. So maybe there's something with your projects here that you're looking at with maybe to do with passport holders if you wanted to, or it's to do with photo albums that you might have from pictures from time, or or maybe it's again with even adding to your journals, for example. 
people, you know, these are really lovely ideas, but certainly that theme of travel is strong with that. I know a lot of people use that. So you're going to get your three beautiful there. You've got this sort of uh, uh, one with the compass. You've got your landmarks in there, and then you've got a, which is more of a coastal one uh, with the seaside with your flip-flops in there and your anchor, and you've got your snorkel and all of those, which is lovely. Uh, once you've done all the landmarks of New York City, Paris, and London, you know, they've got something in there for all of your projects that work really nicely. So that's your travel. Uh, garden we've looked at already. Uh, uh, the fruits and flowers, lovely this. And again, is this proving to be in the lead at the Well, this is just, just about in the lead. Wow. Just about. This was your first favourite, wasn't it? You well, said? my first favourite, and I think it's because of the jams on there. And I think, like with the jar thing, it's one of those that, you know, that little fate, that yes. country fate. Yeah, absolutely. You know. I mean, there's so That's many That's probably points. where Weatherman Joe will be this summer, yeah. opening fates. <laughs> He'll be opening fates. He will be opening fates. Oh, oh, if you want him there, just let us know. We'll see if he's a free. Uh, but I'm liking that. You've actually got, you know, um, what you got, five, seven, five, 20 different individual uh, images of that one uh, fabric there, which is absolutely brilliant. And really all really good size um, um, images as well that you're looking at. But with that, you're also going to get the beautiful uh, sunflower. Uh, these are absolutely stunning. Just look at the detail that when you look at the prints on those. The same also for the poppy. I mean, absolutely absolutely gorgeous so if you'd like to go for that one uh, then of course that is a lovely option to go for let's bring in then I think, well, this is Joe's uh, new favourite, that, but the vintage labels. And yeah. again, this would work just on the project you just see that Joe's been working on. Great, great, great idea again, because you've got your lead fabric that's got those in there. And then again, you've also got your other further two fabrics to carry that on. In fact, this has got a lot of indiv individual projects. It has, which you've yeah, also and got. I love it. I mean, I've got a piece here and I keep looking at it and seeing something different there, Scott. So there's so much going on. But again, we can make our little labels, little gift tags. Yeah all sorts of things with these yeah. and it is so simple to do it really is because of the capability we can use that fuser web with that we can use a little bit of card we can make a little gift tag if we've got time we'll try and make one okay it's such a simple little make it really yeah. is yeah i love it i love it but you've got to say two really good fabrics in that particular bundle because you've also got your cans in there as well with your soups for example your coffee your sugars uh, your tea uh, but then you've also got the beautiful brown polka dot uh, that's mixed into that complete uh, collection which is really really lovely uh, so that is your labels uh, and then we've got one more uh, as well also which is is your lavender collection that will work really really beautifully because you got I don't think I opened this one up actually um, at the very beginning when I took it around but there's the lavender uh, that you can see which is your main sort of thing and that's, that's a sticker love a sticker <laughs> uh, but you got the lavender very pretty on the bike uh, with the wheels as well so individual projects you might be able to work with that but in contrast to that which I love is that beautiful bright yellow of the polka dot and then you've got those absolutely fantastic tiles uh, that work with that as a really lovely bright trio whichever one of those you want to go for they're all in the same item code 189363 and they all have a four pound saving on there also so a really good deal so just 10.99 getting looks at the floor manager the way i've left that not not as not as i found it <laughs> um move on to the linen bundle um uh, we have got two here. This is lovely. Now, you're going to get two half-metre fabrics on these ones, and they're 54-inch wide. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, this one... Uh, is the other citrus we have for you, which is, again, beautiful. The brights uh, with the sort of the yellows coming through. And then you've also got the, the beautiful mauve and rose. Uh, six pounds saving on here. 18 dollars uh, 712 31 Seven, uh, absolutely fabulous, love it. Oh, got to show this one as well. Another trio for you, uh, all collected here for again with that same offer that we got on the first lot of bundles, ten ninety nine. And this is your beautiful. I love this as well with all your beers, either with a poured with that frothy top into a cheer, or you've got your bottles, or you've got your summer cooling drinks. Uh, perfect for those six one nine zero four zero. Now we're proving very popular. All right, half the stock has gone. Just to recap, you will be getting your three ditzy floral. You will get these three fabrics. That's a guarantee for you. But what you're also going to get in that candy stripe surprise bag could be, it might be your pinks, it might be to do with your blues, it might be to do with your browns, but you will get a themed bag of goodies, which is the best way. Um, who knows what you get? Your ribbons, we have tweed in there, for example. We have little pom-poms, we have... 
beautiful silks in there. We've got feathers in here. They will be, as best that they can do, giving you all within the same kind of colour range that will work. But again, great. I really like half the stock's gone. Oh, yeah, no. they're lovely, aren't they? They so are brilliant. They I've are. got another one. Shall we, shall we quickly open I Just so. to see the. I want to see the colour. Yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do I'll it. Bag them away. Oh, 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 what, what are we going to go for? Well, so we've got pinks out, we've got browns. Oh, I opened a blue one. We've got blues. What you got there? Oh, it's like an autumnal. Look, lovely little buttons in there, little beads, some lovely fabric, some ribbons. There is so much in there. That's beautiful. That's a really nice strong colour as well. That's really like vibrant, that one. isn't it, actually? Yeah, really nice. Uh, yeah, who, who knows? Uh, £4 saving on that. And I will just point out that uh, because, obviously, they're hand-put together, those bundles, specifically, with everything being sort of chosen to go with it, uh, there's no more of those. It's not once it's, uh, once it's gone, it's gone. 412770, and over half the stock has already been allocated. Um, I think I love it. I love little treats like that. Yeah, little treats. And for that price, it's brilliant. It's the button it? jar treat. It's, yeah, the find out what's in the button jar. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Uh, what we? Oh, oh yes. We were just going to give. Um, Back uh, to the essentials for you. Uh, now, the calico is proving very, very busy. 9.99, and this, again, is 2 metres by 160 centimetres in there. Uh, but, again, really lovely quality. Yeah, it, I mean, it's the quality in relation to the price, Scott. It's phenomenal, yep. because yep. you think 9.99 for 2 metres of calico is very cheap and you'd think it'd be an inferior product, but it's not. It's so stunning. It really is. And it's such a soft weight to it, where we're going to print on it, we can do all sorts with it, but it's the amount of fabric for the value. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to yeah. be honest, I could hold it back up again, but it was actually quite a workout. <laughs> zero nine five, and I think I, I think I pushed my luck getting it back together again. Yeah. Zero nine five eight seven six is there for you. By the way, the website, of course, if you'd like to have a look at there, it's all there for you. The craftstore.com. Uh, all of those are there. Five star reviews as well on the calico, as you see there. Um, so again, lots of people swear by that. Absolutely brilliant. We've also got the beautiful natural hessian that is in there, which is really soft. Not what you'd expect to feel, actually, with your Hessian. Very, very much more sort of a, a softer feel than what you were expecting. The scissors are on there, of course. You've also got your pick and mix, by the way. Five-star reviews on the pick and mix. Uh, don't forget that that is there. Any two that you want to go for, reduced down from $17.99 right now to $12.99 only. Uh, absolutely brilliant. And you've also seen Joe using the uh, fuser web, of course, there as well, and the Calico bundle. That's there for you. Two rolls. One and a half metres on each of those rolls. Look at those reviews. 35 reviews uh, we're looking at there, and we're at a four and a half star, which is absolutely brilliant. So, if that's on your radar, pop it into your basket right now. Uh, we've got, Joe, about 10 minutes. We've got, to, we've got to use some of the drill cloth. Yes. And go we've got it. to use, obviously, the last orders. We've got to go for it. Definitely. So the lovely, definitely. Uh, lovely lady last show, she sent a picture in her, her home bar in her garden. So, and I said, well, we need some bunting with it. Right, we yes. need to finish off with bunting. The thing I like about the cotton drill, obviously, not just because the value today is phenomenal. It, it, yep. it really is, that it is so durable. So if I just... It should be a technical term of twanging. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. It shows you how tough it is. Oh, I like okay. twanging. So twanging is a new technical term. Okay. Trademark. Make right. it, Joe. It's quite a good scrabble. <laughs> it's a good scrabble score. It, it as well, just shows you that you have got that. It's so strong, so durable. You get a lot of cottons on the market that are very lightweight and they won't last. Whereas right. this will, it right. really will. Um, I'm going to use this as a bit of backing. So what we're going to do is just cut a little piece out so it's a bit easier for me to manage. Okay, I'm going to cut a little square of that out, pop that to one side, and I've got the, one of the last orders here, and this is great. Um, it is just, again, for me, it's memories. I think the last show I did, I made a little card using the little beer tanker there that reminds me of my granddad. Uh, I've, he, got, I've got it here. Yeah, the little card, it was lovely. Yeah. I was looking for it earlier on, there we love that. Happy birthday with, we, uh, with, a, with a proper point jug <laughs> with a handle on well we did say that we we're going to hide that i'm going to give it to my dad at some point for his birthday I so the, I shall i just say he happy won't be birthday. watching won't he no well i'll say it now you can record <laughs> it and then it'll be like a personal happy birthday what's his name mike happy birthday mike <laughs> great you can use that use there that. we go nice and simple all i've done is cut one of the little details up there i've got a little bit of drill cloth okay i've got some tape from my stash i want to cut a bit of that off and we're going to use, wait for it, some fuser web. Right. Yep. I still haven't used that sewing machine. 
<laughs> Obviously, traditionally. Why did you bring it? Did you I, well, bring I was it just going to. Look to. Good? It's funny because everyone asked me, "What are you going to make?" Yeah, um, I'd like to just go with it. Was that, to be honest, was that just on the set before you walked in? Yeah, it's yeah, not mine. It was, yeah. <laughs> 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 so we've got the lovely drill cloth, and this is going to last. So if you're putting bunting out in the garden, sometimes it does get weathered. So if we yeah. forget to bring it in when we've had a few two drinks oh, yes. in the bar. So this is really good for weathering as well. So we've got a lovely there. We've got some fuser web here. Okay, I want to create a little bit of shape to my actual um, element there, the frontage. So we're going to go, we'll keep it quite small. So just to give you an idea, so we'll cut that in a rectangle as such. What I've done is left quite a bit of fabric at the top, okay? Yeah, I would cut this a little bit neater if I was spending a bit more time at home. So just get rid of those. All I'm thinking is that you're rubbing this in now because we're on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the beer gardens are open near me now and I'm not going to get home until midnight. Oh, bless you. So all you're doing is that's the closest I'm going to get to a cheeky pint <laughs> this weekend. That's it. It's okay. You'll get there, Scott. Don't worry. Little we'll send you one in the post. Now. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> this is a part you can send in the post. Yeah, though, yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> so I've turned my fabric over. I've got my fuser web there. Um, I'm going to iron that on the backing. Okay, real simple like so. And then we're going to get a lovely drill cloth. I'm going to cut it the same size. I think I've got some pinking shears with me, so we might pink it as well. So we're just going to cut that over. Give us a little element there, like so. And cut that size there. It is one of those that we can play around with. What I generally find with the backing fabric, I like to keep it about an inch shorter than my front fabric. Okay. Like so. so I've got about an inch there that I can play around with. May I just pause you for one second yeah. because we've had an email come through okay. uh, from Karen. Good afternoon, Karen. Thank you Hi, for Karen. getting in touch with us. Karen was asking about the Ditsy fabric. Yep. What, what the size is of the, the free... So they're fat quarters. They are fat quarters. They are fat quarters. They're a lightweight cotton, so a mix in there. Just a really nice... It's a design for me. When I see yeah. a design, it's like, right, you've yes. got to bring those in. Yeah, that's nice. So we're gonna get, you're going to get three fat quarters with that, Karen, uh, as well as, obviously, your surprise bag included in that price as well. Uh, thank you very much. If you've got any other questions, by the way, for Joe while we're here, uh, please get in touch with studio at thecraftstore.com. So I've got my drill cloth on top, my fuser web layer in between. Bearing in mind we've got fuser web at the top, so we mustn't put our iron on there because we'll get all the glue on it. Right. So we're literally just ironing to the top there. Okay, really simple. Then we need a little strip of fuser web. Oh, I'm glad you finished the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> it is Friday night. Oh, that pipe's gone right to your head. <laughs> <laughs> so again, about an inch of fuser web that we're going to pop on the top. So on the back of the drill cloth, like so, we're going to iron that on. Okay, it gives that strength as well. And then we're going to peel that paper off. Like that. There we go. So it's all stuck together. We're getting our tape. So our tape is going on the drill cloth itself. Okay. And then we're folding over. Bearing in mind we've already got our fuse web on the front layer. We're going to fold that over. Oh, I see, yes. Oh, okay. I see. And we're literally just going to bond it all together, give it plenty of heat. Please tell me you're making a mini pinny. A mini pinny. A <laughs> mini pinny. <laughs> <laughs> and it shows you how quickly straight away. I'm looking at my pinking scissors. I, d I did a, a theatre production of the full Monty and I wore something smaller than that. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to pink the bottom there just to give a little bit of detail. Okay. We could do that all the way around, but it shows you instantly, within seconds, a little tab ready for my first little bunting. Ah. So I'm going to make lots of these and it may be. Maybe put a bar in my garden as well, you never know. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Be nice, I might do it. Yeah. So it shows you that without a sewing machine, we can still have a little play with it, have a little make with them. We can sew it if we want to, but it makes it nice and easy. I, I really love it. And the other thing is, in that uh, trio, you are getting um, the, uh, the images you just saw there, but just also to show it's not all about the beer. If you are looking for more of your sort of summer drinks, then, uh, yeah, these are the ones to go for. The ones that have got loads of fruit in it. Don't, don't ever put cucumber in anything, though, by the way. Don't, I don't, <laughs> yeah, I never get ooh, that. I don't, I don't get that. No, I don't, no. Don't, don't spoil a good long drink there with putting 
Satan's food in it. Um, no one likes a cucumber in your drink. Um, I, may, I mean, I may be making sweeping generalizations. I was going to say, there. I like um, a cucumber, but, but not uh, in my drink, yeah. Uh, everybody, we've got your, your sort of summer fruity drinks, if you want to go with that kind no of thing. No cucumbers have been uh, harmed in lovely. the making of this show, so we're no, okay. No sorry? No cucumbers have been harmed, no, so we're okay. No, absolutely not. We <laughs> love a cucumber, but just not in a drink. Uh, if you want um, the bottles... Well, of course, that comes as part of that as well. So you've got your really lovely, fabulous uh, bottled beers there, which is, again, they'd be great. Honestly, absolutely fantastic. A lovely background to those. So all three of those, 10.99, uh, 619040, uh, with that £4 saving, uh, and you'll be getting all three of that in that trio of a bundle, uh, which is absolutely brilliant. I do love that, which is fabulous. Uh, we've got... What have I just ruined? You've just messed it up. I uh, probably. Oh, I just prob <laughs> probably. There we go. Don't forget, I'm only standing in for Hayley today. So any any complaints, just do it to Hayley at thecraftstore.com and say I saw you on. You look very different with your hair down like that. Um, but uh, but let us know. Now, if you want to go for the ditzy floral, uh, then this is all oh, seventy percent. I'll tell you what, if you go for this, because there's a lot of love that's been put into these little bags uh, to make sure that you're getting a lovely collection, lots of things. Was it your mum that's worked on this? Yeah, she has, bless her. She's been busy. And I say, it's one of those that we can do together. Yeah. We've, we've enjoyed it and just that experiment and opening up that little bag and mixing it in with those beautiful fabrics yeah. from your linens to your cottons. We can really... You've got your tweeds, you've you got go your ribbons. Uh, you go, well, what's so lovely is you must spend a lot of time there sort of going, oh, yeah, that will go, that will go. Did you have all the different colours laid out before you then put yeah, them into no, different bubbles? Yeah, we do. I we mean, were, we were actually discussing it earlier about getting little pots and how we do it, and we just wanted to bring that little bit of fun to everybody. Yeah, well. and, and you know what's great? If you're using any of these little little moments, you don't need a lot sometimes to make a little embellishment on this any projects it. that you're yeah. working with. And actually, when you think about all of this that you're getting, yes, you're paying 11 99 but you're paying 11 99 but you're also getting your three fat quarters also of the ditzy floor. You know you're getting guaranteed though. I mean, this is all just for one bundle with all these beautiful coffees and your caramels and your creams that are all working together. You know, there's lots of thought, loads of little different embellishments and you'll find ways of working uh, with these projects felt silks ribbons feathers beads buttons all sorts in there and from 60 well 15.99 down to 11.99 and 70 percent gone and again once it's gone it's gone okay 412770 uh, really lovely i uh, love that bundle um Joe, uh, time is against us now. I know, yes, yeah. What, uh, when, when are you back with us? Uh, hopefully next week. Oh, so right. we've got some more fabrics, some heavier weight fabrics, um, something for bag making as well, which okay. is exciting. Lovely. Some, some leverettes and new designs as well. Oh. And, yeah, it's just a pleasure to be here. Well, listen, thank three you. Three o'clock. So, it's three o'clock again, <laughs> is it? No, no. Oh, you don't know that <laughs> yeah. time for that one. We don't know. Have you enjoyed your three o'clock uh, it's, it's great, yeah. It's very surreal because it's yeah. like seeing different faces. It's been lovely to be here. Well, listen, and obviously uh, with you, Hayley. Well, I mean, thank you. I mean, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're not the first to make that mistake, but please don't tell Hayley that. Um, well, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank, thank you. you very much, Steve. Thank you for your company uh, as well. Anything you've got into your basket, please don't forget to make sure you do get those checked out. Uh, but from Joe and myself at this hour, thank you. Don't go anywhere. We've got a lot more coming up for you after this. We've got the blood one day special coming up for you next. Then we've got more with Jenny Bean Crafts as well with Karen. And with our course back with Sentimentally, yours what an afternoon on Friday. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, of colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Did you know you can continue watching the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, 
or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select Network Settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type the craftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite TV shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. We decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is gonna take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie, hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals. And then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journey, Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. For the past six years, Achanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing. We'll be the same Achanda that we've always been. We're, We're just getting a brand new name. Demonstration led, full of inspiration and variety, with our own dash of personality. Welcome to the Craft Store, your home of everything craft. Back. Honestly, 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 I wish sometimes you were a fly in the corner of this studio oh, to hear no, the things don't. that you don't say. No, that's actually it's probably quite a good idea that you weren't, to be honest. But anyway, there we are. All good, clean fun to see us into the weekend. And welcome to <laughs> Final Call, your last chance to enjoy what has been an incredible one-day special from La Blanche. La Blanche is just sublime. I mean, the imagery is just beautiful. It takes takes you straight the way back to 1920s, 1930s Paris just in an instant right now. So all the things that you felt like you might have missed from that romantic <laughs> era is all here for you in craft form. And, Leonie, you are going to guide us all the way through it, aren't you? Indeed. So indeed. we've got a bit of finishing to do from the last show, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, I thought I'd actually finish the demo because I'm actually quite liking that. And it's really nice when you've done a demo and you actually managed to finish it. I'm, I'm liking this recently. Um, I've got another demo set up, but, but yeah, it's just lovely. 
lovely. I mean, it's been such a nice one day special. Very, very busy. And it's been one of those, you know, you, I, I think because we've had so many different kits, as ever with La Blanche, that every hour you can do something different, yeah. you know, and everything mixes and matches together beautifully. You know, the rice papers all go on the glass, which, you know, you can put your paints on, and everything just merges gorgeously. It is just a lovely, lovely journey, and this is a great way, actually, if you haven't yet seen the one day special for one reason or another then you've got an opportunity here to share the journey that leone has been taking for the last 24 hours you can watch all of those shows as well including talk of a uh, diving into a chocolate swimming pool uh, <laughs> yesterday on the launch which i was watching at home which was very very funny because um, you could listen to leone read out the phone book and it would be entertaining wouldn't it uh, let's face it uh, but to talk about and to enjoy what an absolutely beautiful, beautiful one-day special. Now, there's so much included in this one-day special, it's, it's untrue. Um, we've got 12 12 by 12s, if that's not at all confusing, and not too many 12s in your life. Uh, there are four, it's four designs and three of each, I do believe, and they're both yes. double-sided, which is really, really good. You've got to have more than one, because there's that lovely sort of Parisian coffee shop feel um, to these. Just look at those. No wonder there was so much foodie talk yesterday. Mm. Oh, my gosh. I I tell you what, <laughs> this kit has made me, every hour, it's yeah. been like, oh, I need cake. Yeah. That's why I did so well only having passion fruit and I, not I cake. I know, I know. Because yeah. seriously, the whole, that, 24 hours just looking at cake. I know, I'm not, I'm not surprised. It's and, been cruel. And, yeah, Leonie uh, and I were just having a chat. Uh, backstage, backstage and uh, Leone was chowing down on two full passion fruits so Boom. anything could happen in this hour mm. let me tell you she's super super inspired let me tell you <laughs> aren't they beautiful really really cool um, beautiful great big images I love that lovely sort of um, sort of like a sepia image isn't it mm. in the background there or in the print which is gorgeous but then you've got these bright lovely florals as well um, they are just sublime you will spend weeks and weeks and weeks looking and loving and just enjoying these before you even start using them. I really, truly believe that. Now, as well as these beautiful um, 12 by 12s, you also have these design sheets as well. Um, and if you've been watching in the last um, 24 hours, you will have seen Leone take full use of all of that lovely foiled wondrousness i love that beautiful sort of soft sky blue turquoise however you want to interpret it against that gold foiling it's just i mean look at that it's just it's yummy i mean if it were just the papers you would easily spend that 15.99 without blinking wouldn't you i mean it's it's just awesome and this is just part of i mean that's I remember that it was the first demo, I think, wasn't it, um, yesterday, using this lovely... Um, yes, it was. ...like sort of Harlequin oh, sort well, of... Oh, I remember. Get oh, you. yeah, well, I was watching. I was watching. Get Listening you, to all your swimming Derek. pool talk yesterday. <laughs> um, just beautiful. You also have um, the, sh the, um, the sheet of um, sentiments as well, which is wonderful. Chocolate says, I'm sorry, so much better than words. <laughs> oh, that's very true, actually. True. It must fall true. out with people more often. <laughs> yeah. And let's face it, I mean, the recipient would much prefer, you know, the, the person who needs the sorry would much prefer the chocolate. Absolutely. And the words. Yeah. I mean, let's face it, you need the words as well. Yeah. But yeah, the, oh, chocolate, the chocolate means it's the well, meaning. it softens the blow, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> makes it better. <laughs> Nothing is more romantic than chocolate. After eating chocolate, you feel godlike, <laughs> as though you can con conquer enemies, lead armies, in entice lovers. Entice lovers. Paula liked that one. With chocolate? Of course she did. <laughs> That'd be brushable she's chocolate, me, then, will it? me some chocolate buttons today. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. So you've got um, those, but you've also got, <laughs> oh, no, here know, we go. That makes it here worse we when go. we've got another wife, doesn't it? That here we go worse. with the breathing oh, and knocking everything Derek, over. Did you breathe? Here we go. Um, so you've also got all of these gorgeous, gorgeous um, ephemera, and you've got little macaron, as I believe they call mm, them on mm, the continent. Mm. Um, you've got your coffee like cups like in there. Well. I love it. <laughs> every, every one of these is just sublime. Look at that. All of that beautiful French patisserie. Oh, <gasps> see, 
oh. eat starving. Love it, love it, love Honestly. it. You get all of those. You get do you get we get these as well, do we? Yes. Yes. And they're all double sided as well. Right, let me just I'll pick one of those up. And it gives you that beautiful vintage look. That's what I love about this. You know, you've got the modern twist on it because you've got those beautiful um, you know, your cappuccinos and your lattes. Uh, but then you've got such a gorgeous um a, a really oldie worldy feel to this. It's, it's really cool, isn't stunning. it? Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And it means you can get so many different looks with it. Chocolate bon sucre. What does bon mean? That's with, isn't it? It's um, got to be with, isn't it? Ah, bon? Chocolate with sugar. Oh, chocolate. Oh, uh, chocolate bon. Bon is good, isn't it? I thought yeah, that bon's was good. good. Yeah. Chocolate bon. good sugar. Well, chocolate yeah, always good. good sugar. You also get the flowers here good as well, don't you? Chocolate sugar. Yeah. Yes, um, you do. And you get tons of little flowers. These are fabulous. Because they're, they're a cream, lovely. it allows you to colour tint them if you want. But yes. the colour palette just works with the, the whole collection. They've almost been pre-vintaged, haven't yes, they? Yes, Which indeed. is really, really cool. Mm -hmm. So it you works. get all of those. You get the flowers, you get the papers, you get the sentiments, you get the die cuts, of which there is... Did I hear 176 die cuts? 174. Oh, what's two between friends? It's so like close, chocolates my friend. in the box, isn't so it? So friend, close. <laughs> um, all of that, can you believe all of this is just fifteen ninety nine? I have to say, when I was watching the show yesterday, I, I don't, maybe I, I was watching it, I was too busy listening to Leone and whatever. <laughs> So I wasn't really paying attention to the price, uh, but fifteen ninety nine, considering everything you are getting there, um, is a bit Billy Bonkers, really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Crazy, crazy, crazy. No wonder there've been so many sellouts across the the um, items in the Le Blanc shows in the last twenty four hours. Um, I think we're up to six so far, aren't we? Two oh seven four three three. Is your item number? <laughs> Sorry, I'm that's just a random yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Eighty percent of the stock has sold out and gone. So this is—I mean, this is your last live hour. The offer will remain open until six o'clock, but I'm not sure that it's going to last all the way through to then. Actually, to be honest with you. So if you want it, check it out right now. Two o seven four three three. That is a. Wicked one day special. He says doing that eighties wicked kind of thing, isn't it though? It's wicked. just well wicked. I love it. Love it. Well wicked. Right. Well wicked. <laughs> right. Let's move over to some gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, I love these. Now mm. I remember these. This is what LeBlanc is so well known for: transforming the drab and ordinary into the stylish and sexy. That is what this decoupage kit will do for you because what you do is you you, you pop these in water, don't you? And then pretty much they then well, become remembered. this gorgeous, gorgeous texture which yeah. you can wrap around whatever you want to. You can take out elements from it like you can with Absolutely. rice paper as well. Yeah, and when you look at the size, I mean, these are the big huge. sheets of gorgeous decoupage. Um, obviously, there's um, the smaller elements on there as well, but yeah, you can do so much and they look so professional. They are just. I mean, look at that. Let Imagine that on, um, you know, on a cupboard. Yeah. Imagine yeah, upcycling. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's the thing with these. You can absolutely use them on bigger projects. It is absolutely stunning. And then you've got the two smaller ones as well. Really, really pretty. And I, I, I am surprised we've got any of this left because it's one of those oh. that's so usable. I love the background. It's really that's important really to have a background. Lovely. Yes. It's a, it's a must-have. Just beautiful. Uh, oh, sorry. Let I me get that, that one for you because it is. It is. I <laughs> know uh, it's. It's really striking that one. Let's not miss it because this is a great big. Is that? Um, Look at that. The lilac. Oh, that's lilac, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, it's just oh, beautiful. I love lilac anyway. It's yes. just exquisite. So it's a beautiful flower to pick for this. But um, but yeah, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. It is wonderful. Lilac's beautiful. I've got a, a, mm. a bit of a lilac tree popping out of a, a conifer in in the garden and oh, when nice. it comes out in bloom <gasps> stunning it's amazing oh sorry mm. i left you with nothing to look at there <laughs> I? Uh, 12 <laughs> sheets and they are 35 by 49 centimeters which just to say is huge it really is um okay three quarters of the stock of that sold out and gone so that's another contender for sellout everyone don't breathe don't move anyone 17.99 <laughs> grab those as quickly as you can 9.92 391 is your item number. Just a little bit of an idea of what you can do. Now, I saw uh, these last night. Again, first demo. Yes, um, indeed. 
This is brilliant. This is where you were pu um, pushing the um, the gilding waxes yeah. in <gasps> and stippling them in. See, I was watching. I don't just really, say I was watching. Really I was watch, really watching. Yeah. I mean, you really watch. This is really, really cool. And yeah. Do you know why? Because you, you allow people to be able to break their own rules. Do you know what I mean? It's like... When yeah, you craft, like you feel like you need to do it in a certain kind of way, and yeah, you yeah. kind of break you break that open for everyone, and you go, <sighs> and you make it look, look so effortless, but you give us amazing ideas Thank at the same time. Thank you very time. much indeed, dear. Uh, you're very welcome, darling. I, I'll, <laughs> I'll have that fiver later. Seven two two three. It's gone up since the old days, you know. Seven two two three seven nine is your item number, and you get all six of these. Now they are super super flexible. In fact, actually, what I couldn't see on the screen yesterday. Is just what kind of gauge they were. Oh, actually, yes. Yeah, so they feel absolutely wonderful. Mm. They've almost got, um, they've got that real nice strength to them. They've got, they of course, are adhesive on the back as well, which you can refresh and renew, which is lovely. But they've almost got like a sort of papery feel to them. They're not, um, but they've almost got that sort yeah. of papery texture to them. So they're really nice and tactile to actually be working with. And they've got such a lot of detail. Again, as Leonie was saying before, in terms of using the decoupage papers and creating backgrounds and stippling whatever you like into those, because once that stencil is down, it's down, which is brilliant. So for those people who are a little bit, oh, a little bit shaky about um, stencils and moving them and they can be a bit yeah. clumsy for you, these would be amazing because yeah. you can throw all of your media at these as Absolutely, well. and it's, these allow you to do things that you wouldn't be able to do with your regular stencils, or yeah. you would, but not easily. You know, my yeah. lot going round a jar or something, not a chance. Yeah. It's really difficult, um, and yet with these, but just on your normal cards and stuff, because they've got that adhesive, it means your 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 um, your different mediums aren't likely to go underneath the stencil, so it does save a lot of aggro, quite frankly, and the designs. Oh. The Awesome. Designs are as good when you look at your price. You know, when you think about that, how much does that work out per stencil? Are we uh, getting six? 16 into 6, 6, 12, less than three quid each. See, now that is ridiculous. It's amazing, isn't and it? And the designs are beautiful. You know, you've got ones that are amazing for mixed media. You've got the, the really fancy ones that you can do a repeat design on as well. Yeah. So it really allows you, if you want to do a big piece, it really allows you to create a big piece and easy to repeat the design as well, which is dead important. Yeah, I... I'm a massive fan of these. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, this is just a cheap old yep. white wine bottle. Exactly. Normally, exactly. you'd throw it in the recycling, wouldn't you? Mm. And actually, now you've got something which is a nice piece of uh, really pretty. Objet. Yeah. And beautiful. that that's done with the beautiful uh, Lux, uh, Luxus paste. They're really nice. When, mm. when, I, when I saw you getting them out, and uh, they've got that lovely, lovely mm. texture to them. Will we be seeing them again in this hour, maybe? Possibly. Possibly. Might, they might we'll get see. those out for you. Okay, oh, okay, stock again. 70% um, of the stock uh, of these have sold out. So important to know that they're super, super flexible, super, super strong, and they're adhesive on the back as well, which is brilliant. But that doesn't mean that you can only use them once. You can keep using them again and again and again, and you can refresh that sticky as well, can't you? Which is brilliant. 722379 is the item number here. Now, we have also got this beautiful and very, very sublime um, stamp set. Now, I hadn't seen these stamps before from La Blanche because they're a little bit, they're in a slightly different format than a lot of people's stamps, aren't they? Because they're all almost on like a, like a sort of foam block and yeah. then the stamp. Um, is underneath. So I guess that means we, we can flex them and take elements out you of them can. as well if we want. You can, but what it also means is these are big images, um, but they're easily to transfer. The form really helps you apply pressure on that stamp mm -hmm. and transfer that image and the detail. They're made from silicone as the actual stamp and it, the detail is phenomenal. You know, it's just every single little, like on that one that you're seeing now with the gentleman oh, yes. and his pipe, that writing, you get to see the whole thing. And I mean, have you seen how tiny that is? I know, yeah. And, and I mean, it's really print, small detail. It's utterly phenomenal. <clears throat> I really, really like the Blanche stamps. Um, and yeah, I've known the Blanche for years. As, and the stamps, I mean, when I first started shopping TV on one of the other channels many moons ago, mm -hmm. um, Le Blanche, I had the, the, you know, the form stamps. And you look at them and thought, there's no way that's going to transfer. And it, it does. And it's just, it, I find it remarkable 
remarkable that you haven't got loads of companies doing this. You haven't. But it, no. it, it just, it's mad because they, they, they are amazing. And I love the designs of these. I think they are fabulous. They are super, super sweet, aren't they? They're really, brilliant. really good and They're so, so much cool. detail. That, that one with the guy with the, uh, with the pipe, and I hope he's not going to like that because he knows that this is a no-smoking show, surely. Indeed. Um, it's, it's just almost, pretend. It's a bit like a sight test, isn't it? Like, which line can you read down to? But there's so much going on there. Uh, massive amounts of the stock has already gone on this one as well. Remember, this is the final live show um, uh, in this 24 hours for La Blanche, and over 70% of the stock of that has sold out and gone. Right. Now, let's get to some rice papers, because that's what La Blanche is absolutely famed for as well. We've been sort of hinting at that all of the way through this show, one way or the other. Because you think about the flexibility of rice papers for uh, for backgrounds, for just adding texture. There's something about just touching rice papers as well. There's something mm. just so, so magical and mystical. And I love the colour palettes that can go into them as well. It's just absolutely awesome. They're so, so beautiful. Um, so there are four designs and you get three of each. And again, look at how much detail is worked in there. You know, from everything you've seen so far going down the counter, you know there's complete transfer of suitability all the way through this. They are amazing. And they're different. I mean, the, the designs are really, really different. Yeah. That mixture of steampunk um, together with, you know, a really beautiful imagery. Okay. I, yeah, I, isn't that gorgeous? And that's the thing about, um, about La Blanche. They do bring us an incredible mix of, of feels, you know. I really like that they brought us the steampunk because loads of people are into steampunk and yeah. it allows you to do something utterly different. But, yeah, the flow of right paper is always beautiful and it allows you to put them on loads of different surfaces as well depending on that. what medium you use look at how vintage that is cool, already. Isn't it? instantly you know exactly how you're going to use that and i love the fact that that steampunk image in the background is actually a big heart you don't see it on literally first glance but look so you see how you can cut that out and use it in lots and lots of different ways. Use her in lots of different ways as well. 414578 is your item number there. Oh, sorry, for just £14.99. Now, there's lots more on the show as well. I say lots more. We've had lots of sellouts as well. Uh, but we have got these gorgeous, gorgeous pastes as well. And if you didn't see the launch show um, last night, remember... Um, you can go back and catch up across the weekend um, on Rewind on that. And, of course, when your one-day special arrives or whatever you're um, ordering from the show, when this gets back to you, um, watch it on Rewind because these pastes are just the most delicious. Um, Three-quarters of the stock have sold out and gone, so it's you're getting... It is all four of the colours, isn't it? Right, so you look at a price like that, don't you? And you think, OK, it must be two of those. No, no, it can't. It's, it's all four of them. Plus, you get the little foam brushes uh, as well for getting that detail in, which is beautiful. Extended delivery on uh, everything that is on the show, which is the 27th. I don't even know the date today. I always say that, don't I? I have no idea. What's the date today? Is it something... OK. <laughs> 11 days from today <laughs> <laughs> or 12 days from yesterday uh, just as useful a piece of information uh, but this is quite a confusing show as, uh, in terms of who's in the background today because we have two mollies and uh, holly behind yeah. the scenes so yeah. no wonder we're the confused Ollie. molly and the holly yeah absolutely <laughs> we've no idea what's happening <laughs> <laughs> right what are we doing this well, hour you're finishing first I are am, you well i said i was going to do that oh, but, but i'm a bit worried about the um the stencils selling out okay so before they sell out i just wanted to to just show quickly because i started this and i started that bottle so i thought i want to i want to finish these so i want to um finish a few this is all about finishing all those demos that i've started throughout <laughs> the shows so with your stencils they've got that sticky back and you peel off um the the protective sheet i find it easier having that flat down on my surface mm -hmm. to peel this off you then and this has already got a layer of my luxus paste so Peaceful, you can tell yeah i mean the color the color of the the paint is that pink but when it's got that luxus paste on you can see how rich and deep
deep it goes and it's got that extra shine so that's your beautiful paste and i love this i might i'm going to put some of the paste over the gold because i know that works as well but what i wanted to do was just bring my stencil on now this has got it's slightly beveled mm -hmm. slightly but i am using an adhesive stencil so that means i can rub that stencil down Oh, obviously I've got pick some it up, standard. Mm -hmm. I can rub that stencil down and I know, or I'm pretty confident, I mean, I'm not confident I've put it halfway, but I am confident that, there we go, that it's not going to allow me to um, put the paste underneath that design. So if I go on, now, I'll be, oh, that's not the Luxus paste. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, that on the paste, this doesn't have the same grip as I'd normally have. I can feel it. I can feel it's not the same grip. But it is grippy enough, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Does that mean you just need to wait a little bit longer before you remove the stencil? Then? No, no, no. It ah. just means be a bit careful. Okay. That's all. Just be a bit more careful. It just means it's, um, can you see, it's not as stuck. It's because the paste has got um, the glitters in. That's ah, all. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So when you put your paste on now, so just a quick application of the paste. Now, the lovely thing about your Luxus pastes, when you, um, when you stencil them on um, with a, a, um, this, a palette knife, with this in my <laughs> hand, sorry, last hour by now, words. Um, She's when ready you, for the weekend, everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ready for my COVID injection. Um, when you put it on with your pay, um, that again, um, it's going to be a lot thicker, which means the paste is going to be a lot more intense and I mean look at that wow. it's so pretty so color on color looks amazing because obviously it matches perfectly mm. and doesn't that just look gorgeous the it designs does. are amazing they are amazing I mean look at that and then what I'll do to make this match and honestly, I've gone off on a right old tangent. Let me just spritz that one. So cleaning it off, doing the normal thing. Okay, so bring in some card in, just scrap card, because um, just cleaning it off onto my scrap card. Um, just get, duh, duh, duh. I'll get a brush. And this is cleaning it at the same time as getting rid of all that excess. But when I get rid of it, I'm actually using it. So same, same. I do it every time. But it means I get a second print from cleaning my wow, stencil. Wow, look at that. Yeah. No, normally that goes in the sink. Yeah. So nice print. Pop that to one side. And then the stuff that is left, now I would wipe off. And the lovely thing is with this, oh, don't be careful. Yeah, I've been too rough with that. I tell you what, that, that doesn't worry me too much either because I know that it's going to stick. So next yeah. time, I know it's actually it's fine. But but don't do what I've done. Don't be that rough. I'm rushing, so don't be that rough with them. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't, I do that quite a bit because I'm quite rough with my stencils. But don't panic because it looks as though it's perfect because it's adhesive you yeah. see and it's really quite handy that because i know other people will probably do that because you're probably just as impatient as me right let me just get my there my sponge when you get your paste they do come with um a couple of sponges i find my paste easier to use when i actually pop a tiny bit out you don't need loads so i'm popping a tiny bit out and just picking that up so I'm literally just going over the top of this. And I'm only doing this so it matches. Um, so the colour of the, the actual box is going to match the lid. And I'm just, I love it because it intensifies that colour, but it gives it a shine. Thing is with these pastes, they don't give you a really heavy glitter. It's a beautiful, beautiful soft shimmer. And they have got like um, a translucency to them, which is why you can see the gold. I can still see the shimmer of that gold. Yeah. They, they haven't, um, I mean, if it was opaque, if it had any type of opacity to it, <laughs> not at our Molly, Molly, we were talking about opacity earlier, um, <laughs> it would cover up that gold. Yeah. You can see the gold shimmer. And now you see it matches with my lid and of course that beautiful beautiful stencil on there so you can use them like that okay next I was working on the jar now that jar has already had one layer of the paste over the top of it and um, as has and I'll do this one first as has this one um, 
If you put in another layer of the paste, and I'll do this first, if you put in another layer of the paste, you need to work the opposite direction. And this will mean you'll get a smoother finish. So oh, just so it gives working. you like a frosting then, doesn't yes. it? Yes. The first doesn't layer. Doesn't it look, yeah. and, and it does, it looks like frosted glass. Yeah. But it's got that really soft pink on this one. It's, it's a beautiful product. So just moving it around. And you'll start hearing on the glass mat, you start hearing the sort of crunchiness yeah. of the um, of the glitter but yeah it's really interesting because it it isn't a really glittery product it's a really interesting um, product is this and again I love that I can still see the the gold underneath now the colors changing slightly on the gold but it's got a, it's almost got a richer gold to it yes yeah, like a that. slightly rosy doesn't sort of it look. it yeah. looks wonderful so now look at that so you've got that beautiful sort of frosted finish. So that's one way of applying it to glass. This is glass. Now, it does dry permanently. Um, we had a question earlier on about washing it. I wouldn't put it in dishwashers or anything like right, that. Okay. I'd be really careful with it. Um, but, but I did put it in the water and it was fine. Mm -hmm. And I did actually... Um, you know, wipe it with my, my good old um, cloth and yet yeah, nothing budged. So it does dry permanent. I'd just be a bit careful, you know. At the end of the day, it is, um, it is um, a, a paste that you're putting on. So I'd just be a bit careful. Now, look at this. All the way around that. That's amazing. Perfect. So, and what, what do these bottles start life as? What are they? Just like juice just bottles or something? Little glass. They're, for, um, they're, they're almost like. The pretend little milk bottles. Oh, okay. So you could put yeah. little cocktails in and things. Yeah. Now I find that too difficult, so I'm going to put it on with my yeah. finger <clears throat> because that's way easier. So just get your finger in there. Come on, it's last hour. Um, and you know what? I find that way easier than struggling about with a, a palette knife. Yeah. Because it's tactile, you can go round the the stencil properly. I am holding the stencil as well, but. I don't need to hold it much. You know, I mean, if that were a, a normal stencil, not a chance. You know, you would not be able to hold it like that. It would be tricky. Sorry, I do whistle sometimes, don't I? Um, if, if you were using your normal stencil, especially a Mylar one, that would be so difficult. You'd have to have your spray adhesive on. The Mylar one would be fighting with you. Yeah. Um, even the softer stencils, they are still tricky to go around bottles. So Yeah, you might need a second pair on. of hands. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I was saying lots of swears, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes crafting does that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so just going around. That bit there, that bit there, I'm going to remove that a minute, bring this bit round so I can just let go of that half. See? And then, oh, I'm sticking my finger in it carefully, Leona. <laughs> There. It's funny, you know. I things that Blanche does really quickly, I always make it look a bit harder. Mm -hmm. But that's just the way I craft. Okay, because I'm a messier crafter at the end of the day. So, just bring in this round, like so. Last bit, last bit, and that bit is a bit trickier because that last bit doesn't want to stick as much. You think but... of how many times you can go out to i was earlier this week now the shops are open you know i said i wasn't going to and then did and i popped out to one of those shops where everyone goes to them where you can just pick up a dull as ditch water yeah cylindrical something yeah, that's yeah, yeah. ceramic yeah 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 and you think well that looks pretty it yeah. was cheap and i bought it yeah but then I got it home and thought, oh, actually. Still looks cheap. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but you can make, I mean, I've been picking up loads of things like this. Mm -hmm. And you can just decorate. And they can look so pretty. Yeah. And the thing is with that, like that bit I smudged, you, look, you just blend it in. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. You know, and that's a beautiful thing. Oh, I smudged there as well. If you smudge it, let it dry, put the stencil back over and you'll just be able to re-stencil, doesn't matter. But the detail of that is absolutely amazing, and that's on glass. You know, and this is the thing with these stencils, 
and with the Lux paste, it allows you to do so many different applications. And it, and it the sets bigger, super, super, yes, it doesn't really, it? It like, really does so set. That is, that's hard setting, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so I don't know how long ago this was done. Was this, was this Blanche one? did that. Right, okay. So that could have been, I mean, these Lux pastes, they've sold thousands yeah. in Germany, like 7,000 units of these pastes. And that's... The, yeah, isn't it? That it's not moving. That's set hard as nails, yeah, oh, hasn't it? Yeah, completely and utterly. Um, okay, in the pastes, 80% of that stock has now gone. Now, with the paste, it's not just the one of the two colours. You're getting four gorgeous colours. You get a lovely sort of minty green. You get the turquoise. Oh, it's turquoise, isn't it? Sorry, I'm calling it minty green. It's turquoise. There you go. You have a look. I don't. I think I'm colourblind when it comes to greens and turquoises for some reason. It kind of uh, does look. I think it's a minty green yeah, as well. I, yeah, it I'm does with have you. that because it has that sparkle in it as well. It kind of lifts it a little bit. Then you've got this. This is the beige, and it's far from beige, it's actually. It's champagne, darling. Yes, actually, beige, beige, bad telly word. It's like brown, isn't it? You can't yeah. say brown on telly. Uh, <laughs> you have to call it something else, chocolate. Uh, <laughs> you've got the rose, which is super, super soft and pastel. And then, forgive me, I'm doing a juggler's act here. Then you've got the lilac as well, which for me is like a tutti fruity purple. Mm -hmm. You know, a bag of tutti fruities, other sweets are available. It's that kind of purple. Plus, you get the two little brush applicators, sponge applicators, not brushes, sponge applicators, uh, which are brilliant because because they go, you get the whole thing straight in. How often do you have an applicator and you can't get it in the actual container? With this one, you actually, you know, it goes straight in. It it's just, listen, it's just one of those little things, isn't it? It's those <laughs> things that make life a bit easier. It does. Isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, so 8855. Five four is your item number there for all four of those for seventeen ninety nine. Um, everything's on extended delivery going out on the twenty seventh of whatever month we happen to be in, uh, <laughs> and that's eleven days time. I don't know. It could be could be April, May, June. Who cares? I have no idea. No, I'm not. No I struggle with the year, let alone the month. It's all a blur, <laughs> quite frankly. The, the weather's thing, better, that's all we need to know. Oh, absolutely. The one thing you do need to do is remember where you put the protective thing. I, I do move that quite a lot and then forget. Right, now back to the, the demo that I was doing. And funnily enough, I am still using the Luxus Pace. So what I've got on here, I've got the decoupage. So this is the lilac decoupage. It's been brushed back with white. I was using gesso, but then I changed. I started using the paints from Stamperia, um, the, the Allegro paints, which are gorgeous. So I've knocked it back with the paints. I've put my stencil on, which I love. I mean, that looks so, so good. And now I'm going to blend some of the paste in. The wonderful thing about this, again, is it'll give me a slight colour, a really pretty soft colour and only a soft shine. So I'm not going to get a really heavy, glittery, um, intense shine. It's just going to be really, really beautiful and, and subtle, which is exactly what I want. So if I get, again, I like just getting it out on the, the surface, first of all. Um, I mean, the, when I was working on my first layer, the first layer was working into wet paint, so that would have um, sort of blended into the paint a bit easier. But now, can you see now I'm mm -hmm. layering on top of that, now it's going to be a bit more intense. So I'm going to pop a little bit out like so, just because. And then let's start working on. Now I know this middle bit where I haven't got any of my paper, I'm kind of more or less covering this up, so I'm not too worried about this. But I do rather like, depending how you put it on, when you do it like this, you get your lovely swirls, so you get some real texture. If you you boing it on, then obviously you're getting a more intense colour. So that will absolutely change the, the look of it. So just bring in a little bit of that on. And don't worry about this centre panel, you'll see in a second. It's all going to blend in. I, I really love this lilac decoupage paper. I think it's absolutely exquisite. Do you know the what it needs? It, when, you, when you finish this one, it needs to be either below or above a lovely fountain tap coming out of a wall or oh, something like beautiful. that. It look perfect with some ivy yeah. just growing down the side of it. Yeah, it's got that look, hasn't it? Yeah. I mean, it, it is. Um, a lot of the, the artwork that they use, you know, it's it's just got the old classics, hasn't yeah. it? You yeah. know, those those beautiful, beautiful uh, characters they use. And, oh, yeah, 
It's, um, it is an amazing collection. Okay, I'm really happy with that. So I've got the purple. The purple, it matches. You know, this is the thing with the, um, the one day special and all the, the extras that we've got. The colour palette really, really matches. Yeah. You know, it all goes together beautifully. So what I want to do with this, so this is the one. This is, it now looks quite battered because I have had it wet, but then I <laughs> took it out because I was going to do it and I didn't. So what I've done with this, this is the decoupage. But what I've done is put, now this is stone paper under here. Stone paper just allows me to get extra, um, it, it's like almost using a card, but it isn't. So it's just going to allow me to create a bit of depth and dimension, but it's um, it's very lightweight. So I've just put stone paper under a bit of it. The other bits, I want to go onto my, um, my background, so I'm literally just going to dip those in water. I don't want to dip the stone paper in water, really. I mean, it doesn't matter if I do, but I want to put a glue on that. So on that, I don't really want to. But the rest of it, I, I do. I want to get that actually dipped into water. So I'll just leave it like that a second, because that's the thing with this rice, um, with this decoupage paper. You're putting it in water, mm -hmm. and it, it is bizarre. You know, it does mess with your head a bit. But <laughs> that's what you do. Um, take a paintbrush. You'll have to excuse me. All my paintbrushes are a bit wet. I'll use. No, they're all a bit wet because I've been washing my paintbrushes out. So put my adhesive on now the adhesive i'm using i can put this anywhere i don't need to work out where i'm going um the reason being it's clear drying um and it's not glossy it's a matte adhesive so i'm not worried if i put this in a bit that i don't actually need you know you can just slap it on and i love this i love that color palette i I love how, you know, distressed and aged it looks. And the way that beautiful decoupage paper has literally just gone into the back. You know, it's faded into the back. And that was the, the cut-out bit from the big lilac. So it's all, this is only one part of one sheet of one of those decoupage images. There's more left from this. And with this one, um, you know, you, you can create so many different looks. Now, taking that out, going to decide where I want it. So I'm going to have that bit there, that bit there. The decoupage that's wet. So I want, some will have texture, some will have um, dimension. Sorry, let me just, and this is a nice thing about it. I can just move it round. And the, the strength of this paper is ridiculous. I mean, just look at that. That has been cut. Can you see that teeny tiny little bit of paper? Mm. And yeah, it's been dipped in water. It's been taken out of water. Mm -hmm. I'm now sort of, you know, trying to manipulate it and it's still there. You know, normally I would have utterly ripped that off. Mm -hmm. I mean, you saw the way I clean my stencils. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? See, now, look, that middle section absolutely fine so where i had you know the the bit that um hadn't got anything on it yeah. don't matter now it's filled in it's perfect so where i want now i know where it's gonna sit so now i'm just going to start putting my adhesive the this is my my textured adhesive so this is my gloss medium i want this really oh told you i'm messier than blanche <laughs> i want this um with proper <clears throat> dimension so uh, this will dry raised. The stone paper will allow me to put this on with no problem. Obviously, your decoupage will definitely stick to my stone paper. So just allowing that now to pop back on again, just bringing that down like so. So those little leaves. And because I've got the glue under here and because the rice paper, the decoupage medium is wet, it allows me to move it. So can you see I'm just sort of sliding it round? That's because it's wet and it's on that, um, it's on the glue. So it's allowing me to just sort of slip it round my... So it's, so it's almost like moving real leaves in a plant and arranging yeah. them, which you couldn't do in a real plant, which exactly. you can do with this. Exactly. You're really, really it, it is, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. And again, it just, it just seems to keep on giving, does this? Yeah. Now, that leaf there, that leaf there, I have torn that one, but there we go. Now it doesn't look like I have. Now, that one's got the adhesive on it, so it's just a case now of getting it into situ. So I'm putting that one there, and this bit, 
just before that one. That bit just needs a bit of extra adhesive under that bit. So this is the really nice globule adhesive, which will go just under there like that. Boom. I mean, look at that. Oh, gosh. And then I'm, I'm not surprised. Just talking about the decoupage kit, bear in mind that that whole project there is using less than one sheet. I mean, they are huge. I have to say, you can see them uh, over there. 80% um, of the stock of those have now gone, and they are very, very different as well. The designs, the scale of the, um, the images on them. Um, the amount of flexibility within every one of those pages. I mean, they are huge. I'll just stand behind one just so you get a bit of an idea. Look, I mean, that. They are enormous. Um, I love them. And some of them have, you know, sort of feature and focal um, images. Always the wrong way around, Derek. There you go. Um, and some of them are smaller scale, but they're all going to work so beautifully together. The colour palettes are amazing, aren't they? Um, so do check those out if you've got those in your basket, because remember, this is the last live hour of Le, Bar Le Blanche um, in this 24 hours as well. <laughs> Did I just change their name then? <laughs> <laughs> to Le Blanc, I do beg your pardon. 992391 is your item number. Check out, check out, check out. Right, where are we? I've decided I'm going to move these leaves. I love this. Look, just trim those off and move them. Because <laughs> they were falling off. I don't want them to fall off. I want them to be on my piece. I've still got the glue on there. I can feel the glue. This is wet enough to still manipulate. So that will allow me to... I love it. I mean, it's just ridiculously easy. And that now, I can have that. And I'm just going to bring a little bit more adhesive because I didn't have adhesive around the side of the... Um, the canvas so i'm just going to literally bring that round to the side that's my raised leaf so i want that raised this i'm going to make sure it's raised so i'm just going to lift it again and just bend it same with that one lift it and bend it and that will just give it that beautiful dimension that i'm after which i love that little leaf there i did nip that one off as well which is gorgeous um i think by now i think everybody will have the gel that it's just gel medium gel medium is one of those now that literally i think all crafters probably have it, it's one of those yeah if you haven't got gel medium i mean i think blanche has actually used her uh, glue gun with hers to give it dimension so if you haven't got gel medium then yeah i mean even cardboard you know it's anything to give it dimension dimension quite frankly and then all I need to do let's have a look am I happy with that I think I'm happy with that it's just that one leaf there that I want to bring around here like so again that's still wet so it's very um, easy to to just manipulate you don't have to you can cut it off but I quite like bringing it round the other side because I like that movement on it there and then when that's dry I'd actually um, glaze it. And I would put, just quickly, I'd, oh, I'm really faffing now, a drop shadow. And all I mean by that, and it's, it's something that I'm utterly obsessed with, but it absolutely works. So if I got um, a grey, and I've got a grey here, get it a grey like this. Can't wait for it to dry now, because it'll look different again when it dries, you see. And then take your paintbrush, and with your paintbrush and this, so just water that down, get it on the tip of my paintbrush, and then just start to blend the grey like this, get more water. Now this does, this is a bit of a game changer is um, your drop shadows. And I do babble on about drop shadows a lot, but before you know it, it'll just, it'll just give it such um, depth. So just bringing that round, like and you this. won't appreciate, I don't think, on telly at all, just how genius this looks until you're actually looking at it with your own two eyes. So when you've lifted up that main image and, and whatever, um, to see the way that that lifted uh, lilac mm. flower differs from the texture of the leaves completely, even though they came from the same sheet, utterly, they look so different because they've got that extra dimension to it. It looks genius. I'd, it's I'd... so beautiful. <sighs> and this, this uh, I, um, Blanche had already done one of these, and I thought, oh, I'm doing that. Mm. You know, and mm. this is a lovely thing. You look at what Blanche has done, and, you know, you just you borrow ideas. 
hashtag pinch ideas from what <laughs> Blanche has done. See, that drop shadow, that will make a difference. So you're just working that paint under there, blend it out if needs be. But can you see what a difference that makes? Yeah. It literally, yeah. it really, really now gives it dimension, which I absolutely love. I won't do the full thing because obviously that's, it's quite time consuming because you wouldn't just do the lilac, you would do round the leaves as well. Even though you haven't um, 3D'd the leaves, you definitely do this round the leaves because it makes a difference. So with, oh, I forgot Ed watching that. Huh? Um, so <laughs> it's like a fish pod, the only, it's massive. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, what a surprise. <laughs> Good grief, that's been a long day. Oh, oh bless you. I will just tell you that the decoupage <sighs> kit is approaching limited stock now. If you do have it in your basket, check it out, check it out, check it out. We're going into a weekend. And remember, this is our very last live hour with La Blanche today um, as well. If you haven't yet checked out your one-day special, do that. Remember, it is your final opportunity on that one as well. Just bring you up the details for that. Uh, remember... Um, that will rev oh that's approaching limited as well so I probably don't need to tell you that at six o'clock that will revert back to its regular price tag well which hang on a second uh, which which is 25 pounds higher yeah sorry who's who's going to wait until 10 past six anyone <laughs> no I think not uh, 1599 it is excellent you want to have a look at this on the on the app and the website and everything right now and just see everything you are getting there as well you're getting the 12 by 12 papers you're getting the design papers there as well they are awesome you get the tags you get the 170 odd die cuts that are going on there there's paper flowers you've got so much to go at for a ridiculous price tag you can pay more for a 12 by 12 very run-of-the-mill paper pad than you are for this entire one-day special. It is bonkers. Go and have a closer look if you get a chance on the website, 207433, and check it out as quickly as you possibly can. Let me just show you those, those lovely Lux um, gold foil papers as well, because they are, they're so classy, they're beautiful. Oh, sorry, the Lux paste, sorry. <laughs> Not the papers, the paste. You see, it's, it's standing next to that one, you see. It does rub off. Oh, I Completely tell you, rubs I'll be blamed off. for anything. <laughs> right, okay, the Luxus paste. Here they are. You get four different colours. You get that lovely rose colour. <laughs> you get that gorgeous... Uh, beige which is not beige it's more silvery really isn't it it's got more sort of pewtery silvery you get the turquoise which we say is a bit more minty green and you also get the lilac as well plus you get the two little sponge drumsticks uh, they're the applicators for the uh, luxus paste and the finish let me just show you on this bottle again because it is just brilliant this is one that blanche did in advance of the show but one or two layers that creates this wonderful frosting which is beautiful which becomes more intense the more layers i guess leone that you go yes for. yeah absolutely so awesome. the first one is very soft and gentle and, yeah. and very transparent. And then yeah, as you build it, you get that, that beautiful, rich paste, which just looks amazing. Oh, I'm well chuffed oh, for me. Oh, yes. Doesn't now, that look fabulous? you've got to go and see where we're at. Doesn't it look good? That's beautiful. Oh, I'm chuffed with that. And doesn't it look fabulous? And you see where the grey is now. And it really does, and around where the leaves are, it really does make mm. it pop. You know, mm. it's definitely worth putting your drop shadow. And I love knock the same rice paper, but knocking that, that first layer back really makes a difference. Right, shall I, um, shall I crack on? Yes, we've got seven, oh, six and a half minutes. Six and a half minutes. Well, I've already prepped. Um, let me just start cleaning my scissors. So I've already got this here ready. Let me just clean this up or else. So I've got this. Now, this is, um, this is a one day special. Sorry, they said all a bit mucky, but it'll be right. So, <laughs> what I did with this, now it's Miss P's dies. Yay! It's where I started. Yes, so, it I is. thought, this is exactly where I'm going to finish. Awesome. How's that for a plan? Did Very I leave my dye putting machine out? I did. Okay, so what I wanted to do with this, and I really like cutting into these papers, I think they look absolutely exquisite, however, you want to use them. I've already decided I want to create this die. So, this die is the one I'm going to use. It's going to go on there. But with this, I wanted this. This 
to pop out of my page. Mm -hmm. So what I've done, I'm going to, I've already cut this, so I want to put the die like this. That means the die will cut this page, but it won't cut this. Oh, I like it. So it'll pop out. It's a good technique. It's the old technique. Absolutely not my idea. I'd have never thought of this. No, but But it's, it is a cracking technique. I've never seen it before. I'm sure there's yeah. loads of people at home who've never seen that before and thought, oh my word. Yeah, it's one of those. It's one of those. If you haven't had a go, it's yeah. like, oh, that's really good. Like a revelation. I, yeah. Now, I'm just going to bob down because I've left my dark cutting machine <laughs> down there. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not something you need to see. Uh, right, then. <laughs> Off she goes. <laughs> Let me show you the one day special. It's so, so busy. Uh, we do have a lot of people with this in their baskets. And no, I am never, ever a basket nagger, nor a basket nagger's son. But please, 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 the value on this is ridiculous when you think about fifteen ninety nine. Can I show you some more of those die cuts as well? Because you get, is it 174? different die cuts um, in this and I'm gonna I'm gonna rummage because it's like a like a lucky dip I'm gonna rummage to the bottom I shall bring these up if that's all right um, Holly Molly Holly Holly <laughs> Holly Molly everyone here is either a Holly or a Molly so you've got a one in two chance of getting that right look at the amazing images so you've got the little coffee cups there uh, he says trying to get his fingers in the way there what else is underneath there what's that a little Little is that a little decorated pork pie, isn't it? That looks quite nice. Is it a cake? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a pork. Pie. Oh, I don't know. It just look a bit pork. It looks like look, you know. Sometimes you get, look. Look at that, Leonie. That looks oh, almost like a bit. Oh, the, a oh, bit the lovely cake, and then oh, chuck a pork pie in it. <laughs> it could be gravy dripping down the side there, could it? No, it's not. It's a cake. I get you quite right. This is all sweet treats, isn't it? In this. Do you know um, you're just reminding me? Go there on. were a, a joke on um, you know Viz magazine. <laughs> yeah. And it had um, it had a chocolate. It had one of the chocolate fountains, but it was gravy. <laughs> from up north. <laughs> you were like, gravy you, dip your, you dip your sausage in, you can dip in your gravy fountain. Ooh, anyway. That would be amazing, actually, wouldn't it? <laughs> It'd be amazing. Anyway, enough food. It'd be amazing. <laughs> could dip your chips in it. <laughs> oh. So, there we go. So, can you see what it's done? Rather than cut straight down, it's left these little bits out. So, it's just given me that really, really nice, interesting um, sort of page there. I've only got three minutes, and I've just realised I weren't going to do this. I don't worry, I have my other... Um, my other uh, stuff folder prepped and ready to go, but it's okay because I also wanted to do this. I'm quite annoyed though, it's okay just to prep me other demo, you know. You'll use them anyway. And then went won't and you? forgot, I hate them, did it? <laughs> Literally, worries had a my whole brain. Day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> you are the no queen words. of sidetrack, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's the why we love you. queen of summer. <laughs> Although sometimes I'm not quite sure what that summer is, <laughs> I tell you. Do you know, I've got such FOMO of not having Miss P's dies. Uh, I'm searching everywhere mm -hmm. and I'm having, I'm having no luck. Ah, well, I know where you can get them. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but no, they are absolutely fabulous. They are brilliant. They're fabulous. I mean, uh, I love them. And they make they make us demonstrators very, um, they make us look good. Because uh, your little books that you can make from these look good. Yeah. Awesome. And it's hardly any work. And, yeah. I, I, and this is a thing. When you can put together something together, when you can put together something and it looks good with no effort, yeah. boom, yeah, you yeah. know you've got a really good product. It's, yeah, yeah, it's very clever. Now, that's on a bit of a wonk. If you wanted to strain it out, you put another one over the top of it. Oh. Um, because it's the same size, I can get away with that. And yeah. it would allow me now to decoupage it up as well. Oh, quickly, and I don't want to interrupt because we're less than a minute to go, but uh, the one-day special is now officially limited stock, so if you have it in your basket, please do check it out. Remember, this is the last live hour. I know I've said that a thousand times, but I just mm. want you, if you, if you want this, you've got just over an hour to secure that price tag of fifteen ninety nine. Then, at the, at the, as six o'clock strikes, it reverts back to £25 higher. No one wants that. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Um, right, so basically, lots of matin and lair and lots of cake, 
lots of happiness and Bob is your uncle. Lovely. Quite frankly. Now listen, you are off for the weekend, oh, which is well deserved. Off you for need the weekend. it. And so when are you back? Um, I am back next Tuesday. I'm actually presenting next Tuesday. And next week, I know I've got shows, but I can't actually remember. I know I've got Art Inspirations with a brand new um, ba Bajan Art um, Stamps. You know the beautiful houses which absolutely sold out the first release. I've got them. I think I've got Happy Planner next week as well. I know I've got my Happy Planner stock. Yay. And I think I must have Blue Fern Studios next week as well because I've got my stock for that as well. So Monday, after my COVID jab, I'm prepping all of that. Right. <laughs> you probably need a good weekend. Have one, won't you? You deserve it. <laughs> Gosh, I'm exhausted just listening to that. Uh, right, next we're going over to Scott, who has got Jelly Beans Craft Inspirations uh, with someone. Karen, thank you. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. My products will complement everything that you have already, but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me for my shows with Craftscope. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar, and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace, and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia, and along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers, and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artist friends who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family-run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. 
The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. We'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Friday. It's five o'clock. It's not time for that show, if you remember it, which Karen and I do. But we've got a brilliant hour lined up for you, which we'll need your help for as well, uh, which we'll tell you more about as we go through. Um, absolutely brilliant. Karen, good evening. Good afternoon. Good evening. It's that five o'clock time, it's, isn't it? Yeah, it's that time for that. That's certain time, yes, definitely. We were just saying, weren't yeah. we? Good, af good afternoon. Good evening. Oh, uh, how are yeah. you? I'm wonderful, yes, thank you very good. much. You've had yeah, a busy day, you? and so we've got more shows to come together as well. Well, that's what that's what we like when we're working. <laughs> we like busy days. You're the same. We do. We do you, love a busy you've days. Jumped in, you've jumped in on, on, a, on a phone call. I know. And I the know. day's work, the day's work. Absolutely. Too. Always definitely. a pleasure to be here. Always a pleasure. Always. Really is. Now, let let me tell you, we've got, it's a jam-packed counter, as you would expect uh, from, from Jelly Beans. So we'll, we'll whip down the counter in a moment, but if you're watching, we have a lot, so many people that are watching our, us on the craft store for the first time. If you're just flicking through the channels, if you are doing that, pause, hold up, just wait with us, because we've got lots to share with you as well. Um, but some people that are watching may not know too much, I, I keep referring back to the beautiful bunting, may not know too much about Jelly Bean, uh, but, and actually, because we've got such a wide variety of cardstock, of glues, of ribbons, of, of sp certainly sort of specialist papers that are in there, in a nutshell, what, what can people expect from this company? Because you know them really, really well. Yes. Tell well, us a bit about Jelly Bean will remember what we're referring to on a Friday night, because it's of our age. Yes, group, absolutely. He's a family-run business. It's yes. him and his daughter. Um, and he's been in the industry for over 35 years. Wow. In fact, you know when you do like apprentices? Oh, oh yes. That's what he used to do oh, when, really? he, when he was younger. He served an apprentice, served apprentice and done training and everything else. That's and great. It's, it, it's marvellous. You walk into, in, if, if I went and picked a piece of card up that he's never seen before, I can walk in and give it him and he can get hold of it and he'll say, oh, it's such and such a brand. Right. Oh, really? And he's that knowledgeable, yes. But good evening, Gavin. Oh, that's good. Hello, Gavin. A very good evening as well. Thank you for being with us, Gavin and everybody. That is brilliant, though, because that learning, that, that knowledge... He's got that knowledge, definitely. And, and it's lovely because the, you'll see that in the products. When we go down the counter and you see that, you'll understand that there is actually... Oh, I see why that's on there. I see. Because this is the great thing. This is what we're going to need your help with as well. We're going we're gonna to whip down the counter and introduce you. You've got a really quite a challenging hour because what I'm going to open up to the viewers is... When we go down, we're going to be quite quick on that. If there's anything in particular you really want to see being worked with, maybe it's the ribbed uh, card stock that we've got. Maybe it's the chocolate brown of the card stock. Maybe it's to do with the ribbon. Maybe it's with the rolls of the paper, the brown paper. If you think, actually, I'd really like to see how I could work with that. Certainly when we come to this, because this is over, well, it's nearly 500 GSM, it's isn't five, it? I think it's 550. 550 it? GSM yeah. on the ribbed card, which is amazing, you, which we'll come to. I, I promise you, you'll think, uh, maybe I want to see how that... How can the glue work? So all you've got to do, keep an eye on this one, studio at thecraftstore.com. If there's anything you want to go back to in this hour, we'll go, can Karen do a quick demonstration using X, 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 whatever it is you're using for? We'll do that. Is, are you up for that? I'm up for that. There'll be no finished samples. Because That's fine. We've had, had items added to the show, but I'm up for that. That's I have brilliant. One, I have one demonstration that I would like to do, and you're yes. letting me do that first while people decide what they want to do, what to see. Perfect. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Right. Let's start off with, straight away, from the very beginning, we're going to start off with the A4. Now, this is the A4, the Jelly Bean Crafts, the Super Smooth Cards. This is your high whites we're working at here. Now, this is 
160 GSM, you're getting 200 sheets. So in a nutshell, this is more for your interior of cards uh, that you might be creating rather than construction on an outside it's at 160. It's not construction, but it's fantastic for printing on. You print on super smooth and you get a brilliant result from it. Right. But don't forget, you can use it as backing paper once you do all your printing and everything else. It's, I, honestly, yeah. Jim, I love shows like this because as you feel that, that is already it's, beautiful it as well. It is beautiful. It really is lovely. Yes. Um, really good offer. By the way, we have got deals galore. I expect it's going to be a really busy hour. Uh, £13 saving on that straight away. That's the first item on the show for you. It's down to 9 99 only. 796 240. It's one of your workhorse again, isn't flower it? Flower making as well. Oh, perfect for flower making. Perfect for flower making. Keeps its shape. Ah. So on the verge of the, between a paper and a card, and card stack, but that is the perfect way for doing your flower making. So you know all the textures, everybody knows the, the, what, what you can do with a super smooth. Do it onto the paper, cut your flowers out, put them through your heartfelt uh, uh, moulding. Yes, yes. Absolutely stunning. Re re absolutely. If, if flower making is on your agendas that you're doing with as well, get that now. 200 sheets of that, 160 GSM, right down from 22.99 to 9.99. Brilliant. That is 796.240. Okay, uh, let's work our way down. And this is lovely. And I'm going to go straight away. There's two items on here in, in one demo. The beautiful, if you're really taken by the colour of the ribbon, we've got this plus the other rolls it comes with as a bargain. That's a bit further down the counter for the ribbon. But hopefully that close-up that you've seen there look at that i love this. this is the ribbed card it's in your natural white it's the i think it's the highest gsm in any car stock i think i've held in my hands on the show is it I, yeah generally because yep. you don't see much over sort of you know your two to three hundred even it's, there's a certain weight and i will have to check with gavin that it becomes micro, micro uh, oh really but 550 gsm it's absolutely rock hard you can it is solid. Yeah, it's solid. It's, it's solid. solid. And there is a way to to score it and to fold it. Um, and oh. obviously I'll do that. Okay. Well, there we go. Go for this one. I think it's, it's one of the nicest card stocks I've actually seen, actually. Again, not only that, £24.99, but that's reduced down £15 off right now, so it's £9.99 only. Uh, that's 60 sheets of that, by the way, so you're going to get plenty to work with your projects. It's worth going, if you can afford it, it's worth going for two lots of that, to be quite honest, because that's a really good deal. Um, 988834, you've actually got 60 sheets here, but you can see by the thickness of this being 550, just how how tall that tower is with just 60 sheets on that which is phenomenal uh, 988834 really love that I think that is absolutely fantastic looking forward to seeing any demos with that Right, working our way down, uh, we've got now for you the Jet Black stock for you. Now, this is, this is again, one of your staple pieces to have there in your tray to pull out, isn't it? It certainly, it certainly is, yeah. It's 190 GSM, so it's a, it is a card stock, but it's black through to the core, and when you don't want to use all your heavy weight as a matting and layering, oh, okay. absolutely ideal. But don't forget, this look things like Paula's... Uh, Oh, die. Yes. yes. That's of the nice weight to be able to build up a book, ah. pages into your your journals, everything else like that. That is a really two or three together. You've got an embellishment. If you die cut two or three together, two or three glue them together. You've still got a, a really solid. good solid embellishment yeah. to do your mixed media with as well. Re again, there are so many deals as we mentioned on the counter. Here. That's got eleven pounds saving on that right now. So again, not twenty pounds ninety nine pence, nine ninety nine for that. That's one ninety GSM. There's a hundred sheets for that price. Five double two, two five eight. Now. I'm moving on to here because we're going to get over 300 meals of this one because actually I think is it 125 meal in each? 125 in each. This is a, a new and brand new formula and it is super, super strong. So I tell you what, the best way is uh, I think that a, a, a picture basically says a lot more, isn't it, than it me does, trying to say? Yes, I, I saw a, a board like that uh, earlier on in the week and I'd like to obviously give uh, recognition to Alien Pink Frog, but I thought... Hazel, I, wasn't it? It it's was, Hazel, yeah. yeah. And, and that, this glue is... Um, That's on the black. That's on the 550 GSM black, and then you've got it on the 550 GSM brown. That's lovely, that. However, I wanted to test the quality of this glue, and I've put a glass bottle on its side, a glass bottle on top, and my, the glass bottles are full. 
The, oh, the, are they? On the, on the brown Sorry, one. Sorry, I just, I just ruined that shot, everybody. <laughs> there on they the are. On the brown one, the, the full. Our Cheryl did me one, and I said, throw us some things on there that you would stick with it. Um, this one is a good old rounder, but it's not a, not just a paper craft one. It's a mixed media one as well, and I've got a brilliant demonstration. At, oh, that's for my first demo with that with the glue. By the way, I just want to let people know. By the way, there was not an earth tremor there. I was actually giving that a little bit of a movement <laughs> just so you can sort of see because this is strong glue, isn't it? It's very, very, very strong glue. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it's, much on it's there. It's even down to to sticking magnetic sheets together and sticking uh, copper you know when you do the um, engraving copper yes that's copper on there that i've used for engraving right go for this one it's a great bundle it's got a nine pound saving on there so it's only 11.99 one we're gonna be looking at that in fact you're going to show us some other techniques and go i'm going to show you i've some not techniques. seen happen with glue before so we got that uh well, we've got so i'm gonna have to be quicker because actually yeah. we still got we want to get to these demos uh don't forget keep a note studio at the .com if you would like to get in touch anything we show you that you particularly want to see a demonstration with let's work it now these always fly out this is brilliant this wow Fourteen ninety nine, down from thirty. Well, we've got thirty six pounds saving. Uh, you now it says a happy hour. It's not a happy hour deal. It's just a brilliant deal. Uh, One double seven two four three. Now in here, you're getting forty two packs in total. Um, but Karen, we were talking earlier on briefly about these, saying you're, you're, you're basically going to get forty. That's going to be your standard. You're going to get a couple of elements that will move. Yes. Certainly. Uh, it was, um, it does say contents will vary. However, on every single item, on every single one that is ordered, you will get 40 items that are exactly the same. There are just one or two that may be that slightly may be. different. That's brilliant. So if you see what's on, on the counter there, There's so much on here. Over 95% of it, 40 out of the 42, you will definitely get. There will just be one or two that are slightly different. Oh, honestly, there is so much of this. What a starter kit if you want to just start out. Or if you're already doing this thing, you know, I use this, I use those embellishments, I use the ribbons, I use this. I, you know, there is so much in here. When you think, usual price, £50 we're looking at here. fourteen ninety nine for you right now. One double seven two four three. That is full of inspirations. I love the little um, the little clothes hooks, you, you know, the little pegs that you can see there. I think they are so cute. Look at that. How much would that just one uh, one piece sort of cost you on its own, just for those? Uh, you know, that's got to be a few pounds just for that little thing. Fourteen ninety nine. You're going to get that plus forty one other elements with it. One double seven two four three. Get them before they've sold out. Now I mentioned with the ribbed cardstock five fifty GSM. We saw that box with that beautiful blue ribbon. I said it's part of a big bundle. How about this one with a twenty two pound saving? So it's down from thirty six ninety nine now to. Fourteen ninety nine, uh, one one three two zero nine. Um, what do we talk about on each roll? We mentioned Karen. What I would safely say there are twenty yards minimum on a roll. Right. So rather than say there are fifty on here, there are forty on there. I would say with the thicker one there, you have twenty yards on a roll minimum. If you have more, it's a bonus. It's absolutely, it is a bonus. Um, I just love these ribbons. I just want to show you some of these, by the way, that have actually been worked together. Uh, use them. So, so again, if you want to see some more techniques using the ribbon, studio at thecraftstore.com. If you would like Karen to do some extra demonstrations, because she's a master doing lovely ribbons and bows uh, to work with uh, that we might want to see as well, which are absolutely beautiful. Uh, I love the little. Fish, actually, here. I fish can't broke. take credit for them. That's our Cheryl. Well, Cheryl's done a lovely, lovely job using the ribbons. I think they are absolutely fantastic. Look at that little cute friend there. Oh, isn't that amazing? Uh, one one three two zero nine. And I can tell you what, my little girl would love that because it's the same kind of gingham style as her little school dress uh, that she goes in, and that is absolutely beautiful. And but again, she likes pink as well. Uh, one one three two zero nine. Twenty two pounds saving on that. It's a lot there for fourteen ninety. Nine phenomenal deal. The one, contents one, three, two, may vary on that as in colours. Say that again. The sorry. contents may vary as in the colours. Ah, oh, okay. The contents may vary. There, there are there are fifteen rolls there. Yeah, but, that's fair, uh, isn't it? There will be definitely fifteen rolls. It works out just just around about a pound of. A roll. That's brilliant. That yeah. is brilliant. That's great. I mean, you sometimes you need a little bit in a project, don't you? So it goes a long, long way. Right. <sighs> okay. I'm starting off with a 350 GSM, the Super Smooth, that we've got here. Now, I know that the Super Smooth is absolutely p 
perfect for you. This is your 350 GSM. So again, if you're using this for construction, absolutely perfect for that one. 22.99, but it has got a 13 pound saving. So right now, again, it's under a tenner. 9.99 for the super glue. Beautiful for stamping and working with, isn't it? For this Beautiful as well. Beautiful for stamping and working on. You can watercolor on it, but don't soak it too much. Okay. We all know what super smooth is like. Yeah. Um, Absolutely a, a dream to work with. So many dream. people, have you seen them in demos when they talk about this as well? It's become yes. one of those things yes. that yes. everyone mentions, the jelly bean, super smooth. It's there for you. It's the A4. That's the 350 GSM. That's 999 350563 if you want to go for the 350 GSM. Let's work our way down, though, because I've actually got the stamping card for you. As, <coughs> excuse me. Um, the 350 that I've got for you. Sorry, 250 on this one. This is 125 sheets. This also has a saving. It's an £8 saving on here right now. And this is for your stamping at 12.99. 580149. And again, you don't have to watch the craft store for long to us when certain people are talking about it. This name does come up time and time again with that. 580149. Nice to have different options as well on that. Yes, the, 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 the stamping card has a little bit of a tooth on it. The stamping? It's, yes, it's yeah. still smooth, but yes, it's it not is. a super smooth. And it's a high white. It, it is a high white. It's a slightly whiter. Yeah, I'm just trying high, to see if I could show. High, shine. high white, but ideal for your um, your pro markers, ideal for your crayons, ideal for pencils, ideal for inking on, blending on. But it does have just that slight to. Just a slight it's to it. It's not super yeah. smooth. Yeah. yeah. It, you, you, you can feel a slight difference in that. But then if you, if you actually didn't have anything in contrast like the Super Smooth to work with, you still think it's great to feel it's, for that. If it, you it didn't is. have a contrast, you would think it was super yeah. smooth. But yeah, no, not going to tell you it's... Uh, tell you it's super smooth when it's not it's, it's uh, a stamping card but it's an all-round stamping card it's it's gorgeous it's gorgeous to work with uh, right from the high whites uh, we're going to go now now this um, in fact I think it was our director that was using so did you do all your Christmas wrapping uh, it did all yeah he did always wrap it again with the brown paper uh, but then stamped uh, all the images on there as well and I think I saw a photograph of your presence that you've done as well I never received one from him but uh, but I know that he'd done that I'm still waiting still time um, I, I blame the post um, now this two rolls of the now tell me what because actually on here 500 mil uh, on this one this is uh, 25 meters we're looking at and two rolls of that and you can so you can cut this down to the equivalent of how many A4? 200 A4 sheets. 200 A4 sheets. That works out on each roll that we're working out here. All of that together. And I suppose the lovely thing about that is knowing you've got, you'll have 400 A4 sheets by the end of that. Four nine ninety nine. But if you are working on projects there, you don't need a direct A4. You're looking for something bigger or wrapping or anything like that. It, you, you've got the, the, the yeah. convenience to work it out to what you need it to be, don't yeah. you? Yeah, and you and and, I'm, and I'm, I am going to speak about the price the price point. I looked on that site that's uh, like got a river running through the name, <laughs> and it was more than that for one of those. Oh really? Yes. Yeah. And don't forget, it, we, we, you're sending things through the post to the parcels. You've got a box, wrap it in that. Yeah. That'll go through the post. Uh, it pleats. It, uh, I, this, I, I made, I was on with Jelly Bean a few weeks ago. I did a bag with no measurements. If anybody wants to see that tonight, email in yeah. and I can do that. Oh, brilliant. But it's, it's I'm not going to say it's never ended because that would no, be totally wrong. But it goes on and on and on but and on absolutely. and on. But Again, working with these, and they are look—they look fantastic. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Again, to work with for stamping on. Uh, I love it. The fans, by the way, that have been created with these. And, they are and better than wrapping paper, it's recyclable. Oh well, there you are. You, you see? put it in your recycle bin, and it goes around and gets made again. Uh, honestly, go! What an offer! Eleven pounds saving on that bundle right now. Two of those rolls, uh, each one of those being the equivalent of uh, two hundred A4 sheets. Five, four, eight, six, eight, seven. If you'd like to go for those now, um, I think that this is probably what Jenny Bean and, and actually with the bunting says it all. We're on that. When we start to get sort of patterns uh, on the card stockers coming through, these are fabulous, aren't they? It's, it's exciting, exciting times. These are what Jelly Bean are, are well renowned for for the spots and the stripes and the printed card. However, Gavin is moving in, uh, going to be start having more different. 
backgrounds printed. Oh, okay. And if you have a feel on some of those, they have actually been printed on super smooth. You Ooh. can feel smooth yeah. there. So that would mean even though they are printed on and, 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 and you can stamp on them, you can ink over on them, you can still do the same on those, what you do on the super smooth, but you've got the basis to start with. So right. if you're good at if you're good at backgrounds, super smooth. If you're not so good, Go for the bully dumb. Yeah, and, and just dumb. made boxes and bags and everything, and they're absolutely gorgeous. If you want to see some of those, be amazed, by the way. Studio at thecraftstore.com, and uh, whatever you want to let us know you want to see working with, then Karen's going to do that. 132238, that's going to give you your lovely collection there of your greens. These are 190 to 300 GSMs. So you've got a lovely variable in there. For 100 sheets in total, if you want to go for those, they are lovely. £15 savings for the green, £14.40. pence. One 132238 is what you're going to get for the striped card collection of the green. Item number for the red, 625245. Again, be the same 190 to 300 GSM and again 100 sheets. Again, £15 saving. 625245. I think I like the red polka docker there. I like that. 625245 is the red. So you've got the green, you've got the red. Working it way down, we've got the turquoise, one of my favourite colours, actually. Uh, love this. Um, but this is 348067. Now, this is actually, uh, you're looking at 300 GSM, 80 sheets in here with a £16 saving. So it's down to 13 99 348067 is the turquoise. Last but not least, and if you did like the bunting... It's done from this particular stock that you're looking at here. That's 132417. That's £16 saving on there. Also down to 13.99 for your grey, uh, for your stops. Uh, they are absolutely beautiful, those. 132417. Right, we are nearly there, by the way. Keep, get your emails coming through. Is there anything you want to... Go back over. I had a few already coming through. What would you like Karen to work with? And we will just, we'll go by your command on that. I do want to show you this. We showed a bit of the card earlier on with what the glue could actually uh, uh, adhere to. But this is lovely. This is the chocolate brown. 60 sheets. Uh, believe it or not, you look at that and think there was a couple of hundred in there, but that's the thickness. This is 550 GSM. They were looking at so same as we got with the ribbed white, uh, but this is really solid. This is lovely, isn't it's it? It's absolutely solid, yeah. You know, when we all do the journals, we're doing journals and yep. we make our own journals, that is strong enough to be your covers. Oh, really? Definitely for your covers, yeah. Yeah, that, that, is, that is really lovely. Uh, uh, that price is unbelievable. 9.99. For all of that that you're getting, 399680. Uh, if you want to see uh, a project works with that, for example, then let us know. Studio at thecraftstore.com. Uh, last but not least, storage. You've got magnetics. Yes, you're going to be getting 10. We've got three here, but you'll be getting 10. Um, for 9.99, these are your A4 size for your magnetic sheets that will work really, really nicely. Uh, nine, it's not a happy hour deal. It's just a deal. It's a brilliant deal. Uh, so do take advantage of that because that has a three pound saving. Again, I want to repeat: you're not getting three; you're getting ten for that price. So literally, you're looking at basically a pound a magnetic sheet, which is phenomenal. Uh, absolutely brilliant, brilliant deal. The website is the place to go to because, honestly, there is so much for you to choose from. Everything has got a saving on here. Everything's got an offer. Uh, so take advantage. I strongly recommend getting the glue whilst it's in stock because... I think we're, are we going to see the demonstration with glue straight yep, away? Yeah, I'm going to do two in one because, obviously, glue needs time to dry. Of course. That's perfect. So that look at the five-star reviews. It just tells you uh, how many... Happy customers there have been previous as well that's already there for you. Go for these. You will not be disappointed. Fill your basket uh, to the brim with all these savings and all these goodies because you know you're going to use your card stock. You know you're going to go for it. Grab it now while those savings are there in place. Uh, I'm really impressed with the, uh, the ribs card stock. I think that is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, oh, now Brenda's emailed in. Ah, now, can we see this... Brenda, thank you for getting in touch with the show. Uh, the uh, ribs um, we've got here as well. She wants to see how we can score with that a bit later on as well. Is that one as you can just As soon as I've done this one with the glue, definitely. Perfect. That'll be the next demo. That's great. Thanks, Karen. I just wish John next door had brought his uh, pennant uh, dies out quicker because I did all them by hand oh, up you... there. Yeah, and now he's brought the dies out. See? So, um, showing you the white. Let's go on the white cardstock. It's all ribbed. 
and I'm going to work twice on it. So I'm going to start off with some glue and I'm putting the glue on. This was his tester pot that he gave me to test. He gave me a couple of these. I've got a big one at home, but I because this one was open, I wanted to use this one straight, straight uh -huh. out. So this is his tester. What you would do with the end of them is don't cut the end off, just get one of your, your pokey tool or a pin and dig it, pop it into the end and that will give you a nice fine, fine tip because what you can do with this is you can write with this as well if you do a nice fine tip. So there we go. Oh. And that's just with putting a dot, uh, a pokey tool in the end. So don't cut it off, it might make oh, your right. tip too big. Okay, okay. We've got magnetic sheet, got the shiny one, and what I am doing is I am going to put that on with glue onto a hard back 550 GSM. Yeah. And when that dries, that means I have got that to put into my bar and keep all my dyes on. Oh, no, so I'm nice just going to let that one dry. Okay, okay. However, I've got the ribbed card, turn it upside down. Uh, you can work it on the ribbed one. I don't know what sort of uh, result you would you would get. I tell you what, the, uh, if we'll do it both ways. The, the, uh, the with the actual ribbed itself, if you made that box with a with a with a plain cardstock, for example, again it would look lovely. The bow is a lovely touch to it, but there's something about the detail of actually seeing the little ribs actually in it that you it just adds a you'd charge more if you're making these boxes to actually. Wouldn't you? Because the texture. The texture is beautiful. So on the top, we're just doing it, so I've done it on the back and I'm going to do it there. However, if we do a dry brushing, and I'm not very good at dry brushing, I'm, I'm a little bit heavy handed, but look at that texture on there that you can see. Oh, you can see the lines the going through there. The dry, yeah. Do you need it picking up or anything? No, we've got, the, we've nope. got a nice shot of that You've there. You've got a nice shot of that one. So we'll just dry that off two seconds. That one's dry. I won't be two seconds. And apparently I'm loud enough to be able to talk over the top of... Uh, we can hear that. Yeah, we can hear that. yeah. In fact, they're also using a pneumatic drill next door. We can still hear us. <laughs> so I think we're OK. We've, we've got the voices. <laughs> oh, blimey. I tell you what, 60% 60, 60 of the ribs has already been allocated. Absolutely uh, I'm brilliant. not surprised, though, because that price is phenomenal for this quality and for that high GSM. That's amazing. Yep, and, and I bet you're thinking, what on earth is that lady doing? What on earth is what that? What on earth is she doing? What and is I'm she? going to do it on the ribbed one as well. But you don't, you, you don't see. And this glue is is absolutely. Um, I found it absolutely amazing for mixed media. Mixed media is a good all rounder. If it's it's uh, it'll not go through one of the John Next Door bottles because it is far far too thick for that. Oh, right, but right. it sticks anything to anything. Lady on my design team, Cheryl, she goes for this one every single time, and all I'm doing is is wiggling the glue in here. I think Cheryl's been in touch as well with the as show. She, I think she's uh, I, I think she's uh, she's loving the show. Oh, brilliant. Loving the show. Hi, Cheryl. Uh, loving the cards. Cardstock is amazing as well. And she... Cheryl also actually confers with what you're saying as well. The glue is the best that she's ever used. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, she did what with the shoes? Cheryl repaired her shoes with the glue. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Man just no, got pieces. Could, we, could you not have got one of Cheryl's shoes actually stuck onto this I'll board? I'll bring one next time. I'll yeah. live round corner from Cheryl. <laughs> right. So I'll bring one next time, yeah. We'll get one off. I never thought of even doing that. So what you can see you here... with shoes. Yeah, with the... <laughs> 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 I'll go... I'll, when I go around next time... Now that like uh, Cinderella. So, yeah. I, yeah, I'm not going to sit down on one knee and be a Prince Charming to her, definitely not. So can you see that we have got the white there, you can see it. Don't let the glue dry, what you need is a little bit of a skin. Okay. And I'm going to do it on the nice narrow one, uh, nice low heat. And I'm just making sure it has a skin. Not sure whether this one will work with the rib, but I know this, the other side will work. Right. Okay. There we go. Don't dry it too much, and then you get another acrylic paint. And I will be honest, I'm using that's crafty white paint, oh, which crafty. is an acrylic. And all I'm doing is, as with the, when you're making crackle, all you do is go in one one direction. Ah. And don't overpaint it. Don't overpaint it. Don't oh, don't okay. don't paint it in. Right. Right. Just right. go over. And. 
you know, like you would normally put uh, work a paintbrush in. I got you. You just want to be going in one direction and just going over roughly once at the most. And oh, it's perhaps a little bit too thick there. Then we're going to dry. We're going to dry this, but we don't normally. You do. You can normally let it dry. And let's pop that there. Well, as you can see here, Scott, on this, this it's starting to crackle. Can you see it? Uh, just wait for the wheel. Uh, oh, yes, yes. I'm starting to see that coming That's through now. That's the crackle yeah, we done are. with the glue. And then, if I may, while you're still there, I'll bring up the other one and you can start seeing where it's starting to crackle. Can you get it? Do I need to move it? Oh, no, we're yeah. okay. We're okay. And let's then get the heat, the blow heater onto that one. Uh, two thirds of the glue has already now been allocated. So um, don't miss out on that one. Grab that if you want to go for this one. Don't forget you're getting three bottles of this. Each one of those 125 mil each. Uh, this is the fantastic Jelly Bean Crafts, the, uh, the PVA full strength glue on this one. So it's got a nine pound saving on the show uh, right now. So it's just 11.99, one nine seven four seven one. Um, I'm hearing it by producer that we don't think the stock's going to last. So if you are wanting to get this, please pop this into your basket right now. Don't become, uh, don't get unstuck and miss out. <laughs> Do you don't want to get yourself in a sticky if, situation. If, can, I, can I just mention yep. that we now have, um, Jelly Bean now has a Facebook page called Friends of Jelly Bean. Oh. Please put on anything that you make, please join us and, and put on to there. And, Give um, a page a like. Any, anything that you make, Friends of Jelly Bean Crafts, Friends of Jelly Bean Crafts, put all your pictures on. Any questions that you've got to ask, please ask. And uh, we can start, we're going to start doing social media in as well. Oh, brilliant. The, the same as Oakwood. Brilliant. But have you seen that? Look yeah, at look that. at that. So, and I didn't do it too hot. It's better if it naturally dries, but then you've got it where it's on the rib part. That's not the rib part. And if I may just bring one in that I did a little bit earlier. And that's with the glue. That and is yeah, brilliant. that glue does everything that you can that see on those brilliant. boards. That's great. I've, I've seen that done with the, with the glue before like that. that it's, it's how we used to do it 15 years ago, 20 years that's ago. That's brilliant. That is. Yeah, that's but cracking. it's nice it's to know and bring new te bring the old techniques back. Yeah. I love it. Absolutely perfect. Thank and you very thank you very much indeed. How's that oh, one gone? Is that that's still still damp? So that's not dried yet. However, let me bring one out that I did. Oh, glue is now limited the other stock. day. Now, limited if stock I the glue, start pulling you know. this away, it's just going to tear. And that's on the back of a magnetic sheet. Wow. So that's how good the, gl yeah, the glue is. It is. With a magnetic sheet, with it being a coated item, it doesn't usually no, stay. No, no, but no, all this good. is doing is tearing the cardstock. But that's one I made yesterday. Uh, I do believe it's technically sold out now, actually, the glue. 197471. So well done if you managed to get that. Don't forget, check it out of your basket. Don't let it bounce out of your basket. So please make sure that you've got that as well. Uh, right, the uh, ribbed card that we've got, 550 GSM, we're also very, very very low on this now so please don't hang around for this one i think it's absolutely beautiful and actually a testament to the sort of the depth of the rib itself that you'll sort of see on that is that you can see that on the screen now sometimes when you get that on uh, a card stop for example any other effect any other tooth that you might find on it uh, you might see this in the watercolor card you don't always get a chance for that to be picked up on camera on screen now because actually the testament to the depth of the actual, um, the sort of the ribs that you're seeing on the card, it picks it up really clearly because it is that deep. 999-988-834, I do believe. Are we, are we limited stock? It is limited stock on that right now as well. So you've got to be very, very quick uh, to get that into uh, your collection. Please don't hang around. Um, we, we will, uh, I think we're going to show you. Karen, are we okay just about, I think we're on limited stock now. Yep, are I'll just show do us a, quick, a quick score, it? score it, yeah. So, uh, I'm not scoring it on the, the rib side. I'm going to score it on the underside. But if you need to rub the side of your nose to, um, or a dry, um, uh, tumble dryer sheet, and I'm just scoring, just scoring to it. 
take it nice and steady if it doesn't score the first time you just keep working at it and working at it and working at it never be afraid of, of scoring it there now normally i would tell you to turn it over and score on this side but i don't want to ruin that rib oh i see okay. i would then normally get my uh, um teflon tool and and burnish it however with this one it is such strong Oh, yeah, it has, isn't Hard it? Stock. I just want to score the one side of it. Yeah. Yep, I've just scored it. And there. You start burnishing it too much with one of these, you could end up um, getting rid of all the, uh, oh, the ribs. But yes, that, I understand. That yeah, shows what... you that how strong it is. And just do it. If you ever have a difficulty ever bending anything, get your ruler in along your score line, lift it up, and then nice and gentle with your with your bone folder or anything that you've got and rub that up down the side there uh, that, and that will give you a nice which is why like you say for things like the angles and thing angles on the boxes for example it is done it has now sold out at the same time on that 999 what a deal on there Absolutely phenomenal, 988834, I love that. Uh, absolutely, don't forget, if you are still looking for something of that kind of uh, weight, we have still got the chocolate brown available for you, 60 sheets of that as well. Uh, that's also 550 GSM, so really, really perfect, again, for that to work with if you wanted to, which is really, really nicely, actually. Uh, right, uh, just to give you back again, uh, regarding to the super smooth, Another brilliant deal, $9.99 here for you, this one. This is your high whites that you've got here from your jelly bean. A4 Super Smooth card. Uh, the high white, this is your 160 GSM. That will give you 200 sheets for that. Again, another brilliant price point, $22.99. Right now, £13 saving. So it's now only $9.99. So absolutely Perfect, perfect, perfect for your projects. Get it while these prices are that you're seeing from Jenny Bean. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, just want to let you know, we are really busy uh, on the phone lines. We've got four-minute queues on the phone line, which just goes to show we know that people want to try and get them while we've, while we've got the stock for certain things as well. Uh, we'll come to your call as quickly as we possibly can. You know that your call is very important to us. If you can... Please, please, please do get on the website, of course, all the W's dot the craft store dot com. It, it is the best way to do it if you can get them into your basket that way. OK, right. We got the jet black for you to look at right now. This is actually 190 GSM. It gives you again 100 sheets and again, another brilliant, brilliant saving. So only 9.99 for this. Perfect for your uh, Matalan if you want to go with that. But again, if you don't want to be using your thicker cardstock as well for those uh, projects, it's not really... Well, you sort of can use it for construction at 190 but again, if you are just looking through, you're backing with all of those, saving your thicker cardstock, of course, for those other projects, construction, for example. This is lovely. 522258. £11 pounds saving. You're saving more than you're actually spending on this one. Nine ninety nine. Right, it is really busy, Karen. Uh, I see you've got the rolls out now. The brown. The rolls paper. out, and I've done nothing with it. All I have done is I've taken a piece. I don't know what size it is. I haven't got a clue. Right. And I've just rolled it back and lined this edge up, and then scored down there using my Teflon tool. I've no knife. I've no. Pe I'm not using scissors. What I'm going to do is this part of my ruler. You know the part the way you've got the, the little bits that, that dips down? And I'm just going to use that, and that will give you a nice little tear. Okay. If you ever do your Christmas wrapping like this, this, should, this could help, but I would use this because you think of how much of the Christmas wrapping paper that we use yeah. that you can't get... It doesn't recycle. No, oh, that's It doesn't right. recycle. So, first things first, what's this going to be? Let's do a bag, shall we? Oh, yeah, OK. So, I am, what I am going to do, I don't want to stand waiting for glue. So, I'm going to use um, a, a glue roller. And I'm going to turn this over at the top, making sure that it's... Are we OK for the camera? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah they've got all I your pictures you there. To, I don't want to... Uh, so, people can't see. So, I'm just... You can measure your paper if you've got, if you want to make this item, uh, to make this, and you've got an item that you want to measure, what you would need to do is put the item in the middle, double it over and just add a little bit. Okay, okay. 
Yeah. Then what we're going to do is we are going to uh, turn one side in. I've got to remember off, to, off, off my head here. <laughs> I'm remembering from, from uh, I haven't done this for about two or three weeks. And then just score that down there. It's paper. You can use your nails. Just try and keep it level. So we've got that bit. This is going to be the bit where you put your holes in for your bag. It's going to be the top of the bag. We're then going to turn it over and we're going to match this up with this, the side that's turned over. And we're just going to score down to there. Yeah. Got then you. we're going to stick it. You would normally stick it with tape or if you leave this long enough, if you have a tape runner, um, and let it let it uh, rest. You have to let it rest before you start trying to undo it. Oh, okay. Because okay. the glue will set. Even though right. it's a dry glue, it will set. So we've got that there. So I know that whatever item I'm going to get in would have gone round it. I would have taken it round it. The next thing that I'm going to do is just to find a base however the size of what I'm putting in. So if it's a pair of shoes or a little box, I'd say the box is the size. I could have a big base or I could have a little oh, I base. I see, I see, yeah. So this is going to be your base and then you fold it up like that. This is when you start need to 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 uh, start scoring it. This one is going to go down to the corner. So in effect you are got I'm up I, I hope I'm remembering this right Scott. I hope so as well not okay, practice I, I, not I have practiced. great faith I've got a question for you but I don't want to put you off go your, on you're all right well uh, I think it's Elaine has been in touch with us via email good afternoon good evening Hello, Elaine, Elaine. Nice to be with you Elaine was asking do you happen to know when the black 550 GSM car stop will be back in stock I think it's been on the show previously it but has we've been not on the got previous it on show is uh, the next live show that i've got is the 15th of may okay okay however if she drops me a line on friends of jelly bean oh. i'll get that found out for oh there yeah. we go you see she just drops a little a little note drop a little on message there. friends yeah, of jelly bean on social uh then that, that'll be fantastic it's, it's not what you know it's who you know isn't it's it that's what little it word. is carol yes. sorts it out for you and then we're going to open that up and these two are going to go in like that. So it's like a little bit of an origami. Well, I like a bit of origami. Like a bit of origami. Now yeah. to do the base. I'm I think the rules me. of origami are very, well, they're, they're twofold really, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. So, so that's that. Then the, what's the next bit that I need to do? Bear with this. No, leave that. I go back. The, 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 we rewind it. Go back. <laughs> Go back, we're rewinding. I've forgotten now. It was going to come back to you. I've it will come back. I'm going to... This has got to go in here. So we have to do... I'm not sure whether it's... Scott, can you give me a minute? Yeah. I just have a little play. So absolutely, you are doing a brilliant job. I, I know what I'm supposed to do, but I'm not sure which order I'm doing it's it It's fine. In. I tell you what, because we are we are putting Carol on the spot. She's doing an amazing job. I just say, what do you want to see? People want to see the bag being made. We're showing that, and she's all coming back as well. So, um, we'll come back to these. The two rolls, don't forget. Each roll is the equivalent of 200 A4 size sheets that you'll get from each roll. So, 400 A4 size sheets is what you could be getting potentially potentially from these ones, 9.99, and that's going to get you both rolls of that, which is absolutely fantastic. It's the craft paper, and again, it is perfect for making all your gifts, um, all putting them together. I do love these, actually, with the little gorgeous fans on there. Uh, very, very pretty. And that with the ribbon, nice and simple, but really highly effective. 548687, if you've used the craft paper before, Stock up for it right now. Stock up for it. Uh, right, let's talk about the uh, super smooth that we've got for you, okay? I'm going to start with the 350 GSM here. 9.99 for this one. Now, this is your high white, and you're going to be getting 80 sheets of this, and it really is absolutely beautiful. It's a high white, uh, very white indeed on this one, but really good, good quality for your A4 Super Smooth. It is beautiful. 22.99 is the regular price you're looking at here, but 13 pounds off. So right now it's just 9.99. Item code for this: 350. 
563. And again, absolutely perfect. Now, if you, when you feel them together, because uh, the one I've got for you here is a 250, and uh, just as Karen was mentioning, it does have a little bit more of a bite to it, a bit more tooth on this itself compared to, but if you felt that independently, without a direct contrast to the super smooth, you'd still say it's a really lovely smooth surface to work on. But it's a little bit more on that one. You're going to get 125 sheets of this, of your beautiful white, of your stamping card. It's 580149. So usual price, £20.99. £8 off that deal now. So just 1299, 5.80149. Uh, I know that the ribbed um, high, sort of the 550 GSM has gone, but really like this actually. This is the chocolate brown. I know that Elaine was asking about the black 550 GSM, and uh, we've held to hopefully try and find out from that one. This, look at this, 60. Believe that that is only 60 sheets. That's not, it feels the same equivalent of you looking at a 200 sheet bundle. That's 60 sheets. It gives you an idea. The 550 GSM, 10 pounds saving on it, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It'll work really nice. Anything you've got with your creams, your browns, your sort of chocolates, or your coffee colours, or anything like that, that is a really lovely colour to work with. 9.99 only, 3.99. 680. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I think it's one of my favourite pieces, that one, actually, now. It's, it's lovely with chocolate gorgeous. browns, isn't it? Yeah, it's solid. Solid as a rock. So, solid as a rock. Love it. Right, how are we getting on with our bag? Um, I think I'm there. Great. So we got to this bit, and that's where I got confused. <laughs> so what we do need to do is open it up and bring that down to the side. What we're then going to do is make the sides. So we're making the sides and the bottom. So you... No, we're not. We're doing this. We're going to put the bottom in. Now, you can see here, if we were to turn this over to halfway, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, it, uh, you wouldn't be able to fasten it. So right. just go slightly over oh, I see. halfway. And what I will do, I promise, because I'm trying to think off the top of my head, and it's like, <laughs> you know when you miss something and yeah, it goes? Yeah, you're doing a brilliant job for us here. Um, we are you I, the will do, I will do this on the Facebook, the Jelly Bean Facebook, and make sure I do it perfectly. So I've got the ruler there because my bit's, my, my bit's turning over there, and I want to put that to make sure that I've got it exact. Oh, I just see. Just make a little crease there. This is me just covering, making sure I get it... So it's a absolutely exact. And then I what the way that I would stick it is I'd stick these down, these two little crosses, these bit these triangles. Yeah. And then I'd put a bit of tape on that one, a tape on the top one, and then some tape there. Do use glue, use whatever I would use. I'd use that, uh, the, the jelly bean glue. Yeah. So we've got that little bit there. Now, the idea is to make your side parts, and this is where your ruler would come in handy. You can pop that there and make sure and that fold that it. folds up like that, remove it, and straighten it out. The same with there. So it wants to be, this. you want to make sure you don't go over these little bits here because that'll make it difficult for you to to open the bag up so you've got if that does that make sense I'm so with far you. i'm with you yeah yeah and then you're gonna put your hands in the bag you're going to pull that out and you see here you get this little crease i know you've folded it one way and then you're going to just reiterate it and fold it the other way. I'm not hitting my mic, am I? No, 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 no you're OK. Mike's and then fine. He's... this little bit right. goes in. Bring your, put your hands in, take your fingers down down it and fold it over. It's a proper and I was doing it this. right the first time. Yeah. Oh, funny yeah. how we doubt ourselves. That goes in like that. That goes in there like that. We're going to take a little measurement here. So that measurement is, say, 13 by 20 and a half. Right. Right. Don't apologise. 
Let's get some of the brown cards. So do not apologise for anything. You're doing a brilliant job for us. Thank you. Thirteen by twenty and a half, didn't we say? Yes. Thirteen. Oh, we're going to take half off. We know that's twenty-one. I'm just roughly taking half off. Pop that down to the side. Out of the way. Well, I miscounted that, didn't I? <laughs> I mismeasured. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, hang on, let's... let's oh. hey, what you're doing is you're doing a deliberate one with the scissors so you can demonstrate with those as well as... Now. Oh, that's it, yeah. I just cut it. Yeah. Right. Hey, it's hard to cut, you know, because it's that thick. Well, it is. It's, it's tough, isn't it? 550. Yeah, that goes in the bottom. They go in there. That goes in there. And you've got your own little bag. Ah. Oh. And that creases over. Make them in advance. If you are doing uh, craft fairs, when they all come back out, make them in advance. You'll be able to fold it back down, put two holes in there. You've got it uh, where you can put your ribbons in and you've got your base in. But these will go into your drawers. You'll be able to make a uh, stamp on these. Yes, get your own your logo. Get your own logo, Mama May. Yes, there you are, see. And then stamp your own logo on there. Make them smaller. Put them all in a drawer when you're selling at your craft fairs. Bring them out. And you're not doing carrier bags. <laughs> no, exactly. There we go. Look at that. That is brilliant. Actually, thank, thank you. <laughs> Sorry Kat. about that. Don't apologise. I was doing it right first time. You did. I will do this in a nice slow motion onto Friends of Jelly Bean. If you give me while well Monday, it'll be on by Monday night. Perfect. Thank you very much, Steve. Do you think you'd also add a, add a handle to that at the top there? You could, you could, I suppose. Right, so you can turn that over. Yeah? Yeah. Or an handle. Let's do an handle. Oh, you're going oh, to do one for us? Oh, of course we are. Oh, OK. okay. Of course we are. Right, what we'll do is we'll do it that deep. I've got four minutes, 40 seconds. Oh, wow. Oh, loads of time. Yes. Watch do this. Two. So two handles. Make sure you level it out to cut. Get your ruler in. Or if you've got one of those things that cuts tape. Now this is this is working harder because I haven't got enough to hold on to there. However, don't let's not worry. Let's cut this one. Let's just cut this go, one. Yes, go on. Go and on then, then what we're going to show you is how we do the handle. You would do this with glue. We can get two handles out of this. What we're going to do is we'll fold that in half first of all. And you would normally measure and do it a lot. We're doing it at a speed. You are doing a brilliant job for us, thank you. It's, uh, <laughs> it is brilliant. Uh, we're together again at nine, aren't we? We're together again at nine. Do we know what yes. we're doing at nine, or are we going to just. What? We're on uh, Paper Rose at nine. Are we going to just see what happens? Oh. It'll be your, your last show of the day, so you'll be. Oh, hang on, we've had a question come through. Oh, from Elva. Hello, Elva. Good Hello, afternoon. Elva. Can you use this craft paper with a jelly plate? Oh, that's a question, Carol. The Come, which one? What you're working with at the moment, actual craft paper. Would that okay work with a, with a jelly plate? I would suggest that, it, uh, to be totally honest, I would say yes, but you have to be very careful with the jelly plate that the paint doesn't dry. Okay. If you put it on to dry paint, it's very, very porous and it will come come away. Oh, OK. That's, so that's, that's it would answer. be, if you are doing, uh, if you are doing prints with jelly plates, then make sure that you, you're onto a moist surface with your jelly plate. Yep. Put it down, go like that and take it straight off. Right. It okay. could have a tendency to stick to a jelly plate if you haven't got the, the, uh, the, uh, texture right oh, okay. or the the the, uh, the the liquidity of it right that's fair enough um if it does all you need to do is just soak your jelly plate or do what uh, leone does put some paint on it and it'll take it off it'll take it off yeah but yeah. i'm not going to say yes i've tried it i haven't tried it with no. a jelly plate no, here well, we go this is what thank I, you one thank lovely question thank you very much or was it? I'm so sorry. It was from El El Elvi, I think it was. Thank you, Elvi. Um, Elva. 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 I do apologise for missing your name, but yeah, I would say it's quite porous. Try it, but I can't guarantee yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's. Fair so enough. we've now got this is these are the strong. handles that you get. Yeah. We've done it into four, and then all we would do is 
glue two on that side. I would use glue, an old glue, bob it onto the inside, oh, and you've got your own brown paper bag. Ah. Oh. There we go. Hey, this is all new to me, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I usually do it with ribbons because I get loads of ribbons. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, However, you, could, you could do it with, with ribbon or, or with the paper that you've done it with. Or as well, with the so. paper, but remember, you can turn that over. Let's take that one off because it's not stuck yet. So that's your handle on. However, what you can do is turn that over, turn that over, bob something in it, put a nice, oh, you know, have your own labels printed or stamp your own label oh, on there. And then just put the label and on. And you just put the label on. Oh, that's very high class, isn't it? Oh, yes. I'm liking that. Yes. Very boho chic. Mm -hmm. Very, very yeah. nice. I've just got uh, to get something to sell now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carol, we've, uh, we've, we're down to our final 60 seconds. Wow. Uh, Brilliant. So we've only had three more emails for you to just finish off. If you could do that in that time, that would be great. No, I'm joking. I dub, um, dub, 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 dub. <laughs> uh, listen, you've done, you've done so brilliantly there for us as well because we put you Enjoyed on the spot it. with suggestions. Enjoyed but the thing it. is, it just goes to show there are so many things here on the counter for you and with such great, great savings as well to be had. Um, but you can't go wrong with Jelly Bean across the board. You know know you're using the right tools for the right job. Uh, Karen, thank you so much. Thank indeed. you so much. Uh, we're back together again at nine tonight. We are, we? and I'm going out for something to eat in I between. I don't blame you. Go, you can take Do your you bag Do you want anything out. fetching? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> with the bag. That's what you need. Yeah, That's take perfect. me on the goodie bag, definitely. There'll be a press you come in your own bag. Uh, <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed that, and well done, whatever you've got from the show so far. Like you say, you can't go wrong uh, with everything from Jelly Bean, from the ribbon to the cards, and certainly from the pattern cards as well. Uh, so, yes, don't go anywhere, though, because we've got even more coming up but from Karen and myself so far thank you very much we'll see you in a moment okay get ready everybody yes it is a brand new now with a sentimentally yours getting ready for you then we've also got has crafts and then back again with sentimentally yours what a Friday night Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family-run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. Our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark, 
from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows. Welcome to the weekend, everyone, and one of the most exciting opportunities for you right now, Phil Martin. Hello, This stranger. is all a bit strange, isn't it? Good afternoon, there is a screen between us. This is like a bit... <laughs> it's a bit weird, but it's nice, though. It's nice to be in the same shot. I know. I know, and, 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 and you look down to me. <laughs> well, just, we're, all, we're both used to looking it's, it's up, a very aren't we? It's a very rare occurrence, I'll tell you. It is. But uh, it's nice. Do you know what? It's, uh, we've known each other a long, long time. This is our first show together, it is, strangely, all these years, which is yeah. bizarre. All these years. And what a gift of goodies you've brought no, with no, you. No, no. My word. Right. Tell Let's me, tell it. me, tell me. This is already flying out of the door, by the way, because as soon as you saw it go live on the website, <laughs> it's gone absolutely bonkers. You've got it before um, before it goes on general release. Yeah. That won't be happening for another week, seven, eight days or something, I think, yeah, did you yeah. say, Phil? Yeah, next week. Uh, we've got limited edition papers with this as well. We've turned this into a monthly mega deal, so much, much bigger than a one-day special. Don't let that lull you into a full sense of security, though, that you've got the next 29 and a half days to get hold of this, because that ain't going to be the case, Phil. Uh, no. Uh, I mean, last time we did a... Uh, this is number five. I can't believe this is number five. So when we launched the last one, that was also a monthly mega deal, I think. I think it went in about four days or something yeah. crazy like that. I'm not surprised. And, and I'll, I'll say right from the start, I have no more stock to give. Right. So once this monthly stock monthly in the loosest possible sense yeah. of the word. Yeah. Stock has gone, there won't be any more, so okay. that's it. Right. Number five. And you need to get onto this as quickly as you possibly can because this is an incredible amount. Um, when I first saw everything arriving and it was all put together amazingly and very, very uh, frantically this afternoon, wasn't it? <laughs> All of the plans have been very, very last minute and everything else, which is fine. That's a good way to be. That's the way we are. Um, when I saw this arrive and I thought, great, OK, it's a magazine box set. Fantastic. And I looked at the price tag and I looked at twenty five ninety eight. That was the only price tag I saw at that stage. And I thought, brilliant, because I, I saw what was inside it. I saw the inspiration. The magazine is like plus, 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 plus. It just keeps giving and giving and giving. You'll be picking it up again and again and again. I thought, brilliant. I had no idea that what happens over here was part of what happens over here as well. Yeah. So your monthly mega deal is everything you are seeing there in front of you as well. Before anybody else gets their hands on it as well, because this doesn't go on general release, the magazine, the box that's right, set that's correct, yeah. for another week or so. The papers are limited edition and the most gorgeous, gorgeous textures as well. And you're getting this all on a monthly mega deal price 
with an extra saving. So £19.98, and pence, and you've got to grab this as quickly as you possibly get. What? Three minutes. <laughs> Three minutes. Savvy shoppers. And the first 10% of the stock. And it's a sizable stock, but once it's gone, it's gone. It's as simple as that. Uh, the 10% of that stock has already sold out and gone. You are grabbing this, I know, because you love spending time with Phil. Phil's so inspiring. Um, Phil, will you take me through the magazine? Okay, so when you come over to me at my little demo area, I'm going to go through it a little bit more. Brilliant. So it's okay. all right, because it's a bit yeah, awkward yeah, yeah. for me. Yeah. This is it's all, all angles, strange. isn't it? Yeah. So... In fact, do you know what I might... Can I do that instead of flicking through this here? Can I just tell you what you're getting? Yeah, go on. So, I'll tell you what you're getting in this. So, you're getting the magazine, which obviously right. is the fifth one. People now are collecting these magazines. The value is incredible. So, just just saying 25 90, 98 or whatever it would have been at the normal price is incredible value yeah. with the paper kit, yeah. with a paper pack. But what you're getting in here is an A4 set of stamps. You're actually getting an embossing folder, a little A6 embossing folder. You're getting sentiment stamps. You're getting texture stamps. You're getting focal point stamps. You're getting sentiments. You're getting a die that's like a little floral rose. And you're getting the leaf to go with with it you're then getting i'm just trying to read all this it doesn't actually tell me on the front you're getting a massive paper kit in the middle as well that's got loads of papers loads of toppers double-sided i will go through all this but it's so most, good most crafters will know that an a4 set of stamps on its own even though these are acrylic you're still talking 25 30 quid for yeah, an a4 set yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> Crafters know this. Everybody knows the value in these, yeah. in these box kits. Which is why it's flying out of the door already. I am really, really surprised, actually, because I've, I've seen this magazine many, many times yeah. when I've been walking around my local, local supermarket. I'm sure you've seen it as well in the big, big supermarkets as well. It's amazing. I always go, oh, that's my mate Phil. <laughs> He's there again in the supermarket <laughs> on the shelf. It's, it's an incredible boast. It really is. Um, I never imagined, because normally you see it in the box, when, in the shop. So unless you yeah. buy it, you never get to open it up. I thought it was just a reading magazine. Uh, uh No, no, no. It's far, far more than just a, a, a reading magazine. Uh, you've got your papers in there. So much inspiration. Um, there is um, £400 worth of prizes to win in competitions. And I think that's, that's some, sometimes one of the most fun part of a magazine as well, isn't it? As getting involved in the competitions as well. Um, but with this, as well as everything that Phil's just gone through there, You've got this incredible paper pack as well, which is wonderful. It is limited edition as well. It's really, really yeah. good. It's 40 sheets, and I think there are eight designs, and you get four of each. And you're going to need four of each because you might want this twice over. You might want yeah, this three times absolutely. over. It, it's really, really gorgeous. The textures on it are absolutely incredible. It's uh, almost yeah. like the... Like you've got in close to one part of a of a Yorkshire dry stone wall it's good, there. Isn't it? It's good, isn't it? It's I'm good awesome. At, I'm good at papers, even if I say so myself. So I've done I've done the this is the first time I've done what I've called urban texture papers. So these are quite a little bit different to what I normally do. Yeah. And I've done these because they work so well with the stamps that are in this uh, magazine box kit. Whether you do pretty cards, which is what people know me for, yes. or whether you do grungy, whether you're somebody who does journaling or mixed media, these papers are incredible. They are. I mean, the detail, the colour palettes, the shading. I love the strength in that in that one, for instance. Absolutely gorgeous. Eight different designs. You're getting five sheets of it. There's so much work in just that one uh, background yeah. paper, isn't it? Absolutely. Mate. Remember, you're getting 40 sheets of those as well. Nineteen pounds and ninety-eight pence is mind blowing. Oh, hang on, hang on, it's coming. No way. <laughs> right. Okay. We're now seven minutes into the show, and twenty percent of the stock has sold out and gone. And we've got a very, very important announcement to make, and we need to make it right here and right now, because. So, happy birthday, Mum. It's my mum's birthday today. Most of you will know that it's my mum that was sitting in a little cupboard packing all these pearls and everything. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> so, well, happy birthday, Mum. Thank you for what you do for us. Massive, massive happy birthday, Julia. And uh, I have to say, when Phil told us earlier, <laughs> when, we, when we were already asking for more stock of these pearls before the show even started, because we knew that we were going to need them at some stage, <laughs> Phil said... 
Do you know what? I think Judy has done enough <laughs> pearl work at the moment. <laughs> and it's her birthday, so let's not ruin her birthday <laughs> <laughs> by asking for... So tell me, just briefly, tell me what, what this is all about. What do I get here, Phil? So, so basically, these are, these are the second release in the Shimmer Pearl collection. OK. You have got a set over there that you can show people properly when we get over there, okay, rather great. than trying to navigate taking the lids off here. OK. So these are the next three colours. There are 15 in total being released throughout the year. OK. So you have the caramel, the pewter, and the porcelain, and they are absolutely stunning. Oh. There are 16, approximately 1,650 pearls in this in three sizes, flatback pearls, yeah. Right, the, uh, and we... Yeah, uh, I know. Are we, are we get, yeah, right, hang on three, a second. yeah. It, so it's not a pick and mix, it's not... Right, OK, because I'm new to this, because this is my first Sentimentally sh uh, Yours show. I would never have imagined that you would have got all of that. I would imagine that those being at least £10 plus per pot. Per yeah. pot. Do you know what I mean? Normally you get things like this on sheets and you'll get a few of them. Do you know what I mean? You pay five or six quid for that. How many did you say you were in there? 1,600, 1,650 approximately. Julia, <laughs> that's a massive happy birthday if you've had to sort all of that. Now, 30% of that stock has already sold out and gone, which I think is mass massive, massive testament as well to lovely Julia um, as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, listen, let's go straight to the website because the sooner we do that and have a look through everything else that's in the show, the sooner we can get crafting uh, with Phil. My word, you are loving absolutely everything tonight and I'm not at all surprised. There's so much more from Sentimentally Yours as well. You've got the premium natural craft card there as well. 40 double-sided sheets there, 14.99, which is really, really good. Um, you've got your uh, urban textures there, paper packs. They are brilliant value for money as well. Lots of tag dies in there. What else have we got? We've got the Glitter Alchemy Trio there, Moon Dust and Diamond. I love how everything comes in threes. It's amazing. Uh, oh, well, until we get to the embossing powders, and I know much, how much I've spent for, like, what? What? So that's six lots of 20 milliliters, 24.94. That is bonkers. Because I've been to the craft stores and looked at one. And that's why often I stop at one embossing powder. Do you know what I mean? Rather than keep going. Um, incredible. Listen, everything is flying out of the door. Make sure you shop ahead of us on the website straight away. Right, Phil, floor is yours. Because we've only got you tonight, haven't we? Yeah, you've only got me tonight. Julia's taking over tomorrow. Um, if there's any left. <laughs> yeah. Right, so I'm going to quickly just put my glasses on and we'll quickly have a flick through the magazine because I want you to see what you get. So this is a brand, this is a brand new one. I've literally just opened it with the scissors at the top. So you, this is what you're going to get when you get this home. So you open it up. I mean, the cover's, the cover's gorgeous in its own right. Yeah, I asked them to check. Can you believe it or believe it? Not everybody. I asked them to change the cover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, let's have a lovely bright colour. We need cheering up. Let's have some nice bright sunshiny colours. Right. So you're going to open this up. Remember, if you are collecting this, it tells you on the spine as well which volume it is. Most people now will have collected one, two, three and four, and this is obviously number five. Uh, I'm going to remind you again, everybody, and I know I sound like a broken record, but I have no more stock to give. So once this right. stock has gone, yep. I don't have any more. So I can't give you any more. OK, be quick. Right, so you get the magazine, yeah, and, and then you get your little um, bag of goodies, we'll call it. So I'm just going to... Oh, I was going to rip it, but I'll try and do it nicely. I know most people won't because you'll be too excited when you get this, when you get this home. So you say little bag, Phil. So that's oh, no oh, little bag at all. Just, that's a hell of a lot of so goodies there. so much stuff in there. <laughs> so much stuff. Right, so I've got the worst counter for you to look at, look, because I've got my brown mat on, but hopefully you can see that. So you've got here, with the combination of the um, stamps, and I've got a lovely sheet of white paper now to show you, because that is just seamless, the way that I was thrown <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got, everybody will know that the this is an A4 set of stamps. So, so what makes my box kits different to some of the others that you see out there is that mine is specifically a stamping special. Right. So the focus on mine is stamps, and I think that's where we get the best value for money. Mm -hmm. Stamps are not cheap, as you know. So it's important for me to mention to you that these are acrylic, they're not photopolymer. Mm -hmm. So all that means to you is I would recommend you use things like the Versafine Clair or Memento, that kind of thing, a, a dye-based rather than a water-based, but you're going to see me using these throughout. So when I was working with Practical Publishing, designing this box kit, 
I always now, most people will know, try and make sure that it works for girls and boys, yeah? So yeah. You've, got, you've got a really good cross-section. So you've got all these fabulous texture stamps here. You've got these grungy butterflies and the dragonfly, yeah? Couple of floral elements. I'm not going to go on about this forever because we've got more shows to show you and I want to get two demos in. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got the floral elements, then you've got some sporty elements down here, yeah? With the football, the football boots, because I, I like tennis, I'm a tennis fan. So yeah, it won't be far off, hopefully, there. will it? And then you've got some vintage elements as, as well here. So as a standalone set of stamps, that is incredible value for awesome. money. And then quickly, quickly... That could be 1998 on its own. Uh, yeah, easy, easy. easily, yeah. easily, yeah, easily. Then you've got the sentiment stamps. So people that collect my stamps will know or recognise these as being similar to my trio frame stamps that I did a few months ago. And that's what I asked for. These are different, it's a different font, the different sizes, and they're a little bit grungier. So if you did collect my trio frame stamps uh, a couple of months ago, these are going to work perfectly with that or as standalones. Then you've got the extra sentiments there. I'm not done yet. <laughs> then you've got this beautiful, beautiful little uh, A6 embossing folder. I'm going to try and demo with this on the 8pm show tonight. And we're going to do what you call a letterpress technique with it. But I wanted an embossing folder with the middle plane. So you could stamp all your, all your smaller sentiments in there, look. Yeah? Awesome. So straight away you've got a card good to go. So that is just that. I haven't got one of the extra paper packs here to show you, but I'll see if I can find one to show you after I've done the demo. Now, I'm not going to go through the magazine because it will spoil it for you when you get this home. So I'm going to flick, yeah? So I will tell you, you've got some sneaky peeks in there. It's absolutely packed, packed, packed with inspiration. There are 74, look, 74 projects for you to make just from getting the box kit home. Seven, that's before you even start playing in your own right. Um, you'll notice, if we ever get a chance to look at some of the samples, you'll see just how fab they are and the, 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 the different styles that everybody's done is amazing. So here's our Joanne. So Joanne's obviously been doing the sporty cards, so she's used the football boots, the football, some of my products as well, the dyes and everything, so you know they're going to work with it. Yeah, I'm not going to go through it all. I'm just going to quickly flick, quickly flick, 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 flick different projects again and then you get onto the papers so the papers are specifically girly uh, well girly and more masculine girly and more masculine this is exactly what i wanted in this kit so you know what it's like at home somebody will text you and they'll go oh, it's uncle john's birthday on friday yeah. can you make me a quick card he likes tennis well and you like panic stations but you can do it with this so that is, in a nutshell, what you're getting, apart from the paper pipe, because I haven't got a spare one here to show you. Uh, well, I can talk, I can deal with that, because I, I just need to give it... Oh, look, I've shrunk. It looks oh. like I've shrunk here, isn't it? Honey, they shrunk the presenter. Uh, listen, stock updates. Over a quarter of the stock has sold out and gone. Remember, I'm just going to point to... Let's see if I can get my finger in there. That says monthly mega deal. This ain't going to last a month. You know that. I know that. Um, it doesn't go on general release anywhere else, by the way, for another week or so, seven or eight days. Um, so you've got it right now with the limited edition paper pack as well. And I'll walk you through those papers again because they are just beautiful. Created by, um, by Phil. Look how awesome are the colours. Just beautiful. The textures there are amazing. I mean, it, whatever you like in your, in your crafting, you know you will use these. You know you've got lots and lots of different techniques that you learn from lots of our guests and demonstrators throughout the craft store. You know the kind of wowzers. Look at that. That reminds me of like, you know when you watch old films and sometimes there's a little speckles on the screen, that reminds me a little bit of that, is it? It's very atmospheric. And that is beautiful because it's almost like a close-up on one stone on a Yorkshire dry stone wall. It's just awesome. I think it's so, so beautiful. Again, some of them have got a little bit more sort of rigidity in them in terms of this one being lined. Um, there's another one, I love that one, with the more um, sort of splatters going on there. Love that. But look at that, like a lovely harlequin um, of diamond, diamonds, which is just, you know, again, it's awesome, isn't it? Remember, there are eight different designs and you get five sheets of each with this monthly mega deal. It is just 19.98. It is ridiculous. Um, can I just tell you that if you're calling us right now, 
Good luck. Um, remember, you're only calling us here in the middle of the UK. You're not calling a premium rate number or anything like that, so it's not costing you any extra. It's not a premium rate call. But we have got 10-minute queues on the telephone lines right now. Well worth hanging on if you can. If you are able to, use the app, of course, or use the uh, website at thecraftstore.com. I'm still having to get that into my head. It's thecraftstore.com. Um, and then you can get yours right now. But it's going absolutely crazy. So get this tonight. You know the first bite the cherry is always the sweetest, isn't it? Um, and lots and lots of people want to get hold of this. And who wouldn't want a whole magazine full of Phil and his amazing team and inspiration? Because this is really, really good. It's not just a, you know, a pick-me-up five-minute kind of read. It's got lots and lots of inspiration. And full of those gorgeous papers in the middle, Phil, as well. I'm going to show you now. Uh, I forgot to show you the die as well. I'm sorry I'm being awkward, but can I have the monitor so I can see what? Sorry. <laughs> I'm really not bossy, honestly, but I like to be able to see what I'm showing everybody. I forgot to show you the, the two dies. So you've actually got a little rose. It's beautiful, this die as well, once you cut it out. And then you've got an open leaf as well. So this just adds to the enhancements that you can make with the floral, the floral stamps in there. Quickly, before I get on to my demos, now I've got one to show you. I want to show you this in real life because these papers are incredible. So this is Urban Textures Volume 1. This is the one that you're going to get with your um, monthly mega deal with the, with the box kit number 5. So I'm just going to quickly flick and then I'm going to get into a demo. I'm doing it next to these toppers, look. So can you see that I've designed it to complement everything that's in there? So the colour palettes will work with everything that's in this magazine and the grunginess is already done for you. In fact, it, it looks like they're almost textured, but they're not. That's just the clever designing by that fabulous designer. Look at that. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. So you're going to get those and these are limited editions. So what that means is once the print run, once they've gone, the print run is, is gone. That's it. Right. Have I got time? Can I start a demo? Go for it, Phil. Oh, hang on, hang on. I've just got to give you another update first. There's always scores on the doors. 30% of the entire... Now, bear in mind, I know this is a one-day... It's all very confusing when this happens. It's a one-day special hour, but this is a monthly mega deal. But don't treat it like it's going to be there for a month. It really won't be. Because if 30% of the stock has already gone within, what, now 20 minutes only... Um, this, I mean, we, we could be talking tomorrow morning when Julia's in uh, for these hours. She may be... Uh, Whistling Dixie, Phil. Who knows? <laughs> hey, still again. Julia might be whistling Dixie in the morning. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> right, so let me show you where I am. I am determined to get two demos done in this hour, hopefully. So I'm going to show you what I've done. We've got a little easel card here that I've already got prepared. And I've done my top layer and my bottom layer. So this fabulous paper, yeah, is from the new... And I love these. I'm, sh shall I show everybody? Or sh Shall I just do a quick Yeah, flick? go on. So this gorgeous paper is from Urban Textures Volume 3, and these are stunning. You're getting Volume 2 and 3 as a duo, but I'm going to quickly flick through. Look at this. Look, 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 look. And you know what you can use these for because of the colour palette. You know that you're going to be using... I've done this purposefully, to be honest with you, because of the bright cardstock that we've got. So my premium car stock, I've got the fuchsias, the bright orange and the yellow. So it means you can team these up with anything, which is what I've done there. Do you want me to show the other one? Yeah, no, go on. I won't then. I'll leave, I'll leave something for Derek to do. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got the paper there. And those, those of you that have noticed will see that I've used my totally turquoise card. And I've used the fabulous fuchsia card to do my layers. So I've got a top layer and I've got a bottom layer, which I'm just going to pop there. But we're going to get into the stamping, yeah, because I can do all the, all the fiddly little bits while we're waiting. So if I find my stamps, which will help, here they are. I'll just get mine, because this is my mine that I've been using. Do you always have the first copy of everything, Phil, when it's printed? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be done, hasn't it, Well, really? I, I need to test things, don't I, because I'm a bit fussy. So if I, if, if I, don't, if I don't get it straight away to check, yeah. it, it's never going to be the way I want it. Right, so what we're going to do is a little bit of embossing in the background, and we're going to use, as if by magic, the totally turquoise and the fabulous fuchsia embossing powders. Now, I believe these are on the show. Yeah? So what that means now is, look, all these things I've brought you in the past, the bright embossing powders, 
you're going to be able to complement them and use them with the uh, new Urban Textures papers. So we're going to create a little bit of a collage in the background. I'm just going to... It doesn't matter really whether you've got any spare flakes of embossing powder um, because it's a, it is a grungy style that we're going for but I'm a little bit pedantic. So we're just going to do a little bit of texture in the background and I'll go with the... I'll go with the... Ooh, 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 I'll go with the music first. So, little thing to mention to you is worth mentioning. When you get these home, if you're new to the, the magazines, remember I've told you that these are acrylic, so they're slightly different um, to photopolymer. And it just means when you're taking them off, don't try and pull them off, although these are coming off really easily, look. Just kind of roll them, look, until it comes off on its own. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's dead easy, and then, you know, it's, you know, it's done. So we're going to use the music one first, and we're just going to do some random stamping in the background. And I'm using my Versamark. Look, I've, I've even made myself a list, look at what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not trying to be neat with this. I'm literally just doing some random texture in the background. And I'm going to do... Is there a right way and a wrong way? We'll find out in a minute. So I'm just going through the middle, and then we're going to emboss this in, I think we'll do fuchsia first. So I can see where I've been, and that will do nicely. Now I'm really sorry, can I have a sheet of paper, please? <laughs> <laughs> I do normally have one in my pot with my embossing powders, but I'm it's a good opportunity for Derek to tell you anything if he needs to, while I'm just doing this. OK, I will <laughs> tell you. I will tell you that, OK, that we still have eight-minute queues on the telephone lines um, for the one-day special tonight. I'm not surprised at all. Uh, do bear with us. Uh, 01733 uh, Third of the stock right now. We're talking about, like, every few minutes there is another stock update as well. So approaching a third of the stock um, on this Friday night. Of course, the weekends are always nice and nice and busy um, for us here at the craft store. Um, this is lovely as well because I think, I think sometimes you know and, and Phil's well aware as well that crafters, you like value for money. When you think about the stamp set alone, the whole A4 stamp set that's included in the, in the well, I keep calling it a one day special, it's not. It could be, it could well be yet, who knows? Uh, but it's a monthly mega deal officially. But just that A4 set of stamps there, you know that could be your 1998 straight away. You know that, I know that. An embossing folder could e easily be the best part of half to two thirds of that, couldn't it? Yes, absolutely. How much do you pay for packs of paper there as well? You think you're getting the whole lot there for 1998. Um, it is incredible and that's why we are so busy. I just mentioned as well very, very quickly, just before Phil carries on, um, the embossing folders there to get six 20 milliliter pots there of the embossing folders and go and look at how bright and vivid uh, embossing powders um, Go and look at how bright and vivid the colours are in those. It's brilliant for the, for the price tag. Again, it's bonkers. Don't forget also, in fact, there they are. Look at how bright and vibrant the colours are. To get all six of those for under £25, that's yeah, giving sorry. a lot of people a run <laughs> for their money, Phil, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Miles away. This is like a day you can, you can, you can pay You can pay nine, £10 for one single pot of embossing. It, I suppose it depends on the, on the volume we've got in there. Of so course, these are all yeah. 20 mil pots. So 24 to 60, 80, 100. That's 120 mil of embossing powder. Yeah. So what I've done is I've, I've kind of done a buy six, get one, buy five, get one free. Yeah. So you're yeah. getting six for the price of five. And I do that on all my bigger bundles. Yeah. Uh, it's a really good, well, you're getting one free. What's not to like? Absolutely. Right, are we back to me? Yes. Right, fuchsia. okay. So now we've, we've got the fuchsia on there. So one thing that you might know that I do is I like to emboss from underneath, but I'm not going to do that with this. I've purposefully looked. Can you see where I've just rubbed some of the edges? Yeah. So I'm just trying to make this a little bit a little bit uneven, so we've got a texture going on. And I'm just going to melt this, and then we're going to stamp over this and emboss over this with the totally turquoise. So all I'm trying to do is just add texture to the back of this. That's all I'm doing. That see where I've awesome. rubbed it, I've got some patchy bits, and that's exactly what I wanted. And where we do the turquoise over the top, it will change where it overlaps to, to go purpley. Wow. I'm just make sure that's melted. I don't want pink powder in my turquoise pot. 
My OCD won't cope with that. <laughs> You'd be picking it out all night. So let's just show you this, if that's OK, before we start. So this, remember, this is just one tiny, tiny element from the stamp. So you've already got a background you can create. And I've mm -hmm. just stamped that twice. So I've made it, I've made, I've made it look like a bigger stamp. OK. What's and the I'm tune, gonna... Phil? Do we know? Sorry? What's the tune on the music? I've no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but... Hopefully it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to come back to one of the other texture stamps. Remember, this is literally just the background. All will become clear. If you're not confident with embossing powders, you could easily do this with ink. In fact, I did actually bring the inks just in case I changed my mind. So you could, you can just do this with inks, but I love the shine and the gloss you get from the embossing powders. So I'm going to go for this one that's a little bit heavier look. And then I'm going to over stamp with the, uh, verse fine, the verse mark again. This time I'm going to do it by hand. And we're just going to emboss this with turquoise. So we're just trying to add a little bit more texture around this. And I'm not trying to fill the whole area in. I'm literally just creating a backdrop for what's going on top of this when we've finished. So that will do nicely. And then we're on turquoise now. Remember to give them a little shake before, before you use them just to get all the particles working together. You can, yeah, I can tell you already that this is going to be really pretty. <laughs> Grungy and pretty, because where, where that overlaps, it will go purple. That's how good the embossing powders are. Am I going to get two demos done this hour? Uh, no. I know <laughs> well, in the gallery, no they're saying no, ear, but everybody at home. I think you can do thank it, Phil. You, thank you. I think you can I do it. I will try my best. I will try my best. <laughs> right. So this is literally just texture. It's not meant to be anything. It's not meant to be pretty. It's literally just adding texture to the background of this topper. Right, can you see where the overlap has gone purple? Oh, yeah. Ain't that clever? Awesome. You're going to get that with all of the bright embossing powders. So, for example, if I went over, I don't know, with two different colours, you would get a, a secondary colour again yeah. because they're translucent. It's clever. Just to tell you as well, while that's while that's happening in the uh, in the magazine, I noticed there's a little bit of a nod um, to Father's Day with some inspiration yeah, from one of yeah. your design um, team in there as well, which is really yeah. really nice. Lots of lovely ideas. Well, we always we always try to. Well, I always try to make sure. Where are we? And just wiggle that so you can see this. There you go. Oh, yeah. So you can see that lovely glossy sheen. I yeah. always try to make sure that the magazines are not, and the, the stamps that come with it are not just girly, not just floral. Yeah. You've got something for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because in my mind, as a crafter rather than a demonstrator, what makes this good value for money is I'm going to use it all. Yeah, versatility. So there are no stamps in there that I, as a crafter, wouldn't use myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what makes that's what makes it fab. So I'm just going to pop that to one side, and what we're going to do now is really exciting we're going to take the i think we'll have the butterfly on this one so you'll notice look that the the butterfly the dragonfly and everything they've got little scratches and textures in them as well so i'm going to literally stamp this one and i'm going to cut it out so they'll work really beautifully exciting. with those um those papers that you've got in the monthly mega yeah. deal as well because there's lots of grungy textures going on there. Yeah, absolutely. You could, stamp over, you could stamp over that and then just yeah. uh, cut that out. So remember, everybody, I've recommended that you use your Versifies or your Versifying Clairs. I find, personally, I get the best results from, from these. So I'm literally just going to stamp that. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to do the sentiments as well. Because I'm going to cut these out while you're telling everybody what's happening. Well, I've got, I've got to tell you about pearls, actually, because Julia, happy birthday again. Just going to say that right now. Uh, Julia is Phil's mum, who does all of the, uh, the beautiful sorting out of all of the pearls, which is quite some job, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> I just know that without even knowing it. I've never been there and seen it, but I know it's going to be some job to do. Um, half of the stock, remember this is a trio you're getting here as well. So you're getting this wonderful um, caramel um, tone, you're getting the pewter, and you're getting the porcelain as well. And the porcelain are oh, just that, let me get a couple just, just out there on the, on the little look at that for a colour. 
So, so beautiful. Let's have one of each out, shall we? Just so you can see, because that's almost like sort of champagne diamond kind of colour, really, isn't it? So the, sh the shimmer is what makes these different to the other pearls that I've Love. released in the past. Uh, and as I say, this is the second release this year. So this is, we're now up to six colours. This is the first six. Um, and these work really, really well. So I've purposefully done them to coordinate with the papers that are on the show. So the pewter will go with volume two, the white will go with volume three, ah, and the caramel will go with volume one that you're getting with your box kit. And just so you know, just in case you're new to this and uninitiated, it's not pearls that are all the same size either. You've got varying sizes going on there as sorted, <laughs> sorted in great detail by lovely Julia, whose birthday it is. So we'll all say happy birthday to Julia today because that's some job. Of all the jobs you've given her to do, <laughs> Phil, Honestly, pearl sorting. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's one of those things that it just keeps her out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you can see what I've done here. I've taken my um, pitch raspberry and my broken china. Yeah, I'm not going to do the butterfly. I'm going to purposefully leave the butterfly white mm -hmm. because we're going to add a little bit of glitter once I've cut it out. So if you do you want to go through the, the volume two and volume three. Absolutely, I do. Because all yes. I'm doing is going to, all I'm going to do now is yes. cut these out. Okay. All right, I'm just going to put my magazine surreptitiously over there because I'm having a little read as we go through this hour as well. I can't wait for you to get it because it's absolutely brilliant. Um, right, OK, well, listen, you found this ahead of, uh, ahead of us. I know uh, Phil took you through volume two, I think, didn't you, that, which was this one. There's the lovely, beautiful, beautiful, vibrant colours um, going on here. But you're also getting... Have I got that the right way around? This, this is number two, isn't it? You know, this is volume three. That was the one that Phil took us through, number three. Number two is a little bit more muted, isn't it? But, but if you look at the... I would say these are, these are just so atmospheric. Do you know what I mean? Just as backgrounds, as inspiration, they are stunning. Again, they've got this really lovely sort of tone to them. Um, and mixing in with all of the different colours. I love it. That's a little bit cosmic, that one, isn't it? Love that. I see. I think papers are just endlessly fascinating. Um, there are 190 GSM. You're getting 80 in total, of course. So there's uh, 40 in volume two and 40 in volume three. It's eight designs. I guess it's eight designs and five of each, is it? As with the uh, monthly beggar deal, I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing. I'll have a look at the front page in a moment. Yes, it is. It's eight designs and five of each. See, this is lovely because this is almost like a like a hessian or a, a linen kind of um, texture, isn't it? So that's in volume two. Let's just remind ourselves of the colour that's in volume three as well because this is awesome. This reminds me of the colour wheel. You know when you get colour wheels for choosing fabrics and whatever? It's wonderful. Just gorgeous. Look at that. Um, these are going out for you, by the way, on the 23rd, and I have no idea what date it is right now, so it's about a week's time, I think it is. So not long to wait at all. Love that, with the sort of rainbow ombre going on. And again, a little bit of, uh, almost like a faux bleach look in that one as well, isn't there? Beautiful. This is nice because it's like little, little raindrops sitting on a, a magical rainbow frozen river. But again, you can interpret that in lots and lots of different ways. There's almost something a little Paisley-esque about that. Imagine printing or stamping on top of that uh, with your dragonflies uh, and your butterflies that are in your monthly mega deal. And then this, this is very, I don't know if that's doing funny things to your eyes at home because it's quite mesmerizing. It's a bit like, is it a gingham kind of tea towel check kind of look? Is it a little bit 3D film without the glasses on. I think it's really, really cool. Um, so again, you get eight fabulous designs with this. Love that because it's a simple sort of um, brick wall design again with that little bit of faux bleaching going on as well. Love it, love it, love it. Um, over a quarter of the stock of that bundle, because the bundle, remember, is both of these. So um, volume one and, sorry, volume two and volume three here, 25 pounds and 98 pence. Going out for you on the 23rd of April. 824869 is your item number how are we getting on phil right i'm just looking at this i'm <laughs> looking at the time thinking mm -hmm. uh, so let's get cracking so i'm just going to start i'm going to sorry everybody i'm going to speed craft a little bit go for it just to get these layers in because i really want to get the second demo in as well so i've literally just put one of the borders dies across the middle and i've chosen the loveliest lattice set because it has the little octagons in it so it matches nicely with the octagon dies as well. So we've got that there. I'm now going to stick the top part on. So I'm going to be a bit quick here. Uh, just 
because I want to get the other demo done. <laughs> I'm really Determined. rubbish at planning the demos. I think, oh, that'll only take me a few minutes, but then it's because we're talking in between. Which one. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking yeah, to it. that's fine. So I'm going to pop that, pop that on there, and then I'll show you what I did while Derek was bringing you all up to date. It's confusing me. Do you know what's confusing me? Because I've got two little... I'm going to tell you. I've got two little, <laughs> little... Trolleys. I can't say the word that's in my head. Two little tray things to put all my stuff on, and I'm so used to having a chest of drawers. So, you know, because for, oh, for yeah. years I'm used to it. I'm used to, I'm used to having a system of where I put everything, yeah. and it's all gone to part. It's a new system. It's all now, gone to Now, our part. Charlotte, can I just quickly check? Are the phone lines uh, calm <laughs> and at the moment? OK, they have calmed down slightly, which is brilliant, which means that our team are going great guns. They always know to expect <laughs> more calls when Phil's around. Uh, <laughs> so they're all geared up and ready. So if you, if you did, for any reason, uh, uh, abandon your call or whatever, uh, now would be a calmer time to give us a call if you were calling us. 01733 Sorry, Phil. OK, so literally speed crafting, which I never normally do. I don't do speed crafting. So for the bottom, you can see I've chosen, for my little stopper, I've chosen two smaller octagons. Yeah, and you can see that the colours tie in really, really nicely with the Volume 3 Urban Textures paper pad. And you're going to find that with all of my cardstock, I always try and make sure that things coordinate and it just makes our life as crafters a little bit easier. Remember, I'll tell you this before I forget, because I always forget to tell you. If you are on social media, you will find our little Facebook group. You, and you, I think you just search for Crafting with Phil Martin and Sentimentally Yours. And if you're good and you agree to the rules, I'll let you in. And it's absolutely <laughs> packed with loads of inspiration in there. So the, the, the crafters that are in there are so talented. They put me to shame sometimes. Uh, I wouldn't tell them that pub Oh, I did say it publicly. What did I do there? <laughs> <laughs> so just layering this up now. Um, and it's just a really nice little groove to, to share ideas, ask for advice, that kind of thing. 15 minutes left on the show. No, that's just cruel. <laughs> it was on after me. You can do this. Might be a, a bit late. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just layering this up now. I'm trying to do this quickly. You would definitely take a little bit more care doing this at home. So ultimately what I've used so far is just a card blank and the card blank is a 7x7 seven seven from my compendium box from February. So you should, you should already have one of them at home. And I've used one, two, three, four of the stamps to create the focal image. So I'm going to have the gap at the bottom, I think. I'm just going to layer that up. And then that can go on the top. You can see, I don't know whether you've spotted the flowers in the corner already. Yeah, <laughs> I've got a couple of little flowers here ready to go. And now I did say that I would do my longest demo first. <laughs> and this is the longest demo. So I want to show you how fab these stamps can look. Because you look at the stamps sometimes and... You think, well, what, what would I do with a butterfly that's got little inky splats in it? But this is what you do with it. Well, you can tell I'm disorientated because I'm going to put it where it should be. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're back to normal. Look, we're cooking on gas. So I've got the topper on there. The butterfly I've just cut out and I've left it plain black and white so it really stands out from that. But we're going to pop a little bit of glitter in there. So on the show, I'm hoping I remember to do this because I can't remember. But on the show, you've got my three favourites, which are the ones that I use day in, day out, week in, week out. So you've got, you should have Diamond Dazzle, Crystal Aurora, and my new, 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 lovely favourite one is called Moon Dust. And I'm going to show you this, yeah, because I'm clearly not going to get another demo finished, so I may as well finish. So Moon Dust is, it looks silver. Yeah, but it actually isn't. It's got clear. It's got clear granules in there as well. So what happens is it's kind of like a dusky silver. It's really, really soft. Oh, yes. And we're going to go in on this butterfly. I'm just going to put some foam tape on it. We need to have and some. And just of that, add don't a we? little bit of detailing. Now I would normally do this with a quickie glue pen, but I ain't got time. <laughs> and I just said you haven't in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to pop that in the middle. So already, look, 
that that stands out straight away before I even do anything to it. I would take a little bit more care, obviously. So I'm just going to add some sections with the moon dust. In fact, I'll just do the middle bit because I know I'm not going to have time to do everything. So I'll just do the middle section. And I'm using my PVA glue because I know it dries clear. Let's do his body as well. And I pop that on here. And this moon dust works with every colour of cardstock that I've done. I did a Facebook Live last weekend or whatever day it was, I can't remember. And I did a cream and brown card. And I said to everybody who was watching me, I'll just wiggle that for you. I said to everybody who was watching me, I'm going to use moon dust. Now, would you put a silverish glitter with a brown and cream? And they were like, no, it won't go. I'm like, trust me, it does. And it does, it looks amazing. So little sentiments going on. And I'm going to pop my flowers on first. So with flowers I've created from the Elegance flower, these should all be on the show. Now I need to just let everybody know if you're collecting my flower dyes that I am seriously low in stock on the original four shapes. So the original solid shaped flowers, where are we? Yeah. So the Elegance, they're all on there. You'll see them on the website. So now is the time to be, to be getting those. The Splendid Swirls is also on the show, and I'm just snipping this to make it shorter. Here we go. I'm going to pop this one on the here. I see what you mean about not I'm getting not the two quick, demos I'm in now, Phil. I <laughs> see how this is coming together now. Beautiful, Slowly though. but surely. Well, I'm going to hopefully start the next one, even if I don't finish it. So I've literally just left myself a space, look, to pop my... Uh, this is why I didn't worry too much about the white space. I wanted that white space because it draws your eye into that. I'm going to pop the flowers on now. Now, most people know I favour this kind of gel for putting my flowers on, simply because the way it's on. <laughs> and that's another and way like to the use the pearls in the middle of the flowers as well, Phil. <laughs> so let's get cracking. The pearls. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I'm telling you. I'm telling you what's in my ear, but I'm not. I'll let Derek tell you. Oh, uh, well, the, the pearl. I was just saying that that was another way of using the pearls in the middle of the flowers, Phil. Um, and they're approaching. Well, they are now. Sixty percent of the stock sold out and gone. Happy birthday, Julia, again. <laughs> we have to keep saying thank you and happy birthday, and we love you. <laughs> okay, so we're just adding the finishing touches to this card. So the flowers are on, and most of you know me well enough to know that I would faff about with these a lot more than I am doing, given the chance. So I'm now just going to tuck. We'll have happy birthday tucked in here. So happy is going at the top. Tweezers. And I'm going to, I'm going to tuck happy just up there a lot. And then we'll have birthday ooh, 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 down there. It's opposites opposites so I'm gonna have birthday just down there and then for the stopper obviously you could do when you get your stamps home you'd be able to use any of the stamps that are in there to make your stopper you could even do another butterfly but I've got a butterfly from the butterfly dies just because I could I don't know whether they're on the show or not everybody so I apologize if they're not but I'm using, I'm using, oh, are they? <laughs> I'm using one anyway. Yep, they're there. <laughs> so just a little tip for you, because I've got a butterfly at the top, yeah, and it's facing straight up. I'm putting, the, I'm putting this one facing straight up as well. And we've nearly done, nearly done. I've just got to put a couple of little pearls on. At least I can what? <laughs> <laughs> so let's just pop a couple of these little porcelain uh, shimmer pearls on. I'm going to start the other one. Where are my pearls? Do, 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 do. They're here. <laughs> I've got no faith in my ear. So I'm just going to pop two pearls on, and then I would obviously add a little bit more if I had more time to do this, but I haven't. But we've got one done, and it was quite in-depth. We've done some embossing on there. And can I just show you that? Look at those gorgeous papers. Oh, where are we? Look at that. 
Ask so do you see what I mean about if you've already got my bright embossing powders, the Volume Three mm. papers are going to be amazing because you can use any of the uh, any of the coloured embossing powders with that. One done. Well done, you. Do you know what? We might even get the second one started. We you will never get know. The one um, let me just give you some details, though, because uh, we are talking about um, a, a monthly mega deal, a, a mega monthly deal, monthly mega deal, uh, which is under twenty pounds. It's not going to last a month, so just do, don't. Right, over a third of the stock um, has already sold out and gone, and it's a substantial stock. And if you've ever seen sentimentally yours available in your, I don't know which supermarkets they go to, but they go to a lot of the big supermarkets. I know my local Morrisons, others are available. Um, I definitely it has them as well. And you see them all over the place. Um, but this is not going out on general release or general sale for another week or so. So you're getting it first, but you're getting it in a monthly mega deal with these amazing uh, limited edition papers as well, which Phil has created. 40 sheets there, eight designs and five of each. Talking of papers, there's plenty of papers in the center of your magazine as well, which is beautiful. Uh, and again, as Phil says, he goes masculine, feminine, every other paper as well. So on one side there, you've got that lovely pink and red sort of um, script. On the other side, you've got back of the net, you've got footballs and rugby balls and, and tennis balls and baseballs and all sorts going on there. This is such a fabulous magazine as well, by the way. It's a really, really good read. Lots, lots of inspiration. Um, there's prizes to be won in there as well. Can I just, let's just walk you through the, the, um, the monthly mega deal. Just very, very quickly, and I'll just show you some finished samples as well, if I can, just while people are checking out their baskets and whatever. And I would urge you to do that. If you have that sat in your basket, um, check it out now, because the value here is ridiculous. So obviously you've got the, the magazine in the box. But, I mean, let's talk about sort of freebie number one here, which is your A4 stamp set. Now, have a, have a, have a squeeze around that stamp set because you've got so much going on that that could easily be 1998 on its own couldn't it that could easily be the price of the monthly mega deal on its own just the stamp set yes agreed absolutely and it's not just it's not just that it's the spring edition so it's spring flowers and a butterfly you've got background stamps in there and they're various themes as well to key in with those papers that you've got as part of your monthly mega deal. Yes, you've got gorgeous florals there. It wouldn't be filled without florals, would it? You've got your dragonflies in there. You've got your butterflies in there. You've got that wonderful, great big sort of ribbon banner going there. But then conversely as well, we go more sporty. So you've got a big football in there. You've got the tennis rackets in there. You've got all sorts going on in there. And then there's a second um, A6 stamp set with those wonderful frames, those lovely offset frames that, again, Phil's known for as well, if you've been following. Um, so you've got sentiment stamps there as well, which is just beautiful. You've also got that incredible embossing folder. Now, my first thought on that embossing folder was that space in the middle there, we could cut that out as an aperture as well, couldn't you? You could have a photo in there very, very easy, easily. But those sentiments that are in the stamp sets also go into that space too. And it's not just that, because you are getting this set of 40 gorgeous, gorgeous limited edition papers. And there's such a range of textures in these papers as well. Shall I show you? So you go from ones that are a little stronger. and Oh, say, say again. Oh, OK, yes, just show you through the designs here as well. So you've got lots and lots of uh, different textures going on here. Lots of colour palettes. Some are a little bit more grungy as well, which is lovely, isn't it? And the colours are just delicious. You're getting all of that in your monthly mega deal um, for £19.98. It's bonkers. So get checked out as quickly as you possibly can. Don't forget the pearls are on the website as well, plus so, so much more. It is going crazy this Friday night. Right. Phil, will we get... Oh, that was a bad position to catch you in nearly there, wasn't it? Um, are we going to get the second one We're going started? to get most of it done. So okay. I'm just going to tell you what I've done ahead while Derek was just bringing you all up to date. So I've literally got a white card blank. I've got the new Rust card. So this is on the website. This is a brand new release. There are three new colours of cardstock. So this is called New Rust. I've got my loveliest lattice border dye in the background. And I've done two and put a strip with the rust. We've got three minutes. Oh. So we've got the... This is one of the stamps. Look, I'm just going to bring it in to show you. Yeah, so this beautiful daisy stamp is in the, um, in the magazine box kit. 
So what I've done is I've just created a little mask for myself. I'm going to stamp it in Versafine. There we are. So I might, I'm basically doing a, a kind of reverse of what we've just done. So I've cut the butterfly out on the card that we've just demonstrated with, but this time I'm stamping my daisy. It's still going to be left white unless I colour it in with my watercolour pens. So I'm just going to stamp that in the middle. I would normally leave this a little bit longer. To, I mean, look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, so crisp. Isn't that pretty? So I would normally leave it a little bit longer to dry, but I've created a little mask here just from one of those little sticky sticky doodars. How many minutes? <laughs> Two <laughs> minutes is just cruel. It's just cruel. It's about it's 25 right. words, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to use we're going to use the um, script, and I'm going to try and do it on my block this time. So this is the script uh, stamp that comes in your box kit, and this time we are using two different shades of Distress Oxide. So I've got Rusty Hinge, because you know it's going to work nicely with the new cardstock. So what will happen with this, because the Distress Oxides are water-based, is you will get, you, you won't get such a sharp, uh, such a sharp finish. I'm going to go over it all. What you'll get is kind of a wishy-washy look, and that it, it's, I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with that, it's the kind of look I'm going for. I'm going to do the whole of this and then take off the butterfly, uh, take off the da dandelion, dandelion, daisy, daisy even. One minute, panic, panic, panic. It's all right, panic, Phil, because in an hour's panic. time, you've got another hour. <laughs> Look Wait, at it well, that way. Well, I'll finish it later, I just want you to see how it looks, because this is another way to create lovely, easy backgrounds. And then I'm going to stamp onto this later. I will finish this at 8 o'clock because I don't want to waste this demo. It's too nice. So there you go, look. Awesome. So that's where we're at. So that is actually flat. How that's many seconds? Lovely. That's lovely. So we got one and a half done. There you go. Well, that's not too bad, is it? <laughs> that's not a bad batting average, let me tell it's you. a bit of a um, bonus, that You've got another and hour and an hour's time, though, Phil. Well, what can we look forward to then? Well, finishing that, and yeah. then hopefully two more. Now, the two more that I've got prepped for 8 o'clock are a little bit quicker, so right. we might get two and a half done for 8 o'clock. Well, you're going to you're have to come back and find out. Thank you, Phil. Uh, you'll be back with Scott in an hour's time. All I can say is good luck. And listen... Use that next hour, obviously, to stay and watch us, but to get your monthly mega, day, mega deal all sorted, because it is amazing value for money. Go and have a look at what else is in the Sentimentally Yours as well, and Phil's back with Scott in an hour's time. Crikey, that was a quick hour, wasn't it? And there'll be another one in an hour's time with Phil with Scott. I'll be back in just a couple of moments with Hass Crafts. And then we've got some paper rows. Lots to come this Friday night on the Craft Store. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter. I got into crafting years ago. Ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people. And that's just um, the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn, there's always something uh, that you want to get into. It's fabulous. My Let the Only Loose show is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. Um, I get to work with loads of really cool brands, um, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful um, viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. 
hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lou shows every Wednesday, 11am and 2 p Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. I hope you enjoy watching us and crafting with La Blanche. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue, and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Welcome back everyone. Right, here we are. It is Friday night. It is seven o'clock on Friday night. It's just the right time, isn't it, to get the weekend started. And we have got the most delicious and very, very different embroidery coming your way uh, for the next hour from Hass Crafts. And Hass Crafts is this lovely lady here. And we're going across to Northern Ireland, I do believe, to join Therese. Therese, good evening. Good evening, Derek. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. I, I, I love, love, love straight away. I know I'm going to love this hour because I know I'm going to love listening to your voice as well. I love the accent. Whereabouts in, in good old Northern Ireland are you? We are in County Derry, um, Derek, so we are. So we're just um, about 20 miles from Donegal and we are near the north coast as well. So Beautiful. we are so... Lucky, lucky you. Lucky. Well, apart from when the storms come in from the Atlantic, because you get them first. But apart from that, listen, that's just more time for embroidery, isn't it? Um, listen, tell us about Hass Crafts, um, how it started, because you're re re relatively new to us here at the craft store, aren't you, I think? Yes, um, I was just on with things back there in January, um, Derek. Um, I started Hass Crafts um, back in 2019, and I just started doing embroidery kit so I did with my twin daughters um, and we were doing um, like afternoon tea experiences um, and teaching people how to uh, stitch so it was about interacting with people as well and letting them come out and have a good afternoon and go home doing something that they enjoy doing and then um, sort of at March time the end of last year, our business just started to go online because um, of lockdown and it has just uh, grown since then. So we're very happy. I can, so we are. 
I can imagine that this is a wonderful, wonderful little community as well, because when you look, and we'll look first at our first option here, and it will show you straight away what Hascrafts has to offer. Pardon the pun, sorry, couldn't resist. Um, this is absolutely lovely, because these are mini quilts, and they've got that wonderful, you know, where we all want to be right now, on a beach, by the sea, just getting that wonderful kind of fresh air feeling about it. And this, Therese, really, really gives us that in abundance, does it? But I've got a quick question for you, um, to, because people often hear the word quilt and go running, because they think, hang on, I haven't got months. Um, is this something that, as a beginner who has never quilted before, because I'm not really, am I really quilting here, or are we more stitching than quilting? Um, you can either, these uh, wee mini quilts can either be hand stitched or they can be machine stitched. Uh -huh. So they can't, they're for either um, person. Um, the ones that I have um, over with you yourselves at the moment are all hands, or sorry, they're all machine stitched, but they can be equally hand stitched so they can. Fantastic. Um, so it allows people to do, um, enjoy both. You know, if you're not good on the sewing machine, do it by hand. And um, you can see the beach, the sand dunes um, kit that I've done there, and I've done a lot of hand embroidery on it, just with the grasses and the sand dunes. I, I just adore these. I actually quite like, I mean, actually, when we, we obviously naturally, on this kind of TV, we naturally take close shots. But if we... Just go back to the all three again. I think the best way of appreciating these as well, because they all, it's almost like they could be photographs, do you know what I mean? Because they are, they are wonderful, as well as being gorgeously full of texture. They're very realistic, actually. I mean, this one, which is the Musenden Temple. Um, well, is there a background behind the Musenden Temple? Because I've seen the Giant's Causeway before and the sand dunes, I think a lot of us will probably recognise. But this is such a, this is a lovely, lovely image, this, isn't it? It's beautiful. Is that up near where you are, uh, Therese? Yeah, it does, Derek. It is about, this is where our local beach is. Um, ah. It is about 20 miles away from us or less. And there are about seven miles of just beautiful sand. Um, at one end of the beach, we have this Musendon Temple, uh -huh. um, and it was built, um, I think, in the 1700s. It was yeah. a library. Um, really? Where I think the early Bishop of Derry built it. Uh -huh. um, and underneath, in the, the mountain below it, um, I don't know if you can see, there's a wee, maybe a wee train line. There's a tunnel that's through there, and there's a train runs through there every oh. hour. Oh! Amazing. It's lovely, isn't it, when you hear the story behind it? So, listen, let me get back to business just for a second, because um, we get romancing the story all night long, because these are absolutely beautiful. Uh, now, this, uh, there is a bundle for all three that you just saw the details for, and what we'll do is we'll give you the details for them individually. So, uh, let's... Oh, they're all under this same item number, 493102. So you choose whichever one you would like, or you can go for the bundle. So you've got sand dunes, which is this one, which is so, so atmospheric. I mean, that could be so, so many places that you know or that you've been as well. They're absolutely beautiful. 493102. You get, obviously, everything, pretty much everything you need. There isn't anything I need to add to this, is there, Therese? This, is, this includes the backing as well, does it? Yeah, it includes the backing and the binding for it, and I just um, included a layer of um, fabric just for linings, so that just even to get placement of the fault whenever you're setting it out. Fabulous. Um, just so that you can see. Lovely. And I've included the embroidery thread on the sand dunes one as well, just uh -huh. so that you can do your own embroidery. Um, you can also machine stitch it as well if you wanted to do the, if you're happier doing um, machine stitching than embroidering mm -hmm. that um, sand dunes or the grasses on. Stunning. So that's one of the options there. The middle one, I think we all recognise probably, probably from tourist videos and things like that, if you've not yet been there. I've never been there, actually, the Giant's Causeway. It's one of those natural wonders of the, of the world, isn't it? One of those things that's just bizarrely just sort of naturally occurs. Um, and it's gorgeous. So that's um, the Giant's Causeway. 
And then the last one is the Musenden Temple, which we now know the story. It used to be a library. It's a long way to take your library books back, isn't it? But we're not that kind of library, I don't think. Uh, way back in the day, a long, long time ago. But how beautiful is that and how textural are all of those? £16.99 is your uh, price tag if you want to buy them individually. There is a bundle which has an extra saving on it if you're buying all three together. So I'll bring you the details for that again as well. So 783354 is the item number and that will get you all three of these kits. I think you, um, you'll you appreciate what an amazing gift these will be when you make them. So again, this is one of those things where you get the pleasure of making it but actually then, it's something you can go on and gift. Aren't they so... I love seeing them for that. Actually, I would make a triptych of those. I'd make them all and have a lovely triptych somewhere um, in the house. And they could go almost anywhere in the house. Just take you away to a lovely place where you would love to be. Ah, right. Let's show you something a little bit different now. Now, this is, this is turning a very, very different page to raise um, this time. Tell me about this one. Okay, this is a uh, Celtic Trisco, um, Derek. Um, the image that I have tried to recreate there um, was from a pendant brooch that was found in the River Ban in County Antrim. Oh. Um, maybe just at the very beginning of the... Uh, I can't remember, just like hundreds and thousands of years ago. Yeah. And uh, this is what I have um, done with it. The Celts would have used it just as like a very on bronze or whatever. So uh -huh. I have used the, um, just the natural Irish linen on that and then try to recreate uh, my take on it. So I have. So this is all hand embroidery this time. So we're not talking about uh, this is something we would actually. Is this something we would put on a hoop and embroider? Yes, that's all hand embroidery. Fabulous. Yes. That's awesome. And the fabric you've got here, did you say it was Irish linen? Yes, and Derek, all of the um, kits that you have over with you there uh -huh. are all Irish linen, so they are... Oh, um, awesome. The, all the wee um, seaside ones are all made from Irish linen, and oh. all of the kits that you have are all from Irish linen. Um, they are all, the, the linen is produced in County Antrim, so it is a connection with the um, Giant's Causeway again, and with that pendant, which would have been in County Antrim too. Oh, wow. Now, there's a very, very fine gold thread in, in this um, bundle as well, isn't there? Yes. Do you see if you uh, look at the, uh, the stitched piece that I have had there, oh, there's a yes. bit of gold that I've used. I've yes. used a uh, couching stitch and um, just threaded gold through that just to make it that it was more ornate. And Fabulous. I have um, stitched some French knots in the centre using the gold as well just to um, get that wee bit of sparkle onto the piece. So I have. It's beautiful. 750. 808 is the item number then for that. The authenticity in this really, really impresses me. I love it. Uh, £13.99. Right, let's shimmy on down because we've got quite a few uh, to get through. Um, next, who knew we we're about to find out, Irish honeybee. Now, what <laughs> makes what makes an Irish honeybee, Therese? Uh, this particular honeybee that you're looking at, Derek, is called Queen Maeve. Um, she is a native Irish honeybee, um, uh -huh. and I am a beekeeper myself. Are you? Wow. Um, yeah. So I have um, based this um, design on the native Irish honeybees, which we are trying to promote here, um, that are suitable for our climate. So they are. So she is black, which is what... Um, the Irish honeybees are. Uh -huh. So that's why she is black on your picture. Um, and yellow, I think I just put it on to the, the lemon linen because um, I think everybody associates bees being black and yellow. Yes. And um, I made her wings with silver thread and I just done a fly stitch in that, which I felt just gave it um, and made it look sort of more translucent for her wings. Stunning. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I love and that. She's just, 
I love yes. the fact that you're a beekeeper as well. Uh, 039275 is your item number then for that one. Again, £13.99. Very, very nice. Let us shimmy on. I love the colour of the linen on that as well, by the way. It's really, really beautiful. That lemon it, lemon is really, really gorgeous. Right, we have... Oh, now there's a lot of colour going on here. And looks like a lot of skill in the stitching on this tree. So this is your... Uh, well, it, you're calling it autumnal tree. I'd, I'd say that was almost sort of evergreen in terms of the seasons, Therese. I think it's beautiful. It's got a lot of colour. Yeah, I think it's maybe a positivity tree is what yeah. I was comparing to it. Um, I love the colours on it too, and I just felt that it was so bright and that it just uplifted me when I was stitching it. So with it, um, and just all the different colours... Um, just really enjoyed stitching it and all the little wee flowers at the bottom. Oh, I love it. I hope we get to see a little bit of the, uh, of, the of how you create those stitches, actually, maybe a little bit later on. Who knows? Listen, you will have your demos planned, I know. Uh, £13.99, 411193 is the item number for that one. And this one does also come with, and it's just arrived in Nicholas of time, it does come with uh, an embroidery hoop as well, which looks like a four inch i'm guessing wow god that was a good guess wasn't it really good to get it does say it on the screen as well you know you know i always miss those things emily always always miss those uh 411193 then is the item number for this one now this last one and um, this is lovely this is two uh, this comes as a pair is it this one and these are beautiful the last time this was on it sold out in around about two minutes. So I'd be very, very quick when you're seeing this. You might want to shop ahead of us right now because you've got a, 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 a pair of the Clad of Heart and you've also got the Tree of Life. So this will be the, what are we looking at now? Oh, they're, they're both actually. Let's do the Tree of Life first. Awesome. So beautiful. Really, really nice. Very, very difficult to work out the design of this i guess to raise because there's lots of intricacy there isn't there yeah i think the the kelts like their um ends and outs so they do and yeah. ups and over so um there's a lot of that going on <laughs> it's wonderful and, and the and you're giving yeah. us both of these um, designs here. And again, we've got the, the linen, of course, the black thread to, to do everything as well. Um, plus, there's a needle for each of the set. Plus, I, I should mention that you, you pop in full instructions to raise as well. Yes, that's correct. Love it. Very, very nice indeed. Right, Therese, I'm going to let you go and get set up for your first demo um, because I can't wait to see it. Um, so I'll let you get set up and I'll just tell everybody everything they need to know um, to get hold of these amazing, amazing items. Right, already very, very popular um, on this duo. Um, the price is extraordinary there, isn't it? For a duo of two different designs, 673265 is your item number, £16.99. And, and of course, you'll be able to come back to this show on Rewind as well and watch the demonstration. So what's grabbing you so far? Because for, for me, to be honest with you, um, that C set right at the very, very beginning, I think is amazing. The sand dunes, I absolutely love. And the one with the little temple on it, I think is really, really cool. And these, the Celtic duo, I've never seen a tree done like a Celtic design before. And I think it's beautiful. It, it, and, and you think about how much further you could embellish that beyond that if you want to as well. Because put your crafty head on for a moment as well. Think about how much further you could go beyond that. 673265 is your item number. Right, let's go and have a little look on the website then, shall we? Because there's obviously everything that you've just seen, plus lots more. Remember, with those lovely um, the quilt collection, the mini quilt collection, you can go for that as a complete bundle, or you can pick your favourite and go individually. Also got other bits and pieces on the show as well, like miniature quilt books there, the embroidery stitch bible... Uh, there's some uh, Vlieseline embroidery sets there as well if you want to. Plus, some yarn and seven-day savers there, so zips and all sorts. And a uh, little bit of Ada there if you're into your cross-stitch as well. Fantastic. Right, let's come back and have another look at these mini quilts, shall we? So, remember, you can buy them um, as a bundle, as a collective, if you like. Everything you need... 
um, is included. I'll show you them individually as well. So they they are called sand dunes. They're, oh, there's yeah, that's, that's the first one there. Everything you need is there. Um, you've got your backing, your binding, and they're all lovely Irish linen. So the, um, the materials and the fabrics you get with these are all beautiful, authentic Irish linens, which is beautiful. You get all the embroidery thread that you need, plus the, um, the backing and the binding, um, and plus you get your full instructions, of course, so that's that one. This one, of course, is the Giant's Causeway. I think that's fairly recognisable, isn't it? Um, do you want to know the finished size of these, by the way? I'll just see. So it's six and a half by ten inches, the finished size on the Giant's Causeway one. I'll just get the finished size on the Dunes one. Same. Six and a half by ten inches. Who'd have thought it? Um, I think this is going to be the same as well, but I am going to check just in case, uh, just to make sure that the Musenden um, Temple one, which does actually have a little uh, little uh, read of the history of the temple and doesn't have the finished size on it, but I am going to, uh, I'm going to, yeah, it is the same. It's just the other way around. It's just 10 by six and a half rather than six and a half by 10. <laughs> Aren't we clever? Oh dear. We amaze ourselves sometimes. So you've got them individually at £16.99 or of course you can go for them as a bundle of all three if you like. And I will get you the full bundle details on your screen as well. We're just, uh, we're just getting Therese all technically sorted out and everything. So there's the bundle for all three of them. 783354 is your item number. Nice little saving there, £4 saving. If you think about this, you could either make these as a triptych and what I would say is maybe put the lengthways one in between the, the, the two that stand portrait, um, or indeed have the joy of making them, then gift them on to other people as well, because remember, they are made of those gorgeous Irish linens. Um, you don't need to have a sewing machine to do these, because as you can see, the scale of them um, is as it is. 10 inches by um, six and a half. So you've got a smaller scale there. So you can actually do a lot of that stitching work by hand if you wanted to. Uh, and you might want to, you might want to add extra embellishments to that as well. I noticed that in one of the kits down the line, there are, I think it's the B kit, actually has beads included as part of the kit as well. So you might want to further embellishment. But when you see them as artworks from that kind of reasonable distance, you just think to yourself, I want to be in any of those places right now. If you think about how your last year has been, for instance, and how few places you've been, wouldn't it be lovely to have a go and have a cheeky day at the seaside, do you know what I mean? And see and just enjoy. You can see the... You would never know, almost, that these are strips of fabric, which we'll find out with Therese how she fashions those to create the texture for the waves as well. But it's really, really clever, isn't it, how that is simply strips of linen, which have been obviously textured in some way, maybe slightly frayed. But when you see that, that effect from a reasonable distance, you just think, gosh, that looks like a photo. It looks like my favourite place. Do you know what I mean? This looks so, so familiar. I mean, anyone that knows... Um, Formby up in the northwest of England, you know, just north of Liverpool. If you know that, if you've ever been to the sand dunes there, it's beautiful. Lytham St. Anne's, they have wonderful sand dunes there, don't they? And, and, and there are only places I know, by the way. Um, you, you'll be, there'll be other places that you know that that might well put you in mind of as well. The Giants Causeway. No, not Magaluf Webster. I don't think they have dunes there. Um, they do have them on Gran Canaria down at Maspalomas. I do know that. But they're, but these are absolutely, if anything, um, prettier. Uh, the Giants Causeway, of course, is iconic. And this is a lovely, lovely scene with the Musadun Temple. Now, need to give you an update on... Oh, it's the Celtic duo. Now, that's the Tree of Life and the Lovely Heart. 10% of that stock has sold out. Now, that sold out previously. That, that has sold out previously when it has been on air. And Hascrafts haven't been with us too long either. Um, so please make sure that you get your 673265. Should we have another quick journey? Should we have another little quick journey through what we've got? We'll just go very, very quickly. Um, this is lovely. We're just setting, Therese, uh, uh, Therese is setting up technically at home, trying to get the camera in the right place and everything else. So we're just sorting all of that out. <laughs> we're getting there. So I'm just waffling at the moment. I apologise. Uh, so this is the uh, Triskelly kit, isn't it? Which is lovely. Uh, again, this is like a, a very, very authentic sort of Celtic 
jewellery design, if you like. 750808, £13.99. and pence. Right, let's strike while the iron's hot. Let's go back to Northern Ireland, uh, where, Trace, you've got all your ducks in a row right now, ready to uh, show us. Are you showing us one of the, um, the seaside scenes? Yes, I'm going to just show you, um, Derek, how I have assembled the uh, Missenden Temple scene. Oh, wonderful. All yours. Okay. Okay, so you have um, the backing fabric and there is a lining fabric as well. Um, the backing fabric you don't particularly need at the minute until you're ready to um, finish your quilt off. Um, the lining fabric just is, gives you uh, roughly the shape of the quilt. There is the sky fabric, which I have laid down. Um, and then we have the sea. So we're just trying to get perspective onto your sea. And we have the dark sea. And then we have the light sea. Um, in order to do some of the fringing, which has brought those um, kits to life, I have, as you can see here, there's three bits of fringe in here. And what I've done is taken, um, just pulled threads from the edge of this um, fabric here. And that's has created its own fringe. Um, and you do that, and that will give you just that wee bit of fringe there. Um, the same with the, um, the dark fabric as well. Um, and then we just layer on the sands. And we're trying to just create a bit of movement on the sands. Um, so we just have, again, you have the, to get the perspective, you have the darker sand near the sea. Um, and then it just comes lighter and then lighter again. And I just put on a wee bit of lemon linen just to add a wee bit of color into the um, design. Um, and whenever you are happy with the position of those, you're, it's easy to, you can either stitch them down by hand by using running stitches. If you have a machine, um, just try out all the different types of um, stitches on your machine from zigzags to like different thick thicknesses of stitches. Um, and it's also the colors of the threads. So I have used like a pale blue thread here in the sky. Um, and I have used like darker blues here um, and lighter blues uh, on the sand. I have used like different shades of brown as well. And they're just creating all the movement within the sand and the water. Um, for the mountain, I have, there's a wee piece of green fabric in the kit and on the pattern, which is um, promised with it. Um, if you just um, cut round it, either draw round your um, pattern and cut this out, or like draw round it on a separate piece if you want to, or cut it out if you want, you don't want to use it again. Um, stick it up against the light and then Cut it round and shape your um, mountain, and the same shape as the fabric. Um, whenever we um, Benoan Beach is um, the mountain, the water is going on behind it, and that's why the beach is created, um, or the water is only going over to the mountain there. Um, so we just have the mountain here. The wee um, isn't in temple sits on top. And I have um, used, there's a pattern within the, here for the shape of the Mizenden temple. Um, just again, cut it out, say that, or like take a wee template off it and draw it round. You can either stick that on to the, with a piece of fabric glue, or just even stitch it down um, just so that you can get it in place just to, so it doesn't move. But when you're happy with all the placements of everything, just as I say, stitch round um, a few lines for, across for the sky um, and the same again then for the sand. And your sand can just tidy up and round here. It, can, it comes up round the Mizenden Temple. 
Um, for the mountain, what I have done is just there's a design on the pattern of the mountain, if you can see it, and I have just gone around that with the sewing machine, um, ah, if you yeah. can see. Yeah. And I just thought that's what I've done. I just gone around with it and just freehand sewing machine sort of ideas what I've done. Um, and then I have uh, just hand stitched um, uh, here just for the train line. If you can see, there's just a wee bit of hand stitching right there to show the train line. Um, to finish it off, we've drawn the um, Mizzenden Temple, so it's just like a dome shaped top on uh -huh. it. And I just used um, like a wee fine line marker um, to draw sort of the columns in the temple uh -huh. and yeah. just on top of it. So that's some, it should be simple enough um, to do, just um, for us like go and head and try it out, you know, and just even for, um, if you're trying to do the temple, I can even draw it out on a wee um, piece of paper before you start um, doing it on the fabric. Um, but the fringe and, and even all the layering, you don't need to go right up very tight to the edge of the fabric to sew it down because it's, you're coming in a bit, it's just giving you that rough look off it and it just brings the whole um, piece to life. Now, if it's like maybe somebody doesn't know the Byzantine temple or whatever, and maybe they don't want a temple on it, like do whatever you want with it. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's like the age of a cliff near somewhere where you like yourself. Um, and feel free to put a couple of birds on it if you want as well. You can stitch just and embroider a couple of them and around um, flying about. Um, we don't have many uh, boats going past here or like past this area, so we don't, um, so it's, and if they are, they're very, very far out in the water that we wouldn't really see them. Uh -huh. So you wouldn't suspect included any boats on this particular um, design, but there's other places, you know, that maybe other people like to go to, and there, it's all boats, you know, that you could put on a wee boat on it if you wanted as well, or even like we barge around the actual, just walking on the sand or whatever. Um, but that's it. Um, and then the binding, like once you've finished doing all your um, stitching, uh -huh. Get the two strips of um, binding, sew them on um, on either side, then the top, and you have, um, I have uh, supplied a wee bit of fabric for the backing on, on the back of it, and put it on, and you should have a wee quilt like that. Um, we use like wee strips for putting, like hanging the pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the wee command strips, and they're quite handy because you don't need to um, be sticking holes onto your wall, mm -hmm. and they're very flexible. That if you wanted um, to put them up somewhere else, you know, if you didn't like them, you can just go and put them up wherever you do want to put them. Um, what you were saying earlier, uh, Derek, about them, about like having a series of them, they are actually very nice. Um, because one of them is coming across. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see the way the sand oh, and yeah, the sea is all across. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, very nice. And then just the um, because if we're coming around our coastline, um, sort of from left to right, yeah. we're coming from Derry right round to Antrim. You'll be coming around here, and then you'll be coming up to the Giant's Causeway. So this is all following this road. Awesome. Well, you you said there's not too many boats usually um, to raise, but there's lots and lots of, and, and I'm not saying there's for any loaded reason, I promise you, but there are lots of cruises that are going around the UK this year because obviously they can't go anywhere else right now. So you might be seeing a bit yeah. more visitors around your coastline soon. You just never know. Anyway, that's for another channel to talk about with me. Um, Let's talk right now, these amazing kits. I think now you've seen the background to how you actually put them together. 
it's probably yeah. a lot simpler than you might have expected it to be because you might have thought, oh, hang on a second, there's going to be lots of very, very complicated techniques coming my way. But you can see that Therese and her team, uh, and that, when I say your team, Therese, how big is the team? <laughs> uh, the team is Derek, I have um, myself, I have my twin daughters, and I have my youngest daughter here at the minute. She's doing all her um, social media and she's doing the directing here tonight. Oh, awesome. And uh, I also, my sister um, has helped me to sew these, um, these quilts that I have here tonight are her quilts. So this is what. She has sewn, and you have my quilts with you that um, that I have sewn. So we worked on these together. So we were just, and the both of them have come out very differently. For and we both worked at them at the same time. Yes, that's. That, um, I I noticed that actually the ones that, the one that you've got there and the one that um, that we've got here, done by two different people the same image but you've got the different feel to both of them which i think is really really good and that means especially for people watching at home right now because i think actually you can as you said you can put your own twist on these so the Musandan temple one that you're looking at there right now um if if the temple you felt it wasn't necessary or you know it doesn't necessarily mean anything to you because you're not familiar with that part of the world or whatever then leave it out. Um, if you want to stitch some um, some birds into it, stitch some birds into it. If you want some boats into the background, stitch some boats into the background. If you want to add the sun to it, um, then you can absolutely do that. But I think you can see the basics of the technique here. It's a genius technique, actually, I have to say, because I was expecting um, to raise to sit back for 20 minutes and think, oh gosh, right now concentrate because there's going to be a lot of you know technical things to learn with complicated names that are going to be specific to this kind of uh, work and essentially what we're doing is we're adding texture to these gorgeous gorgeous natural Irish linens but we're having it the way that we want it rather than the way it's kind of prescribed so to speak yes that's correct and um, if you could look do you see the sand dunes um, quilt deck mm. this is um, the one that you have with you I, and that I have the embroidery thread with is the one that I have stitched and Anne, my sister, had stitched this one and she used um, machine stitching and it has turned out very different. Oh, it has, has not it? Yes, it has. Yeah. I love it. And, and, a, and a different texture in the waves as well between your, yourself and, and Anne's as well is very very um different you can see in Anne's there's a there's a there's a lot of big waves it's a very big wave day that day isn't it so you can almost you can feel the life of those waves you can feel them lapping in towards you can't you love it yes you can like go surfing that day don't they? yeah <laughs> no absolutely don't tell me you're a surfer as well as a beekeeper and an embroiderer as well uh, no surfer, nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's maybe a wee bit cold at the moment, isn't it? Like all the time, I would imagine. Uh, right, let me take you through all of the details again. I'll let you get set up. Um, if, if you've another demo for us to raise, that would be amazing. I'll let you get set up for that. And I'll take you through everything that we've got here. First of all, of course, we've got the individuals here. 493102. Every, all, each one of these um, is on that um, individual item number. So the three options are your sand dunes, the Giants Causeway, and then you've got the Musenden Tower uh, image, which is the one that actually sits landscape rather than portrait. So you could have these as a triptych and sort of set them up as Therese was trying to show us um, there. You could kind of line up the sea and the, and the beach quite nicely there and go from coast to coast. Now, if you want all three, the bundle details are at the bottom of the screen there, £46.97 with a £4 saving there if you want all three together. Great to make for yourself and enjoy for yourself. Great to gift and to give to other people as well. Um, I think I think you'll really enjoy this. I think a lot of people will take the techniques from this show as well, actually, and think, oh, actually, I might do this kind of thing as well. Um, this is your uh, 
Triskel, Triskelly, Triskel, Triskel kit. I think it's it's a Celtic um, jewellery design. I think is what this design is actually based on. So it's a little bit of a mix of skills going here, and in in the threads that come with it, you get this lovely fine sort of gold coloured thread, um, which you might not be able to see it on the camera, but it's kind of woven in very subtly into these big sort of rondelles if that's the right word, in the centre of, um, of this design. It's very, very subtle. It might, the camera might not pick it up, but you definitely see it in reality. Remember, you get your full instructions, so you get your, your uh, pattern. The, the Irish linen is actually pre-printed with the design on it already, which is fantastic. So you get all your embroidery threads, plus your complete instructions as well. Plus, you can come back to this show. 750808 is your item number there at 1399. Let us move on. Ooh, we've had a little shuffle down this end of the desk. Um, let's do the Celtic designs now. now. They come as a pair, so you get two designs for 1699. So you get your background linen fabric, of course, Plus, you get two needles, so a needle for each set. So if you're thinking, well, I'll have one and maybe gift one on, then you can do that, not a problem whatsoever. But aren't the designs beautiful? And aren't they intricate? You know, you've seen a basic Celtic knot, I'm guessing most people have, but the cladder heart is beautiful, isn't it? So much intricacy going on there. And then the other design in this duo is that tree of life. I don't think I've ever seen a tree of life in a, in a sort of Celtic knot twist. I don't know why, but I want to make that in pastry as well. I don't know why. I have no idea. You can make that in bread, couldn't you? If you were skilled enough, which I'm not. Let's start with the embroidery kit and then we'll move on to bread. Uh, 6732, that's another show. 673265 is your item number. Remember, it's two kits there for you at 1699. So it's not a choice of, you actually do get both uh, on those and everything you need um, to make those is there. And of course, Frames not included, but you'll make your own choice of frames. We never generally include frames with things because it's one of those personal taste things. You know, if it's going in that room, it's got to be that colour. If it's going in that room, it's got to be that kind of finish, etc., etc. This, I think, I have to say, I think this is my favourite out of the whole. I mean, I love the seaside ones because I'm a, I, I love being by the sea. But I think in terms of colour and I think in terms of right now, this would make an amazing gift idea. A really, really amazing gift idea. Again, something that you have the joy of finishing and making with all those gorgeous bright colours. This is called the autumnal tree, but, you know, as I said for me earlier, I think it's more of a, um, like an evergreen in terms of seasonal. I think it's beautiful. It's like a tree of hope, a tree of life, isn't it? In fact, that could turn out to be a family tree as well, couldn't it? Because you're stitching into this. You could personalise it. You could make it into a bit of a family tree if you wanted as well. Again, everything you need and an embroidery hoop this time as well in this kit. So a needle, the Irish linen with the design printed on, your embroidery threads plus your um, instructions there as well. Not that you'll need much instruction for this. Nice and simple, which is great. 411193 is your item number for 1399. And the B, I, do you know what I love it? As a statement art, I think this is really lovely. Do you know what? Something to be in the entrance hall as you come in, because it's a nice bright colour, lovely, lovely image. And of course, the B is a real symbol of togetherness of unity of peace of you know it's it's really lovely and i think to know that this is a an irish honeybee we know that there's a bit of a story behind this as well which is just awesome and i think it's just lovely it's just that lovely extra twist that um, Therese, who created all of these um, kits and designs is also a beekeeper awesome i mean that just squares the circle beautifully doesn't it oh three nine two seven five is your item number there for £13.99. pence? Right, OK, we are going back across the water to Northern Ireland. Now, you've got a hoop going on there, so I'm going to guess that we are... Oh, we're we going to look at the... Is it Triskel or Triskelly to raise? Uh, Triskel. Triskel, there you go. So I'm going to just um, give you a re-demonstration of uh, what I was sewing then. Um, Derek, um, I have on the pattern there, I have the outside edge as a stem stitch. Um, and so I have stitched one of those. Um, the next, uh, the wee um, marks then that I've created is just so that um, you can get a guide round um, to the inner circle. Um, I started off 
was one uh, was the burgundy coloured thread here um, just doing a back stitch and I'm going to just do a chain stitch whoops um, on and what I was doing here is like starting so that they were all starting not at the same point but just a wee step back um, so that whenever they are coming round that they meet that they're not all meeting at the center or the same point in the center so I'm just going to do a chain stitch here um, the Oh, oh, and which, I just done the oh, which, which oh, chain stitch? Sorry, I misheard you. Then it was a chain stitch. Sorry, <laughs> no, it was my accent, does it? No, no, not at all. I, I think it was there was a glitch in the sound as you said it, and I wasn't quite sure what you said, so I just wanted to double check it. I love your accent. It's to me, it's like listening to a honey waterfall. I love it. <laughs> so what have I done here was just do. Um, a chain stitch, I had a running stitch there, a back stitch, and I'm just doing a chain stitch on the outside of um, that. Um, the wee bit of gold that you've seen and that you've been talking about was um, I'd done a couching stitch. So what I'd done on that was, say, after I had completed my um, chain stitch right round, I'd done a running stitch. And then I used the end of my needle. I'll just do it here. I, I used the, the thread of the gold and then I just used the end of my needle and put it in underneath the thread, but not into the fabric. Ah. And that just, okay, so if you can see that, okay. And that's, yes. um, what that does was just give you that very fine line of gold right around the design. Um, and as I say, it just gives you that wee bit of um, glitz on it. But using the, the heel of your needle to put it in um, so that you're not going through your fabric is... Uh, do you know you we've just, see that uh, it's, just... It, yeah we we can't we can't see the the detail of that uh, Therese, only because of the, it's just the the fine thread we can't see it in the studio either but take it from me when you get it home that you will absolutely you will absolutely see it and it does really make the difference um Therese, i don't want to interrupt you but i'm, I'm just going to do very very quickly because we just had a lovely lovely message from billy um who wants to say congratulations on, on your show uh, for a start. She is also from your part of the world as well. And she says she actually takes her daily commute on the train that goes past the uh, Mussenden Temple. And so she sees it oh. on her commute every single day uh, going to work. So do you, does the train line literally run around or, or straight through that little sort of mountain? So you would see the temple as well? It goes straight through the mountain. Oh, wow. That's so, incredible. <laughs> yeah, it's unreal. And the journey, the train journey, um, you will drive along, or like you're sitting on the train, but it yeah. runs along past that whole stretch of feet. Beautiful. So it is, it's just, like, very, very picturesque um, train journey. So it does. It's lovely. Fabulous. Sounds lovely. It sounds like one of those places where, um, what, what, who is it that goes on the trains all the time? Michael Portillo. We need to send Michael Portillo on, on, on that train journey. I think he think he'd enjoy that. Um, lovely. Sorry, Therese. We were looking at the Triscoll and we were just looking at the fine thread, which we can't really see, but we, we get the idea. So um, on, on you go. Okay. All right, Phil. I was just doing a chain stitch round here. I'm going to just do a wee um, back stitch here using the red uh -huh. um, thread and it uh, just brings that wee bit of life to the and that wee bit of colour and whenever um, you go right round the centre and, and then get into the centre it is just all French knots so I'm just on here this is all about three other but um, and what I'd done was whenever I had this, all the French knots done in here, um, with the burgundy, I uh, um, stitched also some gold French knots on it as well. And it, you can see them in the studio there, just how they have um, 
you would think there were like little jewels in the in the design as well, and they just added that wee bit of sparkle. So they have. And, and where did you first see this design, Therese? Um, this is like a very ancient design. Mm. The, the circle, so it is, Derek, yeah. and it is just something that probably I have been looking at for all my life, is all these designs. Um, but this particular one, as I say, was inspired by a Celtic pen that I seen, and I think it's up, like it's housed maybe in the Ulster Museum uh -huh. at the moment, so it is. Um, it's maybe not as intricate as what I have. I probably I just added a whole lot more to it, but it is just stunning, the pieces of jewellery that um, they have made. Um, the biggest um, sort of one of these um, Triscoll designs sort of in Ireland, it would be um, a new grain. It's one of the tombs, uh, one of these Neolithic tombs. Um, and a new grange, uh, what happens, it's a huge big stone at the front of the entrance to the tomb. And I think on the, you know, the summer solstice and the winter solstice, oh, oh, oh. Um, the light comes into this tomb and illuminates it all. So oh. it has been like very ancient. Wow. <laughs> so that's what so this is, and um, these were, all these designs would have been, like, coming from, like, just thousands of years ago. And all I'm doing here is just adding my twist it and just trying to keep them alive. Listen, um, Therese, um, I've got a bit of news for you first. Michael Portello's already been there, apparently. Uh, he okay. went in, <laughs> which, 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 series 10, episode 7, what was the series called? Right. Great, great, yeah, great railway journeys. It's probably the one where he had his um, thingy guide. What was his name? Bradshaw's guide, that's it. He went everywhere, didn't he? So he's been there, apparently, so we can go and find out. And we can all go and visit virtually uh, the Mussenden Priory. Yeah, you don't have to wear red trousers to do it either, or a very, very bright jacket. Um, um, also... Oh, also, I need to let you know that we've only got six minutes left on the uh, on the show, Therese, because they, they go so quickly, because we were chatting as well. Um, so is, is there any other techniques that you want to quickly show us before, just that would help people along um, before we, we yes. finish the show? Um, I was just going to show you the um, tree that I had done. That's, I know it's called autumnal tree, but I have, it's actually a positivity tree, as I said earlier. Um, and how I done the um, leaves on them. Oh, so wonderful. they are fairly sort of random -y, um I don't know. It's like a satin stitch. If you can use a satin stitch on it. Uh -huh. um, so just down the centre. And um, I hope you can see that in the studio there. We can, yeah. And, okay. And we're just going from one side to the other. Um, do one down the centre and then do a stitch on the left hand side and one on the, left, the oh. right hand side. So almost like a and little it's... ear of wheat, but we're coming back on ourselves because, of course, it's got to be the shape of a leaf, hasn't it? Roughly. Yes. That's all you're trying to do there is just recreate the, um, the leaf shape of it. Um, ah. And then on um, my picture, I think I have, I don't know whether I can't do random, but. Um, I have uh, counted sort of every six leaves or whatever is how I've done that pattern um, just to make up the um, stitches on it or to make up the design on it. Oh, um, I see. But, <laughs> uh, you can do whatever way that you want to do it yourself, but it's entirely up to you um, to what way you want to stitch it. If you wanted to stitch it, um, because whenever you're building up the colours on it, you'd be just wondering why, like, if you've done it, the blues and yellows, it mm -hmm. turns out lovely. And if you do it, and then you just keep adding another colour, and all the colours just keep um, adding up on it, and it just turns out lovely whenever you have all the colours together on it. I think this would be lovely for a new arrival as well, Therese, wouldn't it? Oh, it would be beautiful, because if you can get... Um, you see those uh, fine line markers? 
Yes. You know, you can write the child's name underneath it, or like as you were saying about like a family tree. You know, even yeah. write um, with those um, just the name of the family, or a year, or whatever um, that you wanted on it, just to make it more personal. I think it's stunning. I think this this is a a lovely kit. I have to say, you know, you shouldn't really have favourites, I know, ever, but I think for me, it's the variety of colour in this because you've supplied us with some really really lovely colored um threads in there you know nice lemon yellows you could almost you know it although this is named autumnal um you could almost consider it in all of the four seasons one way or another couldn't you um but i think particularly right now sort of spring and summer this works amazingly and i think your your message about it being about positivity um, it is incredible to raise because th that's something that we've been a little bit lacking um, in the, in the last year and a bit. Would you say? Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. And us here is just really. Do you see the colours and us here about making you feel so much more positive? Yes. They are so bright and they are just make you feel so much better whenever you look at it. So they do. Um, I just really love it too, just the same as um, you're enjoying it. That there's how the wee stitches are made up there, Derek. They're very quick to make up, and it's just a matter of going around um, the pattern and pulling them in and I just see where you want them. I think it's stunning. I think they're all stunning, I have to say. I think they're really, really good. And actually, when we came into this hour, I looked at the designs and I thought, OK, this is probably not going to be for the likes of me because it's going to require that level of experience. But you've talked us through beautifully. Uh, and again, your instructions go on to do that in more detail as well. Plus, you said you, you're on social media as well, Therese. Would you tell us a little bit more about that? <laughs> My daughters are on social media, which um, they fill in for me, so they do. Um, they are on Facebook and um, Instagram, so we are just at Has Crafts, so we are, so I don't do a lot of it, but they are very talented at it. <laughs> so, so are you, so you going to be doing some things like videos and things uh, uh, on, the, on the social media, uh, Therese? We're going to get you to be a, a television star in your own right on your social media. <laughs> My daughter is just after putting your thumbs up there and saying yes. Well, there you go. Well, I tell you what, you're very good at it. I mean, you're a very, very good tutor as well, just like talking us through and guiding us through. Um, it's amazing. Listen, Therese, we've run out of time. Um, I hope you're back uh, again with us very, very soon. I know your kits have been very, very popular. Uh, I have to say lots of love to everyone over there in Northern Ireland. Well done to your daughter as well for doing all the technicals because we got there in the end. So stay safe and have a wonderful week weekend, Therese. It's been great to work with you. All right. Thank you very much, Dave. Thanks, everybody, for watching. OK? Bye-bye. <laughs> Lovely. Take care. Um, well, right. Well, if, listen, if you've got anything in your basket, particularly... I think, you know, the old sand dunes and the by the seaside things, I'm really liking those. I'm loving the tree of positivity as well. There's lots to choose from here as well. So uh, if you've got something in your basket, do make sure that you check it out because it's all amazing value for money. I love the fact that it's got so much authenticity to it as well. What an incredible, incredible hour. And thank you for your company too. Don't you go anywhere though, because Phil is back. Will he get his three and a bit, two and a bit demos done in the next hour? Who knows? We'll find out after this break. Hi, I'm Donna, and this is my brother Simon, and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting, and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just the water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps, and we've got a great range of inks, which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. 
We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dies and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel, and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand-illustrates all our fantastic finished designs. All of our products are manufactured in the UK and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. For the past six years, Achanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing. We'll be the same Achanda that we've always been. We're, We're just getting a brand new name. Demonstration-led, full of inspiration and variety, with our own dash of personality. Welcome to The Craft Store, your home of everything crafts. Good evening, everybody. Uh, lovely to be with you. Uh, two hours I'm with you for take you through on your Friday night. Uh, so I hope that's all right. Get yourself a little cheeky one as well if you want, or <laughs> a nice, a nice strong brew, whatever your tipple is, um, because we have got the monthly mega deal uh, for, available for voiceovers. And uh, just wanted to know, this is this is two things. Firstly. A third of the stock has already gone in the first live one hour. Okay, so a third of the stock. And it's a big stock, just so you know. So um, it's already really, really busy. The second thing, which is quite amazing, is Phil Martin records he can get through two and a half demos <laughs> in an hour. All right? So I, both of those are, well, one of them's definitely true. The other one, Phil, two and a half demos in 60 minutes. Dear little thing. <laughs> 
If anybody can, you can. We'll, we, we will do it. We will do it. I, I promised the girls in my Facebook group that I would get four demos done in the two hours <laughs> I was here. And I said to them, how many do you think I'll get done? And they're all like, mm, two and a half, three. Oh. And I think there were only a couple of optimists that said four, so I'm going <laughs> to go for the four. Listen, we'll do everything we can to help you, you in doing you. that Thank as well. You. Uh, firstly, congratulations. Thank you. Because I know that whenever you put your name and your photo attached to anything, you have such high standards yeah. of yeah. what has to be included in that. Yeah, and uh, I know a lot of people were waiting for this to be launched because of all the previous editions that have gone out. This is jam Packed, and there, and there is so much in here, and I have to say, from looking at from from a guy's point of view, yeah. there's loads in here as yeah. well for for us Absolutely. men. Absolutely, and that's something I always try to do, Scott. With with all of my box kits, I try to give them not so much a theme as in floral or butterflies or whatever. I try to make them generic so yeah. they will work for for men's cars, for ladies' cars, for kids' cars yeah, even. Yeah, true. Yeah. So you've got a really good mix here of florals, you've got butterflies, you've got dragonflies, you've got sports, and you've got some vintage elements. I'll tell you what, that's the best 20 quid somebody can spend because the value of products yeah. is near on 65, 70 quid. Right. If you were to buy them as like individual products, just, just break it down yourself at home. You will know what these kind of things retail for. And that's not including the magazine that's no. absolutely packed with inspiration. Oh, it is. It is. And, and, we're, and we're, I know you're going to have a flick through those as well with, yeah. and, and yeah. take you through. Because there's papers in here, as you would expect, you know, all the papers in here. But absolutely fantastic. And it is, when we talk about value for money, if you go back to actually the usual price, at 25 98 actually if you break that down, just as Phil was saying, with everything else in there, you're going to come away and Lodge, you looked at that with all the inspiration and all the tools that you're going to get and all the papers that you're going to get, all of those with the course you're going to get the, the, the limited edition paper pack also in there with that, it's already phenomenal value. Then, when you've got that extra saving of that six pounds off to take it to under 20 pounds, honestly, you are going to, re if you've not got any of the previous editions, if this is your first, you'll be back for a lot more. I, I promise you that. There's so much in there as well. Uh, I know we've already got a lot of people coming through. Uh, we've got busy on the phone lines already, uh, which is fantastic. I think I heard the first call out in the first hour within about three minutes, 10% yeah. already gone, <laughs> uh, which was phenomenal. Yeah. It was bonkers as, it, as it a launch. It is. And, and I mean, thank you everybody at home. But it, it just proves you the value of these. Now, yeah. you know that I put these together with practical publishing. All of us that do the box kits do. But I, I am... Believe you me, I am in control of the <laughs> <laughs> Most of you will know me well enough to know that. And because mine is a stamping special, it makes them slightly different to most of the others. So stamping is my thing. So as you know, I focus more on the stamps. That's why we get that big A4 sheet. Shall we, shall we go yes. through this while you're Let's over at me? Let's do it, because we're going to so, get those two and a half... Those two and a half demonstrations. Two, we will get done. two and a half done, I promise you. Uh, oh, I shouldn't say that just in case. <laughs> terrible, but We're going to try and promise. <laughs> I might get two and a half done. <laughs> right. So when you get your when you get your uh, your box kit home, this is how it's going to come to you. I love the fact that the packaging is storage as well. So for somebody yeah. like me, um, storage is kind of kind of my thing. So when you've got them on your shelf, I love that it's got all the details and everything on the bottom. So yeah. most people now will have collected one, two, three, four, and this is number five. Yeah. It's not going to be in the general shops until next week. Right. So you're you're probably going to get these to your house before they're even in anywhere so that's else. Brilliant. That's and brilliant. I can guarantee you, you will not get the limited edition papers from from anywhere else right. either apart from me right so right this is what you're gonna get so you open it up you know if you saw the first show you'll know that I asked them to change the cover um, because I wanted it to be lovely and bright and yeah, cheerful well. because let's face it we all need that yeah so open it at the top let all your little bits fall out these will all be in a little bag um, so you've got them you've got them all in a little bag to open but obviously I've done that I'm gonna get my sheet of card that I didn't have last time oh, it's a sheet of paper Look at this, very so organized. calm this one after the frantic it's last hour. It's looking good for the two and a half demos, it's looking two good. And, a half de and I've still got time to do two and a half demos. <laughs> right, so we're not even going to look at the magazine yet. I'm going to put that to one side and show you what you're getting with this. Because this, for me, if I was at home, if Julia was doing this for a different brand, I'd be like, you know what, I'm going to use every one of them. It's worth my 20 quid just for them. Yeah. That's before you even look at the inspiration. So most people will know 
that an A4 sheet of stamps, regardless of whether they're acrylic or photopolymer, acrylic being slightly cheaper, you're talking 25, 30 quid. Yeah. yeah? Photopolymer, you're talking 30, 35, right. maybe even 40. Yeah, for this yeah, volume some of places, stamps. yeah. You've got, with the combination of the uh, sentiments, oh, I can't get both on, 41 stamps. That's 41 individual stamps, and you've got all the mini sentiments in there that you can use year in, year out. This is why I focus on stamps, because stamps don't go out of fashion, they don't go out of date. You're going to be using these for as long as you look after them. <coughs> Sorry, so I'm just going to quickly show you. I'm not going to go through them all, but I'll quickly show you. So this corner, look, you've got your kind of grungy butterflies, you've got the dragonfly in this corner. Then moving down, you've got some beautiful, beautiful florals, and I love this silhouette. In fact, I'm just going to grab this card from behind me. This is from one of the design team at Practical. And I'm just going to say thank you to all the team at Practical Publishing because some of the samples are amazing. Mm. But look at that. How That's absolutely lovely, that. gorgeous is that? Quick card, not a fill card at all because it's flat. When I'm, I don't remember ever doing a flat card. <laughs> but look how gorgeous that looks. And that is basically three stamps and three ink pads. And that is just gorgeous. If you've got blue tones, you could do this in blues or green. I just thought that was really gorgeous. Yeah, and it's very that pretty. one little stamp there, look. That silhouette stamp. I just thought it was gorgeous. Yeah. Um, so, and, you, so we've got the you're butterflies, an A4 dragonflies. Size there, Phil, but sorry to say, I just said I know you're fitting an A4 size, but none of these are really small stamps. No, no, They're no, all no, really no. quite sizable. These are all these are all proper stamps. Yeah. Couple of workers. Yeah. But even the work, uh, what we all call workers, even the worker stamps look are incredible. Look at that B. I'm turning yeah. around so you can see it properly. Look at that beautiful bee there, look. I mean, that's just, it's just beautiful, it's beautiful. So I'm going back to normal. So we've gone to the florals, we've then got some sport elements there, down towards the bottom, yeah? Yes. So you've got the trophy, you've got the football, you've got the football boots, I love the hat, love the hat. <laughs> you've got whatever that is, a bottle of summer. It's probably, it could, it could be gin if it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got the tennis rackets, because this is one of the most underrepresented sports ever yeah. in in our world and i love my tennis oh, right. so don't send me a card with a football on it because i won't thank you but do that <laughs> and i would so then you've got the you've got the sports there then you've got these vintage elements here can you see look that's one two three that's four different themes just just in that corner yeah. so you've got some vintage elements there with the postage stamps and the airmail and everything then you come up to these oh look at these texture stamps if this was in a set of its own, if this was in an A5 set, because let's face it, that's practically oh, A5. You're talking 15 quid yeah, for that. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you've got script, you've got the netting, which is obviously good with the football. You've got this, this scratchy, distressed look, and you've got the music. So that is just the stamps. You see, I think 1998. That's, that's just price, a stamp. For just stamps. Yeah. It was already a phenomenal deal. No. <laughs> <laughs> already is. It's worth its weight in gold. Yeah, it is. Then you've got this beautiful, beautiful little A6 embossing folder. And we're going to be using this in one of the demos today. Right. We're going to letterpress with it. So you've got a kind of generic, a generic pattern there that features the rose look, which is also one of the dies. So you've got two dies here. You've got the rose and you've got the leaf. Gorgeous for paper piecing. If you go on my Sentimentally Yours Facebook page, I've created an album, and there are, there's about 70, I think, 65, 67 uh, samples that have been made from this, yeah? Right. So straight away, you've got the inspiration from your magazine, and you can find me on Facebook, and you've got inspiration in there as well. Wow. So we'll have a quick flick. I'm not going to go through this, because I don't want to spoil it for when you get, the, get it home. It's important for me that it's exciting. You know when you buy a magazine and you read it for the first time, it's yeah. exciting. So let's just point a few things out. 74, 74 inspirational projects in this for you to look at and copy and change to whatever style you want. You've got a little competition with £400 worth of my goodies that you can enter. You've got 120, so this is how much there is. There's 122 craftable elements within this magazine box kit. 122 is crazy. <laughs> and more importantly, if we just have a look at this, the photos they've got on the on the count on the cover, you've got one ear that looks vintage, you've got one ear that's masculine with the football and the sporty, you've got one ear that's dead easy to do using the dies and the stamps, dead easy to do. And then you can go a little bit more technical, you can do a little bit more grungy. That's very similar to what I did on my first demo on the on the lawn shower. And then you've got this one up here which looks a little bit more mixed media, which is not dissimilar to what I've just done here, look, funnily enough. 
Oh, it's the vase. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought it were a bottle of gin. <laughs> well, maybe the days is light, Jim. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. So, so look at the craftability before you even start. And I'll do a quick flick, quick, quick flick, quick flick, quick flick, so you can't see much because I want I like the surprise yeah, when you get a magazine. I know. Home. The... Look at that. Look, that's resist stamping. So many different techniques in here. That's just using two stamps. Two stamps, wow. and that's Alison, who's on my design team. I'll say thank you to my girls as well on the design team because they work really hard to bring you different ideas. And then you've got all these papers, oh, double-sided the papers, papers. You've got the toppers. We're going to be using that one shortly. More papers, more, more samples. And for me, this is what the magazine is all about. It's all about ha having the products and having the inspiration because it's no good having the products if you've got no inspiration or you don't know where to start. We don't finish, we've not finished yet. <laughs> I'm going to be quick. You're also going to get the limited edition Urban Textures Volume 1 with your... This on its own would retail at twelve ninety nine. Yeah. So right. basically you're paying whatever the difference is, what, 37 quid effectively for the magazine, an A4 set of stamps, an A6 set of stamps, two dies and an embossing folder and all the toppers and papers. Yeah. So I'll quickly flee. <laughs> I love these. This is the first time I've done textural kind of backgrounds and you can see straight away how these are going to work with the with the magazine and all the stamps that are in there i'm flicking quickly you've got eight designs in here four sheets of each is that right eight designs four <laughs> sheets yes. of each i'm testing myself look at that absolutely love that love love that i love them all so that is what you're going to get for can you believe this for 20 quid for but 20 under. quid, it's crazy talk. It is amazing. It's crazy talk. I mean, I'm just thinking if someone was starting off for the first time as well and, and was thinking about this and going for it, you know, going, well, you know, I've got 20 <coughs> quid burning a hole in my pocket. Uh, I want to sort of have a little go at doing some of the stamping, etc. as well. Honestly, it, it, I mean, it's, it's not a starter kit, but it could well be with the papers, with the stamps you've got, the embossing folders in there, and then as far as someone taking you by the hand as well and leading you through step by step, there is so much in here. It's absolutely brilliant. I will tell you now, we're looking at 40% of the stock now of, of the monthly mega deal, uh, and, and we're only... 13 minutes into the second live hour and 40% of the stock has gone. I think that, that is incredible. Um, it, it, unbelievable. Right, get them into your basket. Do it now. I know you're going to be watching the demonstrations, but do it now, honestly, because you'll kick yourself. If these sell out and you haven't spent that t under £20 to have all this sent out to you, you will be kicking yourself. Please get it in your basket right now. OK, listen, OK, we are 30 That's minutes good. past. That's really good. I think we're on time, aren't we? Yeah? <laughs> what, we're on so, it. Are you, are you starting with the half a project then? I'm you... starting with the other half of the one we started Great. on the last okay. show, yeah. So basically, I'll just show you quickly where we got to. So just matting and layering. Um, I've used the Volume 1 te uh, Urban Textures papers there. This colour, you need to get this colour in your life. If you're going for the box kit, please go on the website and find the pick and mix of my car stock. This is called New Rust. New Rust, and there's another one called Emerald Pool, and they work really, really well with the box that's kit. That's nice. So that's just die cut with my double debossed ovals. I've created the board with my loveliest lattice uh, dies, and then just joined them together there. And this is where we got to. So I stamped the daisy, put a mask on, over stamped with Crackling Campfire, which is one of my favourite, favourite, mm. favourite Distress Oxides. Teamed it up with Rusty Hinge, and that's what we've created that background with, using the... Um, kind of vintage script stamp that comes with your your magazine box kit that's nice, so that's that. where we got to i'm now going to add some color to this could leave it could leave it white because it looks it actually looks fab white yeah. but i'm going to color this thing using my watercolor blending brush pens now at the beginning of the year i told you that the stock was nearly gone my stock yeah. was nearly gone it's seriously, seriously nearly gone, oh, and wow. I am not restocking this year. Oh, right. So you're probably only going to see these pens on, on the next maybe two, maybe three shows. Right, OK. And then I will have no more this year. So if you're collecting, <sighs> your, your forewarned is forearmed. Yes. Yeah, so absolutely. mine mine are all mixed up. In, so don't ask me which set these colours are from, because I've got mine in colour order. <laughs> I'm not as good as Julia. Julia's, Julia's done little charts and things, but I wanted my pens to be pretty. Look how pretty they look, look, when you put them all in. 
in colour. Oh, can you see? Yeah. Look at that. They all just flow really nicely. <laughs> and when you've got all four sets, you'll be able to do this yourself. So I'm just going to get a little bit of scrap card and test because I want an orangey, an orangey red colour. It doesn't really... Oh, there you go. That's perfect. That goes perfectly with that. And then mm. we want a greeny colour to do the... Um, to do the stem and I'm literally literally just going to color this in the quickest way this is not watercolor card I'm using this is my pure white premium card stock but I know that I'll still be able to pull the color out these pens have been a massive 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 hit because of the quality yeah. of the uh, ink oh, I need to put some money down there. because of the quality of the ink and the blendability and that's what you get with these. I'm doing this really quick. Sorry, everybody, because you know, well, you know why. Don't we've worry, don't two, worry. Yeah, we've got we two and you. a half demos to get done. Exactly. There's, there's money on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The odds. The it's odds on, on. It's a bet. I'm it's a bet. You, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's going to be a mad rush at the very end of the hour somehow. I no, got, the, I other two, the other two are relatively quick. So all I've done here is I've just picked the redder tone. You're laughing in my ear. When I say relatively quick, it's like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> We've only been doing four minutes on this one so far. Have I really? Yeah, four no, minutes. No, that's yeah. just not right, Scott. You're making that up. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll just add a little... Well, add just a little touch of, a little touch of green just to, just to make oh. that stand out even more. Yeah, and I'm going to it's take amazing. that it's like green. A little bit of colour just brings it up, just brings it to the foreground. It does. Doesn't I'm going to take the green. I'm going to get it quite pale. And I'm just going to wash at the sides as well. So hopefully what this will do is it will react with the Distress Oxides as well. Do a bit more. And it will just give us a little bit of a blur. Oh, it is doing. It's starting to do it. Mm. That's too much of a blur, Phil, but hey-ho. That's what my brain's like. <laughs> my brain's a blur. <laughs> so I'm just making that pop a little bit more. You can tell I'm rushing. I am calmer than the last hour, but I'm still rushing because I'm trying to get this done. <laughs> Oops, wrong lid, wrong lid, and that will do for that. So I'm just going to put some glitter in the middle once it's on the card. Do, do, do. I hope we've got some kind of music that's similar to the countdown, 30 seconds, <laughs> to, the end, to the end of the hour, that we can see where we are, where we can find the clue and stop the clock and uh, see, what, uh, see how we're doing. <laughs> just incidentally, just to give you all a little, a little teaser, um, if you've collected these, I'm, I'm currently working on some some mica based ones oh some pearlescent ones just oh, to give really? you a little heads up and then we're go just going to go around the edge with the with the oh, that's the wrong lid phil that's oh. easy don't oh. it? see you see what happened we're just going to literally tap around the edge tap 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 oh just to make that pop a little bit more and that will do for that it's, it's really we'll busy on the phone line still, everyone, so thank you again for your patience on the line. We will be with you as quickly as we possibly can, of course, you know, but it is busy. It is very, very busy. It's Friday nights. And, of course uh, it is. Yeah, Friday nights and in the second live hour of the monthly mega deal, which is... How, how long does the, does the whole project, process. like what you've got there, take The to process put, takes months and months and months I was going to say, months months yeah, months. there's lots of Basically, we've, we've just finished this one. I've already started work on the next one. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, before that one's finished. Wow, uh, it's a lot of work. I, I don't know whether everybody else is the same, but it, it, it could just be it could just be me, um, because the, the the stamps are never right first time, the papers are never right first right, time, right. and and I'm pedantic, and I'm, the only reason I am pedantic is because. I want you to get the best from me when you get this home. Of course, so, of course. rather rather me be a little a little pedantic person. <laughs> I was trying to think there of the right no word. Way to describe me, <laughs> I couldn't think of a word that didn't sound awful. <laughs> uh, right, so we've got that we've got that going on there. We've picked out some of the red tones. Now we've got two little tags here that are from the new scallop tags. They are on the show, I think. Yeah, they are. We've got the details on the side of the screen for you right now. Fifteen ninety nine for all of those. Uh, that's the whole beautiful, sentimentally yours, the Scallop Tag Trio die set. Uh, actually, six dies in total with that particular set. Fifteen ninety nine. That's two zero six three two eight is your item code for those ones. But again, really cute to work with. Actually, these are lovely. 
It's all gone Pete Tong. I can't find my stencil. Oh, they're, these are um. Do you had them all the time? I did, Scott. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Right, so the little sentiments in here are perfect for these lo lovely little tags. Mm. So we're going to have, I think we'll have, we'll have birthday wishes. So remember the tips I gave you when we did the launch show. The ink pads I would recommend for this are the Versafine, um, the Versafine Claire or the Versafine, Versafine, Versafine. <laughs> 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 because these are these are acrylic stamps rather than photopolymer, so they behave differently with dye-based inks and with water-based oh, inks. Oh, if I just okay. bring that in quickly while you're on the overhead, this is what we did earlier with Distress Oxide. So can you see it's not as sharp? Mm. And that's exactly what I wanted for that technique. It just means you get the best of both worlds, yes. really. Yeah. So you're going to get a lovely vintage uh, vintage effect from Distress Oxide, whereas with the Versafine. And the Versafine Claire, you're going to get a lovely oh, sharp impression. That's like a cute that. font. Just clean that. See, I'm lovely and calm. I'm probably too you are. calm and now. And thinking still noticing that time to clean the stamping time. between. So we've got birthday wishes. Go, oh, that's just. I mean, that's a beautiful little sentiment it stamp is, on yeah. its own. Very so nice. Let's get that. this card made up. So I'm literally now. If you want to do a recap for everybody, all I'm going to do now is assemble is assemble this and show you what I've done. Okay. Is that That's all right? That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, uh, we will uh, just give you a bit of a rundown of some other items that are there for you available. Uh, now we've got the pearls. Now I'm right in thinking that your mum does. She was watching earlier, she by the way. Everybody. And it was a happy she, birthday. She wasn't messaged it? To me your uh, as well. and she was laughing because we were trying to get her to do some more, and she just laughed. Ah. Oh. She didn't. Volunteer. No. <laughs> she, so laughing just... in your face is basically no. <laughs> um, but the ones that, uh, that <laughs> the one that Phil's mum's has packed, uh, she'll be very pleased to know. What, what was that? Seventy. Seventy percent of the stock has now gone uh, for these. The sentimental yours is the Shimmer Pearls Trio. You've got the caramel. You've also got the pewter, and you've got the porcelain. Uh, Sixteen forty-seven. Um, literally, if Phil wants to keep his relationship with his mum good. There's no more. I'm just saying. <laughs> so there's a final 30% remaining. Grab it whilst you can as well. For, unless you want to do your own begging letter to Phil's mum saying, oh, please, do me one more couple of bottles for it. But um, the chances are no hope. Uh, 491 507. Absolutely beautiful. And each one of these are slightly different sizes, as you'll see as well, so you can really sort of mix them up to work with your projects. But they're beautiful. They really do catch the light, by the way. When you sort they of do. See them. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're they were stunning, a long time they? sourcing these ones because they're a little bit special. So what they are is they've got like an iridescent Ooh, coating, yes. uh, which is why we've called them Shimmer. You've got three sizes. You've got 3mm, 5mm nice. and 8mm, uh, obviously because, you know, I, I like to put the odd flower on a card. Um, so you know I need pearls to go in the middle of yeah, it. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, approximately 550 per pot. Approximately. Yeah. Did your mum count them all? <laughs> we're not. We're not going to make a count of them, are we? I don't know. She doesn't. No, no she doesn't. She doesn't no, by weight. I think. <laughs> doesn't um, by weight. Uh, and I did, I did say to her, try and make sure it's under rather than over. She just laughed. <laughs> You can't pull the wool over your mum's eyes. Uh, 16... I know that with my mum. 1647-491-507. Also, if you look at these and think, oh, I do like the papers, uh, which kit should I go for? Yeah, I understand. Well, basically, you're getting them both together. You're getting uh, the Volume 2 and Volume 3 of your A4 paper packs here. So that's going to give you 80 sheets in total. And these are absolutely beautiful. They are absolutely gorgeous, these, I promise you. Um, when you look at the, the sort of the effects that you're going to get on some of these, they are stunning. Just look at the effects here. I mean, these are great, these, actually. Absolutely beautiful. I uh, want to say, though, these are going to be dispatched from the 23rd that we're looking at. It's only a week today, so not too long. But if you're really liking for that sort of that grunge feel to work with, uh, with those effects, I mean, they are beautiful. They're ready to go, aren't they, with all those effects. Uh, really lovely. So this is more sort of your, your, your muted and your sort of... Uh, I'm thinking of sort Steely of... the blue. The, the, the what, sorry? 
Steely blues. Steely blues. You've got steely blue, greys. Yeah. Darker tones in there. So is that that sort of um, that feel on sort of uh, old photographs sort yeah. of thing you find yeah. on some of them? You know, with those sort of colours that come through. So that's a really different feel to what I've got in, in my hand here, and the, the, the splash of colour, which is great actually, that you're going to be getting both sets, of course. So that's going to. Get, I love that with that beautiful spiral there of the rainbows as well. So each pack here will have the 40 sheets, and again a real contrast to that first volume that we were just looking at what works so so nicely so if color is something that you really love in your projects and really going to make an impression with then i think you'll agree these are absolutely beautiful lots of other layers as well that go with this sort of brick that you've got you've got drops etc you know so lovely so it's not a pick and mix you haven't got to work out i really like that but i really like that you get both of them 40 percent of the entire stock has already been allocated 25.98 they are an extended delivery as i say but um uh, we're looking at the uh, 824869 and the 23rd of April is where we are looking for dispatch for you. It's really, <laughs> really busy. I think a lot of people have been waiting uh, to get their hands on, uh, on what you brought to the show today. Actually, these, I love work. these papers. I think it's because, I'm just getting number two ready. I think it's because they're different to what I normally do. Um, and I love texture. I love stamping and creating yeah. texture. So you've got kind of a head start with the paper. So mm. I've literally just pop oh, some of the it. moon dust, pop some of the moon dust glitter in the middle of that daisy. That's, and that's really it. lovely. That's, that's really no flowers. That is beautiful. Put that one on your calendar. I've yeah. just made a card with no flowers. <laughs> the only one from the four. <laughs> <laughs> it was a rare so, moment. It's like you remember when certain things happened, you know, first person on the moon, for example. It's like a personal challenge, though. It, it is. I right, remember so when Phil we're going to go straight into, straight into this one. Is that all right? Yeah, let's go straight for it. Go straight for it. So you've done the half. Now you've got the two. Hold yeah, on. now we've got the two, and we will do this. So I'm just going to pop that to one side, and I'm just going to show you this. I know it looks a little bit grungy, but... This is basically letter pressed and I've embossed. Can you see I've got embossing Ooh. in the debossing? That's nice. So I'm going to show you that you can. Have I got. To, yeah, I've got time to do that. I'm going to do that and show you how to do that because it's really, really quick and easy. Lovely. So, depending on what machine you've got, depends on what kind of plate order you need. Because I had to play about with mine to get them, to get them right. Uh, and I discovered I needed to use a rubber mat with mine. Every machine is different, so you'll need to you'll need to have a play yourself. So first things first, let me just find my embossing folder because that's what we need to use for this demo. Du, 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 du. <laughs> it's where it should be. <laughs> so we're just going to put that the right way around. I'm going to go straight in with ink. So because I wasn't fussy about whether we got any little extra bits, because it, it just adds to the texture of it, yeah, I'm going straight in with the ink pad. I'm using a Versafine Claire because I know it will stay tacky long enough for me to put embossing powder over the top. If you are, because these will stain a little bit, can you see that's got a little green, a little green yeah, hue? Yeah, yeah. Won't transfer, right. but it, the, these ink pads will stain. So if you are a little bit, um, if you don't want the little scratchy, uh, grungy bits, just put it on with a brayer. Put it on with a brayer and okay. then it won't go where you don't want it. So I'm right. going to do this really quick, so forgive me if it's not perfect. So I'm literally just going straight in with this Versafine Claire. You can do this with your oxides as well, but I find the colour transfers better on an embossing folder with Versafine Claire's than it does with Distress Oxides. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I think right. it's okay. a stronger colour. So I'm literally just going to pop that in. It is only a little A6 embossing folder. But the card I'm making is actually massive, <laughs> <laughs> which I know will surprise you all. <laughs> I'm not very good. At, I'm not very good at small cars. I try. I tried to do a six by six once and failed miserably. It ended up being like a nine and a half by nine and a half. Right. So cover your ears because this will this will pull your ears. Oh, it's actually been quite good. This machine oh, now has had so much use, it, it shouts at me, no more! No. <laughs> oh, listen. Oh, there we go. That's yeah. not the embossing folder, that's my machine. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> it's had too much use. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think if you it are going to be, laugh. if you are a machine, if someone says, you know, these machines talk to each other, who's your owner, Phil Martin? Oh, I'm very sorry, blimey. Oh, I've, you I've must be due for retirement soon. It. 
I've pulled it a little bit and moved it, but I'm still going to show. I'm still going to do it and show you what what it what it happens. Right here we go. I'll just wipe that off because it's wet. So again, remember, I've just said the VersaFine clairs will stay tacky long enough for you to put your embossing powder in. If you haven't got my Essentials Super Fine embossing powders yet, I can't recommend them enough if I can find my own. So the super fine ones are perfect for this. So whether you go for a white in there, or I could have actually gone with my other shade of green and done it with a Versamark so it was oh, cleaner. Right. Yeah. But we're going to go in with the clear embossing powder. And that's what keeps the colour of the ink pad, but it gives us that lovely glossy sheen. I'll try and do this quickly. In fact, I might just do half because you don't need to see me do it all. I'll do the half that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> You can do this with any embossing folder. I love embossing folders. I think they, they just it's, absolutely... Yeah. Just to give they, that they texture They kind of went to out of favour for a while, but... Uh, oops. I, uh, I love what you can do with embossing folders and, yeah. and the different techniques you can yeah. get from them. That's, this is the first time, actually, that I've had an embossing folder in one of my kits. Is it? Yeah. Oh, is it not, none in the previous one? you'll notice that, that the little bit in the middle is, is perfectly sized for your sentiment stamps yes. and everything that yeah. comes with your box kit. So we've now got the embossing powder in the in the deboss section of the um, embossing folder. And that, you know, when we talked about the value again for under twenty pounds for all of yeah. that, we talked about the stamps being yeah. great value for that. But actually, you're right with the embossing folder yeah. as well on their own. Yeah. And, and embossing folders, I'll tell you, are not relatively cheap to manufacture because right. obviously I do my own. Um, so it's, it's just a little bit. It's just texture. I love texture on my projects. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love this project. So you this is actually the deboss side. I will turn it around in a minute and show you the the emboss side. Right. So we're using both sides of this. Quite pretty. Now uh, that'll do, because I've got to make the card. So, <laughs> so I'll show you the actual what it actually looks like oh. embossed. How beautiful is yes, that? That's lovely. It, all it needs is matting and layering. If you're somebody who does small cars, and then at the top part, don't look at. How about that? Look how fabulous that, that is lovely. Looks. Now I've covered that bit where I slipped. Can you see where we've got the gloss from the embossing powder? Yeah. So from, lovely. From an, from an embossing, from, just from an embossing folder. That's not using any of the stamps or anything. You imagine when you get this home, you can do like pinks, blues, purples, yeah. whatever. Yeah. But I've done it in greens, and now we're going to speed craft. 22, 22 minutes. 22 minutes for another two one minutes. and a half project still to get. Right, I'm going to quickly, quickly mention my new absolutely gorgeous double-sided craft card. Ooh. This has been a mare and a half to sort. <laughs> so I'm just going to turn it around for you because this is the important bit. It's exactly the same both sides. Now, most craft card, you'll know this at home, is lovely, lovely on one side and it's dodgy on the other side. Not from me, darlings. We've got it perfect both sides. <laughs> So this is 350 GSM and it's absolutely stunning. It die cuts a dream. Ooh. So I'll just let you quickly look at that. Oh, that's how yeah, intricate yeah, that does. is. And more importantly, you know, like when you're doing flowers and stuff and you want the underside to be just as good, it's double sided. Perfect. Perfect so I'm that. using the papers here. I'm going to quickly, quickly get this card done because I do want to get the other one done. So I've used the volume one um, urban textures papers on here which is why I went for the green tones. And, you know, people that know me know that I'm fussy with greens. Green has to be nice for me to like it. Mm. And there are a few green papers in that pack. So what I'm doing now is I'm doing something that you've never seen me do before. We're going skew-iffy with these borders. Yeah, I never do skew-iffy or whatever they call it, Katie Cornered. But I just thought it looked nice. You know, when I was doing my layout and I was just testing the testing how I wanted it. I thought, mm, you know what, I like that. I am going to snip the edges off, obviously. It's just more texture. Have I still got 22 minutes? Uh, you've got three left. So we're doing that, lot. You're not li you're, I noticed whenever I mentioned the time, you blanked me out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know that I'm lying saying three minutes. You actually, like you say, you've got a few more than that, that definitely. <laughs> I can see you physically going, I can't hear you stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Time just is busy. You know when we all say it, time just disappears so quickly when yeah. it, oops, when yeah, it, it does. It does. It does. It's, uh, so you know, when, whenever we have, the, uh, the great thing is, you know, 
you, you've been doing this for many, many years. You know, when we have yeah. a lot of new guests that come on the show, yeah. and, and we talk to them, you say, you know, the hour, I've got, I've got this, I've got this, and go, the hour's going to go very quick, just yeah. so you know. And at the end, they go, I can't believe that's it. We've only got four minutes left. Go, <laughs> but, uh, and, but you know, it does. It goes so, so quickly, doesn't it, when you It does, it does go demoing. quicker than you think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, I think you're, you're, on that, you're on that line of, you know, between crazy and very optimistic and delusional. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I, I remember years ago, years and years ago, I, I think I did five demos in an hour. Oh, that, you yeah, must have got more minutes yeah, in an hour back then. Yeah, years and years and years ago. <laughs> yeah, obviously not as involved as this, but um, yeah, five in an hour. I mean, what kind of craziness is that? <laughs> Was one of your demos folding over a piece of A4 paper? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the demos was putting glitter on the petals of the flower. <laughs> that was brilliant. Right, so let's just get this all laid up now. The second demo was unfolding it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right, please, 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 everybody, treat yourself to that craft card stock because it's stunning. It's stunning. I was so pleased with it when I got the first samples through and oh, because yeah. it's double sided like you say, that and it's got a lovely feel to it, it's, right. it's lovely and, and silky, it's not rough. Yeah, grab grab those hey. while you can as well. It is double sided yeah, and it is 350 GSM and you're getting 40 of that as well. If you're looking for that that natural craft card, I see a lot more of actual sort of um, designs and certain things that have gone down that route yeah. a lot more recently yeah. as well. So this is perfectly timed for that. 282 double four six. Again, another brilliant price point. 40 sheets at 350 GSM and it's still only 14.99. Yeah. Brand new on the show for you. Uh, really, really good value for money on those. Uh, uh, grab those. Oh, some floral. This is a new, a new, <laughs> a new venture for you to go. It's just with. a couple of. Oops, hang on. Just, a, just couple. a couple of flowers to pop on this one. Wait till you see this, though. You know when I put the toppers on, because most people will know that I'm not somebody who uses printed toppers. But you know when you've got a quick card to make. Oh uh, yeah. And yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is a relatively quick card. What's took me the longest on this is actually the flowers, um, because the shape and the flowers and everything. Right. Yeah, there's quite a few in this. So in, I've got in the, the actual, yeah, in, in well, there's there, only six on that. I've been a bit yep. tired. I can't believe I've only done six. Normally I'd do eight. So I'm, I'm fuming with myself there. <laughs> so we've got here the um, uh, fabulous four and a dice. I'm just going to snip off the bottom swirly bit. And I'm going to tuck that underneath there. That's looking and this, really this nice. This is that. why I'm so pedantic with the magazines when I'm working with Practical. They are very good, I'm going to say. Uh, they never, ever come back to me and say, Say we know. <laughs> I think they've just learned actually, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not that they didn't want to. I'm going to a bit didn't. more glue on that. Um, be because I'm, I'm, I want it right for everybody else at home. Of it's course. no good. It's no good me saying, "Oh yeah, that that'll that'll do." Is not words you hear no. me say very often. No, no. Just put that back on. And I think testament as well to how quickly. You know, yeah. this, this particular edition that's going out so quickly is because a lot of people would have trusted you on the first, yeah. the second, the third and the fourth edition and will come back in and have been waiting for the fifth. Are you ready, look? So we're now just going to cover that middle bit up. So we've that's taken that embossing folder. Uh, look at my rubbish cutting out there. That should be glittered, but I ain't got time for that. Um, that's, so yeah. we've now taken that embossing folder look and made it look completely different just by doing some matting and layering with my circle dies and the topper. This is just one of the toppers that is in that kit. And if I don't, if I, I don't mind saying it myself, but I think that card is fab. That looks so fabulous. I'm just going to pop in a couple of the caramel pearls. Uh, they've all, you've also got some toppers with best wishes. You've got the sending love. You've got relax and enjoy your day. Uh, you're the best. Happy birthday. Thinking of you. Some really lovely Happy ones birthday. in there for your, for your toppers to work with. Always part of those that are actually included in Look it. Look at this really colour. Nice. Look at this. Oh, 80% of the pearls, by the way, have gone. And look how well it looks with the natural yeah. craft cardstock and the green tones. I love these pearls. And that's it. Demo number two. Oh, I tell you. 
Okay. Right. And it's a cracker. It, oh, can well. we get a chair for me, by the way, to sit down within a second? Because it's if we do get this second one done... But how fab is that? that is so, brilliant. So from the actual box kit, I've used the, the um, Urban Textures paper. Down. I've used one topper. There's about 30 in there. And I've used the embossing folder. I've not actually used any of the stamps from that. No. So you've changed that again and used the stamps for your background rather than the embossing folder. You've got at least 41 different ways to make that Absolutely. card. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Um, over right, to you give, for a sec. Give, give Phil uh, 30 seconds to reset for his second uh, full project as well to do for you uh, in this area. Right, we're approaching half the stock of the monthly mega deal um, and only into the uh, second hour. Um, it's supposed to last a month. Mm. Mm. Um, I'll leave that one with you. Um, all I would say is get it. When, when you start to break it down, I suppose it's all those things. Sometimes you can take for granted, can't we, that some, some of the offers that you've had from Phil in the past. When you look at the bundle, when you put it all together, there is so much in there. But when you break it down, if again you think about all of those wonderful stamps that you're looking at, that on an A4 with all those, and as, as we mentioned earlier, there's some sizable stamps in there to work with. You've got those ones, the smaller ones of the A6, you know, etc. You know, those little ones again, 41 stamps in total. How much would you spend just on a set of three of those? How much would you spend on the embossing? How much would you spend on the, uh, the sentiments that go with those as well? There is so much in there, the embossing folder, the dies, all of those stamps. Then you start to break that down and think, okay, what I will pay for, the, the mechanics of that. Then there's the beautiful papers that, that, again, are all part of that that you're seeing on the inside of these. And again, these are beautiful. We've got the, you know, the, the, uh, the musical notes uh, that are in here, which are absolutely beautiful. So you've got the, the musical notes, you know, just some really lovely. You've got, I did say there's a lots in here as well. If you're again working for your mail projects, uh, so you've got the footballs in here. We've got the beauty. I love that one, actually, with the script uh, that's in there with the little blotches uh, that work through. More of the toppers. Again, a lot of the toppers that will work with the colours of the papers that are already in here, uh, male, sort of female. Again, the musical notes. So there's so much, again, that will work hand in hand with the stamps that have been chosen for you to go with it. Here's some of the other ones, again, what, uh, that Phil's just been working with. Um, they, they're absolutely uh, uh, amazing. And I was just looking through, because you don't get many chances to see a lot of the male projects. I know Phil doesn't want to show too much of the project, but I have to say, I think one of my best, best pieces I've seen it is the trophy project is, uh, I, I, I'm only going to show it briefly, there, the pro, the, because I thought, <laughs> when I got to that, then there was the beer bottle cover. I mean, hello, uh, you go, <laughs> better than the one I've had from, I don't know, I, the one I always get is always someone at the bank doing fishing. I've never been fishing in my life. Um, and yeah, every year it, there's one that comes out. But that is that, some genius projects that you, not only would you use that trophy one, for example, it could just be for, for Father's Day, but that could be anything on a congratulations on any award that you've been given for any sporting, for anybody, for any age that you can change, but you've got the basic. They're not just simple projects to work on. You've actually got 74 inspirational projects on there, plus, we haven't even talked about the uh, limited edition paper pack as well that comes with all of that, which is absolutely phenomenal. There are 40 sheets in there that you expect the quality that you're going to be getting. Uh, so all of that in there. And if we said £26, bar a few pence, you go, yeah, that's a lovely deal. But you know what? It's not. It's £6 off of that price that takes it to un the right side of £20. Uh, that's why now we're approaching half of the stock and we're only into our second live hour for you. 822154 is your item code. Go for these whilst you've got the opportunity to go for it because if you've got the first four, you know you need the fifth. If you haven't got the first four, get the fifth and make sure you don't miss out on them going forward from then because there's so much. Uh, let's give you a quick update also on the pearls and we're going to go straight back as well. We are approaching limited stock and you're going to get all three Three, you're going to get the caramel, the pewter, and the porcelain for you. Absolutely beautiful. Over 550 or so in each one of those. They're all variable different sizes, but they give a lovely effect, as you saw on that last project that Phil just done for you. 491507, £16.47. pence. Again, you don't need many of those to make a big impression, do you? Okay, ready, everybody? Ten minutes. Phil, over to you. <laughs> Dead easy. Oh, wow. Dead easy. <laughs> right, let's just show you where I'm at. So this this is actually one of the quickest ones. So I'm just going to show you what I've done so far. 
I say, do you know when I say it's one of the quickest ones, it's never usually quick. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you what I've done. This is quite card heavy. So I've got here my white card blank uh, base, which is 19 by 19. And then I've got here, I'm just giving, I don't know whether you can see the colours very well at home. Um, this is the new emerald pool and it is absolutely stunning. Mm. And I've got it teamed up here with the electric blue. There you go. Yeah. How gorgeous are those two colours That's together? Nice. And the reason I've done that is because I've got some dragonflies for this one. And ah. I've coloured them. Can you see, look, we've got we've got a bluey, greeny, iridescent mm. tint on there. They've not been glittered yet. So I've got my top layer to go on, but we've got the white. And we're going to create a little um, inky background. I'm just going to change this to my other mat. Uh, yes, yeah, so the pick and mix we have for you, by the way, if you want to go for uh, for the stock, absolutely brilliant. Make your way over to thecraftstore.com and on that, and they're all there for you. Choose the four packs. Uh, to go for as well. And you've got loads of different shades in there from your lavender meadow, your candy pink, you've got your deep plum, uh, your tar, oh, I like that one, your, your, your tarp is blue. Oh, right There's definitely over 40. Ah, they're, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Uh, fabulous fuchsia. Uh, there's a huge amount in there for you to go for. Uh, absolutely fantastic. If you're looking for the <laughs> brand new ones, right at the bottom. Keep on scrolling, keep on scrolling. When you think you've gone far enough, go a bit further uh, and then you'll come across them. So there is your Emerald Pool and the new Rust that we talk about as well. So all there on the website. Go for those ones on the Pick and Mix. Uh, that will give you 20 sheets in total. £25.96. 370-835. Phil, I won't say how long you've got left. <laughs> you don't right, OK. So we're just going to create a little inky background for this, for the dragonflies to sit onto. So I've used two pens from uh, different sets. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I honestly can't tell you because I've got all mine in in colour order. Oops. <coughs> I'm just finding the green. I've got a green somewhere. Here it is. So I'm doing the the first one now. If you watch Julia, Julia likes to do all that and get it nice and even. I don't want this even. I want it to be kind of splodgy and and heavy. But I am just going to pick it up in areas. Just like that because that's exactly what I want it to do because it's just going in the background so I've used less water as you can see trust me it will be fab once we've done look at that you're like what's he doing <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to take the blue off there I'm just going to go in with some green these are both quite dark colors but obviously when the water's down you get a lovely mm. watery effect mm. so I forgot my little water mister I think oh I have got it here so I'll make it a little bit wetter for this one yeah, so I'm not being particular where this is going. I'm literally just picking it up and using the colour. This is uh, such a lovely effect you get from this, but oh, so, it's so, so easy. easy but I mean, get... look at that look already. Yeah. Can you see the green in there? And you can just keep going and keep going until you've got it exactly the way you want it. And this is all I want. So I've just chosen two colours. That'll do nicely, thank you. Uh, I've just chosen two colours from my pens that were that were blue and green that match the cardstock. It's the same two that I used to colour the butterflies. You notice I changed my mat for this. Mm. These are not on the show, but they will be on the website. So my blended mats are absolutely the best thing for doing picky up inky things. Picky up inky things, you know <laughs> what I meant? Uh, rather than the brown one, because you can see where the colour is. I see, yeah. I'm just cleaning it because you know I like to be... Nice you feel, you've got time, you're showing off now, you've got time to spare. <laughs> <laughs> nice and clean. I'm just going to give this a quick blast if uh, that's okay. all right. Well, we have got the uh, the mats actually, they are there from the website if you want to have a little look at that. 31.96 if you want to go, that's the A3 and A4, these are non-slip. Uh, your non-stick, the heat resistant as well for those sheets, and your 9 by 9 inch and 30 by 40 centimetres blending mats. It's a whole bundle there for you. Item code is 750908 uh, for just £31.96. So, absolutely brilliant bumper pack, actually, for all of that. Uh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Also, a quick update on the pearls for you. They are limited stock. They are limited stock and there's no more of those that's coming uh, as it stands. 491507, uh, first come, first served on those last few that are available for you. So, obviously, because I've now heated this, it goes a little bit, ooh, a little bit warped. So, what I would do if I was doing this at home is I would pop it onto the layer and I would shove it underneath my mat. In fact, I might still do that while we're doing the dragonflies. Five minutes should be enough, I'm just get that in place. 
But you see the difference just doing that, mm. just doing that little ink technique. So this, I'm, I'm going to put it underneath my mat just while we're doing the dragonflies because it will hold it all in place. So I've not got time to do this now because <laughs> because I I'm not going to have time. So I'm just going to show you what I've done here. I've stamped the dragonfly eight times and I've cut it out so I can give it four wings. Yeah, and I've just put glossy accents. Where are we? I've just put glossy accents down the body of the middle one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and now I'm not going to glitter this because it's... I, I love dragonflies, and I'm not going to glitter it because you could use this for anybody without the glitter on. That's true, yeah. I've got some moon dust on the top layer, but I'm not going to glitter the dragonflies. So I'm just going to open the wings, look, and now it makes them different to how the stamp... how the stamp looks. It gives them loads and loads yes. of texture. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. So let's just open these up. And I've just got to stamp my sentiment matter layer. Four demos. <laughs> just, I'm going to mention as well, just in case you didn't see the launch show, there are no more box kits for me to add. So once this stock has gone, um, oh. I, I can't be adding. I've got none to add, so it will be gone. And as you know, Practical Publishing only do one print run. So once they've gone, that's it. They've got yeah, that's it. That's it. it you've been so warned. I'm just going to pop that on. So can you see how the moon dust glitter around the edge actually works really, really well? I keep going on about moon dust, it's my new favourite, because it's fine. It goes really, really well with the blue tones as that's well, nice, the blue and green it? tones. Yeah. Can we see that? There we are, that's Just, lovely. That's if lovely I wiggle it a little that. bit. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It's a lovely soft, mm. um, a soft purpley colour. So in the middle, I've got some circles that I've die cut from my double debossed uh, circles. And I'm going to do this one because I really like this sentiment. It says, happy. <gasps> you told me five. They've just told me in my ear three minutes, so I better be quick with it. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's just said, you t I told you five, two, two minutes ago. <laughs> it's now gone down to three. Happiness blooms from within. Just love that. And it could, it could mean, it could mean anything. It could mm. be for any occasion. So let's get this layered up while that one's drying. And then the dragonflies are going to form a circle uh -oh. around, around this. So quickly layering up. Don't tell me when I've got 40 seconds. Scott, if you want to do anything while I'm just sticking circles on, okay. is that all right? I will, I will let people know where we're up to. Uh, we are an update where we're now at half the stock now has been allocated and, and it is a big stock let's make no bones about that because it is for a monthly mega deal and for half that to go basically in just two hours of live broadcast it just goes to show you the demand that there is for this complete package uh, the saving is is massive on there when you think about what you're getting but there is so much in that bundle so just remind let me remind you again because i've got a feeling feels going to go up to the wire eight double two <laughs> one five four is the important item code Please, please, please do not miss out on that because there is so much. And it's one of those, I think, when you open that box up and it all comes out for you, you'll look at that and you're going to go, wow, do you know what? It seems even more when it's in your hand you get for under £20 than when you saw it on the telly. So good luck, but half the stock has now been allocated. Um, there is so much in there. You've got one minute and 30 seconds, Phil. I've done. Oh, well, look. Effectively. Look. Can we just jot this down, done, everyone? Jot the date down. I'm just going to hold that down in place. That looks beautiful. Uh, well, if I'm honest with you, Scott, and people who know me will know this, if I'd got more time, I would be stamping some of those textures over the top of the background, because why well, have all these gorgeous stamps if you're not going to make use yeah, of them? Yeah, I know what you mean. But, you know, for a man's card, a man who may be fishing like you do, Scott... <laughs> <laughs> Dragonflies. Can I, can I just say, I mean, I think that's fab. That is gorgeous. Absolutely and, gorgeous. And that's just, that's just using two, that's two stamps. Wow. Two stamps. The yeah. possibilities from this box kit are absolutely phenomenal. They really because, are. Because, and I know I keep going on about it, but best 20 quid. Oh, d oh definitely. Well, for value can for I just, money, you can can't Can I just say, well. four demos. I'm just putting it out there. Jot it down. Because <laughs> you you're not in tomorrow, are you? No, Julia's in Julia tomorrow. Is... Julia's taking over for me tomorrow morning at eight. You've just laid the gauntlet down <laughs> <laughs> and said, I'll wait to say, just beat that. Yeah, see so how we go. Uh, Phil, thank you so Yo, much. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, everybody. You'll love these.
Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. We always love when you come to the show Thank and you. everything you bring. So, uh, brilliant. Please make sure you check out those baskets, everybody, so you do get those as well. I'm sure you'll agree. Fantastic demonstrations. Even if it's just one from Phil, they're always brilliant. I uh, hope you've enjoyed that. Don't go anywhere. I'm back with you on the other side of this. See you in a minute. Oh, get ready, everybody. I've got another lovely live hour now with Karen here from Paper Rose Studio. We're going to be with you, which is going to be lovely. And then, of course, you'll be able to see Phil again with Sentimentally Yours as well. And also got the Pergamano show to come. Did you know you can continue watching The Craft Store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand, whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board will share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork.
to make sure you don't miss the studio light shows. Evening all, welcome back. Um, lovely to be with... Oh, look, I haven't got my name and everything in case I forgot who I was. <laughs> I did over it every time. I don't pay any attention. <laughs> Was it spelled correctly? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Um, doesn't matter. I get all sorts. Waterfield, waterfall. Uh, let's see if we can spell Karen's name as well correctly. Hi, Karen. Hi. How are you? Is that oh, spelled correctly? Oh, look at that. Oh. Wicked. Oh, I feel important now. Yeah. They said, hey, you, you, you look lovely. You changed since earlier on. Well, yeah, I thought I'd need to freshen up a little bit. I'd been all day in that. You have been. Honestly, what time was your first show this morning? It was 10 o'clock this morning. For, OK, so yeah. you've, had a, you've had a long old day with it. And, and you I've had a lot of breaks in between, but yeah, I know, so you I know. Did, that gin yeah. bottle's gone down and ill. I see that. That's taken a bit of a hit. It's not. No, not the gin. Bacardi, yeah, but not yeah. gin. <laughs> I've only got two miles to walk to the hotel. <laughs> I can't wait for this hour. <laughs> I bet you can't either. Uh, right then, Karen. Um, I look like I've got here with um, with tools galore that are going to really help get some absolutely amazing amazing things to be able to work with on these Ace. and from the whole name of paper rose as well just tell us a little bit about quality because i know we've got quality in here but the company the business and how long you've been involved with working with them right so uh stuart from oakwood archer is the yep. distributor for for um Paper Rose. Yes. Paper Rose are based in Australia. He orders from there. It gets brought over here, popped on a show, and everything's in stock. Once right. it's sold out, he, on the usual basis, he will reorder it, but it can be a 14-day oh, right. delayed, yeah. Yeah. delayed stock. Australia, yeah. Tonight, we've got um, a sort of a, a sale show. Okay. So it's reduced reduced prices on items that have already been on been on the TV, and if they were a little bit out of your range on that day, then yeah, that then it's it's time. They're right. a fabulous die. They're really hard wearing, and uh, I do find they go through some really nice heavy mediums. I'm not saying that they'll go through like like butter some of them are so intricate that you need to go through twice okay okay that's but fair. i would never ever say that oh yeah it's like butter i would tell you if yeah. it takes me two or three goes to go through of course you have to take your die cutting machine into consideration whether yeah. it's new one or an old one i'm fortunate i've got a new one um but i the the, the ones that we've got on the show are just fantastic for Brilliant. The basis of all your card yeah, making yeah, and, 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 and scrapbooking. Well, when you when you start to see what we go, I'm looking at the first bundle here to give you an idea. But when you start to look at what you can create with these, I mean, they are absolutely beautiful. So what we're looking at here to start with, by the way, you're getting all three of these particular dies of the circuit here. One, two and three of the circuit laid background dies. And they are simply beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous what you'll be able to create with these. And just as you heard from Karen saying, this is great because we are, there's a lot of money off on this particular show. So do take advantage of these savings as well. Now, each one of these individually that was available for it has a £5 saving on them individually. So you've got £15 saving if you were to go for those three individually. But as this particular bundle, that money's carried over. Plus, you're also going to be saving another further £7 on top of that. So this is why we mean that really is going to make a big, big difference to your personal, to your wallet, when you start breaking this down individually to go for the complete bundle. It's always a lot, lot lower price for yourself if you go for the complete package so this one now you're looking at only 34.97 if you want to go for these but they are really lovely actually i've got the three of them actually as cut out as individuals so you can sort of see how they work are you going to be work working with this one in the demonstration I'm for the hour working. this one in the demonstration we yes. love we love <laughs> you repeated exactly i love that um i love that i'm uh, just nine... horrifying it it's late at night i, I need i need guiding <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she, I, I will do my best to guide. Nine four one five seven four thirty four ninety seven, and uh, Karen is going to do a little demo for us on those ones as well as we work as we work through those. Uh, right, let's carry on then with the back ground die that we've got for you here actually this is your quarter foil layer uh, that you're going to get and this this is phenomenal i talk about beauty uh, intricate and beautiful it's stunning it certainly it is it is definitely it's 
it's uh, it's part of a set, but uh, as 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 um, Scott. <laughs> Stuart normally oh. does, he will divide it. No. I was a bit worried. <laughs> 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 My teeth have been trained for a dog, don't worry about that. <laughs> Stuart normally puts them in two, uh, he'll put them singularly and someone may have the quatrefoil layer one, but layer two, it stands alone. The thing with the quatrefoils and the layers, they always stand alone. You don't have to have all of them. Oh, OK. Um, but okay. it's a lovely Moroccan style. It's, it's very, lovely. very popular. Um, just cut out and look at that one that Sam has done there. It's, it's beautiful. She's cut it out and it is in detail, but she's still been able to ink over it. Yes. Yeah, but it's the detail actually in it, like you say, that you can you can see that detail that goes through. It's a really lovely. And in fact, on that one, just what it goes with the, with the mum wording on there and the colours, that's all you need on that because it it's, is enough in there already, isn't there? Yes, it is. And I uh, I did a little bit of research and quarter, and the reason it's called a quatrefoil is you know the inside part. There's four edges to it, and that is the quatro. Oh, OK. Oh, yeah. Well, the quatrefoil. Yeah. So I do do research. I read, you know, sometimes. <laughs> I never doubted it. I know, and if I did, I'd never tell you. 761204, uh, 1049, because you've got a saving on here again. Another further £4.50 saving on this one. So 1049, really, really, really nice. Like that. I think that is absolutely great. 761204. Are you doing the show? Are you, are you all right? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm spot on. Yeah, know. I'm just making sure that I've got everything because when I come to demo sometimes, it's like, oh, what have I done with that? And I'm just getting myself set up. <laughs> Psyched up. Uh, she, I know. I can feel it. Uh, <laughs> right. Now, this is great, actually, because I was looking at this and thinking, how does this one work in, actually? This is the beautiful, fantastic, the strip frame drive when you look at uh, this one. But... This is great. I'm like, almost like uh, stained uh, stain glass window sort of feel about that, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's got a, it's got a, um, a stamp behind it that's been coloured in. It is a frame, it cuts as the frame, but don't forget, uh, all I've done there is put it onto acetate and stuck it down onto acetate oh. and made a shaker card out of it. However, don't forget that you can use the bits in, in from it. So this is the... So, oh, I see. So on here we've got the original die cut that's been shown uh, to, to work with as well. But then, when you turn it around, taking it out from it, we're using all the segments on the inside. And it's, it's a, wonk, to... a wonky street. That yeah. is fantastic, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's my quirky brain sometimes. I, I, I think that's absolutely brilliant because, like you say, I mean, or, or every, you don't waste anything, do we? Everyone uses all the parts that are there for you. That is really, really, really nice. I love that. And um, actually, when you work it as well and sort of see it, you know, it's, it's just a lovely sort of geometrics, all those different shapes work. In fact, to hold that out so you can actually see the uh, the offcuts from that as well as the actual frame itself. Uh, really nice. That one. £5 saving on this as well for you tonight. £13.99 only now from that one. So it's down from £19, give a penny, to £13.99. I really love that quirky street. I think that's absolutely yeah. brilliant. That, what Karen? about getting a 6 before photo and popping it through and then a the black one and popping all the the bits back into the black frame? Oh, and so what, up. You know, if you've got a monotone, a monotone app, with and you want to start making I like photos that. that's a beautiful idea to do that with your photos really nice idea you great use of that one actually 13.99 for that uh, right okay talk about making a big impression let's have a look at this i'll go straight in with the with this uh, the, uh, the wonderful background again to work with on here but th this is really vivid and really eye-catching isn't it it certainly it certainly is yeah it's a beautiful one it's it's uh, it's a grid what is it what is it called graph paper is it called graph paper, if I'm yes, right? Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, graph yes. paper. So um, what I have done is, don't forget the for mixed media. I've done one there that is plain and simple. You can see the background. But tear into it. Add two or three together. Make mixed media from it. The, the beauty of these paper rose dies is they are uh, a bit of coloured card behind it, a, coloured, um, a piece of coloured paper that you've already got that yeah. you've not had to do. Yeah. Put them on and put something in the forefront, a greeting, and you've got nice, quick, easy um, cards there. I love that because what I can do with that is I've got, I've got some of, uh, you know, Barbara Gray's mask yeah, it. Yeah. I've cut that out and I've been, you can mask through it. But also when I'm doodling, I can, if I've cut a couple out, stuck them together, I can use the inside to do a graph 
on my doodling and oh, the corners okay. and, and stencil through idea. it and ink through it. So it's a die cut, it's not just a die cut. No. It's yeah, work it's with it as well. It's the start. It yeah. can be a tool as well. Re yeah, really good advice. Yeah, another saving on this one, as we said. There's loads and loads of money discounted for in this hour. 13.99 only. 590.833. And the great thing is, uh, you know, with any one of these that we've looked at so far, like you say, and it's really quite simply to run those through to get them out, and you're pretty much got 50% of your car done if you were doing these, because it's done a load of the work for you. And whatever yeah. one you looked at, they've all been eye-catching. And they're all substantial weight of, of, of metal, if you look at them, uh, um, the, the, the cuts, the dies themselves. So if you've got little pieces knocked into it, you know, just whack it and it'll all come out. But, uh, yeah, really good quality dies yeah. as well. Yeah. So I find that, uh, might, as I said earlier, it might have to go through twice, but yes. I can get through thicker cardstock. Right, right. That's a really good point as well. Let's, uh, let's look at this next section we got here. Now this one is under £10. It's 9 99 if you want to work on this. But really like the way that this divides off actually because you're getting a lot in here. I think Cheryl's done this for us as well. Really, really nice. Uh, lovely sort of way of framing them up. But <laughs> I love this. How cute is that as well? A little doggy saying, believe. But very, very pretty, you know, to sort of work on that sort of window feel uh, that we're looking at there. Don't worry, be happy. I've got a song in my head now. Um, we'll have that all the way through. Uh, and Cheryl's also done this. Again, we talked earlier on, actually, with Phil, we talked about that sort of that natural sort of card feeling with it. But that looks so, so nice with that. Works really nicely. 405023, uh, if you'd like to go for that one. Again, 999, really good price point on that. Really good. Uh, the... This one's gonna. This one's got to be very, very popular because I think this is great. Actually, when you start talking about your, the, the bees, for example, this is lovely on this. Uh, the whole set. You're getting two dies in total uh, that will work on these ones, uh, but really, really, really good actually to, to actually have. And of course, you've got the the cutout from that also that will work. So I mean, this is this again really lovely shapes yeah, to be working. That's, well, that's with. how you can make your aperture cards if you're doing a bee card or you, um, earlier I'd got the bees on with Oakwood Archer that you can shrink down into shrink plastic i never got around to actually doing that but you do the aperture card put that to the cut out behind it yeah raise the part that you've cut out of as a mat and layer put the little bees into it that you've uh, shrunk down and you've got a shaker card that's oh yeah of course yeah, no, really, really nice on this. That uh, one there, it's not a particular card, it's just a demo. What I've, yeah. got, I've done, you know, the double-sided sheets that you can purchase? Yes, yeah. That's a double-sided sheet, and I've used the die to cut that and then put gilding flakes, gilding foil over the top. Like that. That's lovely. But it shows how, how that it will cut other part, other things other yeah. than cards. Yes, oh, I see. Yes, yeah. Uh, 1049, uh, it's got a £4.50 saving on this as well. 837120. Gorgeous, those. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, right. Lastly, um, we have for you on the counter to sort through, then we are going to get to Karen for some more lovely demonstrations here. We've got actually, we've got a brilliant set here. Gives you 10 stamps and it gives you six dies in total. I, I think sets like this that work together is always really clever and really useful as well, isn't it? And a, a stamp and a die set. I, I love a stamp set than a die set to match it. Yeah. Because I can choose then to do a flat uh, stamping uh, project or I can add dimension to right, it as I well. I see, I see. You, yep. can, you can do it, you can do it, raise it up and as you can see they stamp onto the uh, the cutouts, the die cuts yeah, really they do beautifully. beautifully. Really, really nicely actually. I did a wreath with that uh, leaf and it wasn't until I got here I realised I'd left it at home but I did a massive wreath oh. and I stamped loads out and cut, cut them all out and it was a really dimensional wreath and then I realised that, oh hang on, what a dip, I've forgotten it. Oh no. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Next time, next time. Next time. Next time. Uh, but really, really lovely little set this actually to work with. Again, I think you'll agree. But uh, beautiful to colour again and, and to work with if you wanted to. Let me show you one more here, which I think is really beautiful. Very, very pretty as well. Christina's done this one. Um, but fantastic this. This has got a huge, huge saving, by the way. I think almost in some ways, they're one of the biggest savings actually. £17 saving on this particular set. Like I say, that's 10 stamps for that price and also six dies at work with it so that's down down to the right side of 20 pounds 1998 400 
457 is your item code there. They're all there, they're all on the website, of course, and lots more in this hour. Have a check out on the website, uh, thecraftstore.com. Uh, but if you want to take advantage, if you've missed out in the past, or you've not actually seen this, uh, this particular brand before on the show, do take advantage when there's money off across the show. Uh, right then, Kelly, so we're going to start off with our first set of the three. I'm going to start off, well, the three are, they're individual, yeah. or they're all, or the all three together. So I'm going to start off with this one here. This is the top layer. I don't know whether they, lay, they know it as one, two, the, one yeah, of them one, is two one, and two, three. and three. Yeah. But I'm not quite sure whether this is the number one or the number two. If we that's can, that's number one we got there. That's number yeah. one. They can know sometimes they layer it up, they number it oh, from the bottom yeah, I upwards. Got you. Yeah. I got you. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to pop it through my die cutting machine. Nice to have a brand from Australia as well. We don't have any brands from Australia coming through, do we? We've had paper rolls for absolutely ages. Yeah, it's great. Um, it was, um, oh, it was Catherine that started off for doing paper rolls with Stuart. So you can imagine how long it's uh, paper rolls as Stuart's been doing paper rolls. Uh, yeah, because Catherine's really young. <laughs> no, but she's been presenting for two years. I know, I just in case Catherine years. was watching, I thought I'd just try and butter her up a little bit more. You've been buttering everybody up today, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, <laughs> have you noticed? You were buttering me up uh, as well. I know, well, you know, I, 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 was, I was accorded as an emergency cover, um, so I thought, well, why not just use a whole day to just butter people up? <laughs> and it's great, been, you know, and it's been a pleasure. That I've missed Ailey, don't get me wrong, because I love to see Ailey. But it's been a pleasure. Aww. So, you know that we had the 250 on earlier on? Yes. This is the 250 that I'm using from oh, the right. er oh, okay. earlier show. And I've also got 270 as well from Stuart's earlier show. But do you see how... That's falling out. Just falling out, yeah. hasn't it? And I did put it into the middle of the, the machine. Yeah, I've not got an old machine, but uh, it's... Uh, it's cut nicely. It, it's cut absolutely beautifully. Put that to one side, and what we'll do is we'll get we'll cut each one of them out anyway. And now you would think, oh, well, what are you going to do with that? What are you going to do with that? Pop it on a card and then put something at the side of it. You can simply do that if you wish to. Got that. You can yeah, simply nice. just pop that onto it there with a black, uh, a yellow. We've got yellow in the yellow. This is the yellow from the stamp set. That I've just popped it, and you could put that there, put a flower or sort of some diamantes in the corner. That's a beautiful, uh, a beautiful card. They, a lovely, they are nice actually quite mind-boggling when you look at them. The way that they work, I think, like you say, that's why they work alone already so nicely because you look at it and you go that's really intricate how do you do that because you've seen those things where they do those shapes. You see those on a big scale where they have people with the paint pots on rope, and they have like just the cloth laid out and then and they it, swing the paint and because of the natural goes, way that it goes you it, get these kind of spiral shapes. Spirograph. Yes, yes. I love that as a child. Oh yeah, it's brilliant. Oh, I remember I loved that it. as a child. I've, I've been trying to get older one lately and I've not, not been oh. able to get one. I would love a spirograph. But, it's the, they're, but, but they're, yeah. they're lovely images, aren't they? Yes. Well, I think these are such it's, lovely sets. It, yes, I like, sh I like shapes. Yes, shapes. I do sorry. like yeah. shapes. Yeah. So all I'm going to do with this one is uh, make sure I've got the centre and I'm just going to cut through it. Shouldn't pull it so hard as that. I didn't cut it on this cutter before. And then I'm going to get the centre there. And I can point the centre out because that's where the circle overlaps and that bit part there. If I line those parts up in the center down the line, but use this to do it a little bit better, I'm actually getting corners. Uh, oh, yeah, nicely used, yes. Yeah. And there we go. Don't pull so hard, Karen, because it's uh, one of these blades. I'm going to do that a little bit by hand because I'm pulling at it. Right. Oh, what have I done with scissors? It is late, Scott. I am, I'm, I'm allowed to lose scissors. Uh, yeah, oh, you've had a very, very busy day. <laughs> go on, go on. Let me milk it. You have. Go I'm on. I'm going to milk it. Go on. If you want to have a lie down, there's a chair behind. <laughs> I'd probably fall off no. it. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not heading back home tonight, are you? You're... I'm not. No, 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 no. So I've got, uh, I've got my um, Okinawa glue. 
that I have popped into John Nixdoor's um, dispensers. Right. I did say it. I got the words out. I, I didn't interrupt. You didn't interrupt. You let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> well, the last time I did, I got it wrong. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything like typical man, am no. I? <laughs> yeah. But you just did. I mean, and it's fine. Did I? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realise I said that out loud. <laughs> Got to keep each other awake tonight. Oh, so. yeah. 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 And I'm just bobbing that into the corner there. Not take me two minutes to finish this one and stick it together and no, you'll be fine. able it's to lovely. see. So it's even though it is a circle die and it can be used all in one, don't forget you can also cut a circle down. It has 360 degrees in the middle, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you cut it into 90 degrees, that makes four corners. If you cut it into eight, that makes them 45 degree angles and you can make oh, other things oh, with course. it. You could. Uh, Put, do a, put them into triangles. If it's a 45 degree triangle, you could decorate triangles with it. As you gather, I like I like math sums. As you gather. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I do like my math. Can you get the math sum in countdown? Oh yeah, oh. yeah. Can't get the words because, as you know, I can't speak properly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be a good team then, I think. Yeah, do I can't the do the words, but the, 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 a piece of paper and do, 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 and I've usually yeah. done it before then, <laughs> but not, not the words. Oh. And I usually end up with uh, something not, uh, not right on the word anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think I tend to look for the wrong word. <laughs> My mum oh. once went there, you know, to count down. Did she? She did, yeah. She met, uh, oh, he's gone now, when Carol Vorderman were there. Him that used to be on that uh, news programme. It's like a uh, calendar. <laughs> um, oh. Oh. oh, he's gone now. He's well gone, but <laughs> it's, it must be 50. <gasps> what, which must be about 15. He was a newsreader for, for calendar. He used to wear glasses. And Carol oh, Ford was on doesn't it. wear glasses. Yeah. Somebody will know. Um, My mum will be screaming, I think. <laughs> they're check I think they're checking it right now. Yeah. He was the very first guy been, that did it. There's been a few presenters. He was the very first one. He was the oh, one the that originated first. Oh, it. yes, I know. Now, what was his name? Yes, what's his surname? Yeah, Richard Whiteley. That's the one. My uh, mum met him. Oh. Yeah, she went to see him. Yeah, so he did it for many years. He did he? it for many years, yeah. Blimey. Both him and my auntie Barbara went one day and, oh, they come back with, like, coasters and all sorts, oh, you know. Oh, they like, what, they nicked them? No, they oh. got given little <laughs> souvenirs. <laughs> did they get invited back? <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to take a bite next day to apologise. <laughs> Uh, let me see the, uh, the the fruits of your... Oh, there we go. But that doesn't look anything like the dye that we've got, does no, it? It no. doesn't. And that's what's lovely, actually, about that, isn't it? But, uh, you know, when, when, you, when you work with it in the different angles and the yeah. shapes that you can go yeah. with and create yeah. that. But I really like so that. If you ever get one stuck in a dye and you haven't cut it properly, remember, just cut it in half. Put yeah, it onto off. two... Uh, Two fronts, and you could have a, a on a, a gatefold card. Uh, oh, yeah, they'd be perfect for those. Perfect actually, for wouldn't gatefold they? cards, really nice definitely. Way of with yeah. them. Uh, Karen, thank you very much. Oh, hang on, we've had an email. We've had an email. Get her off. Send them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you go to pre-record, please? Uh, what was that? Who's the email from? Oh, the lovely Catherine Sturrock. Oh, bless you, Catherine. I uh. Oh, please tell Scott that his buttering up is working. <laughs> She's in on the gin. Uh, so, uh, Catherine, thank you. Thanks for it. Oh, lovely. Catherine, what are you doing? What, what, what are you doing? What are you up to this Friday night, sitting there watching Karen and myself there? Um, her ears were burning when you mentioned Catherine earlier on. Uh, lovely Catherine. Oh, when's Catherine back in? Let's find out so we can, uh, we can build her up again as well. I've still got my knitted, crocheted um, little uh, mug warmer. I do love it. Now you are buttering up. Is, is it, I think Catherine's got a show on Monday, isn't it? I think, isn't it? Oh, Which, she has, and she's just got Monday. buttons. Yeah, this Monday. Sugar buttons, definitely. Yes. Uh, get hooked on sugar buttons this Monday. I don't know what time. What's the time? Anyone know the timing? Is it ten o'clock? 
10 o'clock Monday morning. She'll be fabulous, isn't she? There's she nothing is that fabulous. lady can't do. I know, it's There's true. Nothing it that is. lady can't do. Uh, I tell you, if you do sit in a green room with Catherine as well, she's always beavering away working on something, you know, as a scarf or it was a crocheted egg warmer. <laughs> I think it was an egg warmer. You mean, or was it a hat for you? It was a <laughs> <laughs> Got me on back, Catherine, for you. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, <laughs> you could have well have been, actually. I think I did model something like that for her. Well, I just popped it on there. Because I, I don't know if you noticed, I've got a little ball patch coming. Uh, right. Uh, Catherine, Monday, 10 o'clock. Uh, absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Right, paper rose, everybody. Let's take you back down because uh, uh, Karen's getting ready for another demonstration for you. Uh, this is, if you want to go for the bundle, each one of these individually has a £5 saving on those individually. But if you're going to go for the bundle all together, those £5 savings individually are carried over. Plus there's then an additional £7 saving on top of that. So you're looking at £34.97 now. But as you've seen, the versatility of them working on just that one particular die that we were looking at with Karen there. But when you start to ingle, mingle, uh, intermingle, intermingle, inter yeah, intermingle with them. Yeah. When you start to mix them up. Safer. Uh, they can, again, they can, who knows what you They can be put. layered one, two, three as numbers. Yes, they can be but layered. But don't forget, you can put them in any situation that you want to. We like that. We yeah. like that. The your dies when you get them home. You, 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 I tell you, tell you what I do when I get something like that. I'll cut one of each out or two of each out, black and a white one, and then I just throw them up. Yeah. And whatever lands on floor, you can see I like. a, a pattern and a shape. And that can give you the inspiration. She, she's laughing at me, but I do, honest. That's the best way to get your inspiration. Cut your die cuts out, throw them up on your desk and see what lands. Yes. <laughs> uh, you can, yes, you can. <laughs> I'm coming back to you in a second. I'm coming back to you in a second. Karen. Oh, I'm so excited just to be talking with you, that's all. <laughs> Friday night. Uh, right. 34.97, 941.574. Should we carry on down? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we can get up down. It's, it's going well. It's going well. It's going well. It's going well. Uh, 761204 is your uh, quarterfoil layer. Oh, I really like this one. Absolutely beautiful. Very grand, actually, on that. Really, really lovely. Uh, am I right in thinking it's almost got like a Tudor feel as well about this? Yeah, a Tudor Moroccan feel. Yes, yes definitely. I he's, really he's, like that. Uh, I would say it's quite a well known, a well known shape, but it that that you can you can change it up by doing exactly what you want. I'm all right speaking, aren't yeah, I? I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, honestly, no one cares about what I've got to say. I, I want to hear from you. You are our expert. I love it. Uh, but no, you're quite right. It, there is so much again you're going to be able to do with this one. Four pound fifty saving on here. Ten pounds and forty nine pence only. Seven six one two zero four is what we got there. Uh, should we move down? We're going to carry. Oh, we're going to do the whole lot, everybody. We're going to sit, sit back, relax, uh, get a brew. Um, we've got the. Oh, I like the frame. Um, I'm not sure if I can say I've got a favourite, but I do like the versatility of this one, and I want to show uh, straight away what uh, what has been worked here because actually, as we mentioned, this is the original uh, die that you'll see that's come through from that. But I love there taking those shapes then and then creating that wonderful little uh, high street there, all your quirky houses that you can work. But again, just imagination, and then again works with the shape shaker card that we talked about zero nine two. Five zero one five pounds saving thirteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Uh, what was that? Sorry. Oh right, yes, yeah, yeah. I was on route. I was on route. Uh, yes, we have got for you the graph paper rectangle die. I don't know what's going on tonight, but whatever you brought, it's contagious. I've got it now. That's okay. Yeah. I like to share. <laughs> <laughs> Five nine zero eight double three thirteen ninety nine. My mother warned you about ladies like you. Five pounds <laughs> saving. Uh, if you would like to go for, what's that say at the bottom there? Not oh, sorry. Must be. Oh, just for you. <laughs> 
Uh, no more words. Um, I'm a round peg in a square hole. Uh, loving this, actually. Fantastic. 590-833-1399. I don't know how it is, but I'm feeling safer going this this direction down the counter. <laughs> yeah. uh, we've come to the uh, the frame. <laughs> That's why you married free, because you've been watching about ladies like me. Technically not married. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I know. I know. Um, we don't tell, don't tell the kids. <laughs> uh, four zero five because they want to be bridesmaids. Four zero five zero two three nine ninety nine for the card creator. Uh, Realise that already a fantastic price on that under ten pounds nine ninety nine four zero five zero two three. Uh, love it. If you want to go for the honeycomb feel, uh, then this is great, actually. Really, really nice die uh, to work with in so many different ways. Uh, what you're going to be getting, of course, from your cutouts from there, but, of course, all the elements itself that are there for you. Really, really like this one. Uh, certainly for that whole fresh feel of working with it. I love that. Uh, 837120, £10 pounds and 49 pence. Last but not least, we have the bundle that comes together, which is your dies and your stamps that work together here. Ten stamps, six dies, nineteen ninety nine. Biggest saving actually on the item uh, on the counter, seventeen pounds saving. Imagine what you can just do with that. <coughs> Excuse me, do with that. You keep that under twenty pounds, nineteen ninety eight four zero zero four five seven. Couple more items just to bring to your attention as well on uh, the images you can see ahead of you right now. How about going for your high-tack tape? Three mil, six and nine mil. That'll give you 12 rolls in uh, total. Uh, that's for some 9.99, Great for all of your um, projects to work with that. They've also got your double-sided tape. Lovely bundle, this one, actually. If you want to go for this one, four of your six uh, and 12, and you got four of your 12 and your 18 mil. Uh, three pounds saving on that bundle, so it's just 12 246375 for your double-sided. And uh, 805213 is also more of your double-sided. You've got six of your six mil and six of your 12 mil. 12 pounds, 48 pence. Um, oh, Catherine's been in touch, by the way. She's told us <laughs> what she's doing. Oh, I'll tell you what she's doing. I've just seen it. She's working on this, everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ready for 10 a.m. on Monday morning. How amazing. How clever. Yeah, because do, I, I do believe that Catherine has only just started crocheting. I don't think she crocheted I, before. I don't like to brag, but I taught her everything. Um, and don't tell, it's good don't to see tell one, me. It's good to see your students <laughs> coming on leaps and bounds. Uh, one minute I was showing you how to make a, star, a scarf and now look at this. Uh, that 10 a.m. Monday morning, join Catherine with that because I promise you, just the cutest of projects to work with. I know and she put so much heart and soul into them. I know you're going to love that show on Monday as well, which is great. Uh, what a lovely Friday evening as well to, uh, to that, Catherine. Lots of love and good luck uh, Monday. Uh, I'm sure everyone's going to be supporting you in the craft store then. Uh, very quickly, just an email come through from Andrea as well. Very good evening, Andrea. Uh, she says, oh my, I just want to thank you both for making the end of my work day so fun. Uh, I'm in the USA and uh, the longest part of the day is the last hour. You guys are amazing. Have a great weekend from you Andrea. You too. Thank you very, and very much. Do you know thank what? That you. is a lovely email to receive. Uh, we've sent you lots of love and best wishes and uh, and thank you that's really, uh, really nice it's we, it's it's for you guys that we uh, we 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 like it when we get messages well that's through, it we? yeah we do we, we 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 are the craft store but it's nine o'clock friday night why shouldn't we enjoy what we do as well oh no absolutely yeah we you've need to, to enjoy. enjoy you've got, got to enjoy, to enjoy your, your work you did mention um finger lift tape but you put it as double-sided it's actually one of them is finger lift tape oh. that you add on that you've got on. Uh, was that the second set? That was the, the first set the first of set. tape, is finger lift tape. Yep, you've got there. If I just explain what finger lift tape is, on, yeah. it's um, it's a tape and it does have, it goes, it doesn't go to the edge. So when you actually pop a finger lift tape down, it has a little edge just at the side, so you pop it down, then you can get your finger underneath it. Oh, I see. Easily. So it's, so it's double-sided, but it's again, double -sided, you've got. I like it's double-sided. It's called fin finger lift tape. Yeah. Finger lift yes. tape. Yes, 
and and it's it's easy to to oh, just put away. down them picking and yeah. trying to use it. Yeah. Um, one of my favourites for, te for tape. I don't. I I, I hate getting trying to get the tape up. I love my yeah. red liner tape, but this is one of no, my that's, uh, that's, uh, that's my favourites for that. What are you working with now? What are Karen? we working with now? We're going, we're going to work with this same one, but okay. as you can see here, what I've done is I've cut two out of masking paper. And that's the one side that's sticky. So okay. the side that's sticky, but it comes up. So you know the masking paper that, yes. uh, yeah, yeah. that you can blend through? And uh, by the time you got to my help, my inks aren't dry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you what, though, I like your colours. Oh, I I love a green, an orange, and a, a yellow. Yeah, they're definitely. Lovely. Nice I and think it's sunshine, definitely. What's the colour of the uh, the yellow one? There? The yellow is mustard seed. I worked with these this morning. Spice marmalade, and I've got mold lawn. Oh, that's not something that I see very often. No. Because my dad will only come up once a month to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what, the lawn? Yeah. Yeah, mine is doing as yeah. well, actually. Yeah. Yeah, but my dad's 78. Oh. <laughs> and he comes and does my lawn. Well, that's all right. Well, I mean... I'm useless at that. If I did it with a pair of scissors, I'd be all right, because that's <laughs> crafting. <laughs> a lawnmower. Oh, no, I'm useless with a lawnmower. Oh, I'd like to get out this weekend now when I go out and do that. It could be actually the right time to introduce my son to the lawnmower. Oh, yeah. I tried doing that with my son and he just... Uh, that never happens. Did I you not like my lawnmower? Uh, I think my son only does it when he knows he's... Uh, you know, Mum's going to lose a, a rag if not. <laughs> Mind you, he's, he's 23, he just does what he wants. <laughs> yeah? I can't say anything. He, he, he goes out, he works a lot. Oh, we always listen to our mums. Do you? Yeah. Can you tell my son that? <laughs> if he knows my mum. <laughs> <laughs> I have to phone my, my dad up, which is his granddad, and say, can you tell our Drake of this? He'll take notice to you. <laughs> oh, I, I, but then again, look at me. I'm not the, exactly the, the strict kind of mother, am I? I'd listen to you. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah. You're scared, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, we've got some more messages coming through while you're doing that. Oh, brilliant. Well, this is from... Oh, Cheryl. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I've not said anything yet. I'm already saying it's It's all right. I know, what, I know Cheryl's has got this wicked sense of humour as I have. Well, I can't pronounce most of the things she's written down here, but I'll give you... <laughs> Well, I'm sat watching my best friend, Ka friend Karen with Scott and I can't stop laughing. I think they've lost the plot. <laughs> on a serious note, the Paper Rose products are beautiful. Yes, she does work with them. She's on my design team, yeah. along with Carolyn and uh, Sam King. And they, lo they love the That's items nice. that come through. Yeah, of course. Uh, they always, when they receive them, all love them. And they, you can always tell with the number, they, 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 they they give me, send me so many samples. Yeah, that's but lovely. But they just love putting them to, together and they work so easily. That is, yeah, that's lovely. Thank you, Cheryl. I really appreciate the email. And I know we were holding some of your work up as well. So absolutely beautiful work that you've done for us as well. Uh, hello all at the craft store. Uh, message for Karen. Uh, you can get the Spirograph, the original, on that large online store beginning with A for under £10. I had one and loved using it. I love all your demos. Keep crafting. That's from Deborah, Enhanced by the Sea. Oh, that's fantastic, that. Oh, that's beautiful. I remember those. Thank you, Deborah. And I shall have a look. She will have a look? Yes, that's the one that's like a long river, isn't it? Yeah, that's the, yeah, <laughs> that's the beautiful. Mind you, if it were two foot long, it'd be a long river to me, wouldn't it? <laughs> I, I, yes. That, yeah, no, they just whispered into the gallery about which one you're talking about because the long river one, they didn't get the reference. <laughs> Hello from France. Oh, bonjour. I'm not going to do it. What's that's good. Good morning, yeah. that, isn't it? Uh, bonjour. Oh, but bon, hello. Bonsoir. I have no idea. I failed. I failed. Bonsoir. To, Bonsoir. I passed my German exam at uh, all level, but I we did all do. levels when I were at let school. Let me just use my French that I learned when I was at GCSE. Uh, bonsoir. Uh, je m'appelle Scott. J'ai onze on. My name's Scott and I'm 11. So <laughs> it's, it's Is nice that your mental age, Scott? <laughs> no, it's not that big. It's, uh, it's nice to be able to finally get used to 
using my French. Uh, anyway, hello from France. Bonsoir. Uh, so great to see this duo tonight. What a laugh and an excellent moment. Gorgeous Friday night, thanks to them. Thank you for the fun atmosphere, which does not prevent a very good job. Two wonderful Scott and lovely Karen. A lovely weekend to all at the craft store family. Kind regards from uh, Francoise. Francoise, thank you thank ever you. so much. Merci. I'm glad uh, we're making somebody's day, Scott. Absolutely. Yeah? Well, you, honestly, it's, uh, you, you've been a pleasure to work with all the way through the day as well. It's been lovely. Thank you so much for your messages uh, and all part of the Craft Store family. Absolutely brilliant. I'm hoping as well that's helped us while you were just uh, uh, yes, going through. Yes, just doing that and I've just done that in King because that, That's gorgeous. And that's I love with, that. that. That is the dye that I've cut into a stencil. That's right. Oh, I see. But, but that's, not the, that's not the demo. That's not the demo. It's nice, no. It's part of it, but we're going to cut one out. We're going to cut the... I think we will cut the middle one out. I said I'll cut each one out. So this is layer two. I'm going to do it through... I think this is a 240 that I'm going to pop it through. And it's an A4 machine. Do you know, Scott, I never ever thought about checking an A5 machine. Let's oh. have a look. That's A5, it would. It would, it should, yeah. It would go it would? through an A5 right. as an individual, yeah. yes. Great, that's great. Definitely. Thank you for checking I that. I should yeah. have checked that before and... But you checked it, so it's, it's good. Yeah, yeah, I did. And there we go. That's going through nicely. You can go like, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, they're falling out, look. Oh, sorry. What? I'm trying not to make a mess. Have, so... you, have you looked on the floor? There's not much there. It's not like normal. That's what people cleaned. <laughs> In between, <laughs> they knew I'd been yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Francoise has been back in touch and says, excellent French. I think she would have said, excellent, Francaise. Yes, yours is. I don't do it. Right. <laughs> fluent now. Oh, are Th you fluent? Thank you. Thank you, Francoise. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I did say mercy. I did say, I did you say did, mercy. You did, didn't oh, you? I know, I know. So we cut that Some people are thinking we're filming now from Paris. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, the, it's that one thing. Have I got this new French channel? <laughs> with, with Caron. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we've got one cut out in black, and that's the, again the 270. Let's do half of one. Um, again, go through, line up your little points here. You can't see those little points, but if I just point them out here, 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 and here. Well, that's like a TV advert, weren't it? Say where it went. Yeah, I remember that one. Do forget you? it, Scott. Forget it. Brain's yeah, going let's funny. Let's use that as a quiz. If anyone knows <laughs> what on earth Karen is talking yes, about. Yes, I remember it saying, oh, I've done wrong one yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Studio at thecraftstore.com. <laughs> I remember it being a television what advert years ago. What is Karen talking ago. about? She's babbling. She's babbling. You make me babble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. I realise that that's now my fault. <laughs> Don't you be getting me into trouble. Oh, what, again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. We've both got P45s after tonight. <laughs> Here for me to get one. I'm, I'm freelance. <laughs> me too, but how, how bad still, that? still give it, mate. I know. <laughs> I'll get the letter that goes with I it. I can't believe it. <laughs> Here I am, just five for eight, Yanis. <laughs> and you're a wonderful guy, Yanis, aren't you? I am. A <laughs> I'll play guy. along with you. The bags, I've just had a new, a new baby, so I've got the bags <laughs> under the eye, but you know, uh, and the fringe is, is dropping out a bit. But. So what I've done is the second one I've cut out. I'm going to just make sure I put little dots of glue. Just I'll put it all the way around the side, around the outer side, the outer circles. And I love this one with the circle. I can see the circles in between, and you, there's lots of cutability on this one. I'm going to pop that on there. So this is where we were talking about, like a. Uh, a fold, a, gate a fold. Gate fold. That's it. Yes, yeah, yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> I'm used to talking to my mum and them. them. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew what you meant. Yeah. Yeah. And you're getting as old as me then. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've aged in this hour. <laughs> <laughs> You lost the ability to speak in this well, hour. <laughs> I, when I woke up this morning, I thought, that'd be nice, Friday night at home, you know, I'm going to watch a film with the kids, that'll be great. Was... <laughs> but, uh, but here I am. 
<laughs> getting, I'm delight I'm delighted I am. Getting to be tortured here. to death from oh, Karen. No, honestly, yeah. I would uh, yeah. not change this for that. I'm loving I'm loving today. It's always lo always loving coming to the studios. I'll this be is absolutely loving. I think this is why I absolutely, you know. <laughs> 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 oh, they've let me out. <laughs> Yeah, we're taking you back in again if we're not careful, though. I told you, Mum always takes me back a second time <laughs> to apologise. And what I think we'll do with this one is we'll just pop a bit of glue into the centre of this one. But we've got a nice little background. That's and nice. all we've used is two from the set and what a little saying. Uh, and the saying's from the stamp set. Oh, is it from the, the stamp and the die set? The stamp and die set, set. Yep. yeah. It just says hello, put some of these awkward archer double-sided tape, double uh, foam tape, bob that into the middle and there's one that I did differently and I've read something today that Dina Wake, uh, that uh, uh, Diane Reeval is coming to oh. uh, the craft store. Wednesday. Wednesday and I've got a Diana Reeval. <laughs> Oh, I see. Say it. <laughs> so that's back. quite apt because I I love Diana Eve like with, oh. with my stuff in my journals oh, and stuff. Oh, lovely. Yeah, Wednesday. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. That looks great. Do you know what? The other thing about that, how you've used that with that with the die cutting out there, it's a great way of actually extending, if you want to do lots of, to work, to carry them on if you really wanted to sort of... If you get some long card long stock card and, to work and with, move, open. move them down. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I love that. But that's just two dies. That's really, you know... To me, that's, that's really... what die cutting's about. Right. Cut them up. It doesn't matter. It's a small piece of paper that you've cut up. If it goes wrong, just yeah. get, you know, Try. even if you get your new dies at home and put them through some uh, copier paper, always cut two or three sheets of copier paper out in one go because okay. with it being thin, thin yeah. it might not cut. Always cut. Right, cut I see. Always yeah. cut well. Cut two or three, but then just play, get your scissors into them, cut them up, right. tear them up. I suppose actually seeing them in different configurations as well is actually where you get inspiration from to work from, isn't it? You know, so do have a good have a good play with all of those. Absolutely fantastic. Honestly, do take advantage of these. I know that we've been focusing in on the bundle here, you know, but there is so much on there, and they've all got brilliant uh, sale prices on there for you. So go for those ones. Do don't forget to check out your basket. We've also got a couple of the seven day savers. Only a couple of days left, of course. Uh, one day, ten hours, twelve minutes, and around fifty seconds. Uh, if you want to go for those, always some fantastic bargains on there. If you don't know about them, of course, every seven days we do have new deals to be available for you and there's loads. We've got Crafty Devils in there, we've got that Stampers bundle, uh, which is absolutely brilliant. 300 GSM cards uh, and your A4, uh, A4 masking paper on there. Look at the difference on that. 36 95 down to just 19 uh, Also, we've also got the clear film. If you want to go for the 100 micron uh, and you've got your three of your A4, um, if you want to go for your propylene panels, then that one is just down to under £10 now as well. So just 9 99 all and create stamps that are on there, which is absolutely fantastic. They're always brilliant. Five star reviews. Also, we've got those if you want to go for the scissor set as well. Uh, perfect there for your dressmaking. And you've also got your pinking shears on there, down from just shy of £20 right now, £13.49. You'll find all of those on the website, of course, all the W's. Dot the craft store dot com. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, now we've only got, ooh, what, five, six, six seven minutes left? Karen? Well, all we'll do is we'll uh, we'll do a little bit of a cut out of a um, a couple of uh, one die, yeah. Okay, yeah, lovely. And show you how it goes together. And I am going to do this without. Oh, that's bright. It is. It's lovely, isn't that's it? That's nice. It's lovely. I I uh, I like this one. And I'm going to try and cut it out two in a row. So I will. No, I won't. I like this die. Yeah, and then show you how to just pop it together. Yeah. Do you think I'd be better doing it separately? Well, we'll try it both together, and okay. then you'll find out whether or not it works. Only way what, to find out? Only way to find out. What I am going to do is I'm going to pop it through forward and run it. When, uh, when people want to know, when are you back on the show with us? I'm back on in on the 30th. 30th? 30th of April, of April right, yes. Okay. Yes, I've got a, a, a little gap in between. Ooh. Two oh, weeks today, then? Two weeks today, yeah. Oh, what are you going to do with your two weeks? Uh, clean up the mess. <laughs> <laughs> clean up the craft house. Cut the grass. Yeah. And, uh... Oh, no, I'm not cutting grass. No, no, I, don't, no. I don't cut grass. No, I know. We... It's take too long with a pair of scissors. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh. Um, and then I'm going to be doing um, some, um, possibly some uh, get in touch with the graphic designer for Oak Archer. We're putting another. Oh, and uh, okay. another release together for for me. I'm sure you'll be busy, busy, busy. Oh, definitely, definitely. And we are trying to get the Facebooks up and going, so we're doing lives as well oh, great, with Facebooks. Great. So there's quite a lot in the background going. Yeah, of course, of course. So I've cut two out in one go. Yeah, I did go forward and backwards just to make sure. And then I've got one in black and one in multicolour. And all I'm going to do. How long we got, Scott? About five minutes. Oh, we've got plenty That's of time. Right, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, now I think I'm going to like this. You're going to like this already. Yeah. Mm. And you think if that was a photo? Yeah. Shall we glue it down? Have we got time to glue it? We have, haven't we? We should have got one of Yancey's photos brought in. He's got loads of those. He's always giving them away. <laughs> I've got eight now. Have you got eight? Yeah. He Every actually did. He, he actually got one signed went... one from my mum, and my mum's got it. What from Yanis? Yeah. Yeah, and I made a joke, and I says, oh, it's a pink kitchen. He says, is it? I said, yeah, oh. my dad throws darts at me. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I've got a terrible, wicked sense of humour, unfortunately. My son's the same. But we could have put a nice picture in there, though. And that we been, could have like put say, a nice like picture, idea. but we're doing, we're doing the border in a rainbow. I think this, is, this, this paper's gorgeous. We'll try and get it to get it to bring it onto the show. If anybody want, decides that they want this something like this rainbow paper, rainbow cardstock, uh, drop us a line on uh, on my Facebook, and we'll see what we can do. See if I can get hold of it. So excuse the glue; I've used far too much. And then we're going to take the top layer. But this is a two for this, so you could do it on a, a white card. Yeah. And I've done wrong one anyway. Look, look, see what you made me do. So. <laughs> I didn't, I wanted to glue the black one because that is now filling it in. And what we'll do is take no, the what, glue. So what are you, you putting the black on the black? And put it, uh, yeah. Right. Because it's gone, gone on the black card, hasn't it? Yeah. So we're just popping that one in there. I'm doing it onto the back of it. You would normally pop it on a white card, wouldn't you? You'd normally pop it onto a white card. I don't um, know what I do anymore, to be honest. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm a bit, you totally. I'll, I'll just, just carry on with this you one. You tell me you what know. you think I should do. <laughs> yeah, I'll just carry I'm on with confused this one. Because you put black on black, but it, it's black. It's it's black onto the frame is black. I oh. could leave it like that. Yes. But you will see that it's got a ridge. If I fill it in with the bits, then it's completely flat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. However, I knew you knew what you were doing. Well, I know what I'm doing. But I've turned it over and done it onto this side instead. But you can do for a two for if you put that on both onto white. But I have put I haven't got any white card out. And rather than me go looking for white card, this oh, we've is what got I about did. Three minutes left, so yeah, by that's... the time we've sorted out what the mess is underneath your desk at the moment, we've got. Ooh! Look at that! Look at that's a full bin you've got down there. That's full all day. Yeah, that's done well. That's actually. all day. I've We've had lots I think of emails, done... by the way, Karen. Oh, well. You've had lots of emails. <laughs> um, so thank you to everyone thank that you has everybody. taken the time to email. It's nice uh, um, to know that you're watching us at this time. <laughs> have we got a couple in my ear that we could? We got a couple. Uh, Amanda's been in touch as well, saying thank you very much indeed, Karen as well. She's really enjoyed it. Thank you very much indeed, Amanda. Lovely. Janet's been in such a very good evening to you, Janet, as well. Ah, uh, oh, she says, the most wonderful hour. She's laughed and laughed and laughed, obviously, <laughs> watching something on our TV. Um, oh, no, she's watching with us. She's watching with us. And you don't have to pay for a TV licence well, for us. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, that's it. Thank you have very... Have we got a job at Christmas now, then? Are <laughs> you taking uh, yeah, me on on your I'm pants, I'm looking for though? a fairy. <laughs> Who isn't? Oh, I'd sit on the top of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> You got to can you can you enchant the children? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just have to watch what I say. Well I know. <laughs> <laughs> Three shows a day, I can imagine you by the end of the third. <laughs> Uh, show us what you've done there, Kelly. So what I've done there is, uh, normally you would have pop, uh, got a 6x4 card. I've done black frame with the coloured inside, and then this would be the coloured one with the black in black inside. Yes. But you think if you do that with a photo, do a black frame, yeah. you've got the insides to play with on, on anything else that you've got, 
but also you put somebody's photograph in there or if you do if you cut them out and you can do a cartoon strip the kids can do oh, a cartoon that's, yeah, strip that's a nice idea yeah that's yeah nice. a comic strip a cartoon strip but i love it's that. just ideal i love that card yeah me. that's Absolutely really really nice okay yeah. thank you for that thank you very much indeed i just want to very quickly just uh, bring some details again uh, very busy as well. There's a one, uh, lots of people have gone for the hexagon uh, die set that's on here for you. Uh, it is your, your two dies in total because you've got your straight four here, then of course you've got the rest. So great for all your different configurations. £4.50 saving on this one from Paper Rose. So it's just £10.49. 837120. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Karen, uh, I'd love to say it's been a pleasure. I mean, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Me, no. so would I. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Just I've, one quick one. I've love. Oh, go on, I've got if 10 seconds. If you've uh, popped it in right, you could make yourself a frame to make a frame oh, as well. There we go. There we go. Um, right to the last minute. Uh, Thank you. Two weeks today, you're back. I which am, yeah. I know people won't be able to wait until then. It's absolutely <laughs> brilliant. And I genuinely have loved this hour. And Thank both you. my shows have been with you today. Always an absolute it's pleasure. It's been great. Thank uh, you. Thank you so much for Thank your inspiration, you. as you always deliver for us as well. See you very soon. See you soon. Uh, thank you so much. I really hope you've enjoyed uh, your show with us today. Uh, um, for, it's Friday evening. It's, but honestly, from Karen and myself and the whole team here at the studios right now, we wish you a very fantastic rest of the evening. We'll see you again very soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.